This film is purely fictional. Please do not imitate it. Your like and subscribe are the motivation for me to update. Chapter 1. Check in at the beginning. Epic hand axe. A gust of sea breeze blew by. And Lu Chen shivered all over. And then slowly opened his hazy sleepy eyes. Lu Chen's eyes opened a crack. And then closed again. Um. The moment Lu Chen opened his eyes. He seemed to see the sea. What's wrong? I actually saw the sea. I haven't been to the sea for a long time. Call. Another gust of sea breeze blew. And this time Lu Chen suddenly woke up. He looked at the blue sea in front of him. It was neither a dream nor an illusion. It actually existed. Where is this? Why am I here? Lu Chen sat up suddenly. His sleepiness instantly dissipated. His eyes filled with doubts. And he slowly stood up. Only then did he realize that this was actually a deserted island a hundred meters in diameter. And he was the only one on the island. All around is the ocean. Ding! Welcome to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Where you will start a new life and reach the peak of your life. Live your life well. What sound? At this moment, a small blue translucent screen appeared in front of Lu Chin. The screen read, Rules of Survival. 1. You have entered a brand new world, which is waiting for you to explore. 2. The initial backpack is a good thing. It contains everything you need. Don't throw it away. 3. Remember, food is the most important thing. Never throw it away. Without food you will die. 4. Don't trust anyone who is drifting. Because everyone is after your resources, and may even kill you. 5. There will still be day and night here. Be careful. Something will come out of the sea at night. You'd better stay in your house because it's safe. 6. Be very careful when exploring the sea. Because there are not only sharks in the sea, but also other scary creatures. 7. Explore everything you may find. Because they may be very useful to you. Don't think about plundering other islands before you have the strength. 8. Live. And you must live well, so that you can have a chance to leave here. Happy gaming. Then the blue screen slowly disappeared. Lu Chen lowered his head, and there was a gray backpack at his feet. Backpack LV1. It can hold a lot of things. Open it, and take a look. There will be unexpected surprises. Lu Chen quickly opened his backpack, and found a cube in it. Base, broken it has been broken. Try to find more materials to repair it. Maybe it will give you a different surprise. You're forever home. Just think of the base in your heart to open it. Lu Chen tried to meditate on the base in his mind. Then, he saw the cube with a generous white light. The white light spread out in all directions with the cube as the center. The next second, with a flash of white light, a simple white light appeared in front of Lu Chen. A house made of ten stacked blocks is more like a cave dwelling than a house. Because the exterior of the house is made of stones. Then Lu Chen opened the wooden door and walked in. The house was empty. Not even the most basic beds and chairs. It seemed that Lu Chen needed to find these by himself. Haha, I'm really a poor family. Did I just enter the hard mode at the beginning? Lu Chen laughed at himself. Suddenly, Lu Chen suddenly discovered that there was a book page shape in the lower left corner in front of him. Generally speaking, this thing should be a chat box. Is it possible that this game can also chat? Lu Chen opened the book page icon in confusion, and a large dialogue box appeared in the lower left corner. It was divided into several different pages, world, general, regional, transaction, and system channels. In that dialogue box, someone is still sending chat records on the world channel. Is there anyone? Where is this? Why am I on an island? Who did this? Is it a reality show? I am the chairman of group. I will give 100 million to anyone who rescues me. Ha! It's finally the end of the world. That's great. Let's all die together. I saw a big shark. Did you see it? Each chat channel displays an avatar and each person's real name, along with their gender. Luchin also wanted to send a message. But a blue screen immediately appeared in front of him. The world channel can only send a message once a day. And if you want to chat freely, you need to enter the regional channel. So it turned out that there was a limit on the number of chats. Luchin gave up decisively. He still had to be cautious about this opportunity to chat. Now Luchin understands. It seems that there are more people trapped on the island like him. It seems that he is not the only one who has entered this game. Luchin closed the chat box. People nowadays are very irrational. Everyone is asking for help. But what's the use now? People say that survival is the most important thing. Luchin left the house. Silently chanting in his heart. And the stone house turned into a cube again. At this moment, Lu Chen vaguely saw something floating on the sea. 
Box? That's right. It was a box. A box glowing with white light. And the box was floating in his direction. Lu Chen ran over expectantly to pick it up. But at this moment, he saw a blue fin swimming in the sea in the distance. Shark. Lu Chen thought of the previous chat records of those people. He was sure that the thing he was holding was a shark. He immediately gave up the idea of going into the sea and waited for the box to float over by itself. Maybe the box had its own ideas. It didn't float over, but floated away along the seawater. Lu Chen was worried. There might be some supplies in that box. He suddenly thought that there seemed to be a rope in the backpack. And then immediately opened the backpack. Sure enough, there was a rope and a grapple inside, which could be used to hook the wooden box. Later, Lu Chen came to the shore and threw the rope towards the wooden box. The first attempt failed. But Lu Chen was not discouraged and started the second attempt. The result was still failure. And finally the fourth attempt was successful. Lu Chen excitedly pulled the wooden box hard and finally dragged it to the shore. Very good. Lu Chen quickly stepped forward and pried open the wooden box. Congratulations on getting iron plate asterisk 3. Wooden board asterisk 6. A blue panel appeared in front of Lu Chen. The daily sign-in system is successfully bound. Whether to sign in or not, you will get a novice gift package when you sign in for the first time. Lu Chen thought he had triggered something in the novice gift package. So he decisively chose to sign in. Daily sign-in successful. Acquire god-level construction skills. An epic hand axe. 30 wooden boards. 10 iron plates. 3 steel plates. 5 ropes. 30 seeds. An ordinary pistol. And 10 bullets. Note. Equipment levels, common, exquisite, rare, epic, mythical, holy spirit, unlock wooden box levels, white, green, blue, pink, red, orange, colorful. The construction system is activated, and the host can use the construction function to build items. Note that sufficient materials are required to build. Lu Chen didn't expect that a sign-in system would allow him to obtain so many things, which would allow him to take off on the spot. System. Can I sign in every day? Yes. The items you get by signing in every day are different. Great. Daily check-in. It would be great if I could get more advanced weapons tomorrow. But where is the so-called epic hand axe? Not even the things I received when I signed in. Where did they go? Luchin thought of the backpack. But how could such a small backpack contain so many things? With doubts. Luchin still opened his backpack. The items in the backpack were arranged neatly and orderly. Lu Chen took out the epic hand axe. It was a red hand axe. It felt very textured. Like steel. But it was harder than steel. Please note, 45% of the backpack space is left. Players are asked to clean up the backpack as soon as possible to avoid unnecessary trouble. Lu Chen didn't expect that the space of this backpack was so small. With just such a small amount of stuff taking up 55%, he didn't know where he could upgrade the backpack or find a larger backpack. By the way, I haven't seen the construction system yet. Lu Chen quickly put away his backpack and put the hand axe on his waist in case of emergency. Think about the construction system silently in your mind. Then rows of construction interfaces appeared in front of him. The construction system is divided into several interfaces. Upgrading is to upgrade the current buildings and items. There is a backpack and a hand axe in it. The backpack is so far ordinary and its carrying capacity is not much. Only by upgrading the backpack can the carrying capacity of the backpack be increased. If being able to upgrade the backpack to the Holy Spirit level, it can actually carry unlimited weight. But it's still too far away. Even with those materials. I haven't heard of the distance. Upgrading to exquisite quality requires three palm leaves and one shark skin. Seeing the shark skin, Luchin felt bad. Chapter 2 The Fun of Fishing Luchin didn't think he could do it yet. So he didn't think about it for now. I looked at the other options again. There are a lot of things on the construction page. You can actually build many high-end buildings, such as villas, swimming pools, entertainment venues, bunkers, city walls, and many other things. But those things require a lot of materials. For example, the simplest city wall requires 50 bricks and 20 slime to build a 20-meter city wall, while others require more materials. Lu Chen clicked on the synthesis page below again. This page is also very easy to understand. It can synthesize various tools, such as hand axes, mine drafts, shovels and other tools. And each requires different materials. As long as there are materials, the synthesis of items can be completed. There is a drawing of a base below. After clicking it, it will be a drawing of the base. 
you can use materials to repair and upgrade the base. The base is still in a broken state. After closing the page, Lu Chen saw that someone else was chatting on the chat interface. So he could see how the others were doing now. Everyone, I have a tree growing here. How do I cut it down? Cut it with a synthetic hand axe. Stupid. Everyone, do you have anything to eat and drink? Can you bring me some? I grabbed the box for a long time. But I didn't catch anything. It was all materials. I feel like smoke is coming out of my throat. Ha ha. I just hooked up a box of mineral water. I got a box of instant noodles. I'm envious. It'll be better if it's convenient and water. Luchin closed the chat box. Now it seems that other people have not signed into the system. And there is no so-called novice gift package. Could it be that he has activated some hidden mode? No matter. Now is not the time to talk about this. Now there are two situations before Luchin. One is food and the other is water. If he doesn't eat or drink water for a long time, he will definitely die. A person can live for seven days without food, but he can survive for three days without drinking water. There is no doubt that he will die. Is it possible that he has to drink urine? But I can't urinate. At this moment, a white box floated over from the sea in the distance. Lu Chen ran out of the grappling hook without thinking and started collecting supplies. It seemed that these wooden boxes contained materials and food. So he couldn't let any of them go. After unremitting efforts, Lu Chen finally caught the second box. Open the box. Congratulations on getting mineral water asterisk 3. Wooden planks asterisk 6. Palm leaves asterisk 3. It's great to actually get a palm leaf. If you get a shark skin, the backpack can be upgraded. Mineral water is really what you want. And now you can hold on for a few more days. Another box floated over in the distance. Lu Chen found the right moment to take action and pulled the box in front of him. Open the box. Congratulations on obtaining wooden boards asterisk 6. Blueprint, fully automatic water purifier asterisk 1, low level. Drawing? What is this? Lu Chen took out the blueprint with some excitement. The blueprint disappeared and another option appeared at the bottom of the construction system interface. After clicking on it, fully automatic water purifier, wooden board asterisk 16, plastic asterisk 6, glass asterisk 5, iron plate asterisk 3. Lu Chen could imagine what this fully automatic water purifier was. It could definitely turn seawater into fresh water. If it could be removed, the problem of draft would be easily solved. There were both wooden and iron plates. But I haven't found the plastic and glass yet. So I can only search slowly. In the distance, Lu Chen could see other wooden boxes going in other directions, which were out of his reach. He couldn't go into the sea, or they would definitely become a feast for sharks. So he could only watch the wooden boxes float away. It would be nice to have a boat. Lu Chen's idea was good. But there was nothing on this deserted island except soil. Now Lu Chen has a lot of things. Mineral water asterisk 3. Palm leaves asterisk 3. Wooden board asterisk 48. Iron plate asterisk 13. Steel plate asterisk 3. Plant seeds asterisk 30. Rope asterisk 5. A pistol. 10 bullets. Lu Chen suddenly thought of something. He remembered that there was a fishing rod on the synthesis page. If he could make a fishing rod, would he be able to fish and eat it? I opened the synthesis page. And sure enough, there really was a fishing rod in it. Fishing rod, wooden board asterisk 5, rope asterisk 3. I have enough materials to make it. Make it. Plank 5, rope 3. Get fishing rod asterisk 1. Fishing rod, this is not an ordinary fishing rod. It allows you to have a meal. Jiang Taigong fishes. And whoever wants to take the bait. With a fishing rod in hand, Lu Chen was naturally ready to start his bid to take the bait. And just when he was about to start fishing, a green box floated over from a distance. Green? According to the equipment level, this green should be one level higher than white. Which means that you can definitely find some good things in it. Lu Chen took out the grappling hook and threw it hard. This time, the weight of the throw was accurate. This was Lu Chen's previous experience. As long as he threw it toward the front of the wooden box he would definitely hit it. If you want to ask why it is thrown forward, it is naturally because of the ocean current. The wooden box is not stationary. As long as you see the right time and throw it slightly ahead of it, it will definitely be able to reach the public. Lu Chen struggled to drag it back. He could feel that the box was heavier this time, and it seemed that it must contain something good. Open the box. Congratulations on obtaining wooden boards asterisk 6. Glass asterisk 5. Plastic asterisk 6. Iron plates asterisk 5. Instant noodles asterisk 10. 
mineral water asterisk 5, and stones asterisk 10. It was indeed a surprise. As expected of a green box. I got so many good things. Luchin was so happy that he almost cried when he saw instant noodles. He was still thinking about his livelihood just now. But now, he finally got instant noodles. Plastic and glass? Then I can make a water purifier. Luchin quickly opened the construction system. Sure enough, the originally gray fully automatic water purifier icon had lit up. Click make. Woodboard 6. Plastic 6. Glass 5. Iron plate 3. Congratulations on getting a fully automatic water purifier. Fully automatic water purifier. It can convert seawater into ordinary drinking water. 30 minutes per conversion. One bottle of seawater per session. And 60 minutes between uses. There is still a usage interval. But it is already very good. Even if I don't get mineral water in the next few days. I won't die of thirst. Although there are instant noodles. He still needs to prepare some fish to satisfy his hunger. After all. Instant noodles may not be available every day. When the fishing started, although there was no fish hook, Luchin could see that the moment the fishing rod was put in, a gray ring that was continuously expanding and shrinking appeared around the fishing line. This may be the prompt of the fishing system. Immediately afterwards, the ring lit up, and Luchin felt a pulling sensation on the fishing rod in his hand, which meant that a fish had taken the bait. Luchin suddenly pulled up. Wow! Congratulations on getting the worn boots asterisk one. Worn boots, although they are a little worn, they are still wearable. Although it is only one. Don't be discouraged. You can make a pair by getting another one. Attribute, plus two speed. Huh? Lucha let out a light sigh. He didn't expect that the fishing system could actually obtain equipment. This was a bit interesting. These worn out boots could actually increase the speed by two points. Which was even more interesting. Lucha continued fishing. Congratulations on getting the white carp asterisk one. Congratulations on getting glass asterisk one. Congratulations on getting the white carp asterisk one. Congratulations on getting the worn boots asterisk one. After 10 times, Luchin finally made a pair of boots. After wearing it on his feet, Luchin felt that his body seemed to become lighter. And his movement speed indeed accelerated a little. Ha ha. I didn't expect that you can also get equipment by fishing. This is really strange. Gulu. Before he knew it, Luchin had spent the whole morning, and his stomach was already growling. During this period of fishing, Luchin took stock of his harvest. White carp asterisk 5. Glass asterisk 3. Plastic asterisk 1. Worn boots asterisk 2. Wooden board asterisk 2. The results are quite good. Then a big meal is needed next. It has fish and instant noodles. And it is still a very good meal. But how to cook next? There is no container to hold fish and instant noodles and there is no fire to boil water. By the way, I remember that there are containers and torches in the synthesis. Luchin quickly opened the synthesis page. Sure enough, many items on it were already lit. He can now craft stone pickaxes, stone shovels, torches, containers, and furnaces. A furnace? Yes, you can use a furnace to cook. This is much easier to use than a torch. The furnace must be made, because the furnace has many uses. Chapter 3 A Big Meal The crafting of the furnace requires 10 stones. Coincidentally, Luchin got exactly 10 stones here. That's great. God still favors me very much. Luchin directly clicked on making the furnace. Congratulations on getting the furnace asterisk 1. Stone 10. Furnace, now you can cook your items. Of course, burning requires fuel. Such as wooden boards. Don't throw away the burned items. As they will be used for many purposes. With the furnace. Luchin finally had a source of fire. Warning, the remaining space in the backpack is less than 1%. Please clean it up as soon as possible to avoid unnecessary trouble. No, there is no space here. It seems that the furnace takes up a lot of space. Luchin took out the furnace, and there was 5% space left in his backpack. However, this space is too small. If he continues to fish or obtain other things in the afternoon, he may not have much space. He needs to quickly expand his backpack or find other containers. By the way, I remember there was a box in the synthesis. Open the synthesis page, where the box page has been lit. Eight wooden boards are required to synthesize the box. Make it. Congratulations on getting the box asterisk one. Board eight. Box. Put your extra stuff in it, and don't be afraid that other people will come to take it because they won't be able to take it away. Luchin opened the base. Place the wooden box inside, 
and then put everything in the backpack into the wooden box. The wooden box was still very large. Three times the size of the backpack. And the backpack space was instantly was cleared out. Luchin walked out with a bag of instant noodles. A fish. Two bottles of water. And several wooden boards. Iron plates. And steel plates. Because he just saw that the containers needed iron plates. And the wooden boards were used as fuel. And then he put the base away again. The base is a good thing. He must carry it with him. Although this desert island is not very big. It is better to carry it with him just in case. Now that you have the furnace. All you need is the container. Click on synthesis and just make the container. Congratulations on getting the container steel. Iron plate 3. Steel plate 1. Container pot. Steel steel has a high melting point and can be used well as a cooking tool. Work hard to show off your cooking skills. Show cooking skills. Luchin smiled. He was thankful to be able to eat instant noodles here. Luchin put the wooden boards into the furnace one after another. And then the flames began to light up in the furnace. The burning time of a wooden board was about 10 minutes. Which was enough time to cook a bowl of noodles. Then Luchin placed the pot on top and poured two more bottles of mineral water into it. Mineral water too. Whether bottles are broken down. You get two plastics per bottle. Does not decompose. Luchin was not a fool. He got two of them by disassembling them. If he made them again, he would definitely need more plastic. If the seawater is purified, the mineral water bottle can also be used to hold water, which will give you two more containers. While the noodles were cooking, Lu Chen went to fill a bottle of seawater and poured it into the purifier. Then the purifier started working. The purifier works automatically and does not require electricity. Otherwise, he really thinks this thing is waste. During this period, Lu Chen washed the carp, rinsed it with seawater, and then cooked the noodles. Put in two more wooden boards and start grilling the fish. Congratulations on getting coal asterisk 5. Wood board 1. Instant noodles 1. Coal. After burning a piece of wood, you get 5 coals. Which is also a very large amount. Luchin remembered that media was used to make torches. Open the synthesis panel. And sure enough, making a torch requires one wooden board and two coals. Make. Congratulations on getting the torch asterisk 1. Wood board 1. Coal 2. Torch. Illuminate a 5x5 five five range in the night so that monsters will not attack your base. Each torch can burn continuously for 12 hours. Dark night? Lu Chen remembered. It was mentioned in the introduction that there would be monsters at night. But he didn't know what monsters they were. Thinking of this, Lu Chen felt an inexplicable sense of fear. At this time, the aroma of grilled fish came out. Lu Chen stepped forward. After the two wooden boards were burned, the grilled fish was completed. Congratulations on getting grilled fish asterisk 1 and coal asterisk 10. Board 2. Beep. The water purifier on the side also made a sound. The seawater purification was completed. Luchin had already placed the mineral water bottle in the west. And the purified seawater just filled the mineral water bottle. Congratulations on getting mineral water asterisk 1. Looking at the bowl of noodles and grilled fish in front of him, Luchin burst into tears with excitement. This was his first big meal on the isolated island. Without any explanation, Luchin started eating directly. But at this moment, a white wooden box floated over in the distance. Luchin put down the rice bowl in his hand, stood up, took out the grappling hook and shot into the soul. On this isolated island, wooden boxes are a symbol of resources. No matter what you are doing, if you see a wooden box, you must grab it with all your strength. Otherwise you don't know when the wooden box will appear again next time. I dragged the wooden box and opened it directly. Congratulations on getting wooden planks asterisk 6. Palm leaves asterisk 5. And bread asterisk 2. Bread? Mom. I got bread. Lu Chen couldn't help being excited. He actually got this rare piece of bread. Which was a very good thing. I don't want to eat now. So I'd better wait until the evening. Lu Chen went back and continued eating noodles. And then opened the chat box. The chat box was very lively at this time. Hey, it's noon. Have you eaten yet? I'm eating fish. But it's a bit fishy. I have bread. Tell me what you are eating. I am the chairman of company. I will give one billion to anyone who can rescue me. Return to the chairman. You are the hacking ancestor. You have to stay here honestly. Brother, you haven't eaten yet. Think of something quickly, or you will die. Holy shit. A shark almost jumped onto the case just now. It scared me to death. Fortunately, I was smart and let go of the box. It would be great if I could eat a shark. 
I wonder if we can make a boat and leave here. Everyone was discussing. And some people actually wanted to leave here. Luchin had long discovered that it was impossible to leave here. This was not an ordinary world. This was most likely a new world created by a super advanced civilization. Living here was the goal. After a meal, Lu Chen was about to get up when he discovered an important piece of information in the chat area. Have you noticed that the more we work, the more tired we become? Nonsense. We all have physical strength. If we don't have enough physical strength, we won't be able to do it. Look at your head in the upper left corner. There are health bars, blue bars, and chicken legs. The chicken legs are the physical strength. Stupid. Lu Chen also looked at the upper left corner of his panel. Sure enough, there was a health bar and a blue bar next to the avatar. The health bar was 65. The blue bar was 5. And the 10 drumsticks were all full. This is a new discovery. If no one reminded Lu Chen that he really didn't find the information in the upper left corner, no wonder he was tired after catching a few fish in the morning. It turned out to be this reason. It seems that the meal he just ordered made all his energy. Back to normal. And that health bar seems to be just like the one in the game. It is your own health. As for the blue bar, is it possible that you can still cast magic? Luchin shook his head and smiled. This is an island survival game, not a magical world. In the afternoon, Luchin came to the fishing spot and started fishing. He was always paying attention to the movement in the distance to prevent a wooden box from floating over, and he didn't see it. While he was fishing, something jumped out of the water in the distance. Luchin thought it was an ordinary fish and didn't pay attention. Just when he succeeded in fishing, he suddenly felt a huge force pulling his fishing rod. The thing was very powerful and seemed to be a big fish. In order to prevent himself from being dragged in, Lu Chen used all kinds of methods to prevent himself from being dragged in. He used his strength to fight the big fish. But the big fish was too strong. After the two sides faced off for 10 minutes, one of Lu Chen's drumsticks actually fell off. Damn it! No! Lu Chen was shocked. He didn't expect that such a confrontation would cost him a drumstick. If this guy wasn't a high-end product, he would have suffered a big loss. Finally, after another 10 minutes, the big fish began to lose its strength. But Lu Chen did not relax. He was very experienced in fishing. When encountering such a big fish, it will consume its physical strength. As long as its physical strength is gone, then the one who wins is himself. Finally, another chicken leg fell off. And after Lu Chen roared, a golden carp was pulled out of the sea. Snap! The moment the golden carp fell on the shore, it decomposed like a wooden box. The items on the floor made Lu Chen take a breath. Chapter 4 All transactions are made by rich people. Congratulations on obtaining wooden planks asterisk 16. Stones asterisk 20. Glass asterisk 5. Rope asterisk 5. Iron plate asterisk 3. Steel plate asterisk 2. Delicious fish asterisk 6. Apocalypse fragment asterisk 1. The apocalypse fragment was a new thing that Lu Chen had never seen before. It didn't seem to be a simple thing. Fragments of the apocalypse. The treasures used to repair the base must not be lost. Otherwise you will regret it for the rest of your life. Repair the things in the base? Put them away decisively. Lu Chen clicked on the simple interface. He wanted to see what was needed to repair the base. After all, he was in a hurry and didn't even look at it. Repair base. Fragment of apocalypse asterisk 1. Water rune asterisk 1. Fire rune asterisk 1. What are the water and fire runes? I've never heard of them. Luchin has never heard of these two kinds of runes. But it seems to be not simple. Since the golden carp can drop the fragments of the apocalypse, it must be able to drop these two kinds of runes. It seems that fishing is a very good option. Otherwise, when we used to play games, why did the big guys like fishing? Now Luchin is basically a big winner. He has a lot of supplies. Judging from the current situation, there is no problem in holding on for two or three days. Luchin did not sit idle just because he had abundant supplies, but continued his fishing journey. After all, stocking up on supplies was the most important thing now. Fishing is a slow job, so you have to wait and don't rush. Sometimes the ring in front of you doesn't turn green even after 10 minutes. Luchin sat on the cold stone, still thinking about the grilled fish just now. Because the sea water is salty, the fish is also somewhat salty but it is still not as delicious as those dipped in sauce. Ah! It would be great if I could get some garlic sauce. If I had some chopped green onions and aniseed, it would taste even more delicious. Lu Chen was so caught up in his imagination that he had forgotten that he was on a deserted island. And if he had anything to eat, 
he would have spent eight lifetimes burning incense. At this time, the ring in front turned green, and Lu Chen quickly raised the fishing rod. Congratulations on getting carp asterisk one. It's still a good record. Being able to obtain carp means that we have some reserve supplies. Continuing fishing. Out of boredom. Lu Chen opened the chat channel below. I am the president of company. I will give 10 million to anyone who can rescue me. Ha ha. Brother. You are so stingy. You just said you would give me 100 million. You are still in the mood to chat here. Aren't you afraid that monsters will appear at night? I just finished my meal and lost two fish. And there is one left. Who has fresh water? I want to trade with you. Everyone. I have given up completely. I am a waste. I can't get anything. Not even the box. I am waiting to die. See you in the next life. Sister. Don't give up. You have to live on. Now there are more men than women. How will we men survive if you leave? I can no longer imagine the life of a group of big men on a desert island. Lu Chun was completely speechless. There were actually people who completely gave up and waited for death. Their desire to survive was not very strong. Didn't they say that human beings would activate their potential functions in extremely dangerous situations? It seemed to be nonsense. Lu Chen didn't speak. He had saved the only chance to speak that day. Brothers and sisters who have not eaten or drank water, please pay attention to the trading channel later. I will trade fresh water and food for you later. What? Boss, you have already obtained fresh water and food. Boss, please save me. I am the chairman of group. Give me food and water, and I will give you 10 million. Hack you 10 million. Normally, I might be tempted. But now, hum, no matter who you are, I have to wait for you even if I am trapped here, on this desert island. Money was of no use. Moreover, when they came, everything they had on them had disappeared. And there was nothing except clothes. Luchin took out fresh water and carp and sent them to the trading channel. Grilled carp. Quantity 1. Can be traded. Exchange for 20 wooden boards. 15 glass or 30 plastic. Mineral water. Quantity 1. Can be traded in exchange for 30 wooden boards. 40 plastics. 20 glass. 15 steel plates. 1 water rune. Or 1 fire rune. This price is not low. That's because Luchin has been observing the trading channel for a day. And basically no one trades food and water. But there are quite a few people trading materials. Which shows how important this food is. The reason why Luchin took it out was because he now had a water purifier and could make fresh water at any time. He could also catch fish in his spare time to replenish his food supply. And you have to see clearly that the cooked grilled fish is not raw. So the high price is very normal. As for fresh water, ha ha ha. Unless they have a water purifier or provide water. Otherwise you have to spend money to drink water. High price. Moreover, Luchin also wanted to try his luck and see if Yuanda would take the bait. Master, master, I don't have that many materials. But I have a good thing. See if you can exchange it for drawing exquisite hand axe. Lu Chen looked at the blueprint and then at the epic hand axe in his hand. He really wanted to hit the guy who spoke with an axe. Various private chat messages were sent. But they were all useless rubbish. Some people even begged Lu Chen to lend him something on credit. Go to HL. Lu Chen then opened the desert island trading platform and placed his grilled fish and mineral water on it. The grilled fish you listed for sale has been sold. And 20 wooden boards have been obtained. The mineral water you listed for sale has been sold. And you have received 40 plastics. Lu Chen was shocked. So many wealthy people? Lu Chen extracted the stuff directly. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 20 and plastic asterisk 40. Brother, do you still have something to eat? Please bring some more. I don't want water or anything else. Lu Chen saw the private chat. This person was the guy who had traded his things before. It seemed that this person was a rich man. He had no shortage of fresh water and supplies. But he lacked food. It was also obvious that this person should not have a fishing rod. Otherwise how could there be no fish? Master! Master! Come and have some food! I just saw your news! Why are they all sold out? Can you tell me how to fish? I also have this fishing rod. But why haven't I caught anything for a day? Didn't catch it? How stupid is this guy? Just wait until the circle turns green, and that's it. Luchin thought about it, and did not continue. He suddenly thought, Wouldn't those people be able to see the green circle like him? If that's the case, then it's better not to tell anyone about it. If someone discovers that it's a bug and seals it, 
Then the convenience of fishing by yourself will be gone. Lu Chen did not speak. Nor did he continue to put any items on the shelves. Because the sky had darkened. And the sun still had the last bit of light left on the sea level. Looking around. The sunset on the seaside was really beautiful. But it was a pity that it was not possible at all now. When he wasn't admiring the beautiful scenery. He remembered that the system reminded him that monsters would appear at night. Before he was sure what monsters would appear. It was best to hide in the base. Lu Chen started to pack up the things on the ground. After packing everything up. The sun just disappeared under the sea level. After entering the base. Lu Chen stored his things. But the base was too poor. And there was nothing except a wooden box. Looks like we need to get a bed. A bed is a necessity. You can't sleep directly on the ground now. Although the seaside here is a base. The ground is cold and damp. If you lie here and sleep for a night. Who knows if you will be able to survive when you wake up tomorrow morning. After opening the synthesis interface. If the bed is to be built. It requires 20 wooden planks. 5 palm leaves. And 3 iron plates. Luchin has all these things. So he can just build it directly. Make it. Congratulations on getting a bed asterisk 1. Wood board 20. Palm leaves 5. Iron plate 3. A simple wooden bed appeared in front of him. And Lu Chen moved it to the corner. Fortunately, the bed was not big and did not take up too much space. Otherwise, I really don't know what else to put in this small space. Ouch! A howl of wolves suddenly sounded. Lu Chen subconsciously went over to lock the door. Then sat on the bed in fear. Picking up an epic hand axe in his hand just in case. Etc. This is a deserted island. Where did the wolf come from? Chapter 5 Mythical Pet Lightning is Cool. Wolf? Are you kidding? Is it possible that the seawater has faded? Luchin felt a little strange. He plucked up the courage to lie down at the window and looked out through the narrow window with one eye. However, he saw nothing. It's so dark outside that you can't see anything at all. There are no stars or moon in the sky. It may be that they haven't appeared yet. Or it may be that there are no such things in this world. Nothing at all? Luchin was surprised. But he clearly felt that there was something outside. But why didn't he see anything? Lu Chen did not light the torch because he felt that darkness might help him survive longer. Otherwise, once the fire appeared, the ocean would attract more monsters. Boom! There was a sudden loud noise at the door, which scared Lu Chen and turned his head to look at the door. Who? Almost subconsciously, Lu Chen shouted. But in the next second, he regretted it. How could he just say it casually when he didn't know what was outside? Wasn't this telling others that there was someone inside? This is silly. The moment Lu Chen spoke, the knocking on the door became more violent. And he could even hear the impact. Oops. Lu Chen's heart trembled. And he knew that a monster must have discovered him. So he started banging on the door crazily. Ouch. Another wolf howl came. And the footsteps outside the door became more frequent. It seemed that the wolf had attracted other companions. Warning. Warning. Monsters are invading. Please use torches to drive them away as soon as possible. Otherwise your life will be in danger if monsters rush in. Torch? Lu Chen then remembered that the torch had the function of driving away monsters. Then Lu Chen quickly took out the torch. The moment the torch was lit, it was like a small sun floating above the base, illuminating a 5x5 five five radius. Even the outside of the base was brightly lit. The moment the light source appeared, Lu Chen saw the appearance of the monster through the light. It turned out to be a monster with a sharp body, a hungry wolf head and human limbs. Hack! Wolf! Man! Shark! Lu Chen was completely shocked. He didn't expect that there were such strange creatures under the sky. The werewolf shark let out a scream the moment it was illuminated by the light source, and then hurriedly retreated into the darkness behind it. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen finally felt relieved. It seems that the torch is indeed useful. If I had known, it would have been lit earlier. The werewolf sharks finally retreated. But they did not leave. Instead, they wandered in the darkness. Lu Chen looked at the darkness and saw something seemed to be moving. And there were quite a few of them. It seemed that they were those werewolf sharks. I wonder if these monsters can be killed. Lu Chen held the hand axe in his hand. But in the end, he still didn't have the courage to rush over. Although he had the hand axe. It was still very difficult for Lu Chen to challenge those unknown creatures. So he had better wait until dawn. Lu Chen knew that these werewolf sharks would not only appear here. And everyone else must be going crazy now. Opening the chat box. He wanted to see if anyone dared to fight against the werewolf shark. Everyone. Guess what I saw. That thing is actually a wolf head. 
a shark body, and human limbs. This is a hacking werewolf shark. Fortunately, my torch worked and scared them all away. Boss, I'm hiding in the base and don't dare to say anything. Those things you mentioned are wandering around my house. How do I make a torch? Wait online. Brother, if you don't have a torch, don't make a sound and don't fart. Otherwise, you will die without any bones left. Brother, I suggest you make a torch tomorrow. The torch requires coal and wooden boards. The coal needs to be obtained by burning wooden boards in a furnace. I can only help you so far. You can take care of it yourself. Come to other brothers. Turn on the torch and twist it as you like. I'm dancing. But those guys can't seem to figure it out. I'm surrounded by the werewolf sharks you mentioned. And I'm not afraid. I even want to play a wild wolf disco for them to cheer them up. Brother, you are really powerful. This move of yours is not very harmful. But it is very insulting. Seeing the optimistic attitude of these people, Jung Yu also smiled. It seemed that most people could survive smoothly. The werewolf shark is really scary. Just because of its appearance. Nothing else. Because Lu Chen still doesn't know what other abilities this werewolf shark has. Lu Chen lay on the bed. Not thinking about the werewolf shark anymore. And then slowly closed his eyes. It was dawn when he opened his eyes. At this time. The sky had just dawned. And the sun had not yet risen. Lu Chen quickly stood up. And looked out the window. The werewolf sharks were heading towards the sea. At this time. There were only two or three still lingering on the shore. Also ready to leave. Do you want to hack me? Luchin picked up the hand axe and prepared to rush out. In the end, his reason defeated his impulse. Ding. Daily sign-in is enabled. Whether to start signing in. Sign in. It is necessary to do this job in person. Because signing in is the only way to get the magic outfit. Sign in successfully. Congratulations to the host for getting a mythical pet. Lightning cool asterisk one foot. What? What? What is lightning cool? Lu Chen only saw a sloth, the kind from Zootopia, appearing in front of him. The sloth was looking at Lu Chen with drooped eyelids. The corners of his mouth raised slightly, revealing a knowing smile. Not to mention, that smile actually had a healing feeling. What's the name of this thing? Lightning cool? System. Are you kidding me? This is just a hacking sloth. Is this a mythical pet? Lu Chen was completely confused. He never expected that the sign-in system would cause a trap for him the next day. This sloth has basically no use other than being a healer. Lu Chen was puzzled and walked out helplessly. He had to start his life today. Behind him, Ling Shuang followed Lu Chen out. His movements extremely slow and shocking. Lu Chen found a few tooth marks on the door of the base, which seemed to have been done by those werewolf sharks yesterday. He then put away the base and made two more mineral water bottles. Congratulations on getting water bottle asterisk too. Plastic 8. Fresh water is very important and must be produced and kept for emergencies. The seawater purifier was started again and began its work. Lu Chen went to the beach to fish while waiting for the supply box to appear. Lu Chen turned his head and looked at the sleeping sloth next to him. He suddenly felt that this thing didn't seem so rubbish. At least it should be a big meal. Lu Chen is not so kind. And he is not a holy mother. As long as it is not human or poisonous. He is willing to give it a try. The question is that he is on a deserted island and doesn't even have enough to eat. How can he care about so much? Just when Lu Chen was thinking about roasting the sloth and eating it, a wooden box floated in the distance. However, the wooden box was too far away from him and the rope was not long enough. Moreover, from the looks of it, the wooden box did not seem to be facing towards him. Coming to his side, Lu Chen actually found several wooden boxes that were too far away from him yesterday. He couldn't reach them so he could only watch them float away after class. Just when Lu Chen was feeling regretful, he seemed to see something flashing and suddenly rushed out towards the wooden box, leaving only traces of water behind him. And then, the flashing light appeared in front of him again. That was Lightning Chuang. And he was holding a wooden box in his hand. Lightning Chuang put the wooden box on the ground, then walked aside and fell asleep again, looking at what Lightning Chuang had just done. There was only one sentence in Lu Chen's mind that could describe it. After it was done, he walked away and hid his achievements and fame. Damn it! Lu Chen stepped forward and kissed the sloth. Congratulations. The intimacy between the player and the pet is plus 10. The sloth squealed happily and fell asleep again. This is a treasure. Lu Chen never expected that this lighting Shuang would have such magical skills to be able to walk on the sea and find resources for himself. With this divine help, 
He was like a heifer stepping on wires. It's awesome. At this time, Lu Chen didn't dare to think about roasting the sloth again. It was too late to pamper such a treasure. So how could he eat it? If he really ate it, wouldn't it be a big joke? Lu Chen opened the box with a smile. Congratulations. You got wooden board plus six. Glass plus three. Apple plus five. Mineral water plus two. Apple. It turned out to be an apple. Lu Chen picked up the apple and looked around. And at this moment, Lightning Shuang came over. Chapter 6 Lightning is really cool. Lu Chen looked at the lightning and looked at the apple in his hand. Then asked, Do you want to eat this? After asking, Lu Chen felt that he was a fool for actually asking an animal a question. But it didn't understand. Who knew that Lightning Shuang would actually understand hope and nod? Lu Chen immediately handed the apple to Ling Shuang. Apple 1. I saw Ling Shuang holding the apple and smelling it first. And then started eating it in big gulps. Soon, only an apple beard was left in each apple. Hey, I really didn't expect you to like eating this. Okay, I'll give you a few more apples. Then Lu Chen gave all the apples to Ling Shuang. But Lightning Shuang just took an apple and stopped asking for it. Even if Lu Chen gave it to it, it didn't want it anymore. Instead, it walked aside and fell asleep again. Lu Chen felt that he might have a hunger point just like himself. Once the hunger point was full, he would no longer want the pet. Lu Chen didn't expect that his little pet was quite good. At least it wasn't greedy, and even left an apple for him. Maybe pets also have hunger points. But Lu Chen hasn't found the option of pets yet. Lightning is cool! Can you defeat the shark? This was an idea that Lu Chen suddenly came up with. With such a powerful speed, if he could defeat all the sharks, he would be truly invincible. After all, he was a mythical pet. So he should have some other skills. Lightning Shuang raised his head, and showed a strange smile to Lu Chen. Lu Chen thought he had guessed it right, and was about to get excited. Unexpectedly, Lightning Shuang actually smiled and shook his head. In an instant, Lu Chen's smile that had not yet had time to show hardened. I choked it back. Okay, it seems I'm overthinking it. Lu Chen felt that if a sloth could defeat a shark, then the world would be crazy. A white wooden box floated in the distance again. The lighting seemed to have its own radar scanner so there was no need to look at it. He stood up and grabbed the wooden box with a lightning dash and returned to Luchin again. Luchin was shocked again. The speed, the sprint distance, and the most important thing was the effect of the autonomous scanning radar. This guy was simply perfect. He didn't know what the furthest distance of this guy was. It might be different from his own. The visual distance is the same. I must try it next time I have the chance. But what surprised Luchin the most was the little guy's spirituality. It could actually understand his words. But it was a pity that it couldn't speak human words. Otherwise it would be able to chat with him on this desert island. Who says we can't chat? I can tell him. Ha ha. That's not bad. The sloth seemed to understand Lu Chen's words and actually turned his head. Lu Chen was speechless. The most important thing now is to open the box. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6. Glass asterisk 5. And instant noodles asterisk 2. Fortunately. There is food again. At least I won't die. Coincidentally, there was also movement from the fishing rod. And the circle turned green. Luchin picked up the fishing rod with a quick step. And it turned out to be a lively herring. Congratulations on getting herring asterisk one. This is breakfast. The herring breakfast is delicious. Little guy, take a good look at the supply box. I'm going to get breakfast first. The sloth didn't reply. But Luchin looked pretty at least when he was having breakfast. He didn't have to worry about missing the supply box. Oops. Having a pet means peace of mind. Although this little sloth is not as cute as cats and dogs, this little guy is of great use to Lu Chin and can save him a lot of worry. Lu Chin looks back from time to time, fearing that the little guy overslept and did not find the supply box. But what surprised him was that a supply box had appeared next to the little guy, which made Lu Chin very relieved. Next, he used the furnace to grill fish. This time, Luchin grilled three fish directly. In less than ten minutes, the three fish were already grilled. Congratulations on getting grilled fish asterisk three and coal asterisk ten. White carp three. Wooden board two. Now that the grilled fish is done, the next step is the noodles. Cooking noodles use two bottles of mineral water and a bag of instant noodles. Instant noodles one. Mineral water two. Wooden board one. Obtain mineral water bottles asterisk 2 and coal asterisk 5. Mineral water bottles can be decomposed. 
whether to decompose or not. Does not decompose. Lu Chen started using the seawater purifier when he got up in the morning and got a bottle of mineral water. Congratulations on getting mineral water asterisk one. Mineral water bottles cannot be decomposed. So you should keep them to continue collecting fresh water. And then exchange them for other materials. Now this survival game has just begun. And all food and fresh water resources are very small. So you must accumulate all resources now. Only in the later stages can we survive better. And more and more resources will be needed in the future. Not long after, the instant noodles were cooked and the grilled fish was finished. Lu Chen ate another bowl of noodles and a piece of grilled fish. And the remaining two grilled fish were directly linked to the trading system. The grilled fish you listed for sale has been sold. And 20 wooden boards have been obtained. The grilled fish you listed for sale has been sold. And 30 plastics have been obtained. Well, the grilled fish has just been put on the shelves and it was immediately sold out. Then, in the chat area, someone quickly sent a private message. Master, please give me some more food. I really don't have enough. I am the chairman of group. Give me a grilled fish and I will give you 10 million. Damn it. 10 million. Luchin wondered why this chairman was still alive. Is it stupid to still talk about chairman now? There were many people chatting privately. But Luchin didn't reply to other people's messages. He couldn't tell him how he could quickly fish. Otherwise, he would probably die if he was found to be cheating. Luchin put away the base. And when he turned around to look, he found that there were three more white wooden boxes beside the little slot. Although they are all white, the efficiency is perfect. Luchin stepped forward impatiently and praised the little slot. However, this did not increase the intimacy with the slot. It seemed that communication was useless. Although Luchin did not know what the use of increasing intimacy was, but he knew that the more of this thing, the better. Luchin opened the wooden box and got a lot of good things. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and mineral water asterisk 2. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and iron plates asterisk 3. Congratulations on getting wooden planks asterisk 6 and palm leaves asterisk 5. This is how a beautiful day started. Luchin then sat on the shore and started fishing again. The little sloth lay on the beach and enjoyed the sun. Luchin had nothing to do and opened the chat box. He wanted to see what good things would happen to these guys today. I beg God to teach me how to fish. Thank you. I haven't caught any fish since yesterday. I am the chairman of international group. I will give 100 million to anyone who can save me. I just saw someone selling grilled fish. I dare to ask who the master is. I'm asking for advice online. I want to worship the master as my teacher. I have seeds here. Can anyone tell me how I should plant them? Seed? Correct. Lu Chen suddenly remembered that he had given 30 seeds when he signed in yesterday. He had collected them all when he thought they were useless. He didn't even know what kind of seeds they were. It would be great if they could be planted. Regardless of whether they could be planted what. Try it first and then talk about it. Playing with flowers and plants can be regarded as a kind of leisure and entertainment project. Just do it. Lu Chen quickly opened the base and took out the seeds. Then he found a good place and took out the hand axe. However, the hand axe had little effect and only left a shallow mark on the ground. Isn't it possible? Even the epic hand axe can't dig a hole? Tip. Players can make shovels to dig soil. Hand axes are very ineffective in digging soil. And will even double their durability and drop. Luchin was surprised when he saw the prompt. He didn't expect that special tools would be required for digging. Opening the synthesis page. There is indeed a shovel. Shovel. Three wooden boards and one iron plate are required. Both are available. Manufacture. Congratulations on getting the shovel asterisk one. Wood board three. Iron plate one. Luchin put away the hand axe. Picked up the shovel and dug into the ground. The sand was easily dug up by Luchin. Congratulations on getting sand asterisk one. What? Can sand also be turned into material? Chapter seven building the wall. Seeing the sand back in his backpack made Luchin a little excited. He had never thought that sand could be used as a material. In this case, does it mean that the materials can not only be obtained from the wooden box, but also if the stones are dug out? With this idea in mind, Luchin looked at some stones in the distance. If the stones could be turned into stone, wouldn't he be able to make a city wall? And he wouldn't have to worry about monsters appearing at night? But for now, let's plant the seeds and see what they can turn into. If it's food, that would be best. If it's trees, that's not bad. At least we won't have to worry about the wooden boards. Although I don't have to worry about the wooden boards now. 
Lu Chen dug a total of three by three square meters of land and obtained nine sand. Lu found the seeds, placed them some distance apart, and then buried them in the sand again. Seed 12. Sand 9. Seeds will not grow for no reason. They also need water. Naturally, they cannot use sea water and need fresh water. It seems that his fresh water reserves are not enough. Now Luchin regrets selling the fresh water. Luchin still had 10 bottles of mineral water. And then he started watering them. A bottle of mineral water was poured down. And soon the sand absorbed all the water. Isn't it? This bottle doesn't feel moist at all? Luchin flinched a little. After all, fresh water is limited now. Although there is a water purifier. If the fresh water runs out, he will not even have anything to drink. If you think about it carefully, if these seeds can bear fruit, the water will be worth it. Lu Chen's heart skipped a beat. Fight 1. Mineral Water 9. All nine bottles of mineral water were poured down, and Lu Chen's heart was bleeding. Fortunately, these nine bottles of water have made the sand moist. And Lu Chen finally saw hope. Everything is done here. Now it's time to get the rocks. Looking at the several big rocks in front of him, Lu Chen thought again. Previously, shovels were needed to dig the soil. But now the rock should be used as mining picks. Lu Chen didn't hesitate and directly opened the synthesis interface. Iron or pickaxe. Wooden board asterisk 3. Iron plate asterisk 1. Make it. Congratulations on getting the iron or pickaxe asterisk 1. Wood board 3. Iron plate 1. Iron or pickaxe. Can be used to mine or resources. Lu Chen picked up the mining pick and smashed the stone in front of him. This time, the stone was not easily broken into pieces but it was smashed into a gap. Seeing this, Lu Chen smiled with satisfaction. Okay, as expected of a mining pickaxe, I'll smash it. Dang, dang, dang. Lu Chen started mining again. And after five strokes, the stone in front of him was finally reduced to debris. Congratulations on getting stones asterisk 10. Oh, it was a stone. It was a good deal. Lu Chen looked at the other stones and chopped them into pieces one after another. Congratulations on getting stones asterisk 10. Congratulations on getting stones asterisk 10. Congratulations on getting stones asterisk 10. Finally, with Lu Chen's efforts, 60 stones were obtained. Looking at his harvest, Lu Chen also smiled with satisfaction. After looking at my physical strength, I actually lost three chicken legs. It seems that smashing rocks is a bit physically demanding. But it is worth it. The next step is to make the city wall. Just when Lu Chen was about to leave to build the city wall, he discovered that there was a stone underneath the dug stone. It turned out to be a black stone. Black stone? What is this? Lu Chen squatted down curiously and touched it. Iron stone? Could it be iron ore? Lu Chen was surprised this time. He didn't expect that he would make an unexpected discovery. If it was really iron ore, he would be rich. He remembered that iron ore could be made into iron plates. If he had iron plates, he could make some. Although iron tools now have iron plates, the number of iron plates is not large. If you can get more iron plates, they will always be much stronger than with products. Luchin picked up the iron or pickaxe and smashed it. This time, the smashing time was obviously longer than that of ordinary rocks. It took at least 10 hits before the stone in front of him finally broke into pieces. However, the loot was quite a lot. He actually got 10 iron ores. Congratulations on getting iron or asterisk 10. Now Luchin understands a little bit. This may be the mechanism of the game. Mining or will obtain 10 materials. However, the harder the stone, the more difficult it will be to mine. However, Luchin also saw steel or in the synthesis interface. If you are mining stones with a steel or draft, the speed may be increased. Now that I happen to have a steel plate, I might as well give it a try. Luchin opened the synthesis interface. Steel or pickaxe. Wooden board asterisk 3. Steel plate asterisk 1. Synthesis. Congratulations on getting the steel mine pickaxe asterisk 1. Wood board 3. Steel plate 1. Looking at the steel mining pick in his hand. Lu Chen then smashed the stone below. As a result, I only hit it twice this time. And the stone shattered. Congratulations on getting stones asterisk 10. Looking at the broken stone. Lu Chen was overjoyed. Now he knew exactly what to do next. Mining the ore to obtain stones or other ores and the speed depended entirely on the weapon in his hand. The so-called desire for work. To do something well, you must first sharpen your tools. This is the truth. But it was a pity that Lu Chen did not find more iron ore, and there were no stones below. 
it seemed that the mineral resources on this island were very limited. So Luchin had no choice but to turn around and leave. Luchin returned to the little sloth. This guy gave Luchin two more wooden boxes, one of which was green. This was a very good result. Open white wooden box. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6, mineral water asterisk 3, and bread asterisk 2. Good guy. This is a pure grain box. Luchin was very happy. Now he has four pieces of bread. It seems that he can eat one piece of bread in a while. Open the green wooden box. Congratulations on obtaining wooden boards asterisk 6. Stones asterisk 10. Glass asterisk 3. Iron plates asterisk 1. Steel plates asterisk 1. And apples asterisk 2. The green wooden box has never disappointed. And the resources provided are still so many and so good. Luchin saw that he now had a lot of stones. And it was time to start building the city wall. Open the building page. A city wall is 3 times 5 in area and requires 10 stones. Luchin calculated it and found that his island is now 10 by 10. He now has 100 stones. And the length of each city wall is 5. After all the stones are built, the maximum length is 50, which can only cover half of the island. If this doesn't work, then he can only narrow the scope. The seeds he just planted cannot be discarded outside. And he must leave space for the base. After calculating this, he needs to measure it carefully. Then Luchin started measuring. Everything was completed. The distance was drawn. And now construction began. Stone 10. Making a city wall is very simple. Just click build and set the location. And the city wall will automatically appear. And the moment the city wall appears, the words upgrade and dismantle will appear above it. Upgrade. Buzz. Upgrading the city wall requires iron or asterisk 10. Do you want to upgrade it? It turns out that iron ore is needed. So it's better not to upgrade for the time being. You can only upgrade it when you get all the iron ore. The city wall can still be selected at the corners. And the construction system is still very user friendly. Soon, Lu Chen city wall was completed. Stone 90. Two days into survival. A small castle appeared on a small island. Which was quite a feat. Lu Chen left a two meter wide door. This is a must. Otherwise, how can one get in or out without a door? Normally, he could leave his little castle during the day and come back to rest at night. With a torch at the door. It was a pleasure. The seawater purifier is still working continuously and has filled five water bottles. Now Luchin is finally relieved that he still has enough fresh water. Another white wooden box appeared next to Lightning Shuang. Luchin praised Lightning for his ability and then gave him an apple. Congratulations. Pet Intimacy Plus 10. Open the wooden box. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 6 and carp asterisk 2. Not bad. Today's income is still very considerable. At least I have all the food. Lu Chen looked up and looked into the distance because he found something wandering in the sea. It's a shark. Yes, it's a shark. Lots of them. At least ten. Why are there so many sharks? Lu Chen turned his head and looked at the sleeping lightning shuang. Could it be that this guy was the one who caused this? Because he was too fast and made the shark angry? Chapter 8. Shark dies and becomes a rich man. Lu Chen did not leave, but took out the furnace on the spot and started making grilled fish. He wanted to see if Lightning Schwann's rush out would trigger a shark chase when a wooden box came over. If these dozen a shark really started to chase. Which means that these sharks were really attracted by lightning. Wood board 2. Carp 3. Not long after, a wooden box floated over from a distance. Lightning Schwann stood up immediately. Luchin put down the grilled fish and started to watch. A bolt of lightning rushed past and passed through the group of sharks. All the sharks jumped up and attacked Lightning Shuang. But Lightning Shuang was so fast that the sharks couldn't catch up with him. Two lightning flashes. Lightning Shuang has returned to the shore with the wooden box. Lu Chen was convinced now. Those sharks were all attracted by lightning. It seems that although this pet is good, it also has the side effect of attracting sharks. At this moment, Lu Chen was surprised to find that the group of sharks did not let him go just because Ling Shuang had landed on the beach. Those guys actually chased him towards the shore. Heck! No! Now we are chasing him. No matter what hatred or grudges we have at this time. There were more than a dozen sharks there. Lu Chen looked at those guys and casually took out the hand axe he was holding behind him. And also took out the pistol. Double insurance. So as to ensure that everything was safe. A shark stupidly jumped onto the shore and bit Ling Shuang. However, the lightning flashed and Ling Shuang avoided it. Immediately afterwards, all the remaining sharks jumped out. 
the ferocious group of sharks fell from the sky and all fell on the beach. This scene had a sense of sight like great white sharks. But fortunately, these were normal sharks, and they would not be there. Walking on land, one by one flapped their tails and wanted to jump back into the water. However, they may have underestimated the power of the beach and Lu Chen's power. The beach is not something you want to come to. You can come here whenever you want. This time, I will let you separate and become my dish. This wave of operations left Lu Chen a little confused. But no matter what, Lu Chen prepared his axe, walked around behind a shark, and slashed at the shark with an axe. Puff! Boom! Then, the moment the hand axe struck, the entire shark exploded like a balloon, dropping materials all over the floor. Damn it! This is amazing! This is something Lu Chen didn't expect. He never thought that these sharks would explode and drop resources all over the place. He originally thought he could have a big meal, but now it seems that he's thinking too much. This shark is just like the golden carp. It is a material box. And it is a very rich material box. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 6. Glass asterisk 3. Iron plate asterisk 5. Steel plate asterisk 3. Rope asterisk 3. Palm leaves asterisk 5. Carp asterisk 3. Looking at these generous rewards, Lu Chen couldn't help but laugh. It seemed that he was very lucky. He actually encountered a mass suicide incident of sharks. If he did it a few more times, he would definitely have more materials. There were still 12 sharks left that had not been opened. Lu Chen didn't want to let them go just like that, since he brought them to his door. Don't blame himself for being cruel. The epic hand axe is still very powerful, and the shark can do it one by one. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 6. Glass asterisk 3. Wooden board asterisk 10. Rope asterisk 3. Bread asterisk 2. Mineral water asterisk 5. Carp asterisk 2. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 6. Water rune asterisk 1. Fire rune asterisk 1. What? The runes? And there were two of them. Actually exploded out like this. I'm sorry. This is a treasure for repairing the base. I didn't expect to get it now. This is only the second day. Isn't it a little too fast? No. This must be a dream. Lu Chen took out the two runes in disbelief. Looking at the runes in front of him, Lu Chen shouted excitedly. At this moment, a shark slapped its tail, turned around, and faced Lu Chen. Bite down. Ouch. Lu Chen quickly dodged away and was not bitten by the shark. He casually struck it with an axe. Lu Chen quickly put away the items. Warning. The remaining space in the backpack is less than 5%. Please organize the backpack as soon as possible. Oh! The backpack space issued a warning. But it's okay. If you don't collect these things, you should deal with the sharks first. Otherwise, once these guys get angry, they will be finished. Then, Lu Chen killed all the remaining sharks with a few axes. Then, he opened the synthesis interface and wanted to upgrade his backpack quickly so that he could hold more things. Upgrading the backpack requires three palm leaves and one shark skin, which are very cheap. Upgrade. Congratulations on obtaining the LV2 backpack. The backpack space has been expanded by 50%. It's only an increase of 50%, which is really stingy. And it's comparable to that of a certain goose factory. The backpack has been upgraded. There is no change in the entire backpack. But the color of the backpack has changed, and it has become green quality. Lu Chen hurriedly looked at how many materials were needed for the next level. Backpack level 3 requires palm leaves asterisk 30, shark skin asterisk 10, iron plate asterisk 5, and rope asterisk 10. The materials have increased, and the quantity has increased tenfold. But it doesn't matter. There are still a lot of materials on the ground that have not been picked up. Let's see if those materials can be used to improve the backpack. In the end, Lu Chen picked up all the items dropped by the sharks. This count was really quite a lot. Shark skin asterisk 78. Glass asterisk 30 asterisk palm leaves asterisk 50. Steel plate asterisk 20. Iron plate asterisk 35. Wooden board asterisk 50. Stone asterisk 30. Plastic asterisk 20. Rope asterisk 25. Mineral water asterisk 12. Bread asterisk 10. Instant noodles asterisk 10. Water rune asterisk 1. Fire rune asterisk 1. Carp asterisk 36. Overall, this wave has made a lot of money. After this wave, the backpack was almost full again. Lu Chen went back to the base to call it out, but then clicked on the upgrade interface. Now the base god level button was green, indicating that it could be repaired. What are you waiting for? 
Repair. Apocalypse Fragment 1. Water Rune 1. Fire Rune 1. I saw a burst of white light in the base in front of me. And the white light enveloped it. The next step was to wait for the upgrade to be successful. The time was 10 minutes. Luchin stood at the door and just looked at it. He wanted to see how his base had been repaired. What will it look like? Will it become a two-story building? If that's the case, then I don't know if my yard is enough. Lu Chen's excited heart and trembling hands watched as the progress bar in front of him gradually reached 100%. Congratulations. The base repair is completed and you have obtained the base, normal. The white light disappeared. And what appeared in front of Lu Chen's eyes was the black base without any changes at all. Lu Chen was stunned. Why? Why is there no change? What is going on? Lu Chen discovered that only the cracks on the base had been repaired. And there were no other changes. Could it be that this repair was all? Lu Chen didn't believe it. So he pushed the door open. But the scene in front of him completely shocked him. The room was still the same. With a bed and a wooden box. Without any changes. Sure enough. It is true to that sentence. The greater the expectations, the greater the disappointment. Lu Chen completely gave up hope. He didn't expect that the repair would only be like this. But forget it. At least the repair was completed. So he could improve. Lu Chen looked at the upgrade interface. Sure enough, the repair button of the base was gone and replaced by an upgrade button. However, there were more items required for upgrade. Base upgrade, fragments of Apocalypse Asterisk 2. Water Rune Asterisk 2. Fire Rune Asterisk 2. Gold Rune Asterisk 2. Wood Rune Asterisk 2. Earth Rune Asterisk 2. Good guy! You have arranged the metal. Wood, water, fire, and earth for me. This is too much. Are you going to refine the five elements palace for me? Lu Chen complained. And then started to sort out his things. Now Lu Chen still has a lot of things. Shark skin asterisk 77. Palm leaves asterisk 55. Plastic asterisk 82. Glass asterisk 46. Stone asterisk 30. Coal asterisk 38. Iron ore asterisk 10. Wooden board asterisk 159. Iron plate asterisk 49. Steel plate asterisk 24. Rope asterisk 32. Seeds asterisk 8. Pistol asterisk 1. Bullets asterisk 10 and a lot of rich food. It is not an exaggeration to describe Luchin now as a wealthy person. As long as there are no emergencies. There is no problem that he can last at least 7 or 8 days. With so many materials. Luchin upgraded his backpack again. Congratulations on getting backpack LV3. Palm leaves 30. Shark skin 10. Iron plate 5. Rope 10. The third level backpack has 100% more space than the second level backpack. Which is enough space for Lu Chen to use. Then, Lu Chen suddenly had an idea. Should he build a boat and go to sea? Now that he has this epic hand axe. He can kill a kid with one blow without any problem. Yes. Go to sea. The world is so big. I want to see it. Chapter 9 Going to Sea and setting foot on an unknown island. The manufacture of a ship requires wooden planks asterisk 50. Rope asterisk 10. And iron plates asterisk 5. Make it. Congratulations on getting the navigation wooden boat asterisk 1. Navigation wooden boat. This is an ordinary wooden boat 3 meters long and 1.5 meters wide. There is a paddle on each side of the boat. There is a precision radar on the bow. Which can be used for positioning. You can also use the radar to return to your own island to prevent yourself from getting lost. Of course, this is just the simplest wooden boat. The boat can also be upgraded. When Lu Chen built the wooden boat, the word upgrade was written on it. Lu Chen clicked the upgrade without hesitation. Upgrading wooden boats requires wooden planks asterisk 200, rope asterisk 40, iron plates asterisk 20, and steel plates asterisk 10. Insufficient materials cannot be upgraded. Unable to upgrade, Lu Chen could only give up. Lu Chen was already very satisfied. At least this thing had a radar, and he could still find his own island. If he couldn't come back from a trip to the sea, it would be a huge loss. But it's pretty good now. At least he has a boat now. But for now, let's get the food ready first. I don't know how long it will take to come back after going to sea. Food and water are necessary items. Only with abundant supplies can I come back alive. He had enough supplies and then packed up the things on the island. The base must be packed away to prevent someone from stealing the base. And the seeds that have been planted cannot be taken away. But it doesn't matter. Luchin doesn't knowing what these seeds can do. Let them grow first. After everything was packed up, 
Lu Chen had a hearty meal to recover the four chicken legs he had lost. And then got up. He was about to embark on this sailing journey. Lu Chen knew that he had to come back before dark. Because he still didn't know what things would appear in the sea at night. If he encountered any danger at night. He would definitely die even if he had an epic hand axe. Because it was on the sea. Of course. Lu Chen wouldn't be afraid of sharks. Because now it was nothing to cut him with his hand axe. Lu Chen looked up at the sky. The sun was directly above his head. The time now should be 12 noon. Lu Chen calculated that starting from the moment it appeared. The sun here would reach directly above his head in 6 hours. Then in other words. The sun will set in 6 hours. Which means he has 6 hours to stay at sea. So he must return within 6 hours. Lightning is cool. It's time for us to go to sea. Lightning Shuang seemed to understand Lu Chen's words. Stood up. And slowly walked onto the wooden boat. Lu Chen was confused. Why was this guy so fast when he was looking for the wooden box? And now he moves so slowly? Could it be that finding the wooden box has a skill bonus effect? So he is fast? Lu Chen felt that this must be the case. Pets must have skills. The first skill was to find wooden boxes. He didn't know what the other skills were. But they still needed to be discovered. Lu Chen pushed the wooden boat into the sea. Then jumped on board. Picked up the oar and started rowing. Looking at the island getting further away. Lu Chen felt a sense of dependence in his heart. After all. It was the place where he had lived for a day. And he left just like that. Sad ass. You'll be back in a minute. Lu Chen felt that he was so funny that he started to feel sad. There was a green wooden box floating on the sea in the distance. Lighting Shuang directly activated his skills and pulled it in front of Lu Chen. Unexpectedly, I encountered a green wooden box as soon as I came out. Judging from the drifting trajectory of this wooden box, it should not be heading towards my own island. So if it were on the island, I am afraid this green wooden box would not reach my own island. In his hands, Lu Chen should have intercepted it midway now. So it is still beneficial to go to sea. Open the wooden box. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6. Glass asterisk 5. Iron plates asterisk 3. And bread asterisk 2. Fortunately, the supplies were very good. And there were actually two loaves of bread. Lu Chen had just eaten a bag of instant noodles and a loaf of bread during his previous big meal. And now he is made up for it. The harvest was good. But Lu Chen still wanted to move forward. A white wooden box appeared in front of him. And Lightning Shuang harvested it back with lightning speed. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and apples asterisk 3. This apple supply box came very timely. I just ate an apple earlier. And now I have made up for it. Lu Chen fed Ling Shuang an apple. Congratulations on pet intimacy plus 10. Apple 1. Lu Chen was very satisfied. In fact, before going to sea, Lu Chen was still thinking about whether he should go to sea. Now it seems that going to sea is very necessary. At this moment, a shark swam towards their ship. Seeing this, Lu Chen quickly picked up his axe and became vigilant. Now he must always be careful of these sharks and never attack his ship. Otherwise he will be killed. Ruined. However, what surprised Lu Chen was that the shark just turned around and left without attacking him. No attack? Lu Chen felt very strange. After thinking about it, Lu Chen discovered that maybe this was also the setting of the game. If the shark attacked the wood, wouldn't all those floating wooden boxes be destroyed? Luchin felt that this must be the case. It was absolutely correct. From this point of view, his ship was still very safe. Continuing to move forward, several wooden boxes were found in front of him. And Lightning Shuang pulled them all back. These are ordinary white wooden boxes. The supplies are not too much. But they are not bad. In addition to 18 wooden boards, there are also 6 ropes and 3 steel plates. The income is not bad. It's strange. I haven't seen the island for so long. Lu Chen looked at the display on the radar and saw that he was already some distance away from the island. If he had to calculate it in terms of distance, he was already 10 miles away. Normally, he could see some islands from such a long distance. But why can't I see anything? Is this endless sea boundless? At this moment, Lu Chen saw the shadow of a mountain in front of him. Lu Chen immediately stood up and took a closer look. Looking at the outline of the mountain, it seemed that it was not small. Could it be that he had encountered a large island? Lu Chen sped up his movements because he found that the sun seemed to be approaching 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So he still had 3 hours. He had to return to his island within 3 hours after landing on the island. Otherwise you are likely to be trapped at sea. Finally, Lu Chen saw the island. It was a very huge island. 
crawling on the sea like a giant beast. It's such a big island. There must be good things on this island. Luchin sped up and soon reached the shore. Just in case, Luchin put the wooden boat into his base and then put the base away so that the boat would not be stolen. As witty as I am. With a two-point speed bonus from the boots, Lu Chen's movement speed is still acceptable. Warning. The player's attributes are too low and it will be dangerous to go to the island. Please build defensive equipment as much as possible. Lu Chen? Just when Lu was on the island, a red warning interface appeared in front of him. It seemed that there were dangerous creatures on the island. Build equipment? Lu Chen didn't seem to notice that he could also craft equipment because he fished out a boot. So he thought that all the equipment needed to be fished. Then Lu Chen opened the manufacturing page. And sure enough, he saw the equipment at the bottom of the synthesis interface. Column. Wow. It really does. The lowest level is the leather suit. And there are black iron. Silver. Gold. Diamond. Lapis lazuli and other equipment at the top. Lu Chen didn't look at the powerful equipment at the back because he couldn't make it at all. The leather suit requires shark skin to make. Now Lu Chen has 67 shark skins. So making a set of equipment is not a problem. Congratulations on getting the leather hat asterisk one. Shark skin 5. Leather hat. Defense plus 10. Life plus 10. A hat made of shark skin looks very stylish when worn. Congratulations on getting leather armor asterisk one. Shark skin 10. Leather armor. Defense plus 20. Life plus 20. Clothes made of shark skin are waterproof and can slip when flies stand on them. Congratulations on getting Leather Gloves Asterisk 1 Shark Skin 5 Leather Gloves Defense Plus 10 Life Plus 10 Skill Plus 5 The gloves made of shark skin look good, but they are a bit wrinkled. Congratulations on getting Leather Pants Asterisk 1 Shark Skin 10 Leather Pants Defense Plus 10 Life Plus 10 Be careful if you wear pants made of shark skin. They will bulge when you fart. Chapter 10 Escape from Luhan Island Luchin still had the shoes, so there was no need to make them. His equipment should be almost complete now. Finally, Luchin took that step. Discover Luhan Island. There are rich resources on the island. But be careful. If there are savages, you will die. Savage? This is so new. Can there still be savages here? It would actually be very good if you capture a few savages and go back to help you with your work. There was a jungle ahead. The sloth followed him. He saw the trees and climbed up. Yes, he climbed up. He is truly worthy of being a sloth. He feels closer to a tree than a relative. Luchin stepped forward, looked at the trees, and then chopped them down with an axe. Boom! The tree fell down. Yes, it fell down with a strike of an axe. It was as simple as that. Wow! The trees fell down and turned into wooden planks. Congratulations on getting the wooden plank asterisk 20. A tree has 20 planks. And if they were all cut down, it would probably cost several thousand. But Lu Chen is not that free. He is not very short of boards now. It is indeed an epic axe. Its wood cutting ability is incredible. After cutting down a tree, Lu Chen did not continue to be embarrassed, but continued to explore forward. The little sloth would not leave Lu Chen too far and would always follow behind. This may also be a pet mechanism. A lake appeared in front of him. Lu Chen didn't expect this. He actually found the lake here. Luchin still had an empty mineral water bottle. He took it out and took a bottle in the lake and took a sip. Agba! Why is it so painful? Luchin didn't expect that this person was actually bitter. It was so bitter in his mouth that it was difficult to swallow. Luchin finally gave up on the water resources here because there was really no way to drink them. But at this moment, he heard movement in the grass across the lake. Luchin immediately became alert. He switched the hand axe to his left hand, took out the pistol and held it. The pistols were loaded. And all ten bullets were loaded. Always alert. A white pheasant jumped out of the bushes. The pheasant came to the lake to drink cold water. He raised his head and saw Lu Chen. As their eyes met, Lu Chen had already salivated. After a while, he had a plate of salivary chicken. The white chicken seemed a little cross-eyed. And when it saw Lu Chen, it clucked. Puff! An egg was actually laid. Damn it! The thing you get is an egg! Lu Chen went crazy. He didn't expect to see eggs in this world. They were a good thing. It would also be nice to make poached eggs at home. Lu Chen hurriedly walked around the lake towards the egg. Now he only had eggs in his eyes, and nothing else. The white chicken seemed to be aware of the danger, 
and turned around and burrowed into the grass without even bothering with the egg. Lu Chen was too lazy to worry about so much. So he wanted to get the eggs first. Congratulations. You got egg asterisk one. The fertilized egg can hatch chicks. What the H, L. This thing is actually a fertilized egg. Can it still hatch? This is interesting. It seems that the hen just now is also pregnant. Which means there are roosters here. Yes. There must be other chickens. Thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't hold back the excitement in his heart. He directly pushed through the grass and chased after him. The little sloth couldn't help but follow closely behind. He didn't expect that his master liked to run so much. If you find a tree to sleep on, doesn't it smell good? Lu Chen had already seen the figure of the hen and followed closely behind him. Refusing to let go, the hen passed through the trees and disappeared again. Lu Chen also hurriedly followed. He would never let this hen go. As long as he got this guy back, he would be able to eat eggs every day from now on. However, the moment he opened the grass and was about to step forward with his left foot, the next moment, he was stunned. A dozen pairs of eyes behind the grass were staring at Lu Chen closely. They were all ordinary humans. Although they looked very similar to humans. But they all wear clothes made of ordinary grass leaves. Have black faces. And have chicken hair on their heads. It is obvious at a glance that they must be savages. But these savages are also they are all living. Some are drying clothes, although they are just leaves. But they are still clothes. Some are smashing rocks. And what is eating raw eggs, damn. What a waste. And the chicken was standing next to a female savage, looking at him with majestic eyes, as if to say, Come over if you have the ability. Are there really savages? Lu Chen was completely shocked. He didn't expect the system's warning to be true. Originally, Lu Chen thought there could be savages here. But now, he really believed it. The moment the two sides looked at each other, Lu Chen discovered that a savage had picked up the weapon on the ground. It was a stone spear. There was a very sharp stone tied to the top of the stick. It was probably so sharp that it could tear his own flesh apart. The skull is gone. There was a female savage on the other side who put down what she was holding and silently picked up her weapon. Lu Chen would be a fool if he didn't understand after seeing this. It seemed like these guys were preparing to hunt him. He he. I'm sorry to bother you. I made a mistake. Bye. The moment Lu Chen turned around, he heard those savages shouting loudly. Lu Chen picked up Lightning Shuang and ran away. He couldn't let Lightning Shuang stay and become a dish. This was his own super boost. The savage behind him ran through the grass and chased after him like crazy, shouting something that Lu Chen couldn't understand at all. Fortunately, Lu Chen's boots increased his movement speed by two points. So the savages didn't chase him. Lightning is so cool! Hurry up and activate your skills to take me away! Lu Chen shouted anxiously. But Ling Shuang still looked like he was dying and was completely indifferent. Whoosh! Just hearing the sound of breaking wind coming from behind. There was no need to think that the savages must have launched the attack. Lu Chen subconsciously shrank his neck and saw a stone spear flying directly above him. The thrill was evident. Are you serious? Stop chasing me. Otherwise I won't be polite. Boom. Lu Chen raised his pistol and fired a shot into the sky. Don't tell me that this shot was really effective. It made those savages stunned for 10 seconds. Lu Chen also smiled knowingly when he saw this. However, the next moment, all the savages rushed over again. Lu Chen could only continue to run away. Holy crap! Aren't you afraid of guns? Lu Chen did not shoot at the savages. Because they were a life after all. They were not like animals. But living people. Lu Chen really couldn't do such a thing as killing someone. By the way, torches! Torches can drive away monsters! Lu Chen quickly took out the torch. Call! The flames ignited, and Lu Chen stood on the spot holding a torch like a torch bearer. When the savages behind saw the scene, they froze in place as if they were seeing gods. Then they all knelt down and faced Lu Chen. He cowed out and worshipped. Lu Chen couldn't help but feel horrified. Unexpectedly, the torch restrained these savages. Without any time to think, Lu Chen directly planted the torch on the ground, turned around and fled quickly. However, the savages were still lying on the ground. Motionless, Lu Chen came to the shore, quickly took out the wooden boat, and prepared to leave. If those savages reacted, they would definitely come after him again. At this time, Lightning Shuang sprinted and brought a green wooden box in front of Lu Chen. Oh! Lightning is so cool! What time has it been? Don't get rid of this wooden box yet. He said no, but Lu Chen's hands betrayed him. 
Congratulations on obtaining wooden planks asterisk 6 and blueprint, simple engine asterisk 1. Lu Chen? What the H? L is a simple engine. Lu Chen didn't think much and put away the things first. It would be better to leave the island now. After packing up, Lu Chen and Ling Shuang got on the boat and quickly headed towards their island. The island behind him turned into the size of a watermelon. Lu Chen didn't notice the savages chasing them out. It seemed they were attracted by the torches. Ah, oh, it's really thrilling. It scared me to death. But I didn't expect that there were savages on this island. No. I have to record it and come back next time. Lu Chen recorded the location of the island through radar and waited for the next time he came back fully armed. Next time, he must tame all the savages and make them his eagle dogs. No. His subordinates. Chapter 11. Sign in and get an epic level. Lu Chen sat and rode the boat quickly. However, he saw that the sun in the sky had already reached the 5 o'clock position. If this continued, he might not have enough time. By the way, I remember there was a simple engine. Lu Chen remembered what he had just driven. There was a drawing of a simple engine. He didn't know if it had any function. Then Lu Chen Gui hurriedly opened his backpack and took out the drawings. Simple engine. Production requires 20 iron plates and 10 steel plates. This is really a simple engine. Is this all you need? Make it. Congratulations on getting the simple engine asterisk 1. Iron plate 20. Steel plate 10. Simple engine. It can be placed on the hull to speed up sailing. And it relies on seawater as energy. It is simple and convenient. Wow! When he saw the introduction, Luchin almost jumped up. This was simply a divine help. This was what he was missing now. Unexpectedly, this thing came. It was so good. After taking out the simple engine, Luchin saw the installation instructions on the back of the wooden boat and then started the installation. Congratulations on successful installation. Luchin looked excitedly at the engine in front of him. There were two buttons on it, one red and one green. Lu Chen directly pressed the green button and heard the sound of the engine. Then the entire wooden boat immediately accelerated and flew forward at a speed that was beyond the reach of a manual transmission. Standing on the boat, Lu Chen used wood pulp as a steering wheel to steer the ship forward. Ah ha 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 ha! It feels so good! So good! Lu Chen couldn't help shouting crazily, but he still slept peacefully while wearing the lightning cooler. Lightning is so refreshing! Get up and take a look at the scenery! It's so refreshing. Don't waste your great youth. Sleeping is boring. However, Lightning Shuang didn't care about it at all and continued to sleep. According to the sailing speed, Lu Chen will be able to reach his island soon. It seems that if he comes out tomorrow morning, he should be able to stay on the island for a while. But he still needs to prepare everything. Otherwise he will be trapped again. It would be miserable if the natives chased and beat them. Soon, in less than 20 minutes. Luchin overturned his own island. The island does not change at all. It is still the same as when I left. Luchin tightened the ship's base. This ship was now his superpower. He couldn't lose it or destroy it. Otherwise he would be doomed. It was getting close to dark. And no supply boxes had appeared. Luchin made several torches and stuck them at the entrance of the wall to prevent monsters from entering. He released the base and brought lightning Shuang in. And the sky gradually dimmed. Walking into the base. Lu Chen started making dinner. Lightning Shuang was eating apples as usual. After eating two, Lightning Shuang suddenly stood up. His eyes widened. And he seemed to be very energetic. What's wrong? Do you start to feel energetic at night? Lu Chen wondered if this guy got more energetic as night went on. This setting was a bit too much. He was a night owl. Wasn't he? There was a rustle outside. And Lu could feel that a monster was already wandering nearby. Lu Chen was very surprised. Where did these monsters come from? The bottom of the sea? Could it be that there is an Atlantis under the sea? Luchin smiled. Then took out the furnace and started grilling fish. Wood board 2. Fish 3. Get charcoal asterisk 10. Luchin made 3 pieces of grilled fish. He had a lot of grilled fish. He ate one and sold the other two to exchange for some ingredients or other things. At this stage, only the food is probably the most attractive. Then he made another bowl of noodles and ate it with relish. Instant noodles 1. Mineral water 2. Wooden board 1. Get charcoal asterisk 5. While Luchin was eating, he opened the chat box and sent his own message. Grilled fish chat to exchange materials or drawings. Some MMM. Wow. The boss is out again. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Are there only two? Please give me more. 
It's not enough. I have a drawing. Drawing, wooden table. Master, can you take a look at it? I do have some materials. 20 wooden boards and 10 glass. How about that? I still have to eat. I am the chairman of group. Give me two grilled fish, and I will give you 100 million. Damn it. Uncle, why is this guy still alive? His vitality is quite strong. Luchin looked at the drawing and shook his head helplessly. He was not interested in the table. Now that there is an extra ship in the base, others have been released. By the way, we can get some rocks tomorrow and expand the place a little bit. It is imperative to expand the area. The city wall is not large now because of limited materials. And we also want to test whether the city wall can isolate monsters. Now it seems that there is no problem. The rustling outside continued. And Lu Chen didn't pay attention to it. At this time, someone sent someone's private message. Master, I have a blueprint here. The blueprint, it's an ordinary bow and arrow. This one is okay. Can I have some food instead and a few more fish? The drawings of bows and arrows are a good thing. There are no synthesis drawings of weapons in the synthesis. It seems that all weapons need to find drawings to synthesize. With bows and arrows, you can attack from a long distance. Although there is a pistol. Now there are only 9 rounds of ammunition. Which is not enough. Maximum 5 items. Change or not. Master, please give me more. Do you think this thing is easy to get? It's so simple. I don't have much. I can just change it. If I don't, forget it. Change. The other party reciprocated decisively. Then Luchin immediately placed five fish on the trading interface. Three of which were raw. Master, why is it not roasted? I can't eat it like this. That's the only thing. There are monsters out there. So you can't do it. Just get up and do it yourself tomorrow and it'll be fine. Okay. Thank you. God. Then the other party directly exchanged five fish. Luchin also brought over the bow and arrow drawings. To make a bow and arrow, you need five wooden boards and two ropes. It is the simplest bow and arrow. Make it. Congratulations on getting bow asterisk one. Arrow asterisk ten. Comes with ten feather arrows. Although there are only ten rounds. It is enough. Because bows and arrows can be recycled. Unlike bullets. Which are gone after use. In the future. You can only look for blueprints to make arrows. He had bows and arrows. But Luchin felt it was still not enough. He didn't know that the savages could not help but shoot. It would be bad if they couldn't help but shoot. Lightning Shuang was standing at the door. Staring at the door. He seemed to have discovered the monster. It seemed that this guy wanted to compete with the monster. If there was no door in front of him. He was afraid that this guy would rush out and do it. The monster is gone. Luchin ignored him and fell asleep on the bed. Early in the morning, it was dawn, and lightning fell asleep again. Luchin couldn't help but smile. This guy really confused black and white. Ding! Daily sign-in is enabled. Whether to sign in or not. Sign in! Luchin had been waiting for this moment for a long time. And finally he came. Sign in successfully, and get an epic mining pick asterisk 1. Stone asterisk 100. Wooden board asterisk 50. Glass asterisk 10. Rope asterisk 10. Bullet asterisk 20. Blueprint door asterisk 1. Blueprint table asterisk 1. Blueprint fireplace asterisk 1. Mineral water asterisk 20. Bread asterisk 10. Instant noodles asterisk 10 foot. Lu Chen immediately covered his mouth. The sign in benefits were getting more and more exciting. On the third day, he was given so many benefits. An epic mining pickaxe. Lu Chen took it out and put it away from his waist. Now two epic tools. Plus 29 rounds of ammunition. It's the perfect weapon. Now Luchin really wants to sing a song. How lonely it is to be invincible. Chapter 12 Return to Luhan Island. Walking out of the base. Luchin saw that the sun had just risen. And now was the best time. Just then. The rustling sounded again. Luchin turned his head. And saw a werewolf shark Jing actually in the corner of the city wall. Squatting at the base of the wall. And digging a hole hard. Damn it. The appearance of the werewolf shark startled Luchin who immediately took the hand axe in his hand. The moment Lightning Shuang saw the werewolf shark, his fangs actually came out. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen was a little confused. Could it be that this guy is still a carnivore? Just when he thought of this, Ling Shuang turned into a bolt of lightning and rushed towards him. Lightning crash. Squeak. 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 A rat scream came from the mouth of the werewolf shark. And then, the werewolf shark suddenly self-destructed on the spot. 
and materials fell to the ground. Lu Chen was so shocked by this scene that his mouth widened. He had no idea that Lightning Shuang was so capable of hitting the werewolf shark to death. No! Werewolf sharks, like those sharks, can also drop equipment. This was something Lu Chen had thought about for a long time. However, because there were too many werewolf sharks, he did not go out to kill them because he saw that werewolf sharks were not easy to mess with after all. It looked like he was afraid that he would die inside. But why is this werewolf shark so easy to fight? Could it be because it is daytime? The werewolf shark during the day has no attack power and can only be slaughtered. If it is like this, he he he, Lu Chen suddenly had a bold idea. But he didn't know if it would succeed. Lu Chen stepped forward and collected the materials. Congratulations on obtaining wooden board asterisk 5. Shark skin asterisk 10. Blueprint shark saw asterisk 1. Lapis lazuli asterisk 1. Aquamarine asterisk 1. Soil asterisk 10. There is actually a blueprint and some materials that I have never seen before. This time it is a bumper harvest. Etc. How did this guy get in? Lu Chen then remembered a serious question. There was no damage around his base. But where did he come in? Could it be from the sky? Lu Chen's mind was already racing. And he ran outside the wall and searched around. Sure enough, he saw a lot of footprints under the wall. It was very messy. It seemed that many werewolf sharks had gathered here. According to visual inspection, the werewolf shark is about 2 meters high. If you step on it, you can still get in. The werewolf shark can actually fight against Arhut. It's terrifying to think about it. These guys will also evolve. Right. Thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't help but shudder. What if these guys mutate and are no longer afraid of being exposed? Lu Chen really couldn't imagine that if that time came, there might be no living people in this world. Lu Chen took a deep breath, stopped thinking about it, and then started to pack up. He still had to go to sea today. And the benefits from going to sea were still very high. Although he had bows and arrows today, Lu Chen did not intend to have any friction with the natives. After all, the indigenous people are numerous and might not be able to do it alone. As soon as Lu Chen put the base away, he saw behind him that the plants he planted yesterday had grown to over a person's height. And they actually looked like sugar cane. Good guy. This maturity is too fast. Isn't it? Is this already mature? Lu Chen walked in, touched his hand, and a blue screen appeared in front of him. Universal seeds. Growing. Best not to touch to avoid withering. Moisture 50%. What kind of thing is the universal seed? Can you get whatever you want? Lu Chen smiled faintly and didn't think much about it. He would wait until he matured before talking. The moisture content had reached 50%. Just in case, Lu Chen immediately took out the mineral water and started watering it. Mineral water 5. Lu Chen remembered a drawing of a door. Door production requires 20 planks. Make it. Congratulations on getting the door asterisk 1. Lu Chen took out the door and gestured at the door of the city wall. After installation, it was installed directly and it fit very well. It seems that this thing was prepared for the city wall. Or the door can automatically adapt to the width of the city wall. The door has been installed. Recognize the owner, Lu Chen. No one can enter without the owner's permission. It's great now that it has a door. But it's a pity that there is no roof above the city wall. Otherwise it would be a very nice house. Then Lu Chen started preparing the food and resources he needed to go out. Fish 10. Wooden board 6. Instant noodles 1. Obtain grilled fish asterisk 10. Coal asterisk 30. Lu Chen has more and more coal. He wonders what else the coal can do besides making torches. During this period, Lightning Chuang dragged in two wooden boxes, both of which were white. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and iron plates asterisk 3. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and bread asterisk 2. Fortunately, the harvest was good. Lu Chen's chicken legs have been filled up. And the next step is to continue going to sea. My little motor, you will be next. Prepare to go to sea with me. Lu Chen pushed the wooden boat out and put away the base. Lightning Shuang had already jumped on the wooden boat. Lu Chen then sent the wooden boat to the sea, jumped on it, and ignited the engine. Chug tug tug. Wind, speed, electricity, and control. Lu Chen's wooden boat shuttled across the sea and headed towards yesterday's island. Lu Chen marked it so that he would not lose his way. Finally seeing a few wooden boxes, Lu Chen stopped. After a few sprints, he got three wooden boxes, one of which was green. Congratulations on getting wooden boards asterisk 6 and glass asterisk 3. 
Congratulations on getting six wooden boards and two steel plates. Congratulations on obtaining wooden boards asterisk six. Steel plates asterisk five. Iron plates asterisk five. Mineral water asterisk six. Ropes asterisk six. Palm leaves asterisk ten. Blueprint, chair. The harvest is really not small. Lu Chen is very grateful to Lightning Shuang. Without Lightning Shuang, he would never have gotten these things. Keep sailing and head forward equals. Not long after, Lu Chen finally went to the island and put away his things. This time, Lu Chen chose to walk on the other side. He didn't want to meet the natives again. And he didn't want to die so early. Although he knew it was dangerous to go to the island, he still had to fight for resources. There is a mountain ahead. And the mountain is full of rocks. Lu Chen directly took out the epic mining pickaxe he had just obtained. There is no label on this thing now. I don't know what material it is made of. But it definitely looks awesome. Come on! Epic! It's time to show off your power! When? Wow! When Luchin went down with the pickaxe, all the stones within a three meter radius were shattered, and stones were floating on the ground. Luchin was shocked. Was this a group attack? Congratulations on getting stones, asterisk 50. I go! One axe directly yields 50 stones. There are fewer stones here. If there are more, I am afraid that if this axe goes down, I will definitely get more. Luchin walked to the pile of rocks looked at the mining pick in his hand, and licked his lips. Let's go! Win! Wow! Congratulations on getting the stone asterisk 150. WTF. This time I really have to say shit. This mining pickaxe is simply invincible. It's indeed epic. It's a good thing. It's a pity that there are only stones here. It would be better if there were other ores. Luchin looked around. But the next moment, his whole body was trembling with fright, and his steps stopped moving. Two red eyes in the grass ahead stared at Luchin. He didn't know what kind of animal or indigenous people they were. In this strange environment, all creatures were dangerous. Except for Lightning Shuang. Wow! The grass shook. And red eyes shot out with blood red light. Rabbit. Lu Chen's anxious heart finally relaxed. It turned out to be a rabbit. It scared me to death. Ouch. Suddenly a huge figure appeared and swallowed the rabbit. Hack! Big brain axe? Chapter 13, Do You Want to Dance with Me? Chapter 13, Do You Want to Dance with Me? Lu Chen didn't expect that there was a tiger on this island. If this guy appeared, he would die. Roar! The tiger's roar frightened Lu Chen so much that he even forgot to draw his gun. The tiger stared at Lu Chen, revealing its sharp fangs. And the blood of the rabbit it had just eaten was dripping from the corner of its mouth. Lu Chen couldn't help but swallowed. And he slowly backed away. While the tiger stared at Lu Chen, and walked towards him step by step. As he walked, he growled in his mouth. The sound was very similar. Come here. Come here. Come into my mouth. Come on, baby. Lu Chen couldn't help but retreat with the mining pick in his hand, while the tiger pressed forward step by step. Finally, Lu Chen retreated to the stone wall. With no way to retreat, the tiger suddenly launched an attack and pounced towards Lu Chen. Ah! Lu Chen raised his mining pick and roared. Ouch! Just hearing a scream, the tiger flew backwards and fell to the ground. Wow! The tiger turned into material all over the place. Holy shit! What is going on? What's going on? Is it my mining pick? Luchin looked at his mining pick and then realized something was wrong. Just now, he clearly saw a bolt of lightning rushing out. And then the tiger turned into material. Is it you? Lightning Shuang. Only then did Luchin realize that it seemed that Lightning Shuang was responsible for killing the tiger. Is it possible that the cool lightning crash can kill a tiger? Lu Chen was completely stunned. He had no idea that Lightning Shuang had such ability. If that were the case, he would still be afraid of woolly natives and woolly beasts. So he could go on a rampage. Okay. Lu Chen stepped forward and collected the materials. Congratulations on getting tiger skin asterisk 10. Tiger meat asterisk 10. Wooden board asterisk 8. Iron plate asterisk 5. Carp asterisk 6. Unexpectedly. I also got tiger meat. Is this meat edible? Thinking of this. Lu Chen couldn't help but lick his lips. It would be great if he could really eat it. Lu Chen packed up his things and turned around and said. Ling Shuang. Now it's your performance time. Nice time. Lu Chen walked forward like a boss. Carrying the mining pickaxe. He wanted to try whether lightning cooler could really kill wild beasts. If that was the case then he would have to walk sideways on this island. A grizzly bear appeared in front of him. 
and Lu Chen pointed with his hand. It's so cool. Hack him. Whoosh. Snapped. Ouch. Wow. Congratulations on getting bare paws asterisk 6. Wooden planks asterisk 6. Palm leaves asterisk 10. Rope asterisk 6. Carp asterisk 6. Bear paw fish. Which great man said you can't have your cake and eat it too. Come out and I'll get it. Ha ha ha. I got it in a flash. After packing his things, Luchin felt completely confident this time. Now, he completely believed that Lightning Shuang was a cheat sent to him by God. Such a cheat was simply invincible. A hunting dog appeared ahead. Lightning is cool. Play with him. Whoosh. Wow. Congratulations on getting Hound's Teeth asterisk 6. Spores asterisk 6. Carp asterisk 3. A wild boar appeared ahead. Lightning is cool. Make it. Whoosh. Wow. Congratulations on getting wild boar asterisk 6. Plank asterisk 8. Rope asterisk 5. Iron plate asterisk 5. Lu Chen is completely crazy now. His plugin is too powerful. So he can kill until there is nothing left on the island. Pet loyalty is insufficient and war weary. Please increase loyalty. What? Increase loyalty? Does this mean there is no loyalty? Lu Chen quickly took out an apple and gave it to Ling Shuang. After eating the apple, Ling Shuang finally regained some energy. Apple 1. Pet intimacy plus 10. Loyalty plus 1. No way. This loyalty is only plus one point. Is there any mistake? Lu Chen gave Ling Chuang an apple again. Apple 1. Pet intimacy plus 10. Loyalty plus 1. Afterwards, Lu Chen gave Apple some more loyalty points and finally reached 5 points. And Ling Chuang also stood up. But Lu Chen didn't dare to let Ling Chuang fight anymore. If his loyalty was declining and he couldn't collect the wooden boxes, it would be more of a loss than a gain. Lu Chen felt that there must be ways to improve pet loyalty. But it was definitely not the only one. It seemed that there would be more ways to improve loyalty in the future. At this stage, it is estimated that no one else has pets except himself. So that's okay. In other words, the pet mechanism has not actually been turned on yet. I turned it on in advance. So there is no way to increase pet loyalty. It is indeed a game. But it seems that we have to move forward step by step. I must have arrived on this island so quickly because the producers did not expect it. Luchin chuckled, got up and walked forward. The island was very big. Luchin found that there was the sound of water in front of him. Like a waterfall. If there was a waterfall here, that would be great. He could also get some more fresh water. The sound of the waterfall was getting closer and closer. Luchin had already discovered the location of the waterfall. And his steps quickened. After passing through the dense forest, we finally came to the waterfall. However, Lu Chen unexpectedly discovered that under the waterfall, two indigenous people were taking a bath. And they were both women. Wow. No. This game is too outrageous. The natives can actually take a bath. And they do it so seriously. Are they rubbing the mud? Lu Chen didn't want to step forward to avoid being discovered by the natives and causing unnecessary trouble in the morning. But just when Lu Chen turned around and was about to leave, he heard the shouts of the indigenous people. Lu Chen looked back and saw a dozen natives appearing and rushing towards Lu Chen. Oh my god! Why are you here again? Without any time to think, Lu Chen picked up Lightning Shuang and ran away. What surprised Lu Chen was that the natives were not armed. They chased him to the beach, and they all passed by in unison, as if they were really welcoming some distinguished guests. Generally, what are these guys doing? Lu Chen was confused, completely confused, and couldn't understand it at all. Hoo ho ho! Ka ka ka! Cuckoo! Ta da da! The natives suddenly started dancing on the spot, leaving Lu Chen completely confused. What's going on? The dance before the attack was just for fun. Is it possible that you want to dance with me? Dancing is fine. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm also an amateur hip hop dancer. I once won the third place in the silver medal group in the amateur group of the children's street dance competition in our town. As he said this, Lu Chen also became interested. Since he couldn't run away for the time being, he would improvise for a while. The posture and steps were also very graceful and appropriate. Not to mention how graceful they were. The natives were stunned when they saw it. They looked at Lu Chen's dance in front of them and clapped their hands unconsciously. When Lu Chen finished his dance, all the natives burst into warm applause. Chapter 14. Capturing the Aboriginals. Lu Chen smiled and expressed his gratitude. And the natives knelt down again. What happened? Why did they kneel again? 
Lu Chen was confused and had no idea why these guys were kneeling down again. What can I do if I don't understand the language? Doesn't this game have a language system? Lu Chen was really going crazy, seeing that these natives didn't have any ill intentions towards him. Lu Chen couldn't understand what they said, and they couldn't understand what Lu Chen said. It was really worrying. Ah, uh, yes. Lu Chen remembered it. And then he started drawing on the beach. They should be able to understand the drawing. Sure enough, these natives clapped their hands and jumped with joy after seeing Lu Chen's paintings. Oh my god! I finally found something that can be translated. I didn't expect that drawing would be useful. Lu Chen's paintings are very simple. Asking what they want to do. The guys spin a torch and then knelt down to pray. I understand. If you want a torch, you should have told me earlier. Lu Chen had a torch. And he had a lot of coal. Which he couldn't use up. But wait. Something seemed wrong. What do they want torches for? By the way, they are primitive people. Primitive people don't have fire. And fire can drive away monsters. Those monsters will definitely come here. Yes. You want torches to drive away monsters. You should have told me earlier. Just as Luchin was about to get them a torch. Something suddenly occurred to him. Can I take them away and take them back to help me work? Although there is no work. It won't be so lonely if there are a few living people around. Thinking of this, Lu Chen really wanted to take them away. But what if they didn't come with him? What if they were taken away by force? It shouldn't be possible. So the only way is to use torches. Lu Chen lit the torch and held it in his hand. The next moment, all the natives knelt on the ground and began to count out. They were also mumbling something, which they couldn't understand anyway. It might just be some prayers. Lu Chen had an idea and walked forward with a torch. The natives actually followed him. Lu Chen was overjoyed. If he got on the ship, it would be a good idea to take one with him. Then Lu Chen actually called the base out. The moment the base appeared, all the natives knelt on the ground in excitement and cowed out vigorously. Lu Chen wondered. These guys didn't think of themselves as gods. Maybe they really did. Lu Chen snickered in his heart. These are just high tech. It seems that they are really indigenous. Lu Chen took out the boat, then put away the base and pushed the boat to the seaside. Lightning Shuang jumped on, and he was next. Then we waited to see if any natives came up. Sure enough, one of the natives really came over and got on the boat. Seeing the natives boarding the boat, Lu Chen didn't even bother to say anything. Just sailed away. There was a rumbling sound. And then, the wooden boat disappeared into the sea with lightning speed. The natives on the island were stunned when they saw this scene. And then, they realized that a companion had been taken away. The natives who were taken aboard by Lu Chen were also stunned. He lay motionless on the boat in fear. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen smiled happily. He finally had a human companion. Half an hour later, I finally returned to my island. After getting off the boat, the native was confused again as to why he was here. When he saw Lu Chen, the native knelt down again. Chapter 15 Little Follower The native stood up immediately and made a series of strokes in front of Lu Chen but Lu Chen didn't understand it at all. At this time, it was already noon, and Lu Chen also felt hungry, and then started to prepare lunch. Since there was one more person, the things needed also increased. The same three fishes became two bowls of noodles. Invisibly, Lu Chen increased his expenses again. Carp 3. Wooden board 2. Instant noodles 2. Mineral water 4. Seeing Lu Chen's series of operations, the native was completely stunned. He squatted aside, and looked at the furnace used by Lu Chen, which actually pretended to be flames. He was even more surprised to open his mouth from ear to ear when he saw the smell of grilled fish coming out. The saliva is almost flowing to the ground. Okay, you eat this fish first. Lu Chen handed the grilled fish to the native. The native took it curiously and looked at it carefully. He reached out and touched it and found it was a little hot. He quickly retracted his fingers, put them in his mouth and licked them. The native was very curious. He didn't know what this thing was. And it was actually hot to the touch. He looked left and right and made a strange sound. Taking things is not for playing with, but for eating. Eat. Do you understand? As he spoke, Lu Chen made gestures on his lips. The native seemed to understand and actually put it in his mouth and took a bite. It might be his first time eating cooked food. This guy was dancing happily as if Columbus had discovered the new world. Soon, a grilled fish turned into fish bones. Lu Chen was cooking noodles at this time. Seeing the natives finishing the grilled fish and looking eager to try the instant noodles, Lu Chen smiled and said, Don't worry. 
I'll be here soon. Finally, Luchin finished the instant noodles. But there was only one container at the moment. It seemed that he needed to make another container. Make it. Congratulations on getting the container, Steel. Iron Plate 3. Steel Plate 1. Another container was made. And Luchin immediately started the second bowl of noodles. The native was eating noodles for the first time. When he saw the steaming noodles, he looked confused and didn't know what to do with his mouth. That's noodles. Don't eat it like this. Blow it. Luchin explained on the side. As if teaching a child the skills of eating. The native was considered smart. He learned it quickly and actually started eating it. No one could resist the temptation of instant noodles. Soon, a bowl of noodles was eaten by the natives. And he was finally satisfied. At this time, Lightning Shuang pulled over three more wooden boxes. The native walked over, picked up the wood and stone hammer in his hand, and smashed it open, causing items to fall to the ground. It just so happened that Lu Chen could teach the natives to help him carry things, which was also very good. Later, Lu Chen actually released the base. Seeing this magical scene again, the natives were shocked again and immediately knelt down and kowtowed. Lu Chen looked helpless. Okay, okay, don't kowtow anymore. If you keep kowtowing, I will get you a fairy sister next time. I kowtow 999 and give you a magical weapon. Lu Chen then taught the natives to start carrying items and enter the base. Soon, the natives learned it again. Well, now Lu Chen felt relaxed. Lu Chen chuckled. Just in time, you will do the work and I will fish. From now on, you will be my little follower. The natives seemed to understand and actually laughed. Ha ha ha. Yes. He he. Hey. 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 The native could actually speak. Lu Chen instantly felt that he had become more capable. Did this civilize this guy? Chapter 16, The First Night Between Two People Lu Chen suddenly thought about whether he could civilize the intelligence of the indigenous people. If possible, these indigenous people could speak. And then, the language problem would be solved. But if you think about it carefully, you still can't let these natives be too smart. Otherwise, if they resist you, you will be in big trouble. At present, Lu Chen can feed a native. But he can only do so for the time being and then accumulate his own ability to bring more natives over. Otherwise, the natives will not be able to feed him, and he will starve to death. After Lu Chen's words and deeds, this native was already able to open boxes and move things into boxes. Lu Chen also wanted to teach him how to fish, and then he started fishing on the shore. However, strangely, the native did not seem to be able to catch various things as easily as he did. However, the native also had his own methods. This native, actually, he used his stone hammer to directly go back into the sea to give Lu Chen a real shot of catching fish. Not long after, the natives came back carrying three carp. Seeing how powerful this native was, Lu Chen also gave him a thumbs up. It seems that the reason why these natives were able to survive was because they could catch fish by themselves. And they were very lucky not to be killed by monsters. Monster! Lu Chen then remembered that what the natives on that island painted on the ground today meant that they needed torches and torches could drive away monsters. Yes, they discovered that torches can drive away monsters. So they came to ask for torches. By the way, we can't let them die. It seems we need to give them some torches. Otherwise, if they die, my men will be gone too. Thinking of this, Lu Chen decided to return to the island one more time. He wanted to leave torches for the natives so that they could survive the night. But don't worry for now. There is still a lot of time. He needs to expand the city wall first and then set up a small trap to prevent the werewolf sharks from leaving. By then, Lu Chen can start hunting the werewolf sharks. Lu Chen now has 230 stones in his hand. With his current city wall, he could expand the city wall. However, Lu Chen did not expand it. Instead, he made a 3x3 three three unsealed city wall on the side, and then placed the inside of the city wall. He dug a 3 meter deep hole in the soil. It must be said that the shovel was very effective. Every time, he could dig out a lot of soil about 50 by 50 square meters. After a lot of trouble, Lu Chen finally made the trap. Well, having a trap was not enough. He also needed something to attract the attention of the werewolf shark. Because the werewolf shark Lu Chen discovered this morning seemed to have heard his own movements. So he used the method of stacking arhats to cross the city wall. But this movement is not easy to deal with. How can we attract the attention of the werewolf shark? Lu Chen opened the manufacturing page hoping to find something. But everything inside was gray, and nothing was found. No. 
I don't know if others got anything. Lu Chen opened the transaction information page. There were more transaction information now. Almost all of them were in exchange for food. There were very few people selling food like Lu Chen. Um, Lu Chen suddenly saw an item that was being traded. A blueprint, a wind chime. But the other party only wanted a carp. This is good. There are a lot of carp here. And this wind chime can be placed in the trap and used as bait. Trade decisively. Congratulations on getting the blueprint, wind chime. Carp 1. Wind chimes are very simple to make and only require two iron plates. Make it! Congratulations on getting the wind chime asterisk 1. Iron plate 2. Next. There was the wind chime. And it was time to make the next step. Luchin found a rope. Tied one end of the rope to the wind chime. And extended a section of the rope to his base. As long as he pulled the wind chime. The inside where there is a sound. And the werewolf shark can be brought in by then. Luchin admired his own move. It was so fierce. He didn't know how many werewolf sharks he could catch this time. After everything was settled, the natives were still fishing. It must be said that this guy was a natural fishing expert and actually caught five carp. However, the power of the stone hammer was still too weak. So Luchin made a spear for the natives. Congratulations on getting the spear asterisk one. Wood board five. Iron board three. Seeing the iron-headed spear, the native became very excited. He actually started to use the spear to capture. This time, the efficiency was even higher. Lu Chen didn't have to worry about sharks. Because there were no sharks in the shallow water. It seems that after yesterday's series of operations, sharks are rarely seen near Lu Chen's island. Then, Lu Chen found the wooden boat, put the natives on the island, gave some instructions, and headed towards the Luhan Island with Lightning Shuang. On Luhan Island, the indigenous people were still waiting on the shore. None of them knew what happened. Why Lu Chen took away their people. And where he took their people was also unknown. Could it be that this Lu Chen Chen is also a cannibal? Thinking of this, the natives looked at each other with fear. From a distance, Lu Chen saw the natives on the shore. When the natives saw Lu Chen's wooden boat appearing, they all backed away in fear and stayed away. Fearing that Lu Chen was a man-eating monster. Capture them and eat them. Seeing this, Lu Chen seemed to understand something. He smiled and stuck two torches on the shore. The torches could last for 12 hours, which should be enough for them to use. Then Lu Chen only made five more torches on the same spot. Grilled fish was placed in front of him. When Lu Chen was making grilled fish, the natives seemed to understand something. The smell of grilled fish made them slowly come up. Soon, the five grilled fish were completed. Lu Chen put them on the ground, packed up his things, and turned around. Left, the wooden boat disappeared on the coastline again. And the natives also ate delicious grilled fish. The reason why Lu Chin did this was naturally because he wanted to completely impress the native people and make them more obedient in the future. After returning to the island, Lu Chin looked at the direction where the time had reached 5 o'clock in the afternoon and then quickly packed his things. This time, Lu Chin did not take the wooden boat into the base but placed it inside the city wall. There is a lot of coal. So more torches can be made. Just placing one torch around the wooden boat is enough. At night, the natives seemed very nervous and scared. When he saw the torch appear, he immediately ran to the torch and curled up and sat down. Lu Chen was now completely sure that the natives knew that torches could drive away monsters. Hey! Lu Chen walked into the base and said H. Lo. The natives seemed to understand something. Got up and walked into the base quickly. At the base, Lu Chen started preparing dinner. Dinner must not be missed. After all, there was a lot of work today. And three chicken legs were missing. The natives caught fish all afternoon. And now there are 30 carp machines alone. So the grilled fish is exclusive dinner tonight. Carp 5. Plank 4. Lu Chen looked through the apples. Fortunately, he found five apples in the box this afternoon. Which was enough for the time being. He gave one to Lightning Shuang. The natives on the side also thought about it. Lu Chen shook his head and said that this is Lightning Shuang's exclusive food and no one can eat it. Eat. The natives grabbed the grilled fish and ate it. There were countless rustling sounds outside. Lu Chen immediately walked to the window, grabbed the rope and started shaking it. Thump. There was a sound. And Lu Chen knew that the trap must have swam. In this case, as long as he killed it tomorrow. That would be fine. After eating grilled fish, his energy was replenished and he began to rest. Lightning Shuang stood at the door with wide eyes and stared at the door. Lu Chen knew that lightning was cool. 
but he still couldn't let him go out to kill Saudi Arabia until he found a fundamental way to improve his loyalty. This was the native's first night on Luchan Island. So he lived in fear. He was afraid of any dangerous situation. He didn't fall asleep for a long time. He would get up and take a look when he heard the slightest movement. For fear that there was something wrong. Luchan didn't I didn't care. After all, this is the character of the natives. Luchan opened the chat box. Wanting to see if these guys had discovered anything new today. I am the chairman of group. Anyone who can give me some water to drink will be called daddy. Puff. Luchin smiled. This guy finally realized that money is the most useless thing now. However, it has been three days, and he still hasn't found the resources. It seems that he won't be able to hold on for much longer. This guy really has nothing to lose. Are you here to open your mouth? Or is this guy trying to make a fool of himself? Chapter 17 Obtaining Abilities, Neptune At this time, someone sent Luchin a private message. Master! Master! Why are there no food for sale today? Come get some food. This guy actually came directly to sell food for himself. It's been three days. Is it possible that he still can't solve the problem by himself? Is it possible that you still haven't solved the problem of food? Fishing is possible after all. Master, you are really full. You don't know how hungry you are when you're hungry. It's so easy to catch fish. Sometimes I can't catch anything for a long time. And I'm very inaccurate when I throw the grappling hook. Sometimes I can hit it. Sometimes it's not accurate at all. Now I have a lot of materials. But I can't solve the problem of food and clothing. So it's time to ask an expert to sell it. Luchin was really defeated by this guy. Isn't fishing very simple? All you need is the green button. Wait a minute. Am I the only one who has the green button? Luchin had thought about this problem before. If he was the only one with this button, it would mean that he had cheated again. It seemed that it was also a benefit given by the sign-in system. So this matter could not be told. Master! Master! Can you teach me how to fish? Fishing can only be understood but not expressed in words. You'd better think about it slowly. Lu Chen really couldn't teach others how to fish. He couldn't say that he had cheats. Otherwise he would be harmed. Okay! God! I pray that God can sell you two fishes. And I can bake them myself. Otherwise I will really starve to death. Lu Chen really couldn't bear to see others die. So he could only take out two carps and hang them on the panel, and finally exchange them for 30 wooden boards. Thank you, master. I hope you will continue tomorrow. Continue tomorrow? Your uncle. How can I have so many fish? Something is wrong. Lu Chen suddenly thought of a reminder given to him by the system. Don't trust anyone who is drifting. They will only want your resources and even kill you. Thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't help but shudder. This guy is probably a very resourceful boy. Resources like wooden boards are also very easy to obtain. So he will use templates to exchange items without hesitation. That is to say this guy must be saving up food. But now he is just selling out. Just like that certain chairman. He is all an acting guy. Actors. Everyone is an actor. I will never believe you anymore. Luchin stopped thinking about it and laid down on the bed to rest. He was not worried that the natives would attack him. Because this native already regarded him as a godlike existence. And the native's intelligence obviously did not reach the level of killing his master and seizing resources. The rustling sound outside has not disappeared. And the natives will wake up every time. While Lighting Shuang is staring at the door to prevent monsters from breaking in. It was dawn the next day. Lu Chen just opened his eyes. The natives were still sleeping. And Ling Shuang had also fallen asleep. Ding! Daily sign-in is enabled. Whether to sign in or not. Sign in! Lu Chen finally heard the voice again. He had been waiting for a long time. What could he give today? Successfully sign in every day and get the title. The Unique Sea King. Lu Chen? What the H, L? Lu Chen was completely confused as to what the unique Neptune meant. Didn't I catch a native soon? Why did he become the king of the sea? You are the hacking king of the sea. And your whole family is the king of the sea. Who are you to blame? Unique king of the sea. Increase your affinity with the sea. From now on. You will be able to breathe in the sea. The sea is your home. You can move around in the sea at will without restrictions. And your speed in the sea will also increase exponentially. This is the real Aquaman. Did I really become Neptune? Although there wasn't much in the sign in this time. Just this title was enough to excite Lu Chen for a long time. In this environment. Being able to walk through the sea at will is what everyone dreams of. After Lu Chen was sure that he had obtained this ability. He walked out of the base and came to the seaside. He could feel that the sea in front of him had a very strong affinity with him. 
he wished he could take off his clothes and go for a swim. However, the shark in the distance reminded Lu Chen that he didn't know what happened to his werewolf shark trap. Quickly reaching the trap, Lu Chen found that there was really a werewolf shark inside. He was squatting in the sand pit, motionless, and seemed to be extremely scared. Now that there was a werewolf shark, Lu Chen didn't bother to talk nonsense and just struck it with an axe. Wow! The werewolf shark really exploded under Lu Chen's axe, turning into evil material. Wow! Ha! This axe is really good. It is indeed an epic level. I just don't know how powerful a Holy Spirit level axe is. Lu Chen dug up the ground, made a staircase, walked down, and collected all the materials. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 10, carp asterisk 5, apple asterisk 3, mineral water asterisk 5, wooden board asterisk 5, iron plate asterisk 3. It's a very good income. It seems that this trap is really useful. If we make a few more tonight, we may be able to catch more werewolf sharks. Now catching werewolf sharks has become a part of Lu Chen's agenda. Lu Chen paid the ground again and waited for the night's hunting. At this time, the natives also came out. He ran towards Lu Chen, gesturing in and out, as if letting the distance follow him. What's wrong? Did you find anything? Lu Chen didn't understand and immediately followed the natives towards the base. Could it be that another werewolf shark entered the wall? It shouldn't be possible. Lu Chen set up torches all around to prevent the werewolf shark from jumping in. After learning the lesson from last time, he was much smarter. Walking into the wall, Lu Chen was surprised to find that the seeds he planted had changed again. Yesterday, he was only as tall as a person. But now, he had reached the height of the city wall. And it was densely covered with all kinds of small flowers. Among which there are many Chinese people who have never seen flowers. Strange. What kind of plants are these? And how do they grow so fast? Lu Chen approached. Universal seeds. Growing. Best not to touch to avoid withering. Moisture 40%. The water remaining is 40%. And it needs watering again. It seems that I have to make fresh water quickly. Otherwise, I will not have enough fresh water. Mineral water 5. Lu Chen asked the natives to pour 5 bottles of mineral water. At this time, he had just obtained a few bottles of mineral water. But he still had a few bottles in his hand. But it was okay. He only needed to continue to purify the fresh water. The water purifier is still working non-stop. This water purifier is a good thing. Without it, Lu Chen would never go back to water the plants because he wouldn't even have enough water to drink. The natives came over with five empty bottles. Lu Chen then handed over the work of the water purifier to the natives. Next, Lu Chen wanted to go to the bottom of the sea to check. He wanted to see if there was anything in the sea. Resource. Seeing the sharks in the distance. Lu Chen hesitated again. Originally there were no sharks nearby. But for some reason, there were traces of sharks here again this morning. Which was really disturbing. A wooden box floated in the distance, and Lightning Shuang appeared again, pulling the wooden box back. The shark also jumped up and wanted to bite Lightning Shuang. But the speed was still too slow. Congratulations on obtaining wooden planks asterisk 6, rope asterisk 5, and palm leaves asterisk 5. Ordinary white boxes have nothing at all. They are just ordinary resources. It is not as fast as going to Luhan Island to cut down trees. Lu Chen strengthened his belief, picked up the hatchet, and made all preparations. He also thought about it. If he encountered any danger, he would flee quickly. He would never become a shark's meal. Chapter 18 Meet the Golden Carp Again Lu Chen was well prepared and walked to the beach. He tested his skills in the seawater. He only felt the seawater gently sliding over his hands. And it felt like he was being embraced by a loved one. Did mine turn into Aquaman? Lu Chen took off his clothes, took a long breath, then took another deep breath, and jumped directly into the sea. The sea water passed by him. As smooth as silk. Luchin felt that his eyes did not feel a little raw. Instead, his field of vision became very wide. And everything under the water could be seen very clearly. The school of fish swam past Luchin without making any waves. The shark in the distance had already swam towards Luchin. Luchin didn't pay too much attention. But cut open the sea water with his palm. And rushed out like a swordfish. Even faster than the other sharks. Plop! Lu Chen rushed towards the water and jumped out of the sea in an instant. At this moment, the shark jumped out of the sea, opened its big mouth, and bit Lu Chen. It's just in time. I've been waiting for you to come. Lu Chen directly showed his hand axe. And the axe fell directly. Boom! 
the shark turned into a piece of material and scattered on the sea. Look, aren't you looking for death? You have to come to me. It's not that I want to kill you. It's that I want to save my life. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 8. Carp asterisk 5. Mineral water asterisk 3. Iron plate asterisk 5. Steel plate asterisk 3. Palm leaves asterisk 5. Now that there is no threat from sharks, Lu Chen can finally search in the sea. Naturally, what Lu Chen was looking for were resources. He wanted to see if there were any resources on the seabed that could be used. If he could find something, that would be the best. Seeing Lu Chen rush out of the sea and kill the shark with an axe, the native who was carrying items was dumbfounded. At this moment, he just felt that Lu Chen was the true god, and he had to protect this true god. The natives knelt down unconsciously, but Lu Chen had already re entered the sea and did not see the scene. Only then did Lu Chen realize that although he was in the sea, he did not feel cold, but instead felt warm. And the strangest thing is that Lu Chen can hold his breath for a long time. As for how long, he needs to verify it. He turned around and started searching in the sea. However, Lu Chen was surprised to find that where he was there is nothing connected to the bottom of the island. As if the island is floating quietly on the sea. How could this happen? Lu Chen was dumbfounded. He couldn't figure out how this island floated on the sea. According to scientific principles, this island would have sunk long ago. But the current situation really cannot be used. Science tells the story. Lu Chen didn't think about it anymore. He looked down and saw that 10 meters below was the seabed. He fell down and his feet were just on the soil of the seabed. It felt very soft. Lu Chen was looking for it on the seabed. After a while, he didn't dare to leave his island for too long. He would look back from time to time. If he couldn't find the location of the island, he would be finished. There were no useful resources on the seabed. And he saw no trace of the werewolf shark. As if the werewolf shark did not exist at the bottom of the sea. Luchin searched for a while and felt that his breath was not enough. So he paddled the water with both hands and jumped out of the water and returned to the island. After returning to the island, the water stains on his body had dried up. This was very magical. Lu Chen raised his head and looked at the sun in the sky. About an hour later, it seemed that he had just been underwater. One hour. That is to say, I can stay underwater for an hour with this breath. It is so miraculous that it is really surprising. Lu Chen looked at the natives who were still working hard and smiled happily. You are quite industrious. Why don't I give you a name called Lu Chen? Take my last name. Okay. Lu Chen. The native looked at Lu Chen and nodded vigorously, as if he understood what Lu Chen meant. Suddenly, Lu Chen's eyes widened. His expression was surprised. He danced and pointed at the sea in the distance and screamed. What? Lu Chen turned his head in confusion and saw a huge golden carp swimming near his island on the sea level. Wow. Golden carp. Lu Chen caught one of these things last time. But it was not so big. The one in front of him was at least twice as big as the last one which naturally made Lu Chen very excited. The golden carp is like a small boss in the sea. It can explode a lot of things. The small golden carp last time has already exploded a lot of things, and even dropped apocalyptic fragments. This thing is rare. Now I encountered the yellow koi fish again, and it was such a big guy. So of course, I couldn't let it go. Golden carp, you are mine. Don't run away. Lu Chen didn't think much and jumped directly into the sea. He stroked the water with both hands and rushed out quickly. The speed of this yellow koi fish is not slow. It is much faster than that shark. It is no wonder that this guy can survive here. The shark cannot catch up. So naturally he can live very comfortably. Lu Chen's speed was no slower than the yellow koi fish. And his speed was much faster than the yellow koi fish. The golden carp seemed to sense that someone was chasing behind it. So it sank directly into the water. Lu Chen sneered in his heart. Do you think you can run away like this? You are so naive. Lu Chen plunged in with a sudden thrust, and his body was completely submerged in the seawater. Lu Chen's whole body became smooth and translucent, and his speed became faster. The golden carp's desire to survive was still very strong. It swayed from side to side in the seawater without listening. Using the speed of holding the chopsticks, it would turn corners from time to time to get rid of Lu Chen. However, it still underestimated Lu Chen's speed and the ability to control water. In sea water, he is the sea king. And the sea king is him. Except that he has not yet mastered more power. He can already move freely in the sea without any restrictions. The golden carp was right in front of him. Luchin reached out 
and grabbed the golden carp's fins. The golden carp that was caught by the fins naturally became even more agitated. He dived towards the seabed and kept shaking his body, trying to get rid of Lu Chen. But he couldn't do it at all. Lu Chen held on tightly, holding the golden carp. He won't let go no matter what. The best way to deal with such a big fish is a war of attrition. Or find an opportunity to strike with an axe. But now he is holding on to the fins with both hands. And there are still people who can escape. Maybe. It is simply impossible to get an axe. So you still have to choose the former. A war of attrition. To get rid of this golden carp. Plop. The golden carp suddenly turned around and jumped out towards the sea. The carp jumped up right in the air. Luchin was thrown away. However. Luchin would not just admit defeat. He took out his axe from behind and aimed at the golden carp. It's a flying axe. Give it to me. Boom. The hand axe hit the yellow koi carp right in the face. And the next moment, the golden carp's body was covered with gold. Blah, blah, blah. A huge golden carp exploded directly in the air. And countless treasures fell from the sky and fell on the sea level. Aha. I finally killed you. Chapter 19 Obtaining a Large Filtration Container Congratulations on obtaining carp asterisk 30. Iron plate asterisk 20. Steel plate asterisk 10. Rope asterisk 30. Wooden board asterisk 50. Mineral water asterisk 20. Lapis lazuli asterisk 10. Aquamarine asterisk 10. Blueprint. Purified version of water tank. Blueprint. Roof. Blueprint. Crystal chandelier. Apocalypse fragment asterisk 1. Water rune asterisk 1. Fire rune asterisk 1. Gold Ruin Asterisk 1 Wood Ruin Asterisk 1 Earth Ruin Asterisk 1 Seeing that he had just received the reward, Lu Chen was completely shocked. Not to mention the materials. He actually obtained all the materials needed to upgrade the base. Although there was only one. It was one step closer to upgrading the base. A shark swam towards Lu Chen in the distance. Without any time to think, Lu Chen immediately turned around and swam towards his island. Lu Chen was much faster than the shark even though he was already far away from his island. But at Lu Chen's speed, this distance was nothing. After leaping forward, Lu Chen finally returned to his island. The shark in the distance also turned around and left angrily. Seeing Lu Chen come back, the native Lu Chen was very excited. He had just seen Lu Chen fighting with yellow koi fish in the sea, and he was already very worried. He was afraid that something would happen to Lu Chen. Fortunately, Lu Chen was fine. Seeing Lu Chen's nervous look, Luchin smiled and said, It's okay. Look, I can do anything. Okay, let's replenish our physical strength first. And then go see your friends. The fierce fight with the yellow koi fish reduced Lu Chin's chicken legs by three. Dealing with the yellow koi fish really took up physical strength and was more strenuous than dealing with sharks. Physical strength is a very heavy thing and Lu Chin had to replenish it all the time. All the grilled fish it was also indispensable. Just in case, Luchin grilled ten grilled fishes, leaving three for Luchin, and told him not to waste them. Then Luchin put all the resources into the storage box. Luchin saw the drawing, a purified version of the water storage tank. This is a rare and good thing. This thing can store a large amount of seawater and then perform centralized filtration. It can be said that it's easy to use at any time. This is a lot more convenient. And it's much more advanced than Luchin's previous seawater purifier. Since there was such a high-end thing, why would Luchin just make it directly? Making the purified version of the water storage tank requires 30 iron plates, 20 steel plates, 30 ropes, and 50 wooden boards. Make it. Congratulations on getting the purified version of the water storage tank asterisk 1. Iron plate 30. Steel plate 20. Rope 30. Wooden plank 50. A water tank as tall as a person appeared in front of him. Luchin was startled by the sudden appearance. He circled the water tank several times, and danced excitedly. Although he didn't know what it was, Lu Qin was still very excited, happy. In order to prevent the water storage tank from being damaged, Lu Qin opened the original city wall and expanded it just enough to accommodate the next water tank, so that he would not have to run far to drink water. Then Lu Qin found the blueprint, the roof. This roof is very good. You can make a roof of corresponding size according to the area. Naturally, the larger the area, the more materials will be consumed. Fortunately, they are all wooden boards. And Luchin still has a lot of them. Congratulations on getting the roof asterisk one. Board 20. A huge roof was made to cover the entire fence. Now there is no fear of werewolves, sharks and arhats. 
Lu Chen then made a wooden door to completely seal the water storage tank. However, Lu Qin could still open the door because he needed to continue to fill it with water to purify the water source. After doing all this and putting away the small purifier, Lu Chen drove the wooden boat towards Lu Han Island. What Lu Chen had to do was very simple. He now had to keep himself alive and ensure Lu Han Island. The indigenous people on the mountain can also survive. This is all my own help in the future. These are uncivilized guys. Only if such guys stay by your side will you feel more secure. Because you only need to give them food. They will not have any other ideas and will even work for you. Unlike other humans who will try their best to seize your resources or even kill you. On the road, several sharks suddenly appeared. After seeing Lu Chen's boat, they immediately avoided it. It's strange how there are so many sharks. Lu Chen was very strange. Normally, sharks would not appear in groups unless they were prey. Just like the last time lightning was cool. It attracted a lot of sharks to come and watch him. But what happened this time? How could these sharks do this? So many showed up. Fortunately, these sharks did not attack Lu Chen and quickly escaped. Otherwise, it would have been another big battle. The wooden boat docked at Luhan Island. And then Lu Chen put it away again. Because Lu Chen didn't want to come out by himself. And then the boat disappeared. The island is very peaceful. The torches he planted on the beach yesterday have disappeared. It seems that the natives have put them away. The two torches he gave them yesterday should be enough to last them until dawn. So Lu Chen is not worried about these guys. We'll die. Lu Chen followed the route of the previous few days and headed forward. Passing through the woods and seeing the lake from yesterday. This was a bitter lake. And Lu Chen was not interested in it. The grass trembled. And a white hand came out. When it saw Lu Chen. It tilted its head and looked at it. Then, there was a cluck. And an egg fell down. Then the white hand turned around and ran away like a guy with fried feathers. For fear that he would turn into a fried chicken steak. The corner of Lu Chen's mouth twitched. I won't fry you chicken steak anymore. Why are you running away? Lu Chen stepped forward and put away the eggs. And smiled. Another one? I don't know if it can hatch into a chick. After putting away the eggs, Lu Chen walked forward according to his previous position and pushed aside the grass. Lu Chen also saw the location of the indigenous people. All the natives turned around and saw Lu Chen. The hen was still standing proudly at the feet of a native, looking at Lu Chen with arrogant eyes. The next moment, all the natives knelt down and cowed out to Lu Chen. This scene made the hen a little confused. Her arrogant eyes no longer looked at Lu Chen with a look of fear. Lu Chen showed a wicked smile, which frightened the wooden chicken into flying feathers again and flew away into the distance. All the natives had question marks on their faces, not knowing what was going on. But they didn't care. They just looked at Lu Chen and prayed that Lu Chen could give them a torch so that they could continue to survive. Lu Chen was not stingy and took out the torch directly. However, the burning time of this torch was limited and it could not continue to burn. Therefore, he needed to teach these natives how to use the fire. Lu Chen gathered some dry firewood, piled it together, and lit it with a torch. Seeing the flames, the natives danced happily. Lu Chen then used pictures to tell them how to keep the flames from extinguishing. These natives were also very smart and could learn it as soon as they learned it. Now that the problem was solved, the next step was water. These natives drink bitter water from the lake. And those things cannot be used for a long time. After all, they don't taste very good. A small water purifier solves this problem. These natives have already folded palm leaves into containers for use. It can be seen that their intelligence is constantly improving. So now is the best opportunity to rule them all to avoid poor education in the future. Lu Chen used palm leaves to get some bitter lake water and then poured it into the filter. After a while, a cup of quick water was made. Lu Chen handed the purified water to the indigenous people. These natives were also very careful. And no one dared to step forward. Lu Chen had no choice but to take a sip by himself. When they saw that Lu Chen was okay after drinking, one of them boldly went up and took a sip. And his eyes suddenly lit up. Ah woo woo! Chapter 20 Aboriginal They are all mine. Although I didn't understand what this native meant. I could tell that this guy was very excited. These natives took a sip one after another. And all of them made excited sounds. Lu Chen smiled and said, How about it? I'm satisfied now. Then Lu Chen made several wooden containers. He didn't have many iron plates. So he could only use wooden containers for the time being. Seeing the container, the natives were all very excited. They had never seen such a container before. Now that they saw Lu Chen conjuring it out of thin air, they naturally worshipped Lu Chen again. Okay, no need to worship. 
Remember to get water and filter it. As Luchin spoke, he taught these natives how to make the next move. These natives also learned very quickly. But they learned it very quickly. The problem of water resources was solved. And Luchin once again raised a level in the hearts of these indigenous people. The next step is to solve the living problems of these indigenous people. This island is very big. But it is also dangerous. These indigenous people still use simple sheds built with tree branches. The kind that can be used on cloudy and rainy days. The sheltered shed cannot protect against any ferocious beasts. So the next thing to do is to make a room suitable for the survival of these natives. Luchin used stones again and began to see. There were ten indigenous people here. Luchin started to make them. Each person's room was two square meters in size, which was enough for them to live in. This was already better than the simple shed. Too much. The moment the stone wall appeared, all the natives were frightened and tactically fell back. They all looked at Lu Chen's work in stunned silence, and their jaws almost dropped to the ground. Lu Chen also enjoyed it very much. He was his loyal fan. When there are not enough stones, Lu Chen will knock them. The natives are always following Lu Chen with stone hammers to protect Lu Chen. To these natives, Lu Chen is now a god and can make containers out of thin air. He can also create stone walls out of thin air, which makes them admire and admire him very much. All the indigenous rooms were completed, with a total of 10 rooms. Then Luchin built another wall on the outermost periphery, built another huge roof on top, and built a door on the outer wall. The door was set up so that all indigenous people could enter and exit. In this way, they don't have to worry about monsters coming at night. And this can also prevent predators. Woodboard 150. Stone 500. Because there are not enough iron plates, and Luchin has not found iron ore. This bed cannot be made for the time being. However, these natives still have a solution. Their bed is made of palm leaves. After being covered with bedding, it becomes a simple bed. Lu Chen could only slowly discover or accumulate enough iron plates to build this bed. These materials are nothing. Because there are plenty of them on this island. And he can take them inexhaustibly. Okay. Now that everyone has a room, you can choose a suitable room. Lu Chen made a casual gesture and several of the natives ran towards their rooms excitedly. However, what surprised Lu Chen was that there was a female aborigine who did not have a house. Lu Chen? Lu Chen clearly remembered that there were only ten natives here. So why was there one more? But forget it. We can only build one more. Anyway, there are plenty of materials here. So there is nothing to worry about. Okay. Yours is okay. Two. The last native also clapped his hands happily and ran into his room. Luchin checked each of the natives and found that they were all very happy. Luchin also nodded with satisfaction. To be honest, Luchin now has an incomparable sense of accomplishment in his heart. He is like a commander, inspecting his soldiers. Luchin then used the remaining iron plates to make eleven spears. When they saw the metal spears, all the eleven natives' eyes lit up. They put down their weapons and started collecting them one by one. Okay, now that you all have weapons. I can rest assured and live a good life. I will come again tomorrow. Luchin turned around and left. He knew that these natives would live on their own. After all, they could catch fish by themselves. But he had other things to do. So he couldn't stay here forever. When they reached the shore, the natives watched Luchin leave. Seeing Luchin sailing away, all the natives raised their weapons in the air and cheered. But one of them had a sad face. There were still a lot of sharks on the sea. There were at least seven or eight sharks around Luhan Island. Lu Chen had no idea where so many sharks came from. Lu Chen watched the shark in front of him go away. He told Lightning Chuan. And then took off his clothes and jumped into the sea. Because Lu Chen had just discovered something floating in the distance. And Lightning Chuan had not activated his skills. That is to say it was not a wooden box. So Lu Chen needed to take a look. When he came to the floating thing, he realized that it was a broken wooden board. Lu Chen's face was full of surprise. Why are there wooden boards here? According to Lu Chen's understanding in the past few days, wooden boards will not appear on the sea. Only wooden boxes will drift out. Sharks will not attack wooden boxes. In other words, wooden boards will not appear for no reason unless someone uses the wooden board to just float out. I made a raft and went out to sea and then made a noise and was attacked by a shark. There is an introduction to rafts on the production page. It is not recommended to use rafts because rafts will be attacked. But wooden boats will not. As for why, this is a problem with the mechanism. So someone must have drifted here, been attacked by sharks, and attracted so many sharks. This understanding is very reasonable. 
At this moment, a shark in the distance seemed to have spotted Lu Chen and swam towards him quickly. I came just in time. I was waiting for you. Lu Chen stretched out his hand to grab behind him. But he didn't catch anything. Damn it! No way! Lu Chen was sweating violently. He didn't have the hand axe in his hand. Which was a bit embarrassing. When he just took off his clothes, he put the hand axe on the boat. Now that he was a little far away from the boat, how could he deal with the sharks next? Lu Chen had an idea and made a spear. Make it. Congratulations on getting the spear asterisk one. Wood board five. Iron board three. I have the spear in my hand. And the shark has already arrived in front of him. Lu Chen didn't have time to think too much. So he at first, and then opened the shark attack. Lu Chen's spear in his hand was slashed towards the shark. The shark's blood spurted out. And the smell of blood poured into Lu Chen's nose. He was sure that this was real blood. Blood? Why is there blood? Lu Chen didn't understand at all. Previously, the hand axe was used to directly turn the shark into material. But what was happening now? How could blood flow out? Could this thing be different from the previous shark? The shark shook immediately after being hit by Lu Chen's spear. In turn, it opened its mouth, revealing rows of sharp teeth, and bit Lu Chen. Lu Chen is the king in the water. He can swim freely, and his sensitivity has also improved a lot. He dodges and attacks the shark again, and stabs it with the spear in his hand. View? The spear actually penetrated the shark's head directly. The shark's body shook rapidly, and Lu Chen let go immediately, because the shark's strength was too great, and he couldn't handle it at all, for fear that it would be killed by the shark. In the end, the shark stopped motionless in the sea and finally died. Is he dead now? Lu Chen couldn't believe it at all. Why didn't the shark explode and turn into materials? Could it have something to do with my hand axe? Sharks are very sensitive to the smell of blood. The huge smell of blood here once again attracted more sharks. In the distance behind them, six or seven sharks were flying towards Lu Chen. Chapter 21 Slash the shark and obtain materials. Without any time to think about it, Lu Chen quickly turned around and headed towards his wooden boat. Although the wooden boat was small, he had an artifact in his hand. With a hand axe? Why did he still care so much? The speed of the shark was far slower than that of Lu Chen. And he left the shark behind in an instant. Ling Shuang lay on the boat and looked at Lu Chen without the slightest pity. This guy actually had no intention of taking action. But in the next second, Ling Shuang suddenly rushed towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen thought that Lightning Shuang had finally found his conscience and was coming to help him. But who would have expected that this guy actually returned to the ship dragging a blue wooden box? It's really unjust. Etc. The blue wooden box turned out to be a blue wooden box. This was the first time Lu Chen had seen a blue wooden box in the past few days, which meant that there would be better resources in this blue wooden box. But now is not the time to think about this at all. We still have to deal with the shark in front of us. Lu Chen jumped onto the wooden boat with a leap. For some reason, Lu Chen became more and more comfortable in the water. After picking up the hand axe, Lu Chen felt that it was not enough. So he took out an epic mining pickaxe. Regardless of whether he could fight or not, he had to give it a try. Come on! Let's see how I destroy you! After that, Lu Chen jumped directly into the seawater. The splash of water actually wet the lightning shuang. With an expressionless face, the lightning shuang shook his body like a puppy and shook off the water, and continued to lie down fell asleep on board. Lu Chen had to stay away from the wooden boat appropriately. The battle could not affect the wooden boat. Otherwise, he and Ling Shuang would not have the tools to go back. Jumping into the water, Lu Chen immediately changed direction. And the shark behind him immediately chased after him. The sharks were fierce and fierce, not giving up on Zheng Yu at all, and pursued him closely. Seeing that it was almost done, Lu Chen suddenly changed direction and rushed towards the group of sharks. If it weren't for Lu Chen's perfect water affinity, he would have been scared to death by now. Faced with sharks, even an individual would be scared to death, let alone so many sharks. The shark was a little surprised when he saw Lu Chen rushing towards them. He opened his big mouth and bit Lu Chen. Just when Lu Chen was about to hit the shark, his figure suddenly turned sharply and passed under the shark's body. At the same time, the hand axe slashed hard on the shark's belly. Because Lu Chen was there was almost no resistance under the water. So the axe ripped open the shark's chest very easily. Wow! What Lu Chen didn't expect was that the shark hit by the epic hand axe this time did not die like being hit by a spear. But turned into countless materials. It seems that the attack of the epic hand axe will turn into a lot of materials. 
but the attack of ordinary items will not have this effect. This made Lu Chen a little confused. Could it be that this was also a problem with the mechanism? There are very few people who want Lu Chen to get an epic weapon from the beginning. So Lu Chen is now considered a unique player. Just as he was thinking about it, the other sharks turned around and charged towards Lu Chen again. Lu Chen no longer thought about it. It was more important to save his life. The same attack method appeared again. Two more sharks were eliminated, leaving five sharks. However, those five sharks no longer attacked Lu Chen, but attacked him. People were wandering around five meters away. It seemed that these guys also felt how scary Lu Chen was, and were afraid that they would also die under Lu Chen's hand axe. Lu Chen didn't waste any time. He went to get his backpack and collect his things first. Get shark skin asterisk 24. Wooden board asterisk 24. Rope asterisk 16. Iron plate asterisk 20. Steel plate asterisk 10. Mineral water asterisk 16. Bread asterisk 10. Pineapple asterisk 5. Dead shark asterisk 1. Pineapple? This time, Luchin actually got a new fruit. Pineapple. Which was very good. I wonder if this pineapple can be eaten by lightning Schwan, And whether it will increase his intimacy after eating it. The shark in the distance still did not leave. But continued to linger in the distance with no intention of coming forward. Since those sharks were no match for him. Lu Chen had no intention of staying any longer. So all he could do was say goodbye. Lu Chen boarded the wooden boat. While the sharks followed from a distance and did not dare to step forward. Lu Chen looked back behind him. The group of sharks still showed no intention of coming forward in the distance. So he said goodbye completely. The wooden boat started and headed towards its own island. I gained a lot today. I couldn't help but get a lot of materials and even got a shark. If the mechanism of this game is like this, then I can go into the sea to catch sharks to eat in the future. I just don't know if this shark is delicious. Lu Chen looked over and saw that the five sharks behind him were following closely behind and had not yet left. These guys are so persistent. But it doesn't matter. Just follow if you like. I don't care. Lu Chen took the sharks directly back to his island. Lu Chen, who was fishing when he saw Lu Chen coming back, cheered when he saw the five sharks behind Lu Chen. He was frightened. The hairs all over his body stood up, and he immediately moved quickly towards the back. He retreated and almost fell into the trap Lu Chen set for the werewolf shark. Lu Chen put away the wooden boat, walked over, and greeted Lu Chen. Lu Chen walked out cautiously, seeing the shark still lingering in the distance. He shook his head in fear. Don't be afraid. Come here. Lu Chen said H, low. And Lu Chen came over with a spear strung with carps. This guy is very hardworking and has already caught a lot of fish. Don't be afraid. They don't dare to come over. Come on. Let me show you this. Lu Chen smiled mysteriously and took out the body of the dead shark from his backpack. Duang. Seeing the shark carcass. Lu Chen, who was already frightened, screamed and ran away frantically towards the back. Bang. This time, Lu Chen fell directly into the trap. Lu Chen also sighed helplessly. Isn't it just a shark carcass? Do you think you are the same? Lu Chen shook his head helplessly, and then hurriedly pulled Lu Chen out of the trap. Fortunately, Lu Chen worked hard and was fine. Okay, don't be afraid. That's a dead guy. Go skin him off and let's have barbecue tonight. Lu Chen explained with body language, and Lu Chen seemed to understand. Beep beep, beep. Lu Chen made a human voice again, although it was wrong. Lu Chen felt that it was only a matter of time before he could speak. Then, he would not be so lonely. Okay, whatever you say is what it is. It feels like we don't have much time if you go and skin him. Lu Chen looked up at the sky. It was already afternoon, and it would be dark soon. Lu Chen still had important things to do, which was to find a room for Lu Chen. He couldn't let him live with him at the base all the time. With the experience of building houses for the indigenous people, it is possible to build another one. There are plenty of materials. Chapter 22 A Warm Home Before building a house you still need to open the blue box. This is a good thing. Blue boxes are rarely seen. Open the box. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 26. Iron plate asterisk 20. Steel plate asterisk 20. Rope asterisk 20. Palm leaf asterisk 20. Aquamarine asterisk 10. Diamond asterisk 10. Flint asterisk 2. Bread asterisk 10. Mineral water asterisk 10. Carp asterisk 10. Flower seeds asterisk 10. Seeing so many things, Lu Chen was also surprised. He didn't expect that new materials would appear this time. Diamonds and flints. 
he didn't know what they were used for. Diamond, hard in texture. It can be used to make various utensils and build houses. Flint, used to make fire. For making a fire? Don't you have a torch? Oh, by the way, a torch can burn for 12 hours. If there is no torch, this flint and steel is the best fire-making tool. There are also flower seeds. If you find a flower basket, you can plant some flowers for decoration. Luchin then put away the things and was about to start building the house. The construction of houses is still very familiar to Luchin now. He quickly built several houses. Because they have roofs, no sunlight can penetrate into the houses built by Luchin now. They can only rely on torches for lighting. But this way it is not a long-term solution. We still need to get a window. But this window does not exist in the synthesis page. Lu Chen previously killed the golden fish and obtained several drawings, including a crystal chandelier. So obviously there should be a window. It can be constructed according to the drawings required. See if there is anyone selling blueprints at the trading place. Today is the fourth day after opening the trading platform. There are many more things in the trading place, including drawings, windows, drawings, fences, etc. As for the price, you need to exchange for food and water. Drawing. Window requires 10 grilled fish or 10 bottles of mineral water to redeem. And drawing. Fence also requires so many things. This guy is crazy! Lu Chen shook his head helplessly. Lu Chen now has a lot of carp. But as for grilled fish, well, he doesn't plan to trade them out. Wouldn't it be delicious to keep them for himself? Then Lu Chen sent a private message to the seller. Brother, these two drawings give you a total of 10 carps. Do you want to exchange them? After a while, the man recovered immediately. You are the great god. It is indeed you. You are the great god who sold food every day a few days ago. You are not dead yet. Damn it. This guy must be poisonous. How come he curses people to death? Brother, you went too far. Are you disappointed that I didn't die? Ha ha. Master, I was wrong. I didn't mean it like that. My tone was actually very surprised. Twenty fishes. Two drawings. Damn it. Ha ha. I'll give you two words. Ha ha. You can keep it for yourself. Lu Chen wouldn't care about 20 fish. What a good thing. It's just a blueprint. He still doesn't believe it. This guy can sell it. If you don't have anything to eat, it depends on whether you die or not. Don't bother me. Master. Let's discuss it again. 15 items are fine. Please have mercy on me. Master. Just 10. If you don't want it, forget it. I'm not in a hurry anyway. Lu Chen had resources and a lot of fish. But he couldn't use them indiscriminately. At least to ensure his own living supply. Okay. Great master. Let's just make friends. We can exchange news in the future. My name is Lu Yuan. Remember me. Great master. Good. Later, Lu Chen exchanged 10 fish for two blueprints. Lu Yuan was lying on the bed and smiled. I've made a profit now. The blueprints are of little use to people in the early stage. Although I don't know what Lu Chen used them for. Since they want them. It's okay. Lu Yuan is really afraid that his blueprints won't be sold. Now he has 10 of them. The fish is almost enough for me to eat for two days. In fact, decorative drawings like these are of little use to people who are currently short of supplies. Because they cannot guarantee their own living conditions. All decorations are useless. And it is most practical to stay alive. So save food and water. That's the most important thing. After Luchin received the windows and fences, he started making them. Windows require wooden boards asterisk 10 and glass asterisk 4. While fences are simple, the required materials are wooden boards. The fence is also consumed according to different lengths like the city wall. So it depends on how big a fence Luchin builds. The wooden fence? I wonder if it will be attacked by monsters. Luchin was worried about monsters because there were too many monsters at night. And it would be terrible if the fence was broken. Therefore, Luchin had to make a place to experiment first. Anyway, the fence could be dismantled. Now Luchin needs to take out the windows first and make two skylights to let the sunlight in. The universal seeds he planted still need photosynthesis to grow. And then put a few windows around the wall. Luchin calculated that he needed to make five windows, which was not too much and was okay. Make it. Get windows asterisk five. Woodboard 50. Glass 20. Window. Look at the world through the window. The world is more beautiful and can block monsters. But do not open the window at will at night. Be careful of monsters crawling in. The system's small blue window prompt appeared again. 
Lu Chen found a suitable location and installed the window on the wall. As long as the window was installed in the right location, he could directly open a hole in the wall and install it himself. Lu Chen, I don't know why. Maybe it's a mechanical problem. With the windows, the house is not so dark now. But the torch cannot be extinguished because the monster is coming soon. Lu Chen walked outside and made a 5x5 five five square fence under the wall. Then he placed the trap and called Lu Chen and Ling Shuang back to the room. While Lu Chen was working, Ling Shuang brought two more wooden boxes to Lu Chen. And Lu Chen also collected the contents. After packing everything and returning to the built home, the weather was just right. Monsters also came ashore one after another. He took out the furnace and started grilling fish. And Lu Chen was responsible for this task. Lu Chen remembered that he still had drawings of chairs and tables in his storage box. And then took them out. The only materials needed for these two items were wooden boards. Fortunately, Lu Chen now had plenty of wooden boards. Make it. Get table asterisk 1. Chair asterisk 2. Plank 15. Plank 20. There were two chairs. Just one for each of Lu Chen and Lu Chen. Now they didn't have to hunch over the furnace to eat or sit. And they also had a table. Lu Chen suddenly felt as if he had a warm home. Lu Chen and Ling Shuang were his family. Lightning Shuang doesn't need a chair. It's staring at the door. Lu Chen looked out through the window of the room. It was pitch black. But there were torches, and there were no monsters nearby. Lu Chen thought of the pineapple, and then took it out. Xiao Shen, would you like to try a pineapple? Lu Chen shook the pineapple. Lightning Shuang turned around, and walked to Lu Chen's side. Lu Chen gave the pineapple to Ling Shuang without hesitation. Congratulations. Pet intimacy plus 20. Loyalty plus 10. Oh! It turns out that pineapples increase loyalty. Great! Let's have another one! After eating a pineapple, Lightning felt a little more friendly when he looked at Lu Chen. Is it possible that with increased loyalty, the pet's attitude toward him will also change? Chapter 23 Sign in to upgrade the mythical hammer and improve the base. Since it can increase loyalty, what else is there to say? Lu Chen directly gave the pineapple to Ling Shuang. But it may be that Lightning Shuang has eaten enough and stopped eating. This way, there is no way to increase loyalty. Oh! Forget it if you don't want to eat! I'm afraid you'll hold on! Looking at Lightning Shuang, Lu Chen said softly. Lightning Shuang turned his head and tilted his head towards Lu Chen and smiled. This was a surprise to Lu Chen. This was the first time he smiled since he got the lightning pleasure. It turns out that loyalty can really make pets change their attitude towards him. Yee -yee 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 -yee. Lu Chen on the side shouted twice and gave Lu Chen the roasted shark meat. Not to mention, it was quite delicious. Especially the shark fin, which tasted even better. Lu Chen looked at the shark meat in his hand and thought to himself. He should be considered the only shark roaster in this world. Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. And the two happily ate their dinner. The wrestling outside continued. But Lu Chen didn't pay attention. Lu Chen just looked outside worriedly. And then continued eating. After dinner, Lu Chen felt that it was necessary to teach Lu Chen some daily vocabulary. If Lu Chen could learn to speak, the communication between the two would be more convenient in the future. Lu Chen started from the simplest numbers. It was also very difficult to teach a native to speak Mandarin. Fortunately, Lu Chen studied hard and practiced hard. And he was able to learn a few simple words in one night. Eat. Sleep. Work. Lu Chen was very excited when he heard that Lu Chen could speak. Soon, he would have a talking partner. It was very uncomfortable to talk to oneself alone. Before going to bed, Lu Chen made a bed for Lu Chen. He couldn't always let Lu Chen sleep on the ground. Now that he had the resources, it was not difficult to make a bed. Lu Chen looked very excited when he saw the bed. He immediately went to his room, laid down on the bed and rolled up. For the natives, a bed was a luxury. Before meeting Lu Chen, they just slept on the weeds. Now that they were sleeping on the bed, Lu Chen was so excited that he couldn't control himself. Lu Chen fell asleep while Lu Chen lay on the bed and flipped through the chat channel. Everyone, I have a boat. I can finally go to sea. If I encounter any of you tomorrow, you can definitely take me in. Because the poor are dying, you'd better stay on the island. It's said that the island is your safest home. Without the island, you will die miserably. I advise you to live well. As long as we work harder, we can still survive. That's right. But I have a question. Who brought us here? What is he going to do to us? And what's the point of us living like this? Seeing this man talking nonsense, 
everyone fell into deep thought. Lu Chen was also the same. After surviving for four days, he has been developing. But what about others? I don't know. They have left the island and gone to other islands. With a lot of discoveries. What about other people? Since I can leave the island, some people will leave. Just like the first person said. They will all leave their own island and look for other islands. But what is all this for? What is the point of living like this? Live well. Suddenly a short message appeared in Lu Chen's mind. Su Sanduo said that living well is the most meaningful thing. Yes, living well is the most meaningful thing. Then Lu Chen said something. The meaning of our lives is to live well. Live well and don't die. This is the meaning of our lives. Holy shit. Isn't this the great guy who sold food yesterday? It turns out you're not dead. You didn't sell anything today. I thought you were dead. Master, you are right. Living well is the most important thing. So I will prepare to live well tomorrow. Both. I have also decided to live well and look forward to the day we meet. I'm the chairman of company. Give me something to eat. I'm going to die. I'll give you 10 billion. Grass. Why did this guy come out again? Go to H. L. Luchin closed the chat box directly. Walked to the universal seed. And checked it carefully. There were small white flowers on it. Luchin had never seen it before. So he didn't know what it was. There was no fragrance. Just pure white flowers. Universal seeds. Growing. With 70% moisture. It is best not to touch them. Otherwise they will wither. There is a blue warning. I don't know what kind of plant this is. I look forward to it maturing. Afterwards. Luchin set off the wind chimes of the trap. And there was movement outside. The sound was very loud. It seemed that another werewolf shark had been hit. The night passed, and it was dawn again. Ding. Daily sign-in is enabled. Whether to start signing in. Signing in has become Lu Chen's daily routine. Signing in always gives him very good things. Such as epic weapons. Mythical pets. And magical powers. I don't know what good things he will get today. Sign in. Ding. Sign in successfully. And get a mythical upgrade hammer asterisk one. Eh? Why is there only one weapon? What's going on? Every time you sign in and receive a weapon, there are a lot of materials. There's something wrong with this thing. Even if it's a mythical level. Mythical upgrade hammer. Luchin was shocked. He was actually given a mythical weapon. I don't know what awesome effect this thing has. Upgrade hammer. Mythical level you can upgrade any item. And the materials required for the divine level are reduced by 50%. Walter? 50% less items required for upgrade? This is a treasure that defies heaven. Lu Chi remembered that there is an upgrade page in the system's building page. Doesn't that mean that now, with the upgrade hammer, the upgrade button can be omitted? If you directly use the upgrade hammer to upgrade, it can be reduced by half. Materials? That is to say, upgrading the city wall originally required 10 iron ores, but now only 5 are enough. Although I don't have iron ore now. That should be the meaning. Lu Chen suddenly thought of something and his eyes lit up. Doesn't this mean my base can be upgraded? Lu Chen was very excited. He needed two apocalypse fragments and two gold. Wood, water, fire, and earth runes to upgrade the base. Now he had a copy of each in his hand. Wouldn't he be able to improve in this way? But he just didn't know the base. Can be upgraded with an upgrade hammer. Because he had a home yesterday. Lu Chen did not open the base. Then he immediately left the room. Took out the base and placed it on the island. Lu Chen looked at the yellow upgrade hammer in his hand and then struck it. Ding! Whether to upgrade the base. The required materials are Apocalypse Fragment Asterisk 1, Gold Rune Asterisk 1, Wood Rune Asterisk 1, Water Rune Asterisk 1, Fire Rune Asterisk 1, Earth Rune Asterisk 1 Foot. Sure enough, the base actually works. And each item only requires one material. Which is great. Upgrade. Ding! Base promotion completed. Apocalypse Fragment 1, Gold Rune 1, Wood rune 1, water rune 1, fire rune 1, earth rune 1. A ball of white light shrouded the base. As the white light continued to expand, the base was constantly being upgraded and expanded. In the end, the size of the base actually became twice the original size. And the black surface stone was also covered with a layer of white light. Mysterious dark gold color. Looking at the two-story base in front of him, Lu Chen's expression was hard to describe in words. He had never expected that the base would be upgraded to such a big size. And that the original shape would be changed in such a way. Now it looks more like a home. 
Congratulations to the player for becoming the first person to upgrade the base level and receive a low-level material gift pack asterisk 1. I wish you a good gaming experience. Is there any promotion gift package? This game is designed to be so user-friendly, which is also very gratifying. Received a large gift package of low-level materials. Do you want to accept it? Take over. Uh-huh. A white package appeared in front of Lu Chen. Looking at the package on the ground, Lu Chen was a little strange. Is this a material gift package? Open the material spree. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 100. Iron plate asterisk 100. Steel plate asterisk 100. Glass asterisk 100. Palm leaf asterisk 100. Rope asterisk 100. Mineral water asterisk 100. Instant noodles asterisk 100. Apple asterisk 100. Damn it! Chapter 24 upgrade to a new outfit. It's really awesome for Ollie. Luchin never expected that there would be so many materials in this big gift package for upgrading materials. He got 100 of each material, especially mineral water, instant noodles and apples, which were all 100. If if people see it, they will be envious to death. Wow! Ha ha ha! I am a real rich man now. Warning. There is insufficient space in the backpack. Please organize it immediately. The backpack sent another warning. But Luchin was not afraid at all. Now that he had an upgraded hammer, he was still scared. The backpack was taken out. The original materials required to upgrade the backpack are palm leaves asterisk 80, shark skin asterisk 50, rope asterisk 50, wooden board asterisk 100, iron plate asterisk 50, and steel plate asterisk 20. There are really a lot of materials. And new materials have also been added. But luckily I have them all. So I don't have anything to worry about. But now, all materials are directly reduced by half. And this is nothing to Lu Chin who has just obtained a large amount of materials. Upgrade. Ding. Level 4 backpack upgrade completed. Congratulations on getting a level 4 backpack asterisk 1. Palm leaf 40. Shark skin 25. Rope 25. Wooden board 50. Iron plate 25. Steel plate 10. The newly upgraded level 4 backpack has a 200% increase in capacity based on the original level 3 backpack. The improvement this time is really drastic. And the space capacity has been greatly increased. I don't know what else can be improved. Lu Chen looked at his hand axe with the upgraded hammer in his hand. I don't know if this thing can be improved. Let's give it a try. Beep. The required materials are not complete and cannot be upgraded. As expected, the materials were insufficient and could not be upgraded. Lu Chen did not expect to be able to upgrade. He was just trying it out. As expected, it was impossible to upgrade. Then Lu Chen took off the hat. The hat can still be upgraded. The current hat is a leather hat. To upgrade, you need 20 shark skin asterisk 20 and iron plate asterisk 20. Hi actually needs an iron plate. Could it be an iron hat? How to wear it? Out of curiosity, Lu Chen directly used the upgrade hammer to upgrade. Ding! The leather hat has been upgraded successfully. Congratulations on getting the black iron helmet asterisk 1. Shark skin 10. Iron plate 10. Black Iron Helmet. Defense plus 30. Life plus 30. A very sturdy hat made of black iron. Even though it's made of iron, it's very light to wear. It doesn't hurt your scalp and keeps you away from dandruff. Thank you. Ollie. Looking at the black hat in my hand, it looks no different from an ordinary sun hat. It is pure black. Soft to the touch. And most importantly, not heavy at all. It is completely different from the helmet on TV. Luchin put it on excitedly. It was cool and comfortable. And it really didn't hurt his scalp. As for dandruff, who knows if there is any. Next, Luchin upgraded all the other pieces of equipment one by one. Now that he had the materials, it was natural to maximize his defense and life. Black armor. Defense plus 50. Life plus 50. Black iron products must be high quality. Wear mosquito repellent. My mother will no longer be afraid of me being bitten by mosquitoes. Oh. Ollie. Black iron gloves. Defense plus 30. Life plus 30. Skill plus 10. More sophisticated gloves to protect your little hands from any damage. Given by Ollie. Black iron leggings. Defense plus 30. Life plus 30. Very fashionable little trousers. They look like they are not on. They are elastic and close to the body. Courtesy of Ollie. Black iron boots. Defense plus 30. Life plus 30. Movement speed plus 5 points. Faster and lighter boots. You can move faster when you put them on. As if you are flying at lightning speed. 
give it to Ollie. A total of 40 shark skins and 40 iron plates were consumed to upgrade these pieces of equipment. If he had upgraded them as usual, Luchin would have gone bankrupt. The mythical level upgrade hammer is indeed not built. It is already incredible. With this thing, Lu Chen will save a lot of materials in his future upgrades. The newly upgraded equipment feels different when worn. And it feels very comfortable to wear. Otherwise, it is said that there is something new, but not something old. This is the reason. Yee. Lu Chen got up and saw the two-story base and ran over dancing. Ah! Lu Chen could feel Lu Chen's excitement. Yes! Yes! It's ours! Let's go in and have a look! Lu Chen chuckled. And Lu Chen hurried in. Lu Chen was heard laughing happily in the base. Lu Chen smiled and shook his head. Much like the knowing smile of a parent taking care of his children. Lu Chen is not planning to build a set of equipment for Lu Chen for the time being. After all, shark skin is limited. It seems that he needs to get some shark skin. But if he wants shark skin, he cannot eat shark meat. Because if he uses the epic hand axe to chop it, the shark will if it disintegrates immediately. This is the real situation where you can't have your cake and eat it too. But Lu Chen didn't realize that sharks would have it. And shark skin would have it too. Next, Lu Chen also approached the base and admired the newly upgraded base. The size of the base has more than doubled. But the height has increased by two floors. There is an extra room upstairs. There is a staircase next to the door to go upstairs. This can be regarded as a two-story small foreign-style building. If it is placed in some first-tier cities, such a house would cost several million, which Lu Chen couldn't afford in the past. Of course, Lu Chen didn't want to think about these things. After all, they were all inevitable. And survival was the most important thing now. The house is empty, and there is no furniture. So it would be good to make some furniture and decorate it. Blueprint, fireplace. Production requires 30 stones, 20 wooden boards, and 15 iron plates. Make it. Congratulations on getting the fireplace asterisk one. Stone 30. Plank 20. Iron 15. Lu Chen found a place to install the fireplace. It was a relatively western-style fireplace with a white periphery and a high platform above it, which could be used to place some things. It was placed on the wall, and it was convenient to have a fireplace. The chimney led outside the wall. Lu Chen doubted whether this thing could really keep warm. Then I only made a table, chairs and a bed, which can be regarded as decorating the first floor. As for the second floor, after thinking about it, I might as well forget it. I don't plan to live on the second floor for the time being. When I get more drawings in the future, I will consider getting some bookcases or something on the second floor to enjoy. Lu Chin ran down from upstairs, looking very excited. Okay, don't get too excited. We still have to go back to live there for the time being. Okay, hurry up and get to work. We're going to have breakfast soon. Lu Chin understood what Lu Chin meant and immediately ran out and started poking fish. After Lu Chin finished his work here, he wanted to go out to visit Luhan Island. After all, he was a little worried. So he just sent the flint and steel there. It would be best if he could make a fire by himself. After putting away the base, Lu Chen came to the trap, where he was still a trembling werewolf shark. Lu Chen used his knife to kill the werewolf shark and put away its materials. Congratulations on getting shark skin asterisk 10. Wooden board asterisk 15. Glass asterisk 10. Bread asterisk 2. Mineral water asterisk 5. Blueprint. Exquisite Logging Axe Chapter 25 Universal Seed Premium Filet Mignon The werewolf shark unexpectedly dropped a green blueprint. An exquisite logging axe. Lu Chen looked at it and decided to hang it on the trading platform. Currently, no blueprint can compare to the epic hand axe in his hand. How much is this? Even a green axe can't match it. So it's better to get some resources. Lu Chen remembered that the last time he defeated the werewolf shark. He also dropped a saw which happened to be sold to him at the same time. As Lu Chen linked things to the platform, his transaction information also appeared in the trading channel. Drawing, exquisite logging axe asterisk one. Tradable. Exchange for 60 wooden boards or 40 iron plates or 30 steel plates or other resources. Drawing, werewolf shark saw asterisk one. Tradable. Exchange for 80 wooden boards or 50 iron plates or 50 glass or other resources. After others saw Lu Chen's trading items, the chat channel immediately went crazy. Is it possible that this great master killed the werewolf shark? It was too fierce. Can you teach me how to kill it? Same request. I really want to kill one. But I feel like I can't beat him. 
Oh my god. I don't dare to leave the house at night. So I put a torch at the door. I'm worried every day that someone dares to kill the werewolf shark. God, please take my knee. Luchin ignored it. At this time, Luchin suddenly shouted and ran out of the room. What's wrong? What happened? After closing the chat box, Luchin quickly ran over. Today's lightning Shuang miraculously raised his head and looked in Lu Chen's direction. Sure enough, after his loyalty increased, this guy started to look at Lu Chen. Lu Chen was so anxious that he had forgotten all yesterday's words. He was jumping up and down in front of him, and then ran into the room. Lu Chen quickly followed him into the room with doubts. In the room, Lu Chen ran directly in front of Universal Seed, pointed at him and screamed, What's wrong? What's wrong with this Universal Seed? When Lu Chen got closer, he discovered that the grown universal seed actually had a fruit like a big white radish, bending the entire plant. Carrot? This thing is actually a radish seed. But why do radishes grow on trees? Lu Chen looked puzzled. He never thought that radishes would grow on trees. Didn't radishes grow on the ground? Pulling radishes? Pulling radishes? Isn't it all about pulling radishes? Now it seems that we have to pick radishes. Universal seeds. Mature and ready for picking. Will wither in three days if not picked. The system shows that it is mature and seems to be ready to eat. Forget it. No matter what. Eating some radishes will improve the food. Luchin reached out and picked the carrot. Holding it in your hand. This thing is heavy and really feels like a carrot. All wishes come true. The user can silently think of the food he wants to eat. And after opening it, he can get the corresponding food. This item is a disposable food. Please cherish it. What? What? All-purpose food? Can you conjure the food you want just by thinking silently in your mind? Real or fake? What if I want some beef ramen? Luchin thought to himself. Click. The radish in front of him made a slight cracking sound. Luchin took a closer look and saw a flash of white light. The radish split in half. Steam came out. And the aroma was fragrant. There was actually a bowl of beef ramen inside. Hack! Luchin sighed and shouted loudly. Luchin on the side stared wide-eyed. Oh! Luchin. It's really good not to learn, but bad to learn. This guy learned this very quickly. Lu Chen looked at the beef ramen in front of him and fell into deep thought. This thing is really a universal food that can make all your wishes come true. It actually makes you get whatever you want. How about a steak dinner next time? Lu Chen gave a bowl of beef ramen to Lu Chen. Let's have this for breakfast today. Come on. Eat. Looking at the beef ramen noodles in Lu Chen's hands, Lu Chen licked his lips. He had already asked about the flavor and was already eager to try it. Lu Chin took the beef ramen noodles and ran to the side to eat. This beef ramen is delicious. With plenty of meat and chewy noodles. Lu Chin stepped forward and picked another radish. Thinking in his mind. Click. The radish was opened. And a fine filet mignon dinner was presented in front of you. Looking at the fine filet mignon in front of him. Lu Chin smiled elegantly. But he couldn't help but feel excited. Being able to eat filet mignon here is simply a divine enjoyment. Lu Chin didn't care about Lu Chin's steak, because a bowl of beef ramen was enough for him to enjoy. TSK! 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 Steak! I can eat this too! Okay! Let's get started! At this moment, there is no need to worry about elegance or anything else. Just having a good meal is enough. After breakfast, Lu Chin knocked on the SH. L under his body. It still felt like a radish. He didn't know if he could eat it. Click! Looking up, Lu Chin had already eaten the remaining carrot. So what else was there to say? It couldn't be wasted. Hiccup. The two of them looked at each other and smiled after eating. Lu Chin got up and came to the side of the universal seeds. The two he had picked earlier had withered. If the remaining ones were not picked, they would wither in three days. But he didn't know how long this thing could be stored. I hope it can be kept for a long time. Some. I picked all the radishes and put them away. And then all the remaining plants withered. This thing is absolutely good. So you should keep it and eat it slowly. Lu Chen next shoveled away the withered plants. He still had a lot of seeds in his hand. He was not going to plant them yet because he didn't know how long these radishes could be stored. If they could be stored permanently, he would plant them. Plant all the seeds. And then collect the food to be eaten later when food is scarce or on some important day. After cleaning up these things, Lu Chen remembered the fence he made yesterday. When he went outside, the fence was not damaged. It seemed that the werewolf shark had not attacked or trampled on the fence. So he could plant flowers with peace of mind. 
flowers. These are good things that make the body and mind happy. And they are also very good to play with when you are bored. After packing everything up, Lu Chen handed over the watering task to Lu Qin. He had a water reservoir and had just received 100 more mineral water. There was no shortage of water resources at all now. But he couldn't waste it at will. He had to be prepared for danger in times of peace. In this way to get better, Lu Chen explained some more and asked Lu Qin to continue catching fish. While he got on the boat and headed towards Luhan Island with Lightning Shuang. Congratulations on your drawing, exquisite logging axe. Sold. Obtained wooden board asterisk 60. Congratulations on your blueprint, werewolf shark saw. Sold. Obtained board asterisk 80. Sure enough, Lu Chen guessed that wooden boards have the most resources. So the next time he sells items, he is not going to continue to buy wooden boards. Because he still has a lot of wooden boards now. And there are also many trees on Luhan Island. There is no shortage at all. Lu Chen saw Luhan Island from a distance. But to his surprise, he saw a wooden boat on the shore. No way! Someone came to the island! Lu Chen really didn't expect that someone would actually discover Luhan Island. It seemed that someone like him had sailed out to sea. And it seemed that he also used wood pulp to row a boat out to sea. Lu Chen looked up at the sky. It was now in the direction of around 9 o'clock. Which meant that this person should have gone to sea when the sun rose. If the calculation was correct, the island where this person was located was between Luhan Island and Luhan Island. The distance should be the same as the distance between your own island and Luhan Island. If so, there should be more islands near this island besides your own island and the island of this guy who just came here. Then if you follow this calculation and look for a random direction, you might be able to find a player's island. An untenable idea appeared in Lu Chen's mind. Lu Chen couldn't care about that much anymore. So he had better go to the island quickly. After putting away the wooden boat, Lu Chen was about to move forward when suddenly he stopped and looked back at the small wooden boat parked on the shore. He! Let you never come back! Chapter 26 Fall into the trap and get a lot of materials. You can't blame Lu Chen for this. Who asked you to go to the island later? And these resources belong to whoever arrives first and has the strength. If you don't put away your own ship, don't blame anyone if you lose it. Lu Chen followed the footprints and walked over. It was obvious that this person also discovered the lake. In addition to traces of water stains, there were also a few chicken feathers scattered around the lake. It seemed that this guy had gone to catch chickens. But he didn't know that this guy had no native presence was found. yee 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 Kakaka! The screams of the natives came from the front. And they were urgent and did not stop. It seemed that something had happened. Lu Chen quickly quickened his pace and rushed over. Pushing aside the grass, I saw a group of natives dancing around a female native. As if she was bullying others. Lu Chen's appearance made all the natives stop. And they all knelt down and worshipped Lu Chen. Okay, you don't have to kneel anymore. Although Lu Chen himself doesn't like to have people kneel down. The people across from him are all uncivilized natives. In their hearts, Lu Chen is a godlike person. And the way they respect people is to kneel down and worship. Since they say they will give it. If it's different, forget it. There is no player here. It seems that the guy ran away after discovering the natives. But when faced with a group of people bullying one person, Lu Chen still had to discipline him. This was an unhealthy trend and could not be tolerated. If he started forming gangs now, how would he manage them in the future? It's not good for you to be like this. You must unite. Lu Chen was demonstrating and talking, indicating that they should not form gangs. Obviously they didn't understand. Lu Chen stepped forward and took the hand of the bullied female native. At the moment of contact, Lu Chen had a strange feeling as to why her hands were so tender. It seemed that she didn't work often, or because she was too stupid at work. But even so, it shouldn't be so tender. Lu Chen didn't think too much. The most important thing now was to quickly get rid of the estrangement between them. Lu Chen pulled her to the other natives and shook hands with them one by one. The effect is still very good. After Lu Chen's mediation, several people accepted the female aboriginal and the female aboriginal nodded very happily. At this moment, the trees suddenly fell down in the distance. When trees fall down instead of disappearing, that's when someone uses a regular hand axe to go and chop down the tree. Could it be that guy planning to build a boat and escape? Lu Chen thought that he had already put away the guy's boat. So by cutting down the wood, he was probably preparing to build the boat. The wood can fall 20 planks in one moment. So this guy should need three trees. The cutting speed of ordinary hand axes should not be slow. So it is still possible for Lu Chen's assassin to rush over and catch the guy. 
Lu Chen rushed over the moment he saw the tree fall. The natives behind him had bewildered faces and quickly followed. Lu Chen had the blessing of five-point speed shoes, and his movement speed was much faster than ordinary people. The natives behind him quickly lost sight of Lu Chen's back. However, what is strange to Lu Chen is that after a tree falls, the tree will fall down the next moment. Either because this guy has the materials, or because, whoosh, boom, a feather arrow shot quickly and hit Lu Chen's chest. It was fast and accurate. It seemed that the opponent was very good at archery. Moreover, this guy actually ambushed him in advance. It seemed that he had already guessed that he would come. That means that this guy's previous tree cutting was a trap. Terrible guy. Lu Chen fell to the ground. Protected by black iron armor. The arrow did not penetrate. But Lu Chen still fell to the ground. Since the opponent had set a trap for him, he might as well use a trick to get rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Boy, you are really unlucky to have bumped into me. Then you will die. A figure walked out of the woods. This person was wearing a leather armor suit. It seemed that this guy had also hunted a lot of sharks. He was not a simple person who could hunt sharks in such a short period of time. It seemed that this person is really powerful. So Luchin can't be anxious. It would be best if he comes closer and takes him away with an axe. The figure walked over. But the next moment, the man paused, sensing something was wrong, and skillfully picked up the bow and arrow and shot at Luchin again. Boom! Before the bow and arrow were ready, Luchin fired his shot and hit the man's shoulder blade. The shoulder blade was pierced, and the man fell to the ground in unbearable pain. Although he had leather armor, the leather was no match for the pistol. One shot directly destroyed the armor. Let me go! Why do you have a pistol? The man looked shocked as he looked at Lu Chen who slowly stood up. Lu Chen dusted himself off and said with a smile. You don't need to know. Because you are going to die. Having said that, Lu Chen directly took out the epic hand axe and prepared to kill him with one axe. However, because this person looked very simple, Lu Chen could not step forward. The flying axe he had studied so hard could be used at this moment. It comes in handy. Wait! Wait! I have a secret to tell you! Seeing that Lu Chen was about to take action, the man hurriedly spoke, hoping that Lu Chen could spare his life. Do you have any last words? Lu Chen was also stupid and forgot about the truth that the more you talk nonsense, the faster you will die. At this time, he was given a chance. I have a sea chart here, which I drew when I went to sea in the past few days. If you want it, I can give it to you. Hearing this, Lu Chen's eyes lit up. The sea map is a good thing. On this sea, if you have the sea map, you can find more resources. And you may be able to find more high-end and rare materials. A chart? Show it to me. The man took out a great parchment scroll from his bag. And Lu Chen slowly walked forward. The moment Lu Chen reached out to pick it up, the man's face suddenly turned extremely ferocious. He threw away the parchment. A dagger appeared in his hand and stabbed Lu Chen. When? Just when the dagger was about to hit Lu Chen, a spear appeared and knocked the dagger away. The person who came was none other than the female native from before. The female native was also very agile. The moment she knocked the dagger away, the spear in her hand changed course and pierced the man's chest. Ah! The man screamed and fell to the ground without breathing. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen looked at the female native in surprise and gave her a thumbs up. The female native nodded and made a please, word. In fact, Lu Chen had been prepared before the female native took action. He knew that the other party would definitely kill him, and the epic hand axe was already ready to attack at any time. However, before he could take action, he was saved by the female native. This was also even if she is a beauty. She is a hero. Lu Chen stepped forward, raised his hand axe and chopped down at the corpse on the ground. The female native obviously didn't realize that Lu Chen was so cruel and that he even whipped the man's body after he died. How hateful it was. Or should I say, he wouldn't want to eat it. It's so disgusting. Thinking of this, the female native's complexion couldn't help but change. Her internal organs were turbulent, and she almost vomited. Wow! The moment the hand axe was struck, the corpse on the ground decomposed into countless materials and appeared in front of his eyes. The female natives were dumbfounded. What kind of operation was this? How could it be like this? It was broken down into materials. What was going on? Even the backpack was broken down. Lu Chen stepped forward and collected all the resources. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 300. Iron plate asterisk 260. Steel plate asterisk 160. 
Glass asterisk 150. Rope asterisk 240. Palm leaf asterisk 500. Plastic asterisk 80. Stone asterisk 10. Coal asterisk 50. Torch asterisk 10. Shark skin asterisk 80. Lapis lazuli asterisk 20. Aquamarine asterisk 10. Apocalypse fragment asterisk 2. Gold rune asterisk 2. Water rune asterisk 1. Mineral water asterisk 10. Bread asterisk 3. Instant noodles asterisk 5. Apple asterisk 1. Chicken asterisk 20. Carp asterisk 30. Bow and arrow asterisk 1. Feather arrows asterisk 20. Identity tag asterisk 1. Damn it! This time it was a great harvest. Chapter 27 New Players. New Crisis. Luchin had no idea that this person would have such a wealth of materials and be able to hold so many materials. It seemed that his backpack had been upgraded to level 4. However, this person does not have many food resources. Luchin was very surprised how this person got so many resources. Even a cheater like Luchin didn't have so many resources. Identity tag? What is it? Name, Zhao Kun. Occupation, cold-blooded killer. Number of characters killed, 10. A series of information on the name tag, and the man's avatar appeared in front of Lu Chen's eyes. This man turned out to be a killer in the past. No wonder he was so powerful. He could shoot with bow and arrow so accurately. The number of kills is 10. Which means that he has killed 10 people in this game. It seems that those materials were obtained by killing people. This guy is really scary. After putting away the information, there was a great parchment scroll in the distance. Lu Chen stepped forward and picked it up. Opening it up. The parchment actually turned out to be a nautical chart. This chart marked many islands, including Luhan Island, and the location and distance between each island were marked very finely. It seemed that is carefully crafted. This guy really didn't lie. He really drew the sea chart. He is really an amazing guy. But it's a pity. If you met me, you are unlucky. Lu Chen was very lucky at this moment. He had upgraded his equipment earlier. If he hadn't upgraded his equipment, he didn't know whether the arrow just shot would have killed him. Fortunately, he had a pistol in his hand, which directly penetrated the opponent's shield. A. Made him relax. But he must also thank this female native. Her action was very timely. Otherwise he would have died. Thank you. If you hadn't taken action, I would have died. Lu Chen expressed his gratitude to the female native, who was stunned for a moment, then smiled gently. Laugh. This expression is not what those natives should have at all. This guy is so strange. Who ho ho. At this moment, other natives and Lightning Shuang also ran over. Very good. It'll be great if you all are here. Just in time. I'm going to ask you to show some skills. Come and follow me. Lu Chen had forgotten about the previous killer. He didn't need to remember it at all. Because that guy was dead after he died. And he would still have a good life in the future. For some reason, Lu Chen an office worker, didn't show too much excitement about the killing scene just now. And he didn't even have any emotions in his heart. Maybe he was used to facing sharks. So this killer was not a big deal for him. No, it doesn't matter at all. Went back to the camp. Lu Chen found the wooden board, found some hay, and took out the flint. Clatter, clatter. Sparks appeared on the flint. And the sparks ignited the hay. Lu Chen quickly found planks of wood and some other wood. Then the flames ignited, and a small bonfire appeared. When all the natives saw this, they were all amazed and started shouting. Okay, you guys should try it too. Lu Chen randomly picked a native and came over. The guy stepped forward with a confused look on his face and started to light the hay as Lu Chen had done before. However, this guy was obviously not a skilled worker and could not light the hay at all. After trying several times, Lu Chen shook his head helplessly. A few more people tried it. But it still didn't work. Lu Chen looked helpless. These guys were so stupid. The female native from before came out and stretched out her hand towards Lu Chen. Looking eager to try. You want to try? Well, you come and try. Lu Chen always felt that this female native was not simple. She was definitely not a simple person. The native woman took the flint. Duh duh. The dry grass was lit in two clicks. And then a small bonfire was formed. Ugh. Uh-huh. The other natives all sighed at her and danced around her excitedly. It seemed that the barriers between them had disappeared. Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. It seemed that this female native was indeed different from the others. She learned things faster. It would be easier if they taught her to speak. While other natives cheered and celebrated. 
Lu Chen pulled the female native aside. The female native followed him with a blank look on her face. Lightning Xuan also wanted to follow. But Lu Chen stopped him. So Lightning Xuan could only sleep aside. Lu Chen led the female native out of the camp. The female native suddenly felt uneasy and looked very nervous. Are you nervous? Lu Chen asked casually. The native woman shook her head. Zheng Yu smiled lightly. However, the next moment, their expressions became frightened. Uh-huh. When? The female native swung the spear towards Lu Chen. And Lu Chen picked up the hand axe and split the spear into two pieces. Click. The pistol was pointed at the female native. The female native looked panicked and clenched her hands. But she did not dare to move at all. You are not a native. You are a player. Lu Chen looked at the woman solemnly. Without any pity in his eyes. He did not need to have any pity for the player. Because he was the player. The system reminded that the other party would only want your resources or kill you. The previous killer was an example. So Lu Chen had to be careful at all times. This woman was so scheming that she even pretended to be a native. She obviously had such skills. But she pretended to be so weak and was indifferent to being bullied by the natives. This shows that this person so scheming. Lu Chen had already made up his mind that as long as she moved, it would kill her. The woman did not dare to resist and could only stand where she was. Yes, I am a player. But please believe me. I have no ill intentions towards you. I just want to survive. No matter how I do it. As long as I survive. The woman burst into tears. Her pitiful appearance made people feel very pitiful. And a pitiful feeling could not help but arise in her heart. Wait. Lu Chen shook his head vigorously. He felt that something was wrong. Why did this woman feel so charming? Shut up. You don't have to say this in front of me. Lu Chen strengthened his confidence. And his eyes became more determined. You have no malice towards me. I really can only laugh. If you have no malice. Just now what does that mean? Attack me? Want to sneak attack me and kill me? Fortunately, I reacted quickly enough. Otherwise, I would have died in your hands now. Lu Chen was determined in his heart. And the feeling of charm disappeared instantly. It seemed that this woman had this ability to charm people. I didn't know what this guy did. The woman raised her head. Her face was shy. Tears welled up in her eyes. And that sense of charm reappeared. Uh-huh. The axe in Lu Chen's hand was aimed at the woman. If you continue to show off your pity, I will kill you without hesitation. This trick of yours is of no use to me. If you explain the problem honestly, I might consider it. Lu Chen's ruthlessness made the woman look stunned. She didn't expect that the other party would be so decisive. And that her move was of no use at all. The woman put away her pitiful look and said, Okay, let me tell you. My name is Gao Lu. And what was my previous occupation? Ha ha. I worked in a nightclub. You know, I was like this when I woke up. In order to survive, I built a raft and went out to sea. I wanted to go back. Unexpectedly, I encountered a shark on the way and the raft was destroyed. So I came here. I really don't have any ill intentions towards you. I just subconsciously said it's a kind of resistance. So please don't worry about it. Anyway, you're fine. I saved you earlier. So let's just treat it as even. Okay? Hearing this, Lu Chen's mouth twitched. What you said is really simple. Is it even? Lu Chen thought about it. And it was true that she had saved him before. But now she was attacking him again. Fortunately, he was blocked by him. And he was fine. If it was a tie, no one would lose. I'll save you once. And I'll attack you again. Even if it's a draw. How about smashing the door so no one loses? The woman thought quite simply. But Lu Chen didn't say anything else. Lu Chen snorted. Okay. Let's treat it as a tie. You can go. Let's go. Go? Do you mean to let me go back to my island? The woman looked shocked. She couldn't go back. If she went back, she would have to wait for death. Of course. Otherwise, do you still want to stay here? This is my chassis. Are you planning to stay here? Chapter 28 Reaching Consensus and Developing Together You? You? Are trying to burn bridges by crossing rivers. I saved your life anyway. And you actually want to drive me away? Gao Lu was furious and pointed at Lu Chen. As if pointing at someone who had betrayed her heart. As if Lu Chen had really done something to feel sorry for her. Lu Chen sneered and said, Sister, you're mistaken. It wasn't you who said it. Are we even? Why are you doing this again now? You said it in both directions. It's a bit too much. When Lu Chen said this, 
Galvu was speechless. Indeed, she was the one who just said it was even. And now she is the one who said she saved Lu Qian's life. This was indeed too much to say. However, these are extraordinary times. Nothing is too much or not. Survival is the most important thing. I don't care about you. I saved your life. So you can't retaliate. Even children know this. You don't understand. Hmm. You are ungrateful. Burning bridges. And extremely shameless. A man like you deserves to be single for the rest of your life. Bang. The sound of breaking glass sounded in Lu Chen's heart. Which made Lu Chen extremely heartbroken. Lu Chen used to be an office worker. He lived in another place and didn't earn much. But he was very comfortable. But it was also because of this that he failed every time he went on a blind date. This made Lu Chen very upset. Therefore, Gao Lu said this the words touched Lu Chen's deepest self-esteem. You are such an unreasonable woman. Okay, you can do whatever you want. But you can't go back from now on. If you dare to go back, I will ask them to throw you out. Do you believe it? Lu Chen was angry. Really angry. He felt extremely painful in his heart. Being single for a lifetime was the most vicious sentence. Lu Chen turned around and left. But Gao Lu didn't care at all and followed him straight away. After walking back to the camp through the woods, Gao Lu followed. Lu Chen turned his head and said angrily, I asked you to leave. Don't you understand? This life's roar made all the busy natives look over. Gao Lu snorted and said with a half smile, Humph! I won't leave. If you can, kill me. Anyway, I will die if I leave. I would rather die in your hands. Come on. Do it. Kill your savior. After saying that, Gao Lu fearlessly closed his eyes and waited for Lu Chen to take action. Damn it! Lu Chen wanted to take action. But he had no reason to kill Gao Lu. It was not his style to do it for no reason. What? Don't do it? If you don't do it, then I have to go to work. At this moment, a native came over. The native looked at the two of them. And the two of them also looked at him. Then the native smiled and took Lu Chen's hand. Lu Chen looked confused and had no idea what this guy was going to do. The next moment, Lu Chen was completely shocked. I saw the native holding Lu Chen with one hand and Gao Lu's hand with the other. Following Lu Chen's previous gesture, he put their hands together and patted their hands with a smile. Unite? Damn it! This guy actually knows how to draw inferences from one instance and even learn a new word. Unity? Lu Chen remembered that he had never said these words. Where did he come from? Lu Chen looked at Gao Lu and wondered. Did you teach him? Gao Lu chuckled and said proudly. Of course. Their minds are not yet enlightened. So it is most appropriate to teach them how to speak at this time. Lu Chen's eyes lit up and he said. Well, since you can teach them how to speak, then you can stay here and teach them how to speak. Is there any problem? Hack. I'll teach you if you ask me to. Who do you think I am? Why should I listen to you? Gao Lu said unconvinced. Her spirit was also very high. She was treated as a native before. So it was okay for her to obey orders. But now, why should she obey? Zheng Yu sneered. Aha. Uh -huh. I told you to understand the current situation. If you want to survive, you must listen to me. Otherwise you may not even get anything to eat. Believe it or not. I if you can make them not give you food, you can catch fish by yourself if you have the ability. As long as you have the ability. I... Gao Lu wanted to resist. But what Li Chen said was true. He couldn't catch fish. And he had no spear. If he wanted to eat, he really had to listen to Lu Chen's words. Okay. I agree. But I have a condition. Gao Lu had no choice but to agree. After all, survival was the most important thing. You tell me. I want clothes. Look at what I'm wearing. Gao Lu raised her hand. And then she realized that her hand was still grasped by Lu Chen's and the two immediately let go of each other's hand in disgust. Lu Chen said, Okay, I understand. Don't you just want a suit of clothes? Okay, no problem. Later, Lu Chen only made a complete set of leather equipment for Gao Lu. Sharkskin 35. Okay, I'll give you this set of clothes. That's all. Gao Lu smiled. Okay, thank you in advance. By the way, I want to know how you made the clothes you are wearing. Gao Lu seemed to have taken a liking to Lu Chen's black iron clothes. But Lu Chen would not give them to her. He was already doing a great favor by giving her a set of leather clothes. It's none of your business. You just need to teach them how to speak. That's enough. I'll give you this thing too. Didn't I break your spear earlier? Please hold this for you. 
Lu Chen gave Gao Lu another spear, which was enough for her to protect herself and catch fish. Okay, then I'll thank you first. Oh, by the way, you go somewhere with me. With that said, Gao Lu turned and left. Where are you going? Lu Chen didn't know where Gao Lu was going. Although he was a little confused, he hurriedly followed him. The two of them walked all the way to a pile of rocks on the shore. Gao Lu searched for it and dug out a backpack from a pile of rocks. Backpack? You actually hid your backpack here? Lu Chen was also impressed that Gao Lu really knew how to find places to hide things. Of course. It will only be safe if I hide here. And I can pretend to be a native with peace of mind. While dusting the soil, Gao Lu opened his backpack and took out a blueprint. Here's this for you. You might need it. With that said, Gao Lu handed the drawings to Lu Chen. Drawing? What kind of drawing is this? Congratulations on getting the blueprint, ladder. A drawing of a ladder? What's the use of this thing? But since it was given by Gao Lu, he couldn't refute his kindness. Lu Chen immediately thanked him and put it away. I know you may not need it, but this ladder will always be useful. By the way, I got some seeds here a few days ago, so I'll give them to you. Seed? Lu Chen is very sensitive to seeds now. It would be great if they were universal seeds. Congratulations on getting ordinary plant seeds. You will get more food after planting them. The principle was that it was an ordinary seed. And Lu Chen Bai was pleasantly surprised. You seem disappointed? You have obtained a lot of materials before. And you still care about these. How about you take a look and take whatever else you want? With that said, Gao Lu opened his backpack and let Lu Chen see it for himself. Oh, forget it. No more. Lu Chen said no. But his eyes were very honest, and he really looked over. Gao Lu didn't say anything and just smiled. Lu Chen found that there was nothing in Gao Lu's bag. Just ordinary materials. Okay, I'll give you some food. You can keep it and take it out when necessary. Then Lu Chen gave Gao Lu some instant noodles and mineral water. Oh, it's actually very instant noodles. You are such a wealthy person. So thank you in advance. Gao Lu happily put away his backpack. Lu Chen didn't know what he was doing. Right? This guy was a player, not a native. Could this guy run away midway? Hey, by the way, you should have an island. Aren't you tired of running around like this? Why don't you just settle on this island? Settle down? Yes, he was stupid as to why he had to run back and forth. But Lu Chen didn't care. This side was regarded as a resource island. And the island on his side was also his final base. If this side didn't work, he would there is also a way out. It's okay. I don't care. Anyway, I can go back and forth very quickly. Okay. Stop talking nonsense and go back quickly. Chapter 29. Reclaiming Farmland to Raise Cattle and Sheep. It's a good life. Gao Lu said she didn't understand Lu Chen's confusing behavior. But she didn't say anything. Since Lu Chen liked it, it was useless to say anything. Now that Lu Chen had the seeds, he naturally had to plant them. Before planting, he needed to cultivate the wasteland. Lu Chen returned to the camp and looked for a piece of land close to the water source to use it as farmland. Lu Chen remembered that there was a hoe to synthesize it on the production page. Naturally, a hoe was more useful for reclaiming wasteland. The hoe requires ten wooden boards, five iron plates, and three steel plates. The number of materials is not much, and it is very simple to make. Let's make three first. Congratulations on getting the hoe asterisk three. Wood board 30. Iron plate 15. Steel plate 9. Taking the hose made by Lu Chen. The natives started planting crops under Lu Chen's command. Although there were not many seeds, it didn't matter. They could still be obtained in the future. But now they needed to plant them first to see what kind of crops they were. After cultivating farmland and planting seeds, we also need a water source. It is impossible to use seawater. Nor can we use a filter. Because that is completely unrealistic. Therefore, the best way is to introduce water from nearby lakes here. Lu cut down all the trees along the way. Gao Lu looked at the epic hand axe in Lu Chen's hand, and then at the ordinary hand axe in her own hand. She also went up to chop it. As expected, the trees did not change, but had some dents. Hey, why is your axe so powerful? It must not be an ordinary hand axe. Gao Lu walked forward and asked in a low voice. Lu Chen glanced at Gao Lu and said, Yes, this is no ordinary axe. I got it accidentally by opening a box. Do you want to try it too? But I want to remind you that my axe is very heavy. Sink? Galu said disdainfully. I just laughed. I really don't believe where it can sink. 
Give me a try. Lu Chen smiled faintly and gently placed the axe on the ground. Please. Lu Chen made a gesture of invitation and looked at Gao Lu with a smile. Gao Lu grabbed the axe with a nonchalant hand and lifted it hard. It couldn't be kicked. Gao Lu couldn't believe it. Lu Chen could carry even a hand axe. So why couldn't he? Gao Lu tried her best to suck it up. Her face turned red. But strangely, she still couldn't pick it up. Or even shake it at all. How can it be? Gao Lu was completely confused. Could it be that even if this axe hit Thor's hammer, would he still have to choose someone? Gao Lu finally gave up. Ha ha. How about you understand this time? Okay. Just leave it to me. With that said, Lu Chen stepped forward and picked up the epic hand axe easily. This was not actually because of Lu Chen's strength, but mainly because he could set the user's permissions. As long as Gao Lu was not allowed to pick it up. Okay. Ha. Huh? Okay. You're awesome. I admit it. By the way, I saw some wild cattle and sheep on the other side of the mountain. Do you want to catch them? Gao Lu looked at Lu Chen with bright eyes. She was already eager to try. Cattle and sheep? Are you telling the truth? Are there really cattle and sheep? Lu Chen couldn't believe it. He had never explored this island. And he didn't know how big it was. There were some things on the island. It would be great if there were cattle, sheep, and even females. There will be milk to drink from now on. Lu Chen couldn't help but lick his lips when he thought of this. It seems we should get a breeding farm. Next, after arranging the water source for irrigation, Lu Chen taught the indigenous people how to reduce the water source. The indigenous people were also very smart and learned it immediately. After setting up a small piece of farmland, the next step is to get cattle and sheep. The two left the camp and headed towards the target location she said under the leadership of Gao Lu. Just in case, Lu Chen brought Lightning Shuang with him. Have you explored the entire island? How big is it here? Lu Chen asked. Gao Lu said, No, I have only explored half of it. I estimate that this island is more than a thousand square meters in size. In addition to cattle and sheep, there are many other beasts here, such as tigers and lions. So I did not continue. Explore. Gao Lu glanced at Lightning Shuang behind him and asked with a smile, Where did you get that sloth? Why are you so obedient? Lu Chen smiled proudly and said, I also prescribed this. My pet is very powerful. Pets? I didn't expect that I could get pets. You're so lucky. You won't be lonely if you have a companion. Unlike me, I don't even have anyone to talk to. It's so lonely. As he said that, Gao Lu shook his head helplessly. So you boldly built a raft and ran out? Didn't the system prompt that the raft was vulnerable to attack? How did I know? I just wanted to make a raft and float out. If I encountered a boat, wouldn't I be rescued? Who knew that would happen? Ha ha. Then you are lucky if you didn't feed the shark. The two walked forward while chatting. Lu Chen was very happy because after four days of depression, he finally had someone to talk to. After climbing over a hill, there is green grass at the foot of the mountain. Standing here, you can smell the grass. Well, the smell is really refreshing. Gao Lu couldn't help but sigh. What idioms are you using at this time? Where are the cows and sheep? Lu Chen looked around, but saw no sign of cattle or sheep. Gao Lu was also surprised and said, Yes, how could the cattle and sheep not be here? I remember that when I came here yesterday, I saw a few cattle and sheep grazing. Ah, they couldn't have been eaten by wild beasts. Lu Chen, I was originally full of expectations, but now I am more disappointed than hopeful. Mayamu, at this moment, the two heard the braying of cattle and sheep. Listen. Gao Lu shouted in surprise. Lu Chen's face was also full of surprise. Great! It's really a cow and a sheep. Let's go! The two happily ran towards the direction of the cry. And sure enough they found cattle and sheep grazing in the distance. There were ten of them in total. And they all seemed to be female. They were now very prosperous. Great! We have something to eat now! Lu Chen couldn't help but licked his lips. He even saw the barbecue at night. The kidneys and mutton skewers were dangling in front of his eyes. Not to mention how delicious they were. Hey, please think clearly. These cattle and sheep cannot be used for food. They must be raised. Gao Lu broke Lu Chen's fantasy. Ah, I know. Let's go and catch him. Just wait a moment. Seeing Lu Chen advance, Gao Lu quickly stopped him. How are we going to catch them? They won't run away when we walk over. That's right. These cows and sheep can definitely run away. I don't know what can increase the intimacy so that they can be brought back with them. 
Luchin looked at the grass that the cattle and sheep were eating, and then grabbed a handful of grass on the ground. Get grass asterisk one, cattle, and sheep like to eat grass very much. Feeding it to cows, and sheep can increase intimacy. I won't tell others. Sure enough, this thing can increase intimacy. Pull weeds. I'll feed the cows. And you feed the sheep. Luchin spoke with a confused look on her face. She had no idea what Luchin meant. But she still grabbed a handful of grass, and then she understood. The two grabbed a lot of grass and gathered it into two piles. Then the cattle and sheep also saw the haystacks. With so many haystacks, they naturally would not eat ordinary grass. Every one of them was eating grass. They gathered around. But what surprised Luchin was that the cows and sheep did not leave when they saw Luchin and the two of them, but walked straight up and started eating. Intimacy with cows plus one. Intimacy with cows plus one. Intimacy with cows plus one. Luchin was very happy that this method worked. He turned to look at Gao Lu and saw that her side was also going very smoothly. It seemed that this method was very feasible. The intimacy level with a cow reaches 50, and it can be kept in captivity. A small blue frame appeared. This time, Lu Chen was completely excited. Now their farm was finally ready. Chapter 30 Upgrade the furnace so that everyone can have barbecue together. Lu Chen took out a rope and made a noose to tie up all the cattle and sheep. Then, the two of them led the cattle and sheep towards the camp. At this time, a fire had been set up in the camp, and the natives were grilling fish. They were all pleasantly surprised when they saw Luch and Galu coming back with the obedient cattle and sheep. The cattle and sheep were a feast in their eyes, and they raised their long sticks one by one. The spear is ready to go. Everyone, get out of here. You can't touch these cows and amniotic fluids. The natives seemed to have heard Lu Chen's words, and they all backed away. Lu Chen, I think we should build a circle. Lu Chen nodded. Of course. It's better to use stones. It's safer this way. There are wild beasts around here. Don't let those things come over and eat the cattle and sheep. As soon as he said he would do it, Lu Chen went to collect stones and built a cow sheet and a sheep pen. They were all enclosed with stone walls and had doors. Because the smell of cattle and sheep was not very good, he deliberately did not have them. Although it is not safe to cap the roof, it would be fine as long as there are more torches at night. After making the cow shed and sheep pen, the next step is to provide food for the cattle and sheep. The cattle and sheep eat grass. As long as there are dedicated people to herd the sheep and cattle every day, it will be fine. After allocating the manpower, Luchin only made a few bows and arrows. In this way, if there is a beast in the distance, you will have a means of defense. There are relatively few arrows, so you should use them sparingly and collect them back when you're done using them. That's all. After listening to Lu Chen's introduction, everyone understood. After a while, the grilled fish was ready, and everyone sat around and ate the grilled fish. Okay, you all are busy today, and I have a new partner, so I can't be stingy anymore. With that said, Lu Chen distributed an apple to everyone, and then gave another to Ling Shuang. Intimacy plus 10. Apple, you actually still have apple. You are really a rich man. Okay. I'm willing to follow you all the time, Gao Lu said with a smile. Lu Chen also said, This is what you said. Don't forget it. Lu Chen smiled and took a bite of the apple. The sweet juice of the apple suddenly burst in his mouth, and the crispy texture made him want to stop. In fact, this was the first time Lu Chen had eaten an apple since he came here. What he didn't expect was that the apple was so sweet and delicious. It was really a feast for him. Lu Chen was eating apples and grilled fish, and suddenly thought of something and then got up and built a furnace for this place. Congratulations on getting the furnace asterisk one. Stone 10. The furnace is a very useful thing. In addition to being able to make food, it can also smelt metal. However, Lu Chen doesn't need to smelt it at all now because he hasn't encountered anything that needs smelting yet. And naturally he hasn't unlocked this function yet. Galu nodded and said, Well, that's right. Your furnace came out at the right time. If you don't do it, I will start synthesizing it soon. Lu Chen smiled faintly, and then took out the upgrade hammer, preparing to upgrade the furnace. The furnace was too small to supply so many people, so it needed to be upgraded. After the upgrade, it might have a larger capacity. Upgrading the furnace required iron ore, but Lu Chen didn't have iron ore on hand, so it was difficult. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with a hammer? Gao Lu looked at Lu Chen with a puzzled look. Do you have any iron ore? Lu Chen pinned his hopes on Gao Lu. 
Gao Lu sneered and said, You think too highly of me. I don't have any iron ore. But last time, I saw some tin heads on the island that might be iron ore. Do you want to go and take a look? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Let's go! Throwing down the furnace, the two immediately headed towards the iron ore area. When he came to a pile of stones, Lu Chen glanced at the black stones, which were iron ore. He didn't expect to find iron ore here. This was really unexpected. Lu Chen immediately stepped forward, took out the epic mining pickaxe, and started collecting frantically. The iron ore was collected almost instantly under the epic mining pickaxe. Gao Lu on the side was surprised again. He didn't expect that there were so many good things in Lu Chen's hands. But he was afraid that the thing wouldn't move again. Congratulations on getting iron or asterisk tin. Congratulations on getting iron or asterisk tin. Congratulations on getting iron or asterisk tin. Lu Chen dug all the way until he had collected all the iron ore in the area. And then he stopped. A total of 200 iron ores were obtained, which was considered a bumper harvest this time. Iron ore is a good thing and can also be used to upgrade city walls, but it is best not to upgrade it for the time being due to lack of resources. After returning to the camp, Lu Chen directly upgraded the furnace. Ding! The furnace was upgraded successfully. Congratulations on obtaining the exquisite furnace, perfect level, asterisk 1. Stone 75. Iron ore 50. Glass 30. Iron plate 10. Steel plate 20. Omega. It is actually an exquisite furnace, perfect level. I didn't expect this thing to be said to be perfect. I wonder what the benefits of this perfect level furnace are. Does it cook things instantly? Although he doesn't know what perfect level is. Lu Chen knows that upgrading this thing costs a lot of resources. This is using an upgrade hammer to reduce the resources by half. If it is upgraded at the original price, the consumption will be huge. This upgraded exquisite furnace is at least three times larger than the original furnace. The pure black and gorgeous and compact appearance reveals nobility. If it is a barbecue, these dozen people can sit down. But it is a pity that this island is dark at night. There are monsters. Otherwise Lu Chen would catch a shark tonight and have another shark barbecue. Gao Lu was also shocked when she saw this gorgeous furnace. Such a high-end furnace looked perfect. She never thought that such high-end goods could be obtained in this world. The other natives were also shocked when they saw this. And they were all surprised. Okay, the upgrade of this furnace has been completed. It's getting late, and I have to go back. You should clean up quickly. Otherwise, it will be difficult to deal with the appearance of monsters. Luchin stood up and said goodbye to a few people, and left with a flash of lightning. Today's results were good. He got cows and sheep, but it was a pity that the chickens were gone. He used a killer to kill the chickens. Otherwise, there would still be eggs in the future. Food. Kick Klepta. The sound of a hen was heard. And Lu Chen turned around to look. Let me go! You are not dead. The white hen stood by the lake and looked at Lu Chen. The hen was not dead. Where did the chicken in the backpack come from? This time, the hen did not choose to escape. After all, she had seen it so many times. And it was somewhat familiar to him. When Lu Chen saw the hen, he had the urge to catch it. But the hen ran too fast and was not easy to catch. Yes! Lu Chen's eyes lit up. He took out a piece of bread from his backpack, tore the bread into pieces, and carefully placed it on the ground. Come on! Eat! Lu Chen firmly believed that since cattle and sheep have intimacy, this chicken should be no exception. The hen walked forward with steps that did not recognize her relatives, came to the bread, and started to eat. Intimacy with the hen plus ten. Sure enough, Lu Chen had not mistaken that this hen also had intimacy. It seemed that this hen was his own today. Intimacy with the hen plus 10. Intimacy with the hen plus 10. Please reach a density of 50 with hens. And they can be kept in captivity. When Lu Chen saw the prompt, he stepped forward and picked up the hen. The hen did not resist. It seemed that the intimacy worked. Afterwards, Lu Chen hugged the hen and left excitedly. Hurry up! Lightning is cool! We will have eggs to eat in the future! Lu Chen was so excited that Ling Shuang followed closely behind. Taking out the wooden boat, Lu Chen was about to get on the boat. But then he had an idea and took out the upgrade hammer. Ding! The wooden boat was upgraded successfully. Congratulations on getting an iron ship, small, asterisk 1, wood board 100, rope 20, iron plate 10, steel plate 50. After the wooden boat was upgraded, the length of the hull increased by about half. The overall height increased by 10 inches. And the material changed from all wood to a wooden and semi-iron hull. There were no other changes. 
Lu Chen looked at the upgrade hammer in his hand. And then at the iron ship. Come again! Chapter 31 Obtained Tomatoes Seedlings Through Trading Lu Chen still wanted to continue upgrading. Just as he was about to hit the upgrade hammer in his hand, a shark suddenly jumped out of the water and came towards Lu Chen on the shore. Click! Before Lu Chen could take action, the lightning on the side turned into a bolt of lightning and knocked the shark away. While it was still in the air, the shark turned into materials and scattered down. Lu Chen was shocked. It seemed that since he increased his loyalty, Lightning Shuang not only had a better attitude toward him, but also took the initiative to protect his master. This made Lu Chen extremely happy. In the future, Lightning Shuang would follow him. No one around you is afraid that someone will sneak up on you. Congratulations on getting Shark Skin Asterisk 8, Wooden Board Asterisk 10, Iron Plate Asterisk 5, Steel Plate Asterisk 6, Seeds Asterisk 10, Blueprint, Water Pipe Asterisk 1. Drawings of Water Pipes? Is it possible to make water pipes? Lu Chen took out the drawings. Sure enough, this is really a water pipe. It is made according to the distance. Each meter requires five iron plates. And the most important thing is that the water pipe can be connected to your own water storage tank. In this way, you can drink water by yourself. More convenient, it's getting dark. So we can't delay any longer. Otherwise it will be dangerous if monsters appear. Lu Chen hugged the hen and took Lightning Xuan onto the boat heading towards his island. On the island, Lu Qin was still busy. He used Lu Chen's grappling hook to grab a few boxes. And he put a lot of materials into the storage boxes. Seeing Lu Chen coming back, Lu Qin immediately ran over happily and extended his hand. Hug! Lu Chen smiled faintly. This was a polite gesture given by Lu Chen to Lu Qin. As a native, he naturally had no ill intentions. Of course, Lu Chen did not hesitate to give him a friendly hug. Lu Qin was now himself to Lu Qin. Family. Then Lu Qin took Lu Qin into the room and opened the storage box. There were dozens of fish and various materials inside. This was Lu Qin's harvest today, which was really a lot. Hey, that's good. You've really made progress. You're even better than I was before. I really need to praise you. Lu Qin laughed out loud after receiving the compliment. There was still time. So Lu Qin was going to connect the tap water so that he wouldn't have to run around to get water. Lu Chen came to the water storage tank and began to study the route. The best way was to bury the water pipes underground to ensure safety and not be attacked by monsters. First of all, you must increase the height of the water storage tank because there is no water pump. This is the only way to let the water flow out. The best way is to make a high platform below. It does not need to be too high. Just one meter, which consumes 30 stones. I don't feel bad about this stone. Lu Chen has plenty of stone resources. The shovel is used to remove the sand on the ground, extending it all the way to the room you created. And then you start making, with a visual distance of 20 meters. Lu Chen was making water pipes at the front, while Lu Chen was filling in the soil at the back. The two of them cooperated very well. After Lu Chen's production, it was 5 meters longer, and a total of 125 iron plates were consumed. Phew! So much iron plate was used up this time. No wonder the water company's connection fee is so expensive. But this is much more convenient. Lu Qin in the back also quickly completed the work of burying the sand. When he returned to the room, he saw Lu Qin turning on the water pipe. After a while, a stream of clear liquid came out along the water pipe. Seeing the water flowing out, Lu Qin clapped his hands and shouted happily. He immediately took out the container, made it into a bowl, and drank. Looking at Lu Qin's rice seedlings, Lu Chen was ready to reward Lu Qin for his hard work all day. Then he took out two radishes and started sharing them. As the sky darkened, we packed up our things and lit the torches. It was another creepy night. Lu Chen did not sit idle, but found a place in the room, used a fence to circle the place, put the hens in, and then made a nest using palm leaves for the hens to live in. Hen Ji and Lu Qin have a good relationship. After all, they have lived together for a long time. Lu Chen gave Ling Shuang a pineapple. This was the last one. He didn't know when he would get another pineapple. After dinner, the next step is to have a good rest. After all, we are very tired from the whole day. At this moment, someone sent a private message to Lu Chen. Lu Chen! Lu Chen! We caught a tiger here that wanted to attack the cow sheet. We are ready to have a barbecue. Damn it! Seeing this message, Lu Chen sat up from the bed. He was sure that it was from Gao Lu. It was definitely her. That's right. Only she knew about the cow sheet and sheepfold. 
They actually caught a tiger. Mom, these guys are truly aboriginals. They catch tigers at will, and even eat barbecue. Gulu, thinking of barbecue. Luchin got hungry. I also want to eat roasted tiger. As he said this, Lu Chen's mouth was watering. He had just upgraded the furnace to a perfect level. He didn't expect these guys to use it so quickly. Etc. Aren't they afraid of monsters? Isn't there a torch? Why does the tiger still attack? Is it possible that tigers are not afraid of torches? If so, it is a miracle that these natives can survive to this day. Gao Lu sent a message again. Lu Chen! Lu Chen! The tiger has been skinned and cramped. The tiger's skin is nice and soft. I have washed it. Are you coming? Come on. Sister, it was late at night, and you even refed the monsters when you went out. Ha ha. I can only ha ha. You are so cruel. Lu Chen went crazy instantly. Galu must have done it on purpose. But this is good. It's nice to have someone familiar in the world that I can chat with. It's another day, and I don't know what good stuff the trading channel has. I opened the trading channel. And there were a lot of things in it. But there was no food or water for sale. A piece of transaction news caught Lu Chen's attention. Tomato seedlings asterisk 6. Can be traded. Exchanged for water or food. Any more will come. Tomato seedlings? Lu Chen was tempted. He had two eggs in his hand. It would be great to have a meal of fried tomatoes with eggs. Lu Chen immediately sent a message to the other party. Brother, what are you going to do with your tomato seedlings? First of all, I'm not a brother. I'm a woman. Secondly, I'm very young. And I only exchange food and water for my tomato seedlings. Three bottles of mineral water. You can give me food as you see fit. At least three. Seeing the reply, Luchin smiled. This guy was such a cheat. Although he had a lot of mineral water in three bottles, he couldn't exchange it directly for him so arrogantly. How about two bottles of mineral water and two packs of instant noodles? You are a man from the first glance. You must have three bottles of water and at least three packs of instant noodles. These are seedlings. Do you know how fast they grow? They will mature in three days. You can eat tomatoes in three days. If not, I don't have water. So I won't sell it. Luchin, I didn't expect to meet a knowledgeable person. In fact, as long as I have the resources, Shui is willing to sell this thing. After all, this is a very difficult treasure. It matures in three days. But why does it take four days for my universal seeds to mature? Maybe it's too advanced. But forget it. This thing is also hard to come by. And it is not easy to get it. In the end, Luchin traded three mineral waters and three packs of instant noodles in exchange for these six tomato seedlings. Everyone will get the persimmon as soon as possible. The man sent a message again. And then, there was no message. Looking at the tomato seedlings in his hands, Luchin felt extremely happy. He had plenty of water and instant noodles, but there was no shortage for the time being. Now he had to plant tomatoes. He tried to get tomatoes as soon as possible so that he could improve his food. The place where the universal seeds were planted last time was still empty, so it just happened to be the best place to plant them. Luchin came to the planting site of universal seeds, plowed the ground with a hoe, buried the seedlings, and watered them until the water content reached 100%. Lu Qin looked at it strangely, not knowing what it was. Ha ha. How about it? It looks good. When he matures, I'll let you eat something delicious. Lu Qin seemed to understand. He yelled, uh-huh, twice, and then Lu Qin told him to go to bed. Lu Qin also lay on the bed, thinking of what Gao Lu had just said. He didn't know if any of the guys were eating barbecue now, or if they would leave some for themselves. Chapter 32 Sign In Golden Mary at night, the footsteps of monsters outside were still rustling, and Luchin set off the trap again. Plop! When you hear this movement, you know that another werewolf shark has fallen in. Now catching werewolf sharks is basically what Luchin has to do every day. He is not prepared to go out and fight the werewolf sharks face to face. After all, it is better not to take risks because the enemy is in darkness, and we are clear. I opened the human chat box, which was still very lively. Today is the fifth day of survival. It is estimated that many people have died. I really don't understand what the meaning of this game is. Brothers, I just killed a werewolf shark. That guy's meat was really unpalatable, and it almost killed me. Fortunately, my torch worked. Damn it. Brother, you are so awesome. How did you kill the werewolf shark? Doesn't that thing drop materials? That thing doesn't seem to drop materials. 
Can living things drop materials? Do you think it's about killing monsters? Killing boss? And picking up equipment? Seeing this, Luchin sat up awkwardly. Because he got another piece of news. Now it seems that materials will only drop when you kill monsters yourself. Is it because of the epic hand axe? If this is the case, it means that when something of epic level or above attacks a creature or object, it will turn into materials and fall out. But this will not happen with ordinary weapon attacks. It seems that my guess is correct. Yes, it seems that the sign-in system has allowed me to develop ahead of schedule. Etc. Gal Lu saw her movements today. So she asked herself about the epic hand axe. This guy wouldn't be thinking about his own hand axe. Luchin knew that in this world, there was no absolute friendship. Everyone was related by interests. Gao Lu chose to keep one because he was desperate. In the eyes of Gao Lu, Lu Chen's strength was probably the one he could absolutely rely on. So he chose to stay in order to live a better life. No matter what, Lu Chen had already made up his mind to be careful not to be a courier for others. The monsters outside are still wandering around. And I don't know what the meaning of their existence is. But Lu Chen doesn't care about that. He just wants to sleep peacefully. Kakita. Lu Chen was awakened by the crow of a rooster. Yeah. What's wrong? Lu Chen stood up suddenly and looked at the hen pen in a daze. He already regretted bringing the hens in. Lu Chen got up and walked over. Took out the uneaten bread last time and tore some crumbs for the hen to eat. Then Lu Chen found the eggs behind the hen. Congratulations on getting the fertilized egg asterisk one. A fertilized egg again? No. There is no rooster to fertilize the eggs. Lu Chen thought of the cock meat that was killed by the killer. He actually killed the rooster. This guy must have limited education. Otherwise, if he hatched all these eggs, he would be able to give more chickens. That being said, it's not that easy to hatch eggs. Without a machine, would it be difficult for me to hatch them myself? Expecting that hen? Lu Chen glanced at the hen eating bread. Forget it. Ding! Daily sign-in starts. Do you want to start signing in? Finally. This exciting moment has finally come. I don't know what good things I can give myself today. Sign in. Daily sign in is successful. Congratulations on getting the Golden Mary number. Do you want to accept it? Who do you want to remind? Please ask the host to go to the shore to collect it. And be careful about getting stranded. Lu Chen? What the H? L? Golden Mary? Could it be the pirate ship in? One Piece. The Golden Merly? Although there is only one word difference. There shouldn't be much difference. Lu Chen rushed out of the room with excitement and rushed towards the shore. Lu Chen looked confused when he saw it. Lightning Shuang also followed out helplessly. Lu Chen came to the shore and clicked the yes button. Then a huge sailboat on the shore in front of him slowly appeared in front of him as if it was printed out. The Golden Mary in front of me is about the same size as the ship in one piece with white sails. The difference is that there is no sheep's head on the bow of the ship. And there is no luffy pirates on the sail. Logo. The entire hull is also made of steel. Without the sail, this would be a perfect cruise ship. Lu Chen looked at the Golden Mary in front of him and shouted excitedly. Ah ha 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 ha. I have a cruise ship. Lu Chen couldn't wait to get on the boat. But how to get on the boat? There are four wheels around the ship, which can be used on sea and land. However, there is no place for pedaling. There is only an anchor hanging at the stern. Lu Chen really doubts that there is no way for people to get on the ship. Is it possible to use it? Climb up the rope? Ladder? By the way, it's the ladder. Lu Chen happened to have the drawing of the ladder. Gao Lu gave it to him yesterday. He was thinking about how to use it, and he just needed it now. Make it. Congratulations on getting the ladder asterisk one. Board 15. 15 wooden boards are used to build a ladder, which is also very valuable. The ladder is very good and can be directly mounted on the hull. Lu Chen climbed up the ladder and climbed onto the ship, finally getting on the boat. Lu Chen looked at the boat in front of him, feeling so excited that he couldn't help himself. This ship has a mast, and the visual distance is about 10 meters high. The huge sail is stretched out, and it is very domineering, but it lacks a pattern. There are two ropes under the mast for folding and unfolding the sail, and there is a pulley in the middle that allows people to easily fold the sail. Lu Chen excitedly raised his head and walked around the mast. In front of him was a cabin. The cabin was divided into two parts. The upper part was used for posture and entertainment. And the lower part was used for rest. Luchin approached the cabin. There were radars, steering wheels, and various other sophisticated instruments in the cabin. They looked very high-end. 
although Luchin couldn't understand them at all. It didn't matter. He could study them slowly in the future. Walking into the lower level. There are several rooms here, which are used for resting. There is a turbine engine in a room at the stern. This should be the engine room. This engine is much more advanced than what Luchin has in his hands now. And can support such a large for a small ship to move. A small engine will definitely not work. After walking out of the computer room, there was a handle on the side. And Luchin moved it strangely. Click. A mechanical sound came. And a gap opened in the hull. The moment the gap opened, Luchin was shocked. Only then did Luchin realize that this was actually a door. A door that could lead to the outside. Luchin. Your sister actually has a door. Why didn't I find it and made a ladder? It's so embarrassing. But having said that, it is also very good to make a ladder. At least when the door cannot be opened. The ladder will come in handy. Because when you are sailing at sea, you still have to think about it if you want to open the door. Otherwise, the seawater will pour in and sharks will get in. Which will not be fun. Lu Qin saw a door open on the hull and ran over excitedly. Yeah, yeah. Seeing Lu Qin's excited look, Lu Qin knew that this guy wanted to come in and take a look. Come on! Come in! Lu Qin greeted, and Lu Qin and Ling Shuang walked in together. Lu Qin looked very excited when he entered the cabin. I am afraid that if Lu Qin agreed, Lu Qin would be ready to sleep here. Okay, don't get excited. I'll take you out to sea for a while. Let's go! Lu Qin went back to pack his things, collected all the useful things, and got on the boat with a hen in his arms. The hen should not be thrown away. This guy is his future chicken head, so he must protect it well. Now Lu Qin only keeps after landing at an empty house. He took Lu Qin on a sailing journey. Approaching the cab, Lu Qin began to think about it, and then finally figured out the function of the buttons here. Okay, we're ready to start. The ship started, retracted the anchor, and entered the seawater backwards. Then it automatically turned on the conversion mode. Switching from land to water mode. The engine started and the propeller began to rotate. Lu Chen was glued to the steering wheel and changing direction. The ship turned around and slowly started moving towards the distance. This ship is different from a wooden ship in that it can record more than a dozen locations at the same time for automatic navigation. Because there are no recording points on Luhan Island. Lu Chen can only sail according to his own memory and just hope that he will not deviate. Just fine. Chapter 33 Discovering Special Abilities After setting the course and continuing to move forward, Lu Chen came to the deck and stood on the bow of the ship looking at the scenery ahead. Although it was nothing special from usual, the cabin of the ship he was riding in was different. Taking a small boat was different from sitting in a car. The feeling of a big ship is different from the bottom of my heart. It's just different going out to sea on a ship. Because there are no winds and waves in this sea area, it is of no use for the time being. So it can only be propelled by the power of the propeller. Lu Chen didn't understand why there was no wind in this sea area. According to theory, how could there be no wind in this sea area? Probably this is a windless zone. No matter so much. He doesn't care about that now anyway. He just enjoys it. At present, in this world, I am afraid that only Lu Chen has such a ship. This is all thanks to the sign-in system. If there is no sign-in system, Lu Chen wouldn't enjoy it so much anymore. While driving, Lu Chen suddenly had a good idea, and then came to the cab, stopped the ship, and lowered the anchor to prevent the ship from drifting away. After fixing it, Lu Chen took out the furnace and started grilling fish. He decided to have breakfast on the sea. This was his dream. Now that he had the opportunity, he couldn't let it go. The problem of grilling fish was left to Lu Chen. Lu Chen had other things to do. He had no intention of upgrading the furnace for the time being. After all, if it was used by himself, it would be of no use if it was so big. After preparing the food, Lu Chen walked to the rest area and made a bed in each room. The bed was just the right size to be placed in it. And there was also some space to put a chair. Seeing that the originally empty room had now become very cozy, Lu Chen nodded. Although it only had a bed and chairs, it was already very nice. After finishing his work, Lu Chen returned to the deck. The grilling of fish was still going on. But Lu Chen couldn't be idle. Now of course he was fishing. He was sitting on a cruise ship on the sea. If he didn't catch a fish or something, he would be sorry at this moment. Scenery. As soon as the fish hook was lowered, a big fish jumped out of the water in the distance. Lu Chen stood up hurriedly and looked at the big fish in the distance. The big fish was about one meter long and was silvery white in color. I couldn't tell what kind it was, but it should be delicious. 
Lu Chen licked his lips, put away the fishing rod, and took out the spear. He didn't want to use the epic hand axe to clean up the big fish. If the big fish was also decomposed, there would be nothing to eat. But the hand axe you still need to bring it with you. Just in case, if something happens, it will be troublesome. Lu Chen is optimistic about our ship and will treat you to something delicious later. Lu Chen took off his clothes and said something, and then jumped into the sea. Lu Chen, who has the title of Sea King, feels like he is at home in the sea. After several experiences in the sea, Lu Chen is even more familiar with the road this time. He shuttles freely in the sea and passes through a school of fish. Soon he I saw the big silver white fish that was still swimming freely. Tuna. Yes, that's right. That's tuna. Lu Chen recognized that guy at a glance based on his knowledge of fish. It was a high-grade tuna. It could grow to such a huge size, which showed that this guy was definitely not simple. The meat of tuna is very delicious and can be made into many dishes. It's a pity that I can't make any dishes now. But sashimi is also very good. Lu Chen was bound to get this tuna. Almost instantly. Lu Chen caught up with tuna and thrust out the spear in his hand. The tuna didn't seem to expect that someone would come to hunt it. And it was still in the deep sea. This one was accidentally pierced by Lu Chen's spear through its mouth. Its tail came out. And it was completely pierced through Lu Chen's long length. On top of the spear. This was because Lu Chen moved very quickly. Otherwise it would have been impossible to catch the tuna so easily. After the tuna's tail swung twice. There was no movement. Lu Chen dragged the tuna back to the boat. Seeing such a huge tuna. Lu Chen cheered. This was the first time he saw such a huge fish beside sharks. So he was naturally very happy. Don't be happy. After breakfast, I will take you to see your family and friends later. The two began to eat grilled fish. And several sharks in the distance were also wandering beside the boat. These sharks were all attracted by the smell of blood when Luchin killed the tuna. Luchin suddenly thought, How about catching a shark and roasting it? After thinking about it, I might as well forget it. Although the five sharks below did not attack the hull. They are not easy to mess with. Who knows if they can beat them if they go down. After eating the grilled fish, Lu Chen threw the fish bones directly into the sea and fed them to other fish. Then Lu Chen put away the anchor and started the cruise ship towards Luhan Island again. I don't know how long it took, but a small island appeared in front of me. The shape and size of this island were very inconsistent with Luhan Island. Lu Chen knew that he might have gone to the wrong place or direction. But since he was here, he couldn't waste it. If you have the opportunity, Let's go there and see if there are any resources. Walking onto the island, Lu Chen discovered that this was actually a Huang island that was about the same size as his own island. Seeing some footprints and blood stains on the island, Lu Chen was able to confirm that the players on this island had been killed. A backpack in the distance it fell to the ground. Lu Chen stepped forward to pick it up. He looked through his backpack and found nothing except the base. All the materials inside had been emptied. Maybe there was nothing inside. After all, many people couldn't. Made it through the first night. Luchin opened the base. But there was nothing in it. Alas! What a poor fellow! Luchin looked at the base in front of him and suddenly thought of something. A choir base, broken, asterisk one. I don't know if this guy can be demolished. Thinking of this, Luchin took out his epic mining pickaxe and smashed it against the base. Boom! Click! As soon as the pickaxe went down, cracks appeared on the base. Seeing the crack, Lu Chen directly smashed another manuscript over without thinking. Boom. Click. 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 Cracks instantly spread throughout the base. Boom. The next moment, the entire base exploded and disappeared without a trace, while several runes and a weather fragment appeared on the ground. Lu Chen stepped forward and picked it up. Congratulations on obtaining Apocalypse Fragment Asterisk 1. Gold Rune Asterisk 1. Earth Rune Asterisk 1. Water rune asterisk one. Base, broken, dash one. Sure enough, after the base exploded, apocalyptic fragments and various runes appeared. Because the base was in a broken state, there were too fewer runes obtained. After putting away his things, Luchin prepared to board the boat and leave without stopping. And just when he passed by the pool of blood, Luchin discovered that there was a name tag on the ground. Congratulations on getting the famous brand asterisk one. Name, Zhao Min. Gender, female. Occupation, freelancer. Number of kills, zero. Ability, perception. Ability? Why is there an item about ability on this name tag? Lucha remembers that when he looked at the killer's name tag, it seemed that there was no item about ability. 
Thinking of this, Luchin quickly took out the name tag of the previous killer. Sure enough, the name tag also said that the abilities are perception, flexibility, cutting down trees, making food, hunting creatures and other different abilities. Seeing this, Luchin was shocked. Why did this killer have so many abilities? How did he get it? What exactly is this ability? How did he get it? Is it true that everyone will know it after coming here? Have such ability? If everyone has it, Luchin would like to know what his ability is. But how to check his name tag? Just when Luchin wanted to check his name tag, a blue screen appeared in front of him. And this was Lu Chen's name tag. Name, Lu Chen. Sex, male. Occupation, office worker. Number of kills, one. Ability, fishing. Is this my famous brand? My ability is actually fishing? Chapter 34, Fusion of Abilities. Unexpected power. How can the ability to fish be considered an ability? Lu Chen looked confused. But when he thought about it carefully, he realized that when he was fishing, a green circle would appear. Maybe this was his fishing ability. He could fish very easily. This was a kind of ability. In this case, why does the killer have so many abilities? Is it possible that he can acquire the other person's abilities by killing people? If that's the case, then if I kill the killer, can I also take away his abilities? Thinking of this, Lu Chen saw a button at the bottom of the blue screen with the word synthesize written on it. Lu Chen pressed it without hesitation. Find famous brands asterisk 2 and start fusion. The next moment, the two name tags in Lu Chen's hands were directly integrated into Lu Chen's body. Lu Chen quickly checked his body and felt relieved after finding that there was nothing wrong. Congratulations on the successful fusion. The player has gained skills, perception, flexibility, cutting down trees, making food, and hunting creatures. Lu Chen looked at the reminder on the blue panel and was extremely excited. But how to use these skills? They can't all be passive skills. Forget it. Let's think about it later. There was nothing left to use on the island. So I went back to the boat and prepared to leave. But then the problem came again. Lu Chen Zhao this time directly caused him to lose the location information of Luhan Island. Now how to get back to Luhan Island is a problem. Lu Chen had an idea and took out the chart from last time. I didn't know if this island was on this chart. Lu Chen discovered a strange phenomenon by observing the sea map. The killer should have been to at least 10 islands and finally went to Luhan Island and died on this island. The largest island that was finally drawn should be this is Luhan Island. And the other small islands should be the player's islands. These islands have the same rules and all exist around this Luhan Island. In other words, Luhan Island is the center of these islands. Then now Lu Chen has the coordinates of his own island and the coordinates of the current island. When the two are connected and then connected to Luhan Island, a triangle is formed and Luhan Island is the vertex of the triangle. As long as you face this top corner is enough. But now there is another problem. That is, after the two islands are connected, there will be a top corner on the left and right, which is a bit difficult to solve. Lu Chen opened the radar coordinates on the ship and the navigation route map he had just taken, and found that starting from his island, compared with his usual route, today he actually yawed 45 degrees to the right. In this way, the angle would after some proofreading, you can find the coordinates of the top corner marking Luhan Island. After finding the correct location, Lu Chen started the ship again and headed towards the established location. On the way, Lightning Shuang found a dozen wooden boxes, including three blue wooden boxes. After a few lightning strikes, he took them all back. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 72, iron plate asterisk 36, steel plate asterisk 28, glass asterisk 50, rope asterisk 30, palm leaf asterisk 80, instant noodles asterisk 10, mineral water asterisk 30, Apple asterisk 10. Pineapple asterisk 15. Blueprint, lantern. Recently, blue boxes have begun to appear frequently. And the things that appear in blue boxes are also very rich. Especially food resources. Now you can get a blue wooden box. Which can basically last for 3 days. Food and water. It seems that as the game continues to develop, more advanced boxes will appear. And the things will be better by then. Luchin made up his mind that he must develop as soon as possible. If a more advanced box appears and is obtained by someone, then there will be. The speed of the ship was not slow, and he soon discovered the location of Luhan Island. It's great! I'm finally back. Lu Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief after finding Luhan Island. The island is still as quiet as usual, 
but now in the distance of the island. A shark is wandering nearby, seemingly looking for prey. Looking at the shark, Lu Chen suddenly came up with an idea. Since you are not going to leave, let's have a barbecue. Thinking of this, Lu Chen licked his lips, then took off his clothes, jumped into the sea again, held a spear, and rushed toward the shark with an axe in his hand. The shark seemed to also see Lu Chen, and actually rushed towards Lu Chen. Seeing the shark coming, Lu Chen's next step on how to hunt the shark appeared out of thin air in his mind. At the same time as the shark rushed over, Lu Chen turned around and moved his body towards the side of his opponent. He quickly shot out the spear in his hand and pierced the shark's head. The shark died without any struggle. This was so accurate. The harsh blow made Lu Chen really startled. The last time he killed a shark, Lu Chen was carried away by the shark. But this time, the shark didn't struggle at all. This level of accuracy really made people feel scared. Lu Chen thought of the ability he had acquired previously. Hunting creatures. This might be the passive skill. It is indeed a powerful ability. But how could he die in the hands of a killer with such an ability? Or maybe this skill is all that the killer has. If he didn't have a gun, attack first. And Gao Lu's help. He might not be able to do it at all. It's so easy to kill the killer. It's scary. Really scary. This ability can actually find the opponent's weakness in an instant and attack it. And it is also a fatal attack. If the killer had this skill, wouldn't it be even more powerful? Lu Chen dragged the shark's body back to the shore. Lu Qin and Ling Shuang were already waiting on the shore. When they saw Lu Chen coming, they immediately ran over. Awesome. Lu Qin gave Lu Chen a thumbs up. Lu Chen chuckled and said, Okay, don't stay here anymore. Go ask someone to come over and let them help carry the things. Lu Qin heard Lu Chen's words and immediately ran towards the camp. Lu Qin is still very familiar with this place. Now we can go to the camp. But what to do with this ship? I don't know if it will be attacked or towed away if it is left here. It would be nice if we could just drive away. Lu Chen's idea is good, but the reality is always cruel. Although the ship has wheels on it, it can only travel for a short time. It is still a long way to drive like a car. In the end, Lu Chen found rocks and surrounded the ship. However, because the height of the mass was more than 10 meters, it was impossible to cover it all. So he had to surround it with rocks. This was basically much safer. At least monsters like sharks can't come in. At this time, Lu Chen ran over with people. Everyone was surprised and happy to see Lu Chen coming with a shark and a tuna. Everyone carried the two fish and headed towards the camp. Gao Lu walked over with a puzzled look on his face, pointed at the wall and asked, Excuse me, Boss Lu, what is this? Boss Lu? This title was very good. Lu Chen smiled proudly, then made a ladder and placed it on the wall. Come up here and let me see the good stuff. Gao Lu looked confused. Then the two climbed up the wall, and when Gao Lu saw the cruise ship inside, he couldn't help but gasped, with a look of shock on his face. This, 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 a ship? Gao Lu couldn't believe that this ship would appear here. What ship? How about a cruise ship? Didn't it scare you? This was of course frightening, and Gao Lu was dumbfounded. She never imagined that Lu Chen would have a ship. Take me for a ride. Gao Lu looked at Lu Chen with surprise. Hearing this, Lu Chen couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth. Sister, are you right? Did you let me tear down the wall I just built? After all, wait until we finish the barbecue. Killing the shark will waste all my strength. How about you? You have to give me some face too. Lu Chen didn't want to go out to sea now. He had just found the direction and returned to Luhan Island. You must know how scary the situation is on the vast sea without seeing the land. Now that he finally landed, he naturally wanted to rest first. For a moment. Okay, let's go get something to eat first. But in the afternoon, you have to take me out to have some fun. I've never been on a ship in my life. I repeat, this is a cruise ship. Chapter 35 Traveling on the Sea Behemoth The two walked down the wall. Gao Lu said with a smile. Lu Chen, come with me. I will take you to see something good. Good stuff? What good stuff? Gao Lu was mysterious and led Lu Chen toward the good thing he said. On the other side of the camp, a small pond about five by five appeared in front of us. The sides and bottom of the pond were surrounded by stones. If there was a stove underneath, it would probably be able to bathe in hot springs. Huh? Did you dig this? Lu Chen was surprised and didn't know why Gao Lu dug out this thing. Of course, take a closer look at what's inside. Hearing this, 
Lu Chen stepped forward and took a closer look. There were actually small fish fry wandering inside. He didn't know where they came from. Fry? Where did you get the fry? Lu Chen was very surprised. He didn't expect that there were fish fry here. If they could be raised, wouldn't it be very convenient to eat fish? Galbu said with a smile. It's really good luck. When we got up this morning, we went to catch fish and happened to see a fish with a big belly. I wanted to get up and build a pond to raise it. I just made the pond. When you put it in, it dropped a lot of small fry, which was really lucky. After hearing what Galu said, Luchin also felt very lucky. There were at least hundreds of small fry here, and if they were raised well, they would be very good. Luchin smiled and said, Ha ha, that's right. I didn't expect you to be quite smart. That's right. At least I'm a woman and I'm very careful. If it were you, I'd probably start eating fish roe. Galu glanced sideways at Luchin. Luchin smiled sheepishly. Don't worry about those details. I will make a fence for you. Luchin then went to build a fence for the pond to surround it, which could prevent wild beasts or monsters from entering. Luchin then went to the farm to take a look. There were indeed scratches on the surrounding walls. It seemed that the tiger was real. Do you want to see a tiger? I'll take you to see a tiger. Over here. Galu saw Lu Chen's thoughts and took Lu Chen into the room in the camp. In the room, a yellow tiger skin is hung on the wall. It has been cleaned. This tiger skin looks really fierce. It seems that they also went through a fierce battle yesterday. It is really very special to live here. Danger. Always be careful of attacks from monsters and beasts. Isn't this tiger afraid of fire? Lu Chen asked strangely. You shouldn't be afraid. Otherwise, why were the huge fire and the torches on the wall scratched by it yesterday? Those monsters almost rushed in yesterday. Do you know how dangerous it is? Galu said, feeling full of fear. Luchin smiled and said, It's okay. Those guys have very high survival skills. Otherwise, they wouldn't be alive until now. You mean, I don't have any merit? Galu asked angrily. Huh? No. No. That's not what I meant. I. As he said this, Luchin suddenly felt something was wrong. Why was the conversation between the two so ambiguous? This was not the time for flirting. Luchin said with a serious face. Be careful in the future. It will be very dangerous at night. By the way, I happen to have a water storage tank here which can save you the trouble of using water. I'd better build one first. It was said that Luchin walked towards the outside of the camp. While Gao Lu had a blank look on his face. He was talking well just now. But why did he suddenly change his face? This guy is too strange. Lu Chen built a small room with stones, like on his own island. With a high platform underneath. Then he made a purified water storage tank and placed it on the high platform. Congratulations on getting the purified version of the water storage tank asterisk 1. Iron plate 30. Steel plate 20. Rope 30. Wooden plank 50. After making the water storage tank, the next step was the water pipe. This time, Lu Chen did not place the water storage tank too far away. It only took 10 meters to make a water pipe leading to the room. When they saw the water pipes that could freely discharge water, all the indigenous people were very surprised. And they all applauded in welcome. Lu Chen, you are really amazing. You actually have all these things. Galu couldn't help but admire. She didn't expect that Lu Chen had far more resources than she imagined. Lu Chen smiled lightly and said nothing. The barbecue had been prepared. And there was still some tiger meat left from yesterday. Luchin also enjoyed the tiger meat. And it was indeed very delicious. Galu ate the shark meat and asked, Luchin, how did you kill the shark? That guy is so powerful. You can even kill a shark? Luchin smiled and said, It's nothing. Just good luck. Eat quickly. After eating, I will take you out to sea for a while. Hearing this, Galu nodded happily. Yeah. Okay. Although this barbecue meal is delicious, the taste is still a bit lacking. It would be perfect if there were cumin and chili sauce. After eating the barbecue, Lu Chen and Gao Lu came to the cruise ship. The two were preparing to go sailing around the sea. Lu Chen used an epic mining pick to dismantle half of the wall. The two got on the ship with lightning shuang. And other indigenous people stayed on the island and continued to work. The cruise ship started and headed towards the sea. Standing on the deck, Gao Lu looked around happily. Lu Chen's cruise ship stopped at a sea area and lowered the anchor. The two of them admired the surrounding scenery, although there was no scenery to speak of. This is my first time riding a ship. I have never been on a ship before. Ah. Uh. Galu looked very excited 
and screamed towards the sea. Luchin came over and said, Let's enjoy it. Do you want to catch a fish? Fishing? Here? Let's forget it. I'd rather go to the sea and play around than fish. Galu looked at the sea and looked a little eager to try it. It seemed that he was really ready to go for a swim in the sea. Go to the sea? Luchin looked around. It was calm here and there wasn't a single shark. It wasn't impossible to go out and play. Galu had already taken off his clothes and was really ready to go into the sea in his underwear. Are you prepared to continue like this? Luchin asked with a rosy face as he looked at Galu's attractive figure. Of course. Otherwise. Plop. Galu smiled slightly, then turned around vertically and jumped into the sea. Seeing this scene, Luchin smiled slightly and said nothing. Looking at Galu swimming freely in the sea, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Hey! Luchin! Come down too! Galu greeted Luchin. Ah! Oh, I won't go! You can play by yourself! What a coward! What are you afraid of? Come down and play! Don't you know how to swim? Galu provoked. And Luchin's mouth twitched. Some people actually said that he couldn't swim. But he was a man with the title of Sea King. I... Luchin was about to say something. But his expression froze instantly. His face became more and more frightened. As if he had seen something very scary. I saw a huge black figure in the sea in the distance coming towards Galu quickly. That thing didn't look like a shark. But more like a whale. Without any time to think. Luchin didn't even take off his clothes. He just jumped in and reached Galu's side almost instantly. Why? You're willing to come down. But you might as well take off your clothes anyway. Because your clothes will get wet. Galu said jokingly. Come with me. Luchin grabbed Galu and dragged the confused Galu quickly towards the cruise ship. Quick! Get up! Luchin urged hurriedly. Although he didn't know why. Galu hurriedly climbed onto the boat. And Luchin followed closely behind him. Galu turned around to help Luchin get on the boat. Just as he was about to say something, he saw the huge thing. Yes, that's it. Before Galu could speak, Luchin covered Galu's mouth and shook his head to signal her not to speak. The two were horrified as they watched the behemoth arrive below the cruise ship. However, the behemoth seemed to have no interest in Luchin and their cruise ship, and actually passed slowly below. The moment the behemoth came under the boat, both of them felt a huge sense of fear. If they hadn't been holding on to the railing, Galu would have collapsed on the ground. Luchin, who was on the side, grabbed Galu's arm to stop him from being so scared. A minute later, the giant thing still didn't leave, but he could feel that the thing was still swimming. It was such a huge thing, and he didn't know how big it was. Chapter 36 Survival is Difficult Thunderstorm is Coming At this moment, the black behemoth is still moving forward in the sea. If you stand in the air and look down at this time, you can find that this behemoth is extremely huge. The cruise ship Luchin is on is equivalent to an ant and an ant. The comparison with the elephant shows how huge it is. Three minutes later, the behemoth finally disappeared from the sight of the two of them, dragging its huge whale-like tail. Plop! The two finally came to their senses and sat slumped on the deck. Just now! What was that? Galu asked in surprise. Luchin shook his head in shock. The moment he saw the huge thing, Luchin actually had a feeling of death. Fortunately, the big guy didn't notice them. Or maybe the big guy didn't bother to deal with them at all. Lu Chen and the others took action on this small cruise ship. After all, compared to that behemoth, Lu Chen and the others were too small. Suddenly, Lu Chen reacted and immediately ran to the driver's cab, started the cruise ship, and quickly returned to Luhan Island. He can't stay here any longer. The sea is too dangerous. If he continues to flow like this, he may not even know how he died. Fortunately, the radar recorded the coordinates, and the two quickly returned to Luhan Island. The two of them didn't have any conversation along the way. It wasn't that they didn't want to talk, but that they didn't want to talk at all. The fear and pressure that the behemoth gave them didn't disappear so easily. After rebuilding the cruise ship and placing it inside the wall, the two hurriedly headed towards the camp. And when the two of them just returned to the camp, a blue screen appeared in front of them at the same time. A huge thundercloud storm is sweeping across the world. Everyone must be prepared. The thundercloud storm is very fierce. It is best to stay in the room and do not come out if nothing happens. Make your house strong to avoid being blown away. A countdown appeared at the bottom of the blue screen. When the countdown ended, it was probably the time when the thunderstorm was coming. There are still three hours left in the countdown. So it's time to prepare as soon as possible. Thunderstorm? 
Lu Chen and Gao Lu looked at each other at the same time. Over the past few days, the world had been in a calm moment, and they had never thought that there would be a thunderstorm. Lu Chen, we must prepare before the thunderstorm comes. Lu Chen nodded and said, Okay, these are the stones I have now. I will collect some more. You can reinforce them as soon as possible and pack up the fish ponds, cow sheets, and sheep pens. I think this thunderstorm is scary. It won't be that simple. Okay, go ahead. The two had a clear division of labor. Lu Chen immediately went to prepare the stones, while Gao Lu led the people to immediately prepare everything needed. Lu Chen had an epic hand axe in his hand, so collecting stones was no longer a problem. Soon, thousands of stones appeared in his hands. After digging the stones, he actually found iron or underneath. This really surprised Lu Chen. Iron ore is the best stone resource now. Now that it is discovered, it cannot be let go. Not long after, 130 iron ores appeared in Lu Chen's hands. After putting them in his backpack, Lu Chen turned around and left. Just after Lu Chen left, the cave that had been hollowed out was miraculously filled with sand. After returning to the camp an hour later, Gao Lu was almost ready. She surrounded the fish pond with stones, leaving only one doorway for entry and exit. Torches were also inserted in it for lighting, and the roof of the cow sheet was also used. The stones are blind, reinforced so that they are foolproof. How about this? Is this okay? Gao Lu asked, pointing forward. No. Lu Chen shook his head and said, We don't know how long the storm can last. If it lasts too long, we won't be able to feed cattle, sheep and fish fry and they will definitely starve to death. So it's up to me. Lu Chen decided to take action immediately. Lu Chen's idea was indeed not simple. The distance between his residence and the cattle and sheep sheds was at least 20 meters away. He actually used stones to connect the roofs of his residence and the cattle and sheep sheds, so that it was considered a thunder cloud. The storm will last for a long time, and there is no need to worry about feeding cattle and sheep. In order to prevent storms from coming, walls were built on both sides. Entrances and exits were left on the walls on both sides. A door was installed on each entrance and exit, which can effectively prevent storms from coming. Plug in the torch and the hall will be brightly lit. In this way, the hall will become a place for activities. Gao Lu was shocked when she saw such a huge project. She never expected that Lu Chen would be so extravagant. The other natives were very happy when they saw this scene, because their houses were bigger. At this time, the natives who had gone out to pull weeds also came back. Lu Chen stepped forward and gave Lu Chen a hand, and Lu Chen turned his head. The next moment, Lu Chen suddenly realized that his island had not been reinforced yet. But now there was simply not enough time. Although there were no resources on the island, only some flowers and plants, and a house, it was still his island. That's all. It's not okay to leave it alone. The countdown is now less than half an hour. I don't know if I can catch up. Lu Chen turned around and left. Lu Chen. Why are you going? Gao Lu hurriedly chased after him. There was not much time now. If he went out, he might be swallowed up by the thunderstorm. My island cannot be given up. After saying that, Lu Chen left quickly. Lu Chen wanted to follow, but was stopped by Lu Chen. Don't follow me. Go back quickly. It's safe here. You'll have to listen to Gao Lu until I come back. Do you understand? Lu Chen looked at Lu Chen seriously and motioned for him not to follow. Although Lu Qin was a little reluctant, he still stayed. Lightning Xuan will not stay. After all, Lu Qin is its master. Pets must always follow their masters. Even if their masters die, their pets will die with them. One person and one pet got on the boat and quickly sailed away from Luhan Island under the watchful eyes of Gao Lu and others. Gao Lu sighed secretly. This guy is quite nostalgic. Lu Qin increased the speed of the cruise ship to the maximum. But the journey was still half an hour so he might not be able to catch up. The black clouds in the distance are already visible to the naked eye, and the thunder and lightning are beating in them, making people feel great terror. There were still ten minutes left in the countdown, but Lu Chen still couldn't see his island. The radar showed that it was still fifteen minutes away. Lu Chen was anxious, and there was really no way he could do it. His island was built by him after several days of hard work. Although there were not many materials, and there were no valuable items in it, Lu Chen still felt very sad when he left it alone. The thought of his island being blown away by the storm, there was nothing left. And Lu Chen felt very uncomfortable. It would be nice if the island could be moved. A strange idea appeared in Lu Chen's mind. Although it was unrealistic, 
It was not impossible. After all, there were no roots under this island. There were five minutes left in the countdown, and the thunderstorm was getting closer and closer to Lu Chen. But in the next second, the original five minutes suddenly turned into one minute. No way. How can the countdown get shorter? It's too despicable. Although he didn't know what was going on. Since he only had one minute, he had to be prepared to face the thunderstorm. At the moment when the countdown ended, dark clouds suddenly covered the sea, and there was lightning and thunder. The strong wind was gathering dark clouds, and between the dark clouds and the sea, Lu Chen's cruise ship was moving hard. Wave after wave of sea blue keeps lapping at the cruise ship. Fortunately, Lu Chen's cruise ship was strong enough. The hull only swayed from side to side, and there were no other signs. Sudden, dense lightning flashed in the sky, like a chaotic network intertwined together. The lightning instantly illuminated the entire sky. Then, boom, a huge thunderous sound came from the distance, and Lu Chen was suddenly startled. The storm is coming too fast. Lu Chen knew that when encountering a storm on the sea, especially a thunderstorm like this, the chance of survival was almost zero. Lightning Chuan lay on the ground, trembling all over. Lu Chen hugged him up to make him feel better. The wind was blowing hard outside. The waves were getting bigger, and the sound of thunder was getting closer. Lu Chen knew that he couldn't sit still and wait for death. He had to return to the island. Otherwise, everything would be over. Increase the horsepower and charge me. Chapter 37 Returning to the Isolated Island in the Wind and Rain Above the ocean, a small cruise ship was shuttled through the waves. The wind was howling. The rain was pouring. The thunder was shaking. And countless thunder and lightning were beating in the sky. The whole world seemed to have turned into H. L. Under this environment, Luchin did not give up any hope. He needed to go back to the island. Only in this way could he survive. On the radar, Lu Chen's island was getting closer and closer, and the shadow of the island could be vaguely seen. Hope is already in front of him. Lu Chen still needs to continue to persevere. Come on! Come on! Go forward! Charge me! Boom! A bolt of lightning struck down and actually hit the mast. The unused mast was buried in the sea. Lu Chen looked at the mast that had fallen into the sea and was extremely shocked. Could it be that it was over like this? He could swim freely in the sea but lightning was not good enough. Lu Chen took a solemn look at Lightning Chuang in his arms. Sorry, it seems we can't make it to the end. Lightning Chuang looked at Lu Chen and growled. Congratulations, pet's loyalty plus 10. This can also increase loyalty. It seems that communication can also increase loyalty. Lu Chen's eyes hardened. He couldn't give up just like that. Not only for the sake of the lightning, but also for himself. As long as he could withstand this storm, there would be nothing that could hinder him. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. The cruise ship seemed to hear the cry in Lu Chen's heart. A wave crashed over. And the cruise ship crashed directly through the waves. As if something was pushing behind the hull. The cruise ship rushed directly to the coast. Lu Chen immediately put down the anchor. Picked up Ling Shuang and rushed towards the house. Fortunately, the house was not damaged in this strong wind. But the fence next to it had been blown away and the flowers planted in the soil were showing signs of rising up. Lu Chen put Lightning Chuang into the room and rushed out again despite the wind and rain. The heavy rain and the raging wind made the big flowers slap on Lu Chen's body, causing a slight pain. However, Lu Chen did not give up. He could not just leave the flowers alone. He built a house for them using stones in the rain, and then surrounding the ship with stones will prevent any problems with the ship. After doing everything, Lu Chen quickly returned to the room but his clothes were already soaked. Got out the furnace, took off my clothes and started drying. Lighting Shuang stood aside and did not fall asleep. Lu Chen immediately felt something was wrong. At this time, Lighting Shuang should be sleeping. If he was not sleeping, it would be because it was already night. Lu Chen raised his head and looked out the window. Amidst the thunder and lightning outside, Lu Chen actually spotted a black shadow appearing in front of the window. Monster! This was Lu Chen's first reaction. He immediately took out a torch, lit it, and inserted it around the door and the walls to prevent too many monsters. Lu Chen inserted two torches on each of the four walls. Under the firelight, the monster's figure was revealed. And under the firelight, the monster's scream spread into the house and reached Lu Chen's ears. The sharp neighing sound made people's heads feel swollen. Lu Chen quickly covered his ears. His face turned pale and his expression was filled with pain. The monsters also quickly retreated after seeing the light of the fire. 
as the screams disappeared. Luchin finally calmed down. And just now, when the fire ignited, Luchin had already seen the appearance of the monster through the window. It was no longer a werewolf shark, but a monster covered in mud. The monster also emerged from the sea. But I don't know why the guy has such a shape on his body. The sludge seems to be unable to be washed away, even under such a violent storm. And it seems to have grown together with the monster. Luchin was lying on the ground. His body curled up. Lighting Chuan came over and lay on Lu Chen's body. A warm current entered Lu Chen's body, and Lu Chen felt much more comfortable. Congratulations. Pet loyalty plus 10. It took a long time before Lu Chen stood up and lay on the bed, with Lightning Chuan lying next to him. Lu Chen finally calmed down. He didn't know why Lu Chen suddenly felt so tired. Warning. Players are low on physical strength. Please replenish their physical strength as soon as possible. Otherwise they will die from fatigue. Not enough energy. Only then did Lu Chen realize that there was only half of the chicken leg left in the upper right corner. It seemed that he had consumed too much energy in the storm. And now he needed to regain his energy as soon as possible. Not caring about so much. Lu Chen quickly took out bread and water to replenish his food. Finally, after eating a piece of bread, he added a chicken drumstick. And Lu Chen finally regained his energy. Lu Chen stood up and handed Lightning Chuan a pineapple and an apple. Lightning Chuang must have consumed a lot of energy, so it also needed to recover. Congratulations on the intimacy with your pet plus 20 and loyalty plus 5. Lightning Chuang felt energetic after eating the fruit. Lu Chun was no longer decadent. He stood up and went to the furnace to start grilling fish. The combination of grilled fish and instant noodles could increase the number of three chicken legs. Lu Chun suddenly thought of his own radish. I don't know if that thing can still be eaten now. I took out the radish. There is no sign of this radish. It seems that it is still edible. So I might as well have one. This thing replenishes physical strength very quickly. The steak last time directly replenished four chicken legs. Now adding grilled fish and instant noodles can add seven chicken legs. But there are still two chicken legs missing. But it doesn't matter. The dessert after the meal is still very good. Two apples can add one chicken leg. Anyway, there are a lot of apples. It would be nice to have a few. Opening the radish. Luchin ate a steaming bowl of beef steamed buns this time, which tasted extremely delicious. While eating, Luchin opened the chat box. Now that the thunderstorm is coming, it will definitely be very lively. Help! What should I do? There is a typhoon here. It's raining so hard. What should I do? My island seems to be sinking. Do you have one there? I'm here to ask for help too. What should I do? All my supplies have been stolen. Damn! Luckily the base is strong enough. I'm really afraid that the base will also go up. I saw a dragon sucking water. What should I do? It passed next to me. It was so scary. I was scared to death. I am the chairman of group. Whoever can save me from the sky. I will give him all my assets. Brother. Are you alive? You can still send messages while flying in the sky. You are also a talent. I am asking for some materials. Who can give me some? When the storm passes. I will return double the amount. Everyone on the World Channel had a very lively chat. It seemed that although the storm was powerful, many people were able to face it calmly. Just as Luchin was about to close the chat box, he saw that there were more than a dozen unread messages in the private chat. Luchin! Are you okay? Luchin! Are you here? Luchin! Have you seen it? Please reply. Luchin! You bastard! Just say something back when you see it. Don't scare me. Luchin, please reply. Luchin, they were all messages from Gao Lu. It seemed that Gao Lu still cared about him very much. Luchin smiled faintly and immediately sent a message to Gao Lu. I'm fine. I'm already here. How are you doing there? Gao Lu, who was far away on Luhan Island, suddenly woke up from bed when he saw Lu Chen's reply to the message. You bastard. Why didn't you reply when everything was fine? It made us worry. It's fine here. But the wind is very strong. Fortunately, you reinforced it in advance. Otherwise it would be really dangerous here. Gao Lu was very happy that Lu Chen was fine. So she could feel at ease. Knowing that Gao Lu and the others were fine. Lu Chen felt relieved. After eating, Lu Chen sat by the window and looked into the distance. Outside, the black monster looked very clear against the lightning. Lu Chen boredly drew a portrait of the monster on the ground. Interesting monster. Like the faceless man. The appearance of the new monster made Lu Chen very worried at first. 
But now he has calmed down. Since this monster is also afraid of torches, there is nothing to be afraid of. As long as there are torches, monsters are not scary. Luchin glanced at the guard like Lightning Chuang standing at the door. A smile appeared on his lips and then fell asleep peacefully. Chapter 38 Dreams Are All Opposite A burst of melodious singing came, and Lu Chen suddenly opened his eyes. It was already morning. The weather outside was clear, the sun was shining, and the wind was beautiful. But the strange thing was, where was the lightning? Why was it missing? The melodious singing reached Lu Chen's ears, and he immediately sat up, opened the door, and walked out of the room. The dazzling sunlight was about to come over, and Lu Chen subconsciously stretched out his hand to block it. And in the next second, he actually saw a beautiful figure on the sea's surface jumping out of the water and sitting on the rocks on the shore. That is... Mermaid! Lu Chen exclaimed. That is really a mermaid. Her graceful curvy figure can be said to kill all women in the world. And the melodious singing came from the mouth of this mermaid. The mermaid in a gauze skirt revealed her fat-like water snake waist. And her star-like eyes revealed secret sadness. The song turned straight down from melodious and melodious to grief-stricken. What's going on here? Why is she so sad? Lu Chen looked at the mermaid and slowly walked forward. The mermaid's singing was not interrupted by Lu Chen's actions. But she looked at Lu Chen even more sadly. The mermaid's fair and tender little hand was raised towards Lu Chen. As if inviting him, Lu Chen hesitated for a moment, then slowly walked forward. And just when Lu Chen was about to touch the mermaid, the sky suddenly became gloomy. The sad singing stopped abruptly, there was a loud thunder in the sky, and a thunder struck down. Lu Chen suddenly opened his eyes. Lightning Shuang fell asleep on the ground. While he was still lying on the bed, there was thunder outside. Strong winds and heavy rain. Only then did he realize that everything was just a dream. But the strange thing is, why do I have such a dream? Lu Chen got up and realized that although it was still cloudy and raining outside, it was already daytime and everything could be seen very clearly. The monster had disappeared long ago and seemed to have entered the seawater. I don't know how long this rain will last. Lu Chen sighed helplessly. The rain washed the earth. Although the rain was not light, the island was not submerged. I wonder if the seawater has risen now. Lu Chen didn't have the time to worry about so much. He got dressed and started preparing breakfast. Breakfast for one person is still very easy to solve. Just grilled fish and instant noodles. Twinkle! Your apple! Lu Chen shouted. And Ling Shuang stood up and walked over. He ate an apple and rubbed it against Lu Chen's side to express friendship. If Lu Chen remembered correctly, his loyalty should have increased by 25 points yesterday. Now it seems that the relationship between Lightning Shuang and him is already very good. If the loyalty increases, Lightning Shuang will probably get closer to him. Of the storm outside continued, Lu Chen didn't pay too much attention. At least there wasn't much danger now. As for the tsunami that others said, it probably wouldn't happen. Boom. At this moment, a huge thunder and lightning exploded not far from Lu Chen's island, seemingly hitting something. The huge sound made the whole room tremble. Wow! A glass window in front of him shattered because it could not withstand the loud noise. The window broke, and the strong wind and rain from outside instantly poured in. Lu Chen stood up immediately and repaired the window immediately. Fortunately, it was relatively timely and no damage was caused. But what was it that was struck by lightning that caused such a huge movement? Lu Chen looked into the distance and saw a huge figure drifting past on the sea level in the distance. The black figure looks like a person, but not like a person. What is it? Could it be a mermaid? Combining the dream he just had, Lu Chen came to this strange conclusion. No matter how many there were, Lu Chen really wanted to get them over. Xiao Shen, don't follow me out. Wait for me in the house. After saying that, Lu Chen took off his clothes and pushed out the door. Although the rain hit his body, it hurt a little, but it couldn't stop Lu Chen's curiosity at all. Entering the seawater, swinging his arms, his figure rushed out like a swordfish. The black figure was right in front, very close. When Lu Chen got closer, he realized that it was not a mermaid at all, but a huge octopus more than three meters long. The octopus had been blackened by lightning and had no movement, but it was just right. It was enough to eat a sizzling octopus. Good. Lu Chen grabbed the octopus in his hand and turned around to head towards the island. The moment Lu Chen turned around and looked at the island, he was surprised to find that the island seemed to be moving. Yes, it is moving. He can definitely feel that it is definitely not him who is moving. But the island? This is a very shocking discovery. 
the island can actually move. If this is the case, doesn't it mean that he is moving? The island can be merged with Luhan Island. But how can we control the direction of the island? Is it possible to use a cruise ship to pull it? It's not the time to think about this yet. It's better to return to the island quickly. Drag the octopus back to the island. Outside the house, Lu Chen built a shed using stones to clean the octopus. You can't clean it in the house. This thing is fishy and makes people feel very disgusting. This octopus has been half cooked by lightning. So it only needs a little cleaning. The octopus after cleaning is still very good. And then as long as you get a teppanyaki out, you can cook the octopus on the teppanyaki. Thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't help but smile excitedly. Lu Chen expanded the shed, connected it to the room, and built half of the wall, leaving a door that could lead to the outside. This way, Lightning Xuan could also move outside. Lu Chen was a little excited at this time. If he could take a photo, he would like to take a photo and send it to Gao Lu. Although he was alone on the island, he was able to be late for the iron plate octopus, which was very enviable. Lu Chen could only send a message to make Gao Lu jealous. I'm making sizzling octopus. I'll save some for you later. Not long after, Gao Lu sent back a message. Something happened. I found that the island seemed to be moving. I just went out in the rain to take a look. And it seemed that it was really moving. And I saw other islands in the distance. What should I do? Sure enough, it was not his illusion that this island was moving. It turned out that not only his own island was drifting, but other islands were also drifting. If this was the case, wouldn't it mean that sooner or later, these islands would encounter it? Woo! Lightning Schwan on the side suddenly roared twice. Lu Chen turned around and saw that an island could be vaguely seen in the direction that Lightning Schwan was looking at. And it was a large island. Looking at its appearance, Lu Chen I was shocked. No way. Yes, the shape of the island was very similar to Luhan Island. Lu Chen instinctively walked to the window and stared at the island carefully. Xiao Shen, don't you think it's such a coincidence that we bump into Luhan Island? Lu Chen was very nervous. He was both surprised and worried. The surprise was that he would get whatever he wanted. But what he was worried about was what if this was not Luhan Island? What if it was a strange island? And what should he do? What to do? Looking at the islands in the distance. I didn't feel any closer at all. Lu Chen was suddenly startled. And then he realized that it might be because the wind direction had been changing. So the distance between the two islands was now sometimes closer and sometimes further away. It seemed that external force was needed to close the distance between the two islands. External force? What is that? It can't be the engine. Thinking of the engine, Lu Chen's eyes lit up. Why couldn't it be an engine? As long as the engine was big enough. Not to mention the island. Even icebergs could be transported to Africa through the Yenisei River. Lu Chen found the engine that was left after the iron ship was dismantled. Because of the cruise ship, there was no need to keep the ship. Lu Chen directly dismantled it to save space. And now only one engine remained. Looking at the simple engine in front of him, Lu Chen took out the upgrade hammer. Holding the upgrade hammer in hand, Lu Chen let out a sigh of relief. Come on! Give me a surprise! Perfect level! Show up! The upgrade fell directly, and the engine suddenly shone with golden light. Chapter 39 Check-In Planetary Engine Island Merger Ding! Daily sign-in starts. Whether to sign in or not. Before the hammer in Lu Chen's hand fell, the sound of the sign-in system finally sounded. Hearing the sound of signing in, Lu Chen decisively stopped what he was doing. Why did the check-in system wake up so late today? Could it be that it was also affected by the thunderstorm and delayed? No matter what. Since the sign-in appears, naturally it cannot be let go. Sign in! Ding! The sign-in is successful, and you will receive a planetary engine, marine version, asterisk 1. Do you want to accept it? Lu Chen? What the H, L? Planetary engine? No joke. Is this really what you want? I just wanted to upgrade the engine. And this time I signed in and got such a top-notch product. Take over. Lu Chen clicked the receive button on the blue panel in front of him. And the next moment a black engine the size of an ordinary car appeared in front of him. Planetary engine, marine version with perfect appearance and top speed. It can drive any island. It can change its body state according to the size of the island. It has four gears of low speed medium speed, high speed, and ultra high speed for you to choose from. Quick duck skin. After reading this introduction, Lu Chen suddenly had a sense of deja vu as an electric bicycle. And he also looked at the skin of a fast duck. Your sister's skin. 
now that he had this planetary engine. What else did Luchin say? Of course, he started to install it. Clicking the install button, the black engine immediately looked like an oil exploration well, with a large drill bit directly inserted into the island and submerged in the soil. Luchin looked at the disappeared planetary engine and was a little confused. The island didn't seem to be very deep. Would drilling in like this penetrate the entire island? At this moment, a console rose from the ground. This console had only one screen, and the entire screen was only 14 inches in size. The next moment the screen lit up, showing the engine location map of the entire island. This small island was actually equipped with eight engine nozzles in different directions, covering eight different directions around it. Luchin curiously pressed the button and started the engine. He felt as if the entire island was trembling and moving forward. Luchin looked out through the window and saw that the island in front of him was clearly visible, and the distance was quickly getting closer. It wasn't until he could see the appearance of the island that Luchin was surprised to find that the island was not Luhan Island at all. The size of this island was half the size of Luhan Island. He didn't know what the resources on it were like. Warning. The distance between the two islands is getting closer, and there will be a risk of collision. Should the two islands be merged? Tips, after the merger, it cannot be untied. The unknown island is extremely dangerous. Players are advised to handle it with caution. Can islands be merged? This made Luchin never expect that if an uninhabited island merged, it would be merged. However, the island in front of him was full of unknown dangers. Who knew what would happen? Should they be merged? Luchin quickly stopped the planetary engine and used the front injection port to perform reverse thrust to reduce the speed. After the speed decreased, Luchin finally stopped the engine. After a lot of struggle, Luchin was ready to fight. Anyway, he still had a way out, which was Luhan Island. So let's fight with him. Merge! Merge started. Please wait. On the blue screen, a one-minute countdown to the merger began, and the merger was finally completed. Luchin only felt a shake, and then the merger of the islands was finally completed. The planetary engine detects that the island has become larger, and the automatic mode switching is completed. It's amazing. This planetary engine actually passed the island inspection by itself and also completed the upgrade. Although the console has not changed much, the number of jets has been increased to 10. The merger of the islands was completed and Lu Chen was at the edge of the entire island. He looked out the window. At this moment, a huge thunderbolt fell down and hit somewhere on the island. And then the entire ground began to tremble. What happened? Something was hit again. Could it be that there are savages on this island too? Thinking of this, Luchin was already preparing to go around. Now that a new island has been discovered, it means that there will be more new resources on the island. And now the island has begun to move under the influence of the storm. If there are other players discover the island, they will probably fuse it and start collecting resources. So now is the right time to go out. Shaoshen, you stay here to look after the house. Remember not to let anyone else in. If anyone breaks in by force, just kill them. Lu Chen gave instructions to Ling Shuang, and Ling Shuang seemed to understand and stood up straight. Lu Chen nodded, then closed the door of the house and left towards the unknown territory in the distance. At this time, there was wind and rain, thunder and lightning, but in order to get the upper hand, Lu Chen had to take the lead in exploring to gain more resources. It was precisely because he was the first to land on Luhan Island that he was followed by the natives. Passing through a dense jungle, a wild melon field appeared ahead. Watermelon? Lu Chen didn't expect that there were watermelons here at all. This was an unexpected surprise. Lu Chen stepped forward, picked two watermelons, and put them into his backpack. Congratulations on getting watermelon asterisk too. There were still a lot of watermelons on the ground. Lu Chen picked them off one by one and put them all into his backpack. It may be a mechanical problem of this game. The 100 apples given by the system last time were all intact in the backpack without any damage. Most likely, Everything you put in your backpack will be well preserved without any signs of mold or damage. A total of 23 watermelons were obtained, and the rest are watermelon vines. Just keep these things. They are of no use for the time being. The discovery of the watermelon allowed Lu Chin to improve his food. I wonder how much this watermelon can increase the loyalty and intimacy of pets. If it can increase a lot, Lu Chin is willing to keep it all and leave it to Ling Shuang. After all, Ling Shuang is happy, but they survive on fruits. After picking off the watermelon, Lu Chen continued walking forward. A cave appeared in front of him, and Lu Chen walked in curiously. It was pitch black in Shandong, 
and torches lit up the entire cave. The cave is not very big. There is some garbage in the corner of the cave. And under the garbage there is a gray box, which seems to be stored here. Luchin stepped forward to check and tore off the contents of the box. Dust suddenly flew up. Cough, cough, cough. Luchin choked on the dust and quickly took two steps back. There's so much dust. It looks like no one has been here for a long time. After the dust settled, Luchin dared to step forward and started rummaging around. After removing some garbage, Luchin saw clearly that there was a simple wooden bed frame under the wooden box. It seemed that someone had rested here before. Opening the wooden box, inside was a diary and a pen without ink. Luchin opened the diary curiously. The first page reads, Blue Star Zero Era 3012. On a sunny day, I started traveling around the world with my beloved. I loved her very much. And she loved me very much. We. The font at the back is blurry, and I don't know what it is. Turning to the second page. It was Blue Star Zero Era 3012. It was a sunny day. And the Oaks Company's spaceship was very good. We lingered in the sky all night. And it felt really great. Page 3. Blue Star Zero Era 3012. On a rainy day. The captain just said that the spacecraft has a power problem which may be caused by an external magnetic field. It seems that the parallel world has a great impact on us. Page 4. Blue Star Zero Era 3012. Sunny day. This is a very sad day for me. We crashed, and I was the only one who survived the entire spaceship. I was washed up on this desert island with nothing. I'm about to collapse. Page 5. This was my second day of survival on a desert island. I almost died in the mouth of a big snake. The guy was 10 meters long. But luckily it was attracted to watermelon. It was the first time I saw a snake like to eat watermelon. Page 6. I'm going to fight that big snake to the death. Anyway, I can't survive anymore. Let's fight. There is a blank space behind it. So it seems that this person must have lost. Chapter 40. Fighting zombies in the crypt. Chopping melons and vegetables. Big snake? Are there snakes on this island? It also likes to eat watermelon. It's really interesting. Luchin put away the diary and didn't pay much attention to it because he must have been looking at the diary for a long time and the big snake might have left. It was still raining heavily outside and Luchin did not stay any longer because there was nothing worth collecting here so it was better to search for resources as soon as possible. After walking out of the cave heavy rain poured on his face. Apart from a little pain Luchin didn't feel anything else. After all water was now a friend to Luchin. Not long after Luchin left the cave, a python with black background and white flowers returned to the cave. The python wandered around the cave twice, seeming to have discovered something, and then followed Luchin's trail. Luchin naturally didn't know that he had been targeted by a big snake. He had discovered iron ore and was mining it frantically. Iron ore is the best for the current situation. As long as there is enough iron ore, a steel city wall can be built. And then, there will be no need to fear monsters. There is still a lot of iron ore here. Luchin had already mined a mine. And it was filled with iron ore. Just after Luchin dug the iron ore in front. A cave appeared inside. The disciple was extremely dark. Luchin took the torch and illuminated a 5x5 five five area. When he walked into the cave. There was no iron ore here. There are ordinary stones everywhere. And the tunnel is dark and winding in front of you. And seems to have no end. I wonder where this cave leads to. Luchin walked forward cautiously. Squeak. Suddenly a rat's voice sounded. And Luchin immediately stopped. Although the voice sounded like a rat. It was fundamentally different from a rat. He was sure that it was definitely not a rat. Luchin did not move forward again because he found that there was no way ahead. There seemed to be a black shadow shaking in the distance. Luchin took out another torch from his backpack. Lit it. And then threw the torch forward. And the moment the torch was thrown. Countless black shadows appeared in the distance densely overlapping each other. The black shadows were extremely terrifying and looked like zombies. Hiss! Li Lu took a deep breath. The hairs all over his body stood up. And he stepped back slowly. Fortunately, these zombies seemed to be sleeping and did not wake up due to the fire. Lu Chen also felt very lucky. Cici! Suddenly there was a sound of tongues sticking out not far behind. Lu Chen thought about the big snake. His heart sank. And he murmured in a low voice. You can't be so unlucky. Whoosh. The giant snake behind him suddenly attacked Lu Chin. Fortunately, Lu Chin reacted quickly enough and quickly dodged to one side. The big snake brushed past Lu Chin's body. 
but the huge snake's tail still hit Lu Chin and threw him away. Chi and blood 20. What the HL? He is equipped with black iron equipment. And he was knocked out of 20 points of blood. This guy is also a pervert. Lu Chin immediately panicked. He immediately took out the epic hand axe and epic mining pickaxe. Preparing to give it a try. However, the next moment, Lu Chin smiled. Because the big snake jumped so hard, it actually collided with the zombies. The originally sleeping zombies were awakened by the attack of the big snake. And the two sides immediately fought each other. Looking at the scene in front of him, Lu Chen was actually a little excited. He watched the fight between the two sides with interest, but did not leave. Under the siege of the zombies, the big snake was quickly at a disadvantage. Before long, the big snake had been eaten by the zombies. Only then did Lu Chen react and quickly ran outside. However, the zombies behind him also spotted Lu Chen and quickly chased after him. I'll go. It's not me who bumped into you. Why are you chasing me if you don't have a good sleep? Lu Chen looked confused and turned back to build a high wall in the cave to stop the zombies. Let's see if you can catch up. Boom. Suddenly there was a loud noise. It was the zombies attacking the wall. Lu Chen was shocked. Could it be that these zombies could break through the wall? The wall trembled. And huge sounds were heard continuously. Then, cracks appeared on the wall. Is it possible that these zombies can really break through walls? I no way. Boom. The next second, the wall was actually penetrated by zombies. The leading zombie's body was fractured due to hitting the wall. He fell to the ground and was trampled by the zombies behind him. The condition was tragic. Lu Chen really didn't expect these zombies to be so ferocious. If he escaped back to his residence, they would probably raise his home to the ground. Anyway, everyone on the left and right would be dead. So it seemed that he could only fight to the death. A zombie rushed over. And Lu Chen swung his father's axe and smashed it down. Wow! The zombie couldn't resist Lu Chen's axe, and instantly turned into materials scattered on the ground. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen was still a little hesitant. These zombies would be a disaster sooner or later if they stayed here. Now let them all disappear. Lu Chen's reaction was also quite quick, and with the defense of black iron equipment, he actually beat the zombies into groups and fled in all directions. Those who had no time to escape directly turned into materials all over the ground. In the end, only the dying zombie that fell to the ground and was trampled by others was left. Still breathing, Lu Chen did not hesitate and went up to kill them directly. At this point, all the zombies had been killed by Lu Chen. Lu Chen didn't expect that he would be able to operate with such 666 skills this time. The axe was too powerful. Chopping up zombies was like chopping melons and vegetables. It was extremely simple and easy. Afterwards, Lu Chen put away all the materials on the ground. Congratulations on getting iron or asterisk 350. Wooden board asterisk 200. Glass asterisk 120. Coal asterisk 500. Rope asterisk 60. Zombie bones asterisk 37. There are not many types of materials. But there are really many. I didn't expect that I got so many materials. Especially iron ore. I got so much. This is more than the iron ore I mined. Could it be that these zombies all grew up eating iron ore? Not being able to care so much. Lu Chen immediately left the crypt, walked to the entrance above, and then sealed the entire crypt. The materials here have been mined, and there is no need to stay. So he left quickly. Lu Chen walked around the island, but did not find any other creatures or resources. After leaving the forest, there was only forest, so he had to go back quickly. The current storm showed no signs of weakening, and the heavy rain continued. Under the weather, the strong wind is still raging. Maybe it will stop tomorrow. Lu Chen went back to the room and opened the door. Lightning Shuang immediately came over to protect Lu Chen. Did Xiao Shen miss me? Don't worry. I'm fine. Lu Chen went back to the room, took off his clothes and started drying them. Then, all the materials were put into the wooden box, and only the bones of the zombie were taken out. Zombie bones? What's the use of them? Looking at the bones in front of him. Lu Chen was troubled. One of each zombie fell out. And he didn't know what use it was. Zombie bones. Proof that zombies have been killed. It's not very useful. You can use it to decorate your room if you like. Lu Chen smiled when he saw the introduction. Damn it. Who is so perverted as to use bones to decorate the house? Why not hang it on the exchange and see if that fool comes to buy it? Lu Chen opened the exchange and hung up the zombie bones. And the resources exchanged were ordinary resources. Wooden boards asterisk 20. 
iron plates asterisk 10, or steel plates asterisk 5. After someone saw Lu Chen's transaction information, someone immediately sent him a message. Master, you are so powerful. You actually killed a zombie. Where are these zombies? Why are there none on my island? By the way, what are the bones of this zombie used for? Can they be used to make soup? Lu Chen was also amused when he saw what the other party said. When it comes to making soup, I actually want to use the bones of zombies to make soup. This young man is very thoughtful. Lu Chen sent the message again. You can buy one and give it a try. Okay, master. The next moment, one zombie bone was sold. Not long after, the man sent another message. Woohoohoo. You play with me. There is no hair for this thing. Lu Chen snickered. I didn't say it was useful. It's not bad to keep it for decoration. Just keep it for fun. Sell all the bones of the zombies you traded and obtain wooden boards asterisk 400. Iron plates asterisk 100. And steel plates asterisk 30. Chapter 41 Tsunami Hits. Rainbow appears again. What's the situation? All sold? Lu Chen immediately opened the exchange. And sure enough, all the bones in it were sold. He didn't know who bought so many bones. This guy bought so many bones. Which really made Lu Chen wonder if he had missed something. Although I don't know where those zombies came from. Since there are so many zombies, it means that this island must not be peaceful. And I wonder if there will be other monsters. At this time, a message came from Lu Chen's private chat. Lu Chen, are you okay with the big tsunami just now? The tsunami of more than 10 meters was really scary. Fortunately, all the loopholes were closed when I went out. Otherwise, I would have been doomed. Lu Chen was able to confirm that this was a message from Gao Lu. Big tsunami? There was no such thing as a big tsunami. Lu Chen didn't find any so-called big tsunami. There was nothing here except storms. Thunder and lightning. Woo 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 woo! Lightning Shuang made an anxious sound. And Lu Chen hurried over and looked through the window. There seemed to be something in the sky in the distance heading towards them. It looked like a city wall. And it seemed to be a ferocious beast. It was extremely ferocious. Tsunami! Lu Chen thought of the news that had just been revealed. And immediately thought of the tsunami. Suffer it! Lu Chen's room had windows and wooden boards on all sides and on the roof. It was very flimsy. When he was still young, these were his younger brothers and would be destroyed in an instant. Xiao Shen! Stay in the house and don't come out! Lu Chen immediately ran out of the room and began to use a block to block the windows and roof. Lu Chen also built a step buffer wall on the side facing the tsunami, which could effectively reduce the impact of the tsunami, then block all possible entrances to the water, then seal the ship, and build a buffer slope around it. After completing all this, the tsunami is approaching. Lu Chen immediately withdrew into the room, closed the door, and blocked it with stones, although there would be no air circulation in the enclosed space. It was necessary just in case. At this time, the tsunami was already close at hand. Boom! The huge tsunami engulfed the entire island instantly. Under the buffer slope set by Lu Chen, the sea water passed by without causing any damage to the house. I have to admire Lu Chen's imagination. The moment the tsunami struck, the whole room trembled, and a huge roar rang in his ears. Lu Chen and Ling Shuang hugged each other tightly. Ling Shuang was trembling all over. It seemed that he was really scared. Don't be afraid. Xiao Shen. Don't worry. Nothing will happen. The roar of the tsunami stopped suddenly. And everything returned to calm. As if nothing had happened. There was silence in the room. And you could hear a pin drop. Lu Chen slowly stood up and put down the lightning. He decided to go out and take a look. Since the tsunami passed by, nothing should happen now. Lu Chen walked to the door. And just in case, he used rocks to seal himself and the wall in front of him. If there was still sea water outside, it would only hit him the most. Not lightning Shuang. After doing everything, Lu Chen swung the epic pickaxe in his hand and smashed it down. Lu Chen controlled the pickaxe very well and only opened the door half the size of the original door. When the wall was opened, the dazzling sunlight passed through. The wall shone in. And Lu Chen subconsciously raised his hand to block it. Wow! No way! Is it sunny now? When he opened his eyes in a daze, it was calm outside, and the sun was shining brightly. The smell of earth after the rain entered his nose, washing away the boredom caused by the storm. Comfortable! Lu Chen sighed, and immediately opened the thick wall. Xiao Shen! Everything is over! Come and see! Quack! After lightning Shuang saw the bright sunshine, 
He immediately screamed happily. Lu Chen quickly opened the wall and reinstalled the door. This person also walked out of the room. The rainbow in the distance was visible to the naked eye. Hanging in the sky. This is the so-called how to see a rainbow without going through wind and rain. Right? The soil outside was still a little muddy because it had just been washed by the sea. But this did not affect the two's walking. Lightning Schwan was bored because of the thunderstorm. Now the sunshine finally came. Naturally. He was very happy. He stepped on the soft and muddy soil and played happily. He never forgot his mission while playing. Dragging the wooden box. Luchin walked around the house and reinstalled the doors and windows. He removed the stones on the roof and replaced the wooden boards and windows. Sunlight filled the entire room. And the plants in the room also regained their vitality under the sunlight. After doing everything well, Lu Chen finally felt relieved. Lu Chen returned to the house. The plants were still growing. They had reached the semi-mature stage now. It was estimated that the plants would mature tomorrow. Lu Chen would also know what these plants were. He also made a decision to plant them next time. These things must be placed outside. The house is really not suitable for planting. The private message flashes again. Lu Chen, if you see it, please reply so we can know if you are alive. Lu Chen had forgotten about Gao Lu and the others in order to deal with the tsunami. I'm sorry to make you worry. Everything is fine here, and I'm cleaning up now. It's good to be alive. The sky is clear now. But why do I feel that the distance between our islands is getting farther and farther? I seem to be floating somewhere. There are many islands around. And I am a little worried. Many islands? What is going on? Could it be a storm that brought all the surrounding islands together? If this was the case, Lu Chen would immediately find a way to find Gao Lu and the others. Don't worry. I will find a way. Just hold on. Lu Chen felt that Gao Lu and the others should be fine for the time being. After all, there were so many people. How could they be afraid of one or two players? Moreover, Lu Chen had already given bows and arrows and iron spears to Gao Lu. And all the natives were hunting. Experts. It is said that they will be fine in a short time. Therefore, Lu Chen should take advantage of this period of time to immediately search for Luhan Island. It would be best to merge Luhan Island and then develop on the island and build a city. From now on, he would have nothing to fear. If Lu Chen wanted to find Luhan Island, he had to find the location of Luhan Island. According to the news sent by Gao Lu before, it was their place that had a tsunami first, and then his side was attacked by the tsunami. That means Gao Lu they should be in the direction of the tsunami now. If that's the case, they can just walk that way. Wait a minute. There should be records on the cruise ship. I remember that they can be marked on the island. Thinking of this, Lu Chen immediately went over and smashed open the wall blocking the cruise ship. After the demolition, all the stones were recycled and can be used again in the future. Fortunately, I had put the cruise ship away beforehand. Otherwise the cruise ship would have been doomed. The mast of the cruise ship was sacrificed in the storm. Lu Chen still wanted to repair it. But now he had to find Gao Lu and the others first. We boarded the cruise ship. Started it. The lights came on. And the radar also sent out beeps. There were only two recording points on it. One was our own island and the other was Luhan Island. The radar now showed only a white bright spot in the center. Which was where he was. Lu Chen remembered that the other bright spot should be red. But he couldn't find it at all. The current radar search range is 100 miles in radius. Which means that Luhan Island is now 100 miles away from itself. Lu Chen expanded the radar search range again. And finally found a red bright spot within a range of 200 miles. Seeing the red bright spot, Lu Chen suddenly became happy. He thought the recording point would disappear. If it really disappeared, it would be terrible. Now that the recording point has appeared, Lu Chen stopped talking nonsense and followed the radar instructions to go to Luhan Island to join Gao Lu and others. But now there is a problem. That is, the direction problem. The thunder and lightning on the cruise ship cannot be shared with the radar of the planetary engine. So now Lu Chen can only adjust according to his own sense of direction. He just hopes that he will not yaw in the future. Then, let's begin. Lightning Shuang is still working hard. It seems that after the storm, the resources have been refreshed. Lightning Shuang has dragged a dozen wooden boxes, including three green and two blue. Unfortunately, there are no more advanced ones. Shaoshen, it's okay. We are leaving. It's time to go back. Quack. Lightning Shuang heard Lu Chen's cry and shouted twice happily. Then Lu Chen put away all the resources and started the journey to find Luhan Island. 
Chapter 42 The Island Expands Again Catching up with Luhan Island The planetary engine was started. According to the position and distance that Luchin had seen on the radar before, only two injection ports in the south-southwest direction were needed. The jet was activated, and the entire island trembled. If anyone passed by, they would find that a huge water column was sprayed from the rear of the island. The water column jumped hundreds of meters, and the island was moving forward like a giant beast. It has to be said that the power of the planetary engine is very high. It has exceeded 300 kilometers at this time. And this is the lowest speed. Lu Chen did not dare to turn on the fast speed. He was afraid that the island would split apart if the speed was too fast. Lu Chen's worry was completely unnecessary. Apart from some slight tremors when the engine was in the engine, the island was still very stable along the way because the route was being executed. Lu Chen only asked Xiao Yin to stay here while he went to the cruise ship to check the radar. According to the radar display, they are heading towards the target position step by step. In other words, the current route to Hangzhou is still very correct. Now as long as you follow the established route, there won't be any problems. After traveling for some time, Lu Chen discovered that the red dot on the radar was within Fanwei, who was less than 10 miles away from him. He immediately went to the engine and started to prepare to shut down at any time, and then began to taxi. It was completely impossible to taxi forward at the current speed. No problem. Some islands can be vaguely seen ahead. And there are still quite a few islands. He remembered that Gao Lu had said that there were many islands around Luhan Island. It seemed that he had found the right place. Approaching the island, Lu Chen stopped the engine and started taxiing. Warning. Some unknown islands are found ahead. Will they be merged? Merge? It can actually be merged. In that case, what are you waiting for? Of course it is merged. Lu Chen is not willing to let go of so many islands. This will make his island grow rapidly. Of course, he cannot miss such a good thing. Start to gather and merge. A blue panel appears, with the ING character appearing on it. In the distance, the islands were gradually gathering towards Lu Chen. Here I go. Does this also have a drag and drop function? Lu Chen didn't expect that this merge function could actually pull nearby islands over, which surprised Lu Chen. I saw that the nearby islands were integrated into Lu Chen's island one after another. Lu Chen found that these were player-owned desert islands with only more than 100 square meters. And there was no one on the island. This made Lu Chen very happy. I don't know if these people abandoned the island or they are all dead. But forget it. Anyway, these have become their own territory. So their territory can be expanded by several hundred square meters. Merger completed. Congratulations to player Lu Chen for taking the lead in reaching 10,000 square meters of island. He will be given a master gift bag. Please check it. Lu Chen didn't expect that there would be unexpected surprises in the merged islands, which he didn't expect at all. Take over! The next moment, a gift bag appeared in front of Lu Chen. Open the gift bag. Congratulations on obtaining the blueprint, ordinary house. Blueprint, warehouse. Blueprint, workshop. Stones asterisk 1000. Wooden boards asterisk 1000. Wow! Lu Chen couldn't help but screamed in surprise. It turns out that there are still houses in this world. But you can't get them in a short time. Lu Chen put everything away because he could see Luhan Island in the distance. I don't know why. But the nearby Luhan Island did not appear in the merge prompt. Warning. The island ahead does not belong to the Desert Island range and cannot be merged. Players are required to defeat the players on the island before merging. What's the meaning? This island cannot be merged. Is it possible that Gao Lu cannot be merged because he is on the island? No. Gao Lu is a player staying on the island. And her island is not nearby. So there is only one possibility now. That is, another player has already completed the merger of the islands. So Lu Chen cannot do it now. The merger of islands. Then it seems that it is necessary to go to the island to investigate. Xiao Shen, follow me. Let's go up and see who is so bold as to steal the island from me. After saying that Lu Chen walked out of the room, packed up the house, and took Lightning Xuan on the cruise ship. The cruise ship headed towards Luhan Island. From a distance, Lu Chen saw Gao Lu and several natives on the shore, seemingly catching fish. Seeing Lu Chen, Gao Lu and several natives waved and shouted happily. Others could not understand the joy of seeing their relatives after the storm. The cruise ship landed on the island and Lu Chen and Ling Chuang also got off. Lu Chen! It's great that you're okay! Gao Lu ran over excitedly and saved Lu Chen. This time, Lu Chen was completely confused. Ha! Okay! I'm fine! 
I'm fine. Lu Chen smiled awkwardly and separated from Gao Lu, while the other natives also ran over and hugged Lu Chen one by one. After Gao Lu saw Lightning being happy, he took out a few bananas from his backpack and said, Xiao Flash, these are for you. Seeing the banana, Ling Xuan looked at Lu Chen, as if asking Lu Chen if it was edible. Lu Chen smiled and said, Xiao Shan, you can eat it. I want to thank Sister Gao Lu. Quack. Lightning Shuang happily took the banana and started eating it. Where did you find the banana? Lu Chen was very surprised. The last time he visited this island, he didn't see any bananas. Gao Lu said, It's on the other side of the island. We just came back. You went to the other side? Lu Chen looked at Gao Lu in surprise and said, Then have you seen other players or other islands merging with this island? Merge? What are you talking about? How can the islands be merged? Gao Lu looked confused. She naturally didn't know what merging islands was. Because the island didn't belong to her. So she couldn't trigger this prompt. Lu Chen immediately explained that he had merged the islands. After hearing what Lu Chen said, he looked shocked. Then according to what you said, many islands over there just disappeared because of the merger with your island. Oh, my god. I'm a little confused. Why can't I understand this world? Gao Lu was surprised. Even if she was living on a desert island and playing a survival game. It might be a prank made by an alien. However, the merger of the islands completely subverted her worldview. Lu Chen said, You don't have to be so surprised. This world is completely different from the world we know. This world is completely the structure of the game. So you don't have to be so surprised. Okay, let's go to the other side of the island to see. We must find the guy. Otherwise, the two islands will not be able to merge at all. Okay, let's go. Lu Chen and Gao Lu took Lightning Shuang towards the other side of the island, while the other natives took the octopus that Lu Chen had moved back to the camp. There is a basin in front, and I found bananas and other fruit trees in it, but they don't seem to be ripe yet. Basin, this place is good? We can transform it into an orchard. Gao Lu smiled and said, You have a good idea. This place is really good. If there are enough seeds, we won't have to worry about eating and drinking in the future. The two of them walked forward talking and laughing. Lu Chen suddenly stopped and looked at a bulge on the shore in the distance. Lu Chen knew this thing. He had just seen it merge many times. This was a piece that had not yet been seen. A deserted island of players who have completely merged with the island. As expected, there are indeed players here who have completed the merger. Look, that's the merged island. Looking along Lu Chen's finger, Gao Lu also discovered the island. Gao Lu hurriedly said, No. We didn't see this island when we came here before. It was just merged. No matter when he merged. Find someone first, and then talk about it. The two immediately walked towards the island. On this island, someone used stones to build houses. It seemed that this person used this to avoid the tsunami attack. Luchin picked up the mining pick and slammed it against the wall. Boom! The entire wall suddenly collapsed and shattered. The moment the wall collapsed, Luchin felt the presence of danger in his heart and subconsciously stepped back quickly. But the moment he stepped back, a knife suddenly stabbed out from the other side of the wall. Uh-huh. The spear was so fast that Lu Chen was unable to dodge. Seeing that the spear had pierced him, Lu Chen's eyes narrowed. Get away. Chapter 43 The Islands Merge and the Carnival Begins Lu Chen roared angrily. The epic hand axe had already appeared in his hand, and he was just about to lift it up. At this moment, a bolt of lightning quickly passed by him. Lightning Xuan took the initiative to protect the master and turned on the attack mode. Boom! Ah! Uh, a blast sounded, and at the same time a scream came from the house. Wow! It could be heard that there was a violent collision in the room. And then, there was no other sound. Lu Chen walked in slowly. Lu Chen, be careful. Gao Lu on the side reminded him. Lu Chen nodded and walked slowly in with an epic hand axe in hand. The room was completely dark and there was no torch. Lu Chen took out the torch and instantly lit up the entire room. Only then did Lu Chen see clearly that the room was complete with tables, chairs, fireplaces, and wall hangings. It seemed that this person had obtained a lot of drawings and resources. Otherwise, he would not have the time to make any fireplaces and wall hangings. Class decorations. A figure was lying on the ground, and his figure was looming, as if he was about to disappear. The figure on the ground looked at Lu Chen with a sad look in his eyes. Help me. The man trembled and raised his hand with difficulty. And in the next second, 
the man's figure turned into materials on the ground with a crash. Seeing this scene, Luchin couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Is this person going to die like this? Seeing the fearful look in this person's eyes before death, Luchin's heart was moved. He didn't know if he would look like this when he died one day. Luchin stepped forward and put away all the materials. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 350, iron plate asterisk 150, steel plate asterisk 100, glass asterisk 260, rope asterisk 360, palm leaf asterisk 180, mineral water asterisk 15, bread asterisk 6, instant noodles asterisk 5, famous brand asterisk 1, face, broken, asterisk 1, this guy is also a sad guy. He has a lot of materials. But the food resources are pitiful. But why did this guy circle his house? Is it possible that he is afraid of a tsunami? I guess this guy must be in the tsunami. The whole house was sealed off before. And then it came together with Luhan Island while drifting. After passing the system prompts, this guy must have clicked on the merge directly. But unfortunately, he was very unlucky and met Lu Chen. Lu Chen collected all the things in the house and broke the house into stones. And the island gradually merged with Luhan Island. Now that there are no external factors that can hinder the merger of islands. The next step is to merge the islands as soon as possible to prevent other drifting islands from entering this place. Lu Chen. That's the basin I talked about over there. Would you like to go over and have a look? You can pick some fruits. The two were about to walk back when Gao Lu reminded them. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Lu Chen was also about to see what this so-called basin looked like. Could it be that it was really a depression? Under the leadership of Gao Lu, the two walked towards the so-called basin. In the distance, Lu Chen actually saw a hill. This hill was not very high, but there was water flowing down from it to form a small stream flowing through the mountain. Where did this water come from? You can only see it when you climb to the top of the mountain. There is actually a creek here. Just as Lu Chen was about to get some water, Gao Lu immediately stopped him. This water is seawater. You can't drink it. Hearing this, Lu Chen said strangely. That's strange. Why is there seawater here? I don't know. I should know when I get a chance to go up the mountain and have a look. The two said nothing more and continued to walk forward. At the foot of the mountain, there is actually a sunken basin. The visual distance is about three meters. And there are steps built on one side. Come on. Go down from here. This is the staircase I built. It's just right for going down. Walking down the stairs, Lu Chen looked at the fruit trees around him. Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. I didn't expect that there is a small orchard here. It's really good. Do you think this orchard was not destroyed by the tsunami? As Lu Chen said this, he picked off a banana and handed it to Ling Shuang. Lu Chen remembered that the tsunami was very powerful. This orchard should not have been so intact under that tsunami. Moreover, this was a basin and there was no drainage measure. Water should be stored here. How could there be no water? So this is very strange. I also want to say that it is the most amazing thing that this place was not destroyed by such a huge tsunami. Do you think it is because of the tsunami that so many fruits grow here? Hearing this, Luchin felt it was very ridiculous. A tsunami that could destroy the world did not destroy the earth, but gave an orchard as a gift. Even if this was a game, there should not be such an operation. This question really puzzles me. But don't think about it. I think we should fence the area to prevent monsters from coming here and destroying the fruit trees. Lu Chen still considered that monsters might appear at night and destroy the place. In order to prevent this, it was better to be careful. It's okay. After my short observation, the monster will not destroy any trees. So it should be very safe here. However, if you want to build a wall, it is not impossible. But it is almost dark now. Well, Let's go back as soon as possible and integrate the two islands first. Lu Chen looked at the sky. The time now seemed to be at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. There was really no time now. So he had to complete the merging of the islands first. The two quickly returned to the cruise ship and sailed to their own island. Wow. Why is your island so big? After Gao Lu saw Lu Chen's huge island, she couldn't calm down at all. She originally thought that Lu Chen's island was more than 100 square meters like her own. Who knew that his island was so big? Tens of thousands of square meters. Uh-huh. I was just about to tell you about you. I found an uninhabited island this morning when I was going to go out to look for you. So I directly merged it and found dozens of zombies and zombies on the island. A 10 meter long giant python. I almost died in it. But fortunately I was not in danger. 
Zombies. Are there zombies on your island? Galu couldn't help but shudder when she heard the word zombie. You don't have to be afraid. The zombies are all dead. My island is very safe now. By the way, I think we can make a lot of discoveries if we have time to go around the island. The two landed on the island, and Luchin parked the boat in his own harbor again, sealed it, and entered the island's main control room. Due to the expansion of the island, the main control room was no longer close to the shore. The two walked for about 10 minutes before finally entering the main control room. Seeing everything here, Galu couldn't help but exclaim, Wow, no wonder you can't bear to leave your own island. It turns out to be so luxury. Hee <laughs> hee. Luchin smiled faintly, said nothing, and then began to merge the islands. Islands are being merged. Please wait. I saw that the two islands were intertwined with each other and gradually moved closer together. Finally, the two islands merged together. Island merger completed. The merger of the two islands was completed. And now a giant island appeared above the sea level. Now this giant island has become exclusive to Lu Chin. If there are other players, they may not be able to continue the merger unless they can defeat Lu Chin. However, at present, this possibility is less than or equal to zero. Okay, the merger is complete. Let's go eat squid. Lu Chin said with a smile. Gao Lu nodded. And then the two of them headed towards the camp. In the camp, the indigenous people are skillfully grilling barbecue. But they don't know how to cook squid and the like. When Lu Chin saw Lu Chin coming back, he immediately ran over and gave him a warm hug. Gao Lu smiled and said, I knew you taught him the etiquette of hugging. Last time this guy hugged me, it made me jump. Lu Chin said, I just said it casually. Who knew that this guy has a very strong understanding? And he understood it very quickly. Okay, let's not talk about it anymore. Today I will make you a meal of squid. By the way, go and cook the surroundings. Let's all put on the torches and let's have a carnival today. Good. Chapter 44 A New Monster The Lantern Holder Arrives The sky darkened and rustling sounds were heard in the distance from time to time. Everyone knew that it was the movement of monsters. But they didn't pay attention because torches were now planted near the camp. So they didn't need to worry about monsters at all now. The sizzling squid was full of aroma. And these natives had never eaten anything good. They were full of praise for the squid. And they all cheered. Galu ate the squid and smiled. I really didn't expect that I could eat sizzling squid here. Luchin said. There are many things you can't think of. It's a pity that there is no seasoning now. Otherwise it will taste more delicious. Galu smiled bitterly and said. I don't want to think so much. Now that I'm here, what else do I need for a bicycle? It's good if I can survive. Luchin smiled lightly and said nothing. The barbecue continues, and the template crackles in the furnace. Lightning Shuang stood aside and watched the movements around him vigilantly. Luchin smiled and took out a watermelon. Seeing the watermelon in Luchin's hand, Gao Lu's eyes lit up. I'll go. You still have watermelon. Where did you get this watermelon? The natives also showed excitement when they saw the watermelon. Luchin said, Originally, you didn't have a share of the watermelon. But now we have discovered the orchard. So let's share the watermelon together. Lu Chen originally planned to enjoy watermelon. But now that he has discovered the orchard, there is naturally no shortage of such a watermelon. It would be good for everyone to share it. The watermelon was opened and everyone started eating one piece. Lu Chen handed the watermelon to Ling Shuang. But Ling Shuang didn't seem to like the watermelon very much and didn't eat it. It's over. It turns out that Lightning Shuang doesn't eat watermelon. So it seems like everyone has to share the other watermelons too. Lu Chen took out an apple and gave it to Lightning Shuang. He liked it better and ate it in two bites. While everyone was eating watermelon, Lightning Shuang's hair suddenly stood up all over his body. As if he had discovered something terrible. And he stared straight ahead. Gao Lu, who was sitting opposite, also noticed this situation. He looked in the direction that Ling Shuang was looking at and saw that there seemed to be a light floating in the air in the distance swaying from side to side, which looked very strange in the dark night. Lu Chen, look what that is. Gao Lu pulled Lu Chen. Lu Chen, who was eating watermelon, turned his head and looked over. When Lu Chen saw the light, he was also stunned. Huh? Why does it feel like a Chinese chat room? Lu Chen joked with a smile. Why are you still laughing? This thing seems to be getting closer and closer. It can't be a monster. Gao Lu was worried because the ball of light seemed to be coming towards them. Aren't there torches around here? Torches can drive away monsters. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Although Luchin said this, 
His eyes never left the light for a moment. When the group of light walked five meters away from the torch, the group of light also stopped. Seeing this scene, Luchin felt relieved. It seemed that no matter what kind of monster it was, it would still be afraid of the light of the torch. Luchin took a deep breath and gently comforted Lightning Shuang beside him. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. However, at this moment, Lu Chen was surprised to find that the big foot that had always been gray in the darkness actually stepped into the range of the torch. Lightning Shuang immediately showed a ferocious expression and aimed at the big foot. Lu Chen also looked over with a look of horror. Could it be that there is a monster that a torch cannot stop? Immediately afterwards, he saw a gray white figure walking into the range of the torch. Lu Chen was shocked, stood up, and pulled out the epic hand axe from behind. Lu Chen shouted to the others, Go back to the house quickly! When the natives reacted, they all looked over and looked horrified. Gao Lu quickly stood up and stood beside Lu Chen with a spear in hand. I saw that the figure had completely walked into the range of the torch, and his appearance was exposed to everyone. This monster has a human body, standing on its feet, wearing a white t-shirt and black trousers. This guy has an old face, but he has black hair. His left hand seems to be holding a kerosene lamp, and his right hand is holding a he was wearing a broadsword that was 30 inches long and 7 inches wide. The blade had a cold light that made people shudder. This monster looks like a human being. But if you look closely, you can see that there is no blood all over his body. And he looks like a dead person. The neighbors are horrified. Lu Chen's eyes narrowed, and he clenched the hand axe in his hand. This was a new type of monster. And it was not afraid of torches. So he had to be careful when dealing with it. Lu Chen! Is this a human or a monster? Gao Lu on the side asked. I didn't know. Don't stay here. Take them into the house quickly. No. I want to support you. But I don't know if this guy is powerful or not. Gao Lu did not listen to Lu Chen's words, but clenched his spear and prepared to fight. Although Lu Chen was deeply moved, this might be dangerous. The natives behind him turned and walked quickly towards the room. At this moment, the man with the lantern suddenly roared and rushed towards Lu Chen with long strides. Click. Lightning Shuang beside him rushed out, and a bolt of lightning hit the man with the lantern. Boom! There was a muffled sound, and the lightning seemed to have hit a wall. But the man holding the lantern did not change at all. The lantern-carrying man roared angrily, and slashed at the lightning twins with a big knife in his hand. When? The moment the big knife fell, Lu Chen had already rushed over and slashed at the big knife with his hand axe, blocking the blow of the lantern holder. Under Lu Chen's epic hand axe, the lantern-carrying man's sword was actually split into two pieces. At that moment, when the lantern holder was confused, Lu Chen hugged Ling Shuang and quickly retreated. Now it seems that the lightning shock has no effect in front of the lantern man. Xiao Shen, go back to the house quickly. Lightning Shuang was immediately taken back to the house by Lu Qin. Roar! At this moment, the man with the lantern roared, threw away the sword in his hand, and rushed towards Lu Qin with long strides. I don't know what this lantern man is. Every time he takes a step, he will leave a deep footprint on the ground, and the ground will make a thumping sound. The lantern-carrying man crushed the torch in front of him with his foot, causing fire to scatter in all directions. One torch disappeared instantly. But fortunately, when Lu Chen was placing the torches, the torches were placed very densely just in case, and this one was extinguished. Dropping it doesn't affect anything. Lu Chen knew that this would be a fierce battle, so he was prepared. Fortunately, the epic hand axe was effective, so he was not very afraid of the man with the lantern in front of him. Lu Chen, be careful. This guy is difficult to deal with. I'll attract his attention, and you take the opportunity to kill him with your axe. Gao Lu on the side had just finished speaking and rushed over before Lu Chen could say anything. Don't want. Lu Chen's heart sank. This Gao Lu was too reckless. This lantern man was not even afraid of the impact of lightning. Naturally he would definitely not be afraid of ordinary weapons. Gao Lu would only die if he went up like this. Before he had time to think about anything, Lu Chen also rushed forward. The spear in Gao Lu's hand thrust out. When? There was a sound of metal colliding. As if the blow hit the steel, Gao Lu was suddenly startled. How could that be? Click. Before Gao Lu could react, the lantern-carrying man had already smashed the spear into pieces with a slap. A big hand grabbed Gao Lu's throat and lifted it up. Gao Lu struggled desperately, with a look of horror in his eyes. Just when the lantern holder was about to exert his strength, Lu Chen struck down with an axe. 
Puff! The arm of the lantern holder was chopped off with an axe. Gao Lu was saved and quickly backed away, with a look of fear in his eyes. Roar! The lantern man roared and kicked Lu Chen. The lantern carrying man was very fast. But Lu Chen seemed to have expected it, and quickly retreated. Gao Lu! Are you okay? Lu Chen stared at the man holding the lantern and asked in a low voice. It's okay. But this guy is so powerful. Be careful. He's fast and very powerful. I know. But have you noticed that this guy doesn't seem to be able to put down the lantern in his hand? Hearing this, Galu also suddenly realized. Lu Chen! Maybe that lantern is the key. Chapter 45 The Token of the Lamp Bearer The Gate of the Dungeon After hearing Gao Lu's words, Lu Chen was ready to take a risk and then took out the spear directly from his backpack. Seeing Lu Chen take out his spear, Gao Lu didn't know what to do with him. The next moment, Lu Chen stepped out and made a gesture of throwing a javelin. Whoosh! The spear was thrown by Lu Chen and shot towards the lantern holder quickly. The lantern carrying man roared angrily, raised his right foot, and carried it out. His left hand took the lantern backward to avoid touching the lantern. When? The spear was kicked away by the lantern holder. And the next moment, Lu Chen's attack arrived, and the hand axe struck at the lantern holder. The lantern carrying man seems to have some intelligence. He knows how powerful the hand axe is. So naturally, he doesn't dare to fight head on. He can only retreat continuously. Boom! The hand axe hit the ground and was embedded in it. It was impossible to pull it out for a while. Seeing this, the man with the lantern quickly stepped forward, raised his foot, and stepped on it. This lantern carrying man was not weak in strength. If this kick really hit, Lu Chen would definitely die. However, at this moment, the movement of the man holding the lantern suddenly slowed down. Then, the whole person suddenly stiffened and fell straight to the ground. Then Huawei disappeared with a blue light. Lu Chen looked at Gao Lu who was holding a lantern in front of him, smiled lightly and said, Fortunately, you were fast enough. Otherwise, I would have died. After saying that, Lu Chen pulled the hand axe out of the ground effortlessly. Gao Lu smiled and said, Don't come here. If you die, you will be a ghost. But what kind of monster was this just now? And what happened to this lantern? Looking at the lantern in his hand, Gao Lu was stunned. Looking at Gao Lu's expression, Lu Chen wondered, What's wrong? Is there anything strange about this lantern? Gao Lu came back to his senses, still a little shocked and said, Come on! You will know after you come and take a look. Gao Lu handed the lantern to Lu Chen, took the lantern, and a blue screen appeared in front of Lu Chen's eyes. The token of the lantern bearer, those who own this token can enter a single player dungeon. There are rich resource rewards in the dungeon. Of course, there are also considerable dangers. Do you want to get rewards? The dungeon is waiting for you. The use time is limited to three days. Dungeon? Lu Chen looked confused and said, Is this also part of the game? But how do I enter it? Whether to enter the dungeon? Yes slash no. Another blue dialogue box appeared in front of Lu Chen's eyes. Lu Chen did not click, yes, in a hurry. Instead, he stepped out, and place the lantern on the ground. You see? This thing can also take us into the dungeon. But I don't think I can. But I think you are okay. Your reaction speed and strength are quite powerful. And your fighting style just now. Have you practiced before? Gao Lu praised. Lu Chen also felt that his reaction speed just now was quite fast. As if he could predict it. Maybe this was related to the passive skills he obtained after integrating famous brands. Sure enough, the passive skills were awesome. Well, Dungeons, this should be the latest thing that has appeared so far. Why do I feel like this game just wants to kill us? First it doesn't give us food. We have to find it ourselves. And then, there's a big tsunami. The tsunami has just happened. It's over. Now this high-level monster has appeared again. I don't know how many people have died this time. Luchin was right. The world was becoming more and more dangerous. A sudden appearance of a lantern man, who was not afraid of torches caught everyone off guard. Lu Chen cleaned up and opened the chat box. At this time, the world channel was already in chaos. Someone help me. There is a zombie carrying a lantern wandering near my house. I'm hiding under the bed. Please help me. What kind of monster is this guy with the lantern? He's so powerful that it's scary. Fortunately, I climbed up to the roof and he didn't notice me. You all should hurry up and get to the room. Please tell me how to get into the room. I can't get in. If you use stones to build it, wouldn't it be? Okay. To build a tall building? There was a fight just now. 
and I almost died. Fortunately, I set a trap and locked up the guy. I am the chairman of group. Whoever comes to save me, I will consider him as my father. Lu Chen knew the weakness of the lantern holder, which was the lantern. As long as the lantern was removed, the lantern holder would be useless. Then, Lu Chen immediately sent the message. Everyone, the weakness of the lantern holder is the lantern. As long as you attack the lantern, the lantern holder will disappear. Seeing the message sent by Lu Chen, the world channel suddenly became quiet. Not long after, someone sent messages one after another. I'll go. You are indeed a master. You are so powerful. Now I found the guide. I found a wooden stick and stood on the roof and knocked down the guy's lantern. He really disappeared. That's great. Thank you. Great God. I also defeated the lantern man. Great God. You are our savior. Thank you. Lord. By the way, what is the use of this lantern? Damn it. There's a dungeon here. I don't dare to enter. I don't dare to enter. I'm afraid of death. I'm afraid of death. Now I can finally sleep peacefully. After Lu Chen's reminder, this war is now going on on islands all over the world. If you win, you will live. If you lose, you will die. Gao Lu and other natives were already packing their things. After a storm, everyone felt a huge crisis. Now it seemed that they were still not at peace here, so they needed to be reinforced. Gao Lu saw the world chat channel while tidying up. Lu Chen, I didn't realize that you are still a good person. Gao Lu said with a smile after packing his things. How to say? Lu Chen looked puzzled, not sure whether Gao Lu was complimenting or belittling. Gao Lu shook his head and said, It is very difficult to survive in this so-called game we are in now. We can't leave it all now. Do we need to eliminate all the players, or do we simply cannot leave? If it is the former, if it's the second kind, then if you do this, you're setting yourself up for a dead end again. Gao Lu didn't say any more. In her heart, she hoped that this was the first option. At least there was a possibility of leaving. If it was the second option, then she would have to leave it to fate. Luchin smiled and said, I know what you mean. You also want to leave. But is there a third option? The third type? Galu looked at Luchin doubtfully. Luchin said, The third way is that we players are in one camp, and those monsters are in another camp. Maybe after we defeat all the monsters, we can leave here. Lu Chen's words left Gao Lu speechless. Maybe this was the best choice. Gao Lu said, Okay, you are the real holy mother. I won't talk anymore. I'm going to bed. With that said, Gao Lu turned around to go back to the house. Then if it is really the first option and only one person can leave, between you and me, who do you choose? Lu Chen suddenly asked. This was a very sharp question. A question that tested human nature. Gao Lu paused turned around and smiled bitterly. If that day comes, I will definitely choose myself. What about you? Gao Lu suddenly asked. Lu Chen smiled and said, Me too. I will choose myself. After saying that, Gao Lu smiled and turned to leave. Lighting Xuan came to Lu Chen's side and hummed twice. Lu Chen hugged Ling Xuan and said, Let's go! Lu Chen held a torch and lantern and headed towards his house. Lu Chen was very happy at this time because he knew that there was no villain around him. If Lu Chen had been wary of Gao Lu before, now Gao Lu's answer made Lu Chen completely relieved. In this cruel world, there are no so-called noble people. Everyone thinks about themselves. And Gao Lu and Lu Chen are the same. What they think about is themselves. This just shows that the two of them are none of this was hypocritical. If Gao Lu had told Lu Chen to leave, then Lu Chen would have killed Gao Lu on the spot without hesitation. Because having such a villain by his side was the greatest danger. On the way back, all the monsters gave way when they saw the light of the fire. Lu Chen was looking for something while walking, because he would make bigger moves to change the island next. Chapter 46 The First Step of Defense Building a City The next morning, ding! Daily sign-in starts. Whether to start signing in. Sign in! The exciting moment is coming. Lu Chen has been waiting for a long time. He doesn't know what he will have today. Ding! Congratulations on getting an everlasting light. Lu Chen? What is a constant light? Lu Chen looked confused, having no idea what he had signed today. After receiving the everlasting light, Lu Chen immediately took it over. When he saw the so-called always on lantern, Lu Chen was dumbfounded. Isn't this the lantern in the hand of the lantern holder? Does he need to sign in for this thing? He has it. Oh, my god, what the H. How did you sign in today? Why did you give me this? 
It's for sale in the trading area. Just last night, someone had hung up the lanterns. The conditions for sale were 50 fish or 50 mineral water or 50 living resources. The price was so high that everyone was just waiting and watching. Looking at the lantern in his hand, Lu Chen had a look of helplessness on his face. He seemed to have nothing to say. Always bright light, always bright. It can illuminate a 10 meter radius of yourself. So that you will no longer feel afraid and lonely in the dark night. Looking at the introduction, Lu Chen could only put it away helplessly, hoping that there would be better things when he signed in tomorrow. After putting away his things, Lu Chen got up and left the room. Today's task was very difficult. He had already drawn a blueprint overnight and was ready to show it to everyone. Coincidentally, everyone else came here and started today's task. Today's task is very simple. Fishing. If you are lucky, catching a shark is also very good. Lu Chen, how about we catch a shark today? Gao Lu came over and said enthusiastically. Lu Chen said, we won't catch fish today. What? If we don't catch fish, what will we eat at night? Do you have something to hide? Gao Lu suddenly showed an evil expression. What do I have to hide? Let's start building the city wall from today. What happened last night has told us that we must have a safe camp to survive well. So I have drawn a picture construction drawings. Come here. I'll show them to you. As he spoke, Lu Chen took out a stack of palm leaves, on which he used black charcoal to outline different strokes. This was Lu Chen's masterpiece in one night. Because there was no paper. He used palm leaves. Because there was no pen. So he used coal instead. And this thick pile was the work of one night. Seeing Lu Chen playing with palm leaves on the ground. Everyone looked confused. Soon, Lu Chen arranged all the palm leaves neatly. And everyone saw that it turned out to be a schematic diagram of a city. With several houses surrounded by city walls. Outside the houses, there were farms and cultivated land. Flower gardens, etc. Everything is available. Seeing this picture. Galu couldn't help but applaud. The confused natives who looked on the sidelines didn't know what was happening. But they still applauded. Lu Chen, you are so awesome. You didn't get much sleep this night. Lu Chen smiled proudly. Of course, I have worked hard for this. Galu was also extremely impressed. From this picture, it can be seen that Lu Chen was planning to build a city. But this was not a fantasy. In this way, at least everyone's safety could be guaranteed. Lu Chen took out 10 blue hand axes, 10 mining picks, and 10 hoes, and gave them to the 10 natives respectively, asking them to start from the center of the camp and spread around to level all the trees and rocks. This would leave enough land to build houses. Gao Lu wondered, What about me? What do I do? You follow me to build a wall. I have calculated our wall. It is about the size of a football field. A football field is about 4,000 square meters. Calculated based on the perimeter. 300 meters is enough. Now we need at least 600 stones. It can be completed with just 1,000 blocks. Because we have no field measurements. So we may need more now. But it doesn't matter. I have 1,000 stones here. We each take 500. You build the width. I will build the length. As long as we follow if we build in the right direction. It can definitely be completed. Lu Chen's idea was very good. He wanted to build a small city the size of a football field so that he could develop everything in the city with peace of mind and not be afraid of monster attacks at night. Gao Lu said, Okay, you have the final say. Let's get started. Next, the two started manufacturing. Lu Chen used a standard wooden board as a protractor and first built a 90 degree angle. Then the two began to build the city wall by extending it on both sides of this angle. Gao Lu was responsible for the width. That is, 50 meters, and it is very simple to build. 10 stones build a 5 meter city wall, and she only needs to build 10 walls. Lu Chen needs to build 100 meters, which is 20 walls. It sounds simple, but the actual workload is still very heavy. Big. After Lu Chen built 50 meters, an hour had passed, and his physical strength had also dropped two chicken legs. Gao Lu must have lost two chicken legs by now. Fortunately, Lu Chen had spent some resources before. After being distributed to everyone, Lu Chen didn't have many resources left. After eating a piece of bread and adding a chicken drumstick, Lu Chen continued to work. The construction of the 100-meter city wall was still not slow. An hour later, most of the city wall on Lu Chen's side was finally completed. And the work on the camp side was also in full swing. Lu Chen did not stop and continued working. 
finding a position to continue the construction of the next 50 meters. After another hour, Lu Chen was finally done. Phew! It's finally done! On the 150 meter city wall, Lu Chen consumed a total of three loaves of bread. But now there are still three empty chicken legs. But he doesn't know why he still hasn't seen Gao Lu. Gao Lu is so slow! I'd better go over and take a look. Lu Chen didn't dare to start construction directly. It would be terrible if the two people didn't build on the same line. Finally, Lu Chen walked through the woods and saw Gao Lu who was resting. The city wall had been turned around. But this time she rested after building 30 meters. What's wrong with you? Are you tired? Lu Chen said strangely. Nonsense. Of course, I will be tired after such a heavy workload. Give me some water. I feel so thirsty and I can't stand up. Gao Lu's face turned pale. And Lu Chen quickly took out the mineral water and bread. You didn't eat what I gave you? I don't feel hungry. Why should I eat? I just feel more and more tired. As he spoke, Gao Lu drank a bottle of water and felt relieved. Lu Chen said hurriedly, Look at how many drumsticks there are in your upper right corner. Chicken legs? Where are the chicken legs? Didn't you say you can't eat that old hen and keep it for laying eggs? Lu Chen, There is a chicken drumstick displayed in the upper right corner of your interface. That is your physical strength. If it is all gone, you are not far from death. Aw? Uh? After hearing Lu Chen's introduction, Gao Lu finally understood what the chicken drumstick in the upper right corner meant. Oh my god! I only have half a chicken leg here. I thought it was just for decoration. Could it be that I'm going to die? Gao Lu hurriedly took out the bread and started eating. But a piece of bread can only add one chicken drumstick. And Gao Lu still needs to continue taking it. Lu Chen immediately brought out other food for Gao Lu. But now there are only apples, watermelons and the like. So Lu Chen can only start grilling fish on the spot. The furnace was taken out. And 20 minutes later, the grilled fish came out of the oven. And Gao Lu finally started eating. After the number of chicken legs increased to four, Gao Lu finally recovered. Lu Chen said, Okay, for the sake of your hard work today, I will give you a good thing. What do you want to eat most now? What to eat? I can just eat what I have. What else are you thinking about? I don't think so much. Lu Chen. Lu Chen continued to ask, What was your favorite food before? Gao Lu was stunned and said, Usually, I want to eat the pork ribs noodles made by my mother. Lu Chen smiled mysteriously. Please accept your express delivery. Chapter 47 The construction is completed and the fruits are ripe. Lu Chen handed the radish to Gao Lu. Gao Lu looked at the carrot in the car with a puzzled expression and said helplessly, Brother, you are kidding me. This thing is just a carrot. Don't think that I have never eaten a carrot. Lu Chen smiled mysteriously and said, Don't underestimate this radish of mine. It looks like a radish to you and feels like a radish. But once you open it with a dream, hee hee, you will feel different. I discovered it. Remember, carry the dream in your heart. Don't think about anything else. Think about your mother's. Uh, your mother's pork ribs noodles. Hearing this, Gao Lu frowned in confusion, thinking about her mother's pork ribs noodles, and took the radish. Click. A sound came, and the radish shattered into pieces, and golden light bloomed. Seeing this scene, Gao Lu's eyes straightened. This is this. Lu Chen stepped forward, opened the radish, and a steaming bowl of extremely delicious pork ribs noodles appeared in front of Gao Lu. Smelling the aroma of the pork ribs noodles, Gao Lu was instantly immersed in the pork ribs noodles. Gao Lu came back to his senses, looked at Lu Chen and said, How did you do it? Uh-huh. You look up to me. I didn't do this. This is the universal seed. I had the same expression as you at the time. Which surprised me. Lu Chen really didn't know what was going on. This kind of money was given by signing in. As for how to get it, he couldn't think about it at the moment. Lu Chen continued, Eat it quickly. It won't taste good when it's cold. Hearing this, Gao Lu actually covered his face and cried. Lu Chen looked puzzled. He didn't seem to say anything. He just cared about her. Why did she cry? Why are you crying? Don't cry. What's wrong? Lu Chen asked quickly. What he hates most is a woman crying. When this woman cries, the world will fall apart. I'm sorry. Gao Lu said, wiping her tears. My mother often said these words when she made me pork ribs noodles. I just miss her a little. Hearing this, Lu Chen smiled faintly. It turned out that he missed his family. But who didn't? He didn't. But he should put all his thoughts aside. Right now, living is the most important thing. 
Eat quickly. Luchin said lightly. Bald? Bald? Gal Lu ate desperately and cried while eating. But these were tears of happiness because she felt her mother's warmth again. Finally, after finishing the bowl of noodles, I added three chicken drumsticks. Gal Lu stood up, looked at the radish in his hand and said, What should I do with this thing? Should I plant it? Luchin smiled and said, You are overthinking. Even if this thing is replanted, it will not grow new fruits. We can only slowly look for universal seeds in the future. Oh, by the way, this is edible and delicious. Very crispy. Try it. The two then started eating in a hurry. After finishing a meal, they finally started working again. Then the two of them built together. The construction speed also increased a lot. Soon the 100 meter wall was completed. Phew, it's finally done. So you don't have to be afraid of those monsters. Luchin let out a long breath. And suddenly he thought of something. Oops. I forgot to leave the door open. Gao Lu. Luchin laughed at himself. If a worker like me works in construction, others will definitely not want him. If you don't leave a door for others, how can you come in? Can't you climb over the wall every day? Gao Lu smiled and said, It's okay. We can just find a place and open a door later. This is the game world. Lu Chen can tear down the wall at any time. Otherwise, his money will be deducted by the foreman. Okay, let's go back to the camp and have a look. The two walked towards the camp. The construction of the camp was also in full swing. The indigenous people had a clear division of labor. They cut down the trees and cleared the stones around the camp. They were all happy to see Lu Chen and Gao Lu back. Shouted. Lu Chen quickly ran over and hugged Lu Chen and Gao Lu. Although Gao Lu was a little disgusted. He didn't show it. How could a native have any bad intentions? After Lu Chen saw the large open space around him. He nodded very happily. Very good. You did a good job. Leave it to me next. Next. Lu Chen wielded the epic father son and pickaxe and started repairing. Epic tools worked very quickly. And soon a large piece of flat land was dug out by Lu Chen. He retained the previous farmland, cattle sheds, and sheep pens, and built a larger farmland on this basis. Lu Chen will all the contents of the original house were collected and then directly demolished. Seeing the houses where they lived being demolished, the natives were a little reluctant to leave and they didn't know what Lu Chen was planning to do. The next thing Lu Chen has to do is to build a house. The house drawings he obtained for the expansion last time can be put to use now. The house is a wooden house, and the main material required is wooden boards. To build a house, you need at least 100 wooden boards, 20 iron plates, 15 steel plates, and 15 glass. Lu Chen currently has 1,035 wooden boards in his backpack, which is quite a lot. They were all obtained by chopping wood and killing players before. There are only 524 iron boards, which is relatively less. But this skill is worth considering now. That is very astonishing. But there are only 356 steel plates, which is not a lot of skill. And it is enough to ignore it. There are only 368 glass plates. He can build at least 10 houses now. But it's a pity that now Luchin only has a mythical upgrade hammer and no construction hammer. If he had a construction hammer, Luchin could build at least 20 houses, but it would be useless to build so many. Luchin decided that building five rooms would be enough, with one room for every two people, which was also very good. Congratulations on building the house asterisk one. Wood board 100, iron plate 20, steel plate 15, glass 15. Luchin found a suitable location to place it, and a simple room about two and a half meters high, about five meters long and about three meters wide appeared in front of everyone. Seeing the house appear, all the natives did not kneel down this time because they were used to it. However, this house was also very good. It was much better than the previous stone house. There was a skylight on the roof of the room that could be opened. It has doors and windows, very much like a home. Gao Lu's eyes lit up when he saw this room. He didn't expect that this house was actually very good. When he pushed the door open and walked in, although the room was empty, once the furniture was moved in, it felt like a warm home. Next, Lu Chen's eye built four more rooms next to his house. Lu Chen called several people over and said, Okay, let's divide the rooms into groups of two. Women with women. Men with men. Although the natives didn't understand, Lu Chen's allocation ended quickly. Gao Lu lived in a room with a female native, while Lu Chen lived with Lu Qin. If there was one more, 
that only it can make him feel aggrieved that three people can live in one room. The distribution is completed, and all the furniture has been moved in. This is considered done. Looking at his masterpiece, Luchin nodded with satisfaction. The house is quite large, and already occupies one-third of the land. Luchin plans to use the remaining land for other purposes. The next step is the farms and cultivated land, which are left to the indigenous people to solve. What Luchin was going to do next was to clear out the orchard. The fruits in the orchard could not be given up. Luchin, what do you think we should do about the orchard? Gao Lu was the first to ask the question. I'm thinking about this too. The orchard problem can't be delayed any longer. Let's go and take a look. Okay, that's what I mean too. Luchin came to the wall and carved out a door. This door also led to the orchard. He would make several more doors when he came back later. One in each direction. This was necessary. When we came to the orchard, there was no problem here. Everything was the same as yesterday. The monster did not cause any harm to the orchard. But the difference was that the fruits of the fruit trees were all ripe. Seeing this scene, the two looked at each other. Pick! Chapter 48 Enter the dungeon and obtain the wooden staff and the small fireball technique. The growth rate of fruit trees in this game is still very fast. It only takes three days for the fruit to mature. When I saw it yesterday, it had just bloomed. And now it is mature. This made Luchin very excited. He didn't know when the next ripening would be. It's really exciting. Next, Luchin planned to build a wall to enclose the entire orchard. Firstly to prevent monsters, but also to prevent people from sneaking onto the island. In the future, someone would patrol the island every day to ensure the safety of the orchard. The orchard is not very big, and the two of them completed the work quickly. Then, there is the problem of water source. This problem is still very easy to solve. Lu Chin once again made a purified version of the water storage tank, and then used the hoe to dig the water from the creek under the mountain. Open a branch, and the destination is near the orchard. So it is very convenient to get water. After solving the problem of water source, all that's left is to inspect the orchard every day, and then water it. If the fruit trees mature every three days, they will have a fixed income. The two did not go back to the camp. Under the leadership of Lu Chin, the two came to the beach. What are you doing here? Gao Lu looked at Lu Chen with a puzzled look. You have worked so hard. So of course, I can't let your labor go in vain. Just wait. Then Lu Chen immediately started to take off his clothes. Seeing this scene, Gao Lu's face suddenly turned red with embarrassment. And he felt like a little deer was bumping around in his heart. Lu Chen looked at Gao Lu with a confused look on his face and said, What are you doing? Watch out for me. Afterwards, Lu Chen jumped directly into the sea with a spear and disappeared. Gao Lu. Gao Lu looked at the scene in front of him awkwardly. And it turned out that this guy meant this. Not long after, a shark appeared on the sea. And Gao Lu immediately screamed loudly. Then Lu Chen suddenly jumped out of the sea. And the shark also rushed up. Lu Chen saw the right moment and stabbed with the spear in his hand. Come out and penetrate the shark completely. Seeing this scene, Gao Lu was stunned. It turned out that Lu Chen was so powerful in the sea. Is this guy amphibious? Lu Chen dragged a shark carcass back to the shore and threw the shark on the ground. Okay, we have lunch. Lu Chen got dressed. And then the two of them carried the shark towards the camp. Everyone in the camp cheered when they saw the scene. Then everyone started a barbecue, while Ling Xuan ate fruit on the side. After the barbecue, everyone began to rest. Lu Chen sat outside and took out the lantern. Lu Chen actually had the urge to open the dungeon at this moment. What do you want to do? Do you want to go into the dungeon? Gao Lu said in surprise. Lu Chen nodded and said, Well, I want to take a look. The dungeon has a lot of resources. If we can get more resources, maybe we will reach a higher level, and it will be easier to deal with more powerful monsters in the future. After what happened last night, Lu Chen felt that he was still too weak, so he had to become stronger in order to have the strength to protect others. Gao Lu said, I think it's better to forget it. I just asked on the world channel that someone has entered the dungeon. But no one has come out. And some people have offered rewards for information about the dungeon. But no one has come out at all. Well, then I really want to go in and have a look. It's relatively safe here now. As long as you don't run around at night, there won't be any danger. And Nadi and others don't seem to do anything to the building. The one who launched the attack. So I'm going to take a look. Unable to defeat Lu Chen, Gao Lu just nodded and said, Well, I can only wish you good luck. If you really die, forget it. Don't tell me. 
you will come back alive. As he said this, Gao Lu deeply protected Lu Qin, which looked like a separation between life and death. Lu Qin smiled lightly. Don't be sad. I will definitely come back alive. Next, Lu Qin took out half of all the resources and gave them to Gao Lu for safekeeping. Gao Lu said, You just believe me so much? Of course I believe it. Just wait and I will be back as soon as possible. Then, Lu Qin picked up the lantern, and a blue panel appeared in front of him. Adventurer, you are about to enter a previously unknown world, which is full of dangers. Are you sure you want to enter? Sure. As soon as he finished speaking, the blue panel disappeared directly, and Lu Chen's whole body also glowed with blue light. The light rotated and disappeared with Lu Chen, seeing Lu Chen disappear out of thin air. Gao Lu was shocked. She suddenly felt a sense of emptiness in her heart. She immediately opened the chat box and sent a message to Lu Chen. Lu Chen opened his eyes and found that he was in a dark forest. At his feet was his previous lantern, which emitted light and illuminated a five-meter radius around it. It's such a weak light. The light of this thing is too weak. Where is this place? Lu Chen looked around. It was dark all around. He could only see some outlines clearly. He was sure that he was in a forest. At this time, the blue panel appeared again with precautions on it. Adventurer, congratulations on entering this unknown territory. The magical forest. Adventurer, what you need to know is that you are fighting alone now, so you cannot trust anyone who appears here. Of course, there is no one else here except you. Only the unknown. Monsters, use the weapons in your hands to kill them, and you will get new rewards. You may get weapons, magic, abilities, or other things. Kill as many monsters as possible. Only in this way can you get more thing. Remember, take your lantern. It will help you illuminate the prototype of the monster. You must return to your island before the lantern goes out. Otherwise, you will be swallowed by darkness and disappear forever. This lantern can still be extinguished and can still illuminate monsters? It is indeed a good thing. Luchin carried the lantern and then hung it on his waist. He took out the pistol in his left hand and the hand axe in his right hand and then walked forward. The magic forest was extremely dark and full of weird smells. After walking about a hundred meters, Lu Chen found something moving in front of him. It was too far away, and he couldn't see clearly. He could only walk in. Finally, he was far away. Within a five-meter range, the light of the lantern illuminated the prototype of the thing. It turned out to be a monster with a mushroom on its head. This monster looked like a mushroom spirit. Lu Chen didn't say anything, but he just hit it with an axe. Wow! The mushroom essence exploded and dropped some ordinary materials, including a wooden staff. What is this? Luchin picked up the wooden stick. Wooden stick. Attack power, 16. Magic attack power, 36. Comes with magic, small fireball. Launches a fireball to attack the enemy, causing 50 points of damage to the enemy and consuming 5 mana. When Luchin saw the introduction, Luchin was stunned for a moment. Could it be that he could use magic with this wooden staff? This is a bit nonsense. Luchin put away the pistol, replaced it with a wooden stick, and continued walking forward, seeing a mushroom spirit again in front of him. Luchin looked at the wooden stick in his hand. Little fireball technique. Call! A red fireball condensed in front of the wooden staff. The next moment, the fireball burst out and hit the mushroom spirit, and then exploded. Boom! As the flames exploded, Luchin's eyes widened. This blow should be able to kill the mushroom spirit. Unexpectedly, the next moment, the mushroom spirit rushed out of the fire, his eyes glowing red, and he rushed towards Lu Chen with his teeth and claws. Hack. Little fireball technique. Warning. Insufficient magic value to cast. Lu Chen. Chapter 49 Clear the Magic Forest. Although Lu Chen changed his equipment and increased his defense and health, his magic value was still 5 points, which was only enough to support a small fireball spell. This made Lu Chen very depressed. Seeing that the mushroom spirit was already in front of him, Lu Chen swung his axe and struck at it. Wow! The mushroom essence exploded, scattering items everywhere. Congratulations on obtaining magic crystal asterisk one, mushroom asterisk one, and unknown meat asterisk one. After getting something new, Lu Chen put it away. Although he didn't know what it was used for, it was good to keep it after all. Since the fireball spell can no longer be used, the wand must be put away. Lu Chen took out the pistol again. This thing worked better. Continuing to walk forward, two figures appeared in front of them. Lu Chen didn't know what they were. 
but he walked over slowly. Suddenly, a stone hit Lu Chen. Lu Chen hurriedly dodged. Fortunately, he reacted quickly. The stone was not very fast either, so he dodged it. He didn't know what was throwing stones at him. Lu Chen hurriedly walked forward. Only when he entered the area illuminated by light could he see what it was. Finally, Lu Chen saw it. It was actually a man carrying a bamboo basket. Bren and a mushroom spirit. The goblin held a stone in his hand and threw it towards Lu Chen again. Lu Chen quickly dodged and rushed towards the goblin. At the same time, the mushroom spirit also launched an attack and hit Lu Chen with its huge mushroom head. To Lu Chen, mushroom spirit was like a little brother, playing with each other with an axe. The mushroom spirit was hacked to death again, but the goblin remained unmoved and continued to throw stones at Lu Chen. As if he didn't know whether to live or die, Lu Chen rushed over and killed the goblin instantly with an axe. Congratulations on obtaining the magic crystal asterisk one, mushroom asterisk one, and goblin's bamboo basket asterisk one. Lu Chen frowned and took out the goblin's bamboo basket, wondering what the use of it was. Goblin's bamboo basket, you can pretend to be a goblin with this one on your back, and it won't be recognized by others. It's the best for sneak attacks and so on. Damn it! Is there such an operation? What a good thing. Lu Chen directly carried the goblin's bamboo basket on his back. Congratulations on getting the goblin transformation blessing, which lasts for 10 minutes. Although the appearance has not changed, it has obtained the transformation buff, which is very good for sneak attacks on monsters. As he walked forward, the shadow of the monster in front of him shook. Lu Chen did not hesitate and walked directly over. In front of him were two mushroom spirits. When Lu Chen walked past them, the two mushroom spirits did not move at all. Buff is indeed amazing. Walking behind the mushroom spirit, Lu Chen raised his hand and struck out with an axe, killing the two mushroom spirits at the same time. Congratulations on obtaining Magic Crystal Asterisk 2 and Mushroom Asterisk 2. Monsters appeared in front again, but they were all goblins, mushroom spirits, and the like, and no other monsters appeared. After walking for an unknown amount of time, Lu Chen suddenly noticed that the light of the lantern seemed to have shrunk. Illusion? Lu Chen placed the lantern on the ground, and then measured it carefully. Sure enough, the range of the lantern's illumination had indeed been reduced a lot. The current visual distance was no more than three meters. It seems that the light of the lantern will disappear, and we will have to leave at that time. But where is the end here? It won't just be these little monsters. Lu Chen got a lot of magic crystals along the way, but he didn't find any powerful monsters. This made Lu Chen a little irritated. If he continued like this, he might as well go back and hunt sharks. Suddenly Lu Chen paused and thought of something. Can the wooden staff be upgraded? If it can be upgraded, will it have more powerful magic? Thinking of this, Lu Chen took out the wooden staff and then the upgrade hammer. Upgrade? Upgrading the wooden staff requires 20 magic crystals. Looking at the blue panel in front of him, Lu Chen suddenly became happy. Sure enough, the wooden staff can be upgraded. I now have 56 magic crystals in my hand. Which is enough. Upgrade? Ding! The wooden stick has been upgraded successfully. Congratulations on getting the Prophet Staff Asterisk 1. Magic Crystal 10. Lu Chen looked at the wooden staff and laid with blue gems in his hand and felt a little excited. Because after being upgraded, this staff can actually increase the magic value by 50 points. And the attack is doubled. Now Lu Chen can finally realize that he is a mage. Dream. Seer Staff. Attack 32. Magic Attack 72. Increases the user's magic value by 50. Comes with magic. Small fireball level 2. Launches a fireball to attack the enemy. Causing 100 points of damage to the enemy and consuming 10 mana. Although the attack has been improved and the magic value has been increased. The magic consumed by this skill has also doubled. At this moment, the lantern under Lu Chen's feet dimmed again and was about to go out. It seemed that he had no choice but to go back. Etc. Just as Lu Chen was about to leave, he suddenly thought of what he had gotten by signing in today. A bright light. Lu Chen immediately took out the always-on light. The ever-bright lantern appeared, and the lantern under his feet shattered into pieces and disappeared. At this time, Lu Chen could already see a 10-meter range around him. The monster in the distance was clearly visible. Lu Chen suddenly found a crocodile lying on the ground in the distance. He finally saw a different monster. Lu Chen rushed forward without hesitation, because he had not had the blessing of transformation buff for a long time. Lu Chen could only use hard steel now. The fireball condensed in front of the staff. The next moment, 
The fireball flew towards the crocodile. Boom! The fireball exploded, and the flame swallowed the crocodile. This time, the crocodile did not rush out. It seemed that it was directly killed by the fireball. When the firelight dissipated, it turned out that there were only some materials on the ground, and the crocodile was gone. Luchin stepped forward and picked up the materials. Congratulations on getting Crocodile Tail Asterisk 1 and Magic Crystal Asterisk 1. Luchin didn't know what use these materials could be used for. But he kept them anyway. A monster appeared in front again. And Luchin followed suit and killed the monster. Walking forward, the road ahead was like a maze. Luchin didn't know how long he walked and how many monsters he killed. Finally, Luchin saw the system prompt again. The small blue panel reads, Congratulations. You have reached the end of the forest. The big boss Duea is just ahead. Do you want to challenge? Too toothy? What is it? Challenge. Beep. A rapid siren sounded. And the scenery in front of Luchin changed. A red danger signal flashed in front of him. And then a giant dog as tall as a person walked out of the darkness and entered Luchin's field of vision. Inside, the hound roared angrily. Its mouth wide open. And its two rows of sharp teeth made people's hearts stand on end. This guy really has a lot of teeth. Luchin couldn't help but tease. Then he picked up the staff and fired a fireball directly at it. Boom! The fireball exploded and swallowed the giant dog. Roar! The giant dog roared and burst out of the flames, charging towards Luchin. The speed of this giant dog was not slow. It arrived in front of Luchin almost in the blink of an eye. The giant dog's claws suddenly grabbed out and slapped Luchin's chest. Luchin stumbled and fell to the ground. Chi and blood 100. Damn it! The huge number suddenly shocked Lu Chin. He didn't expect that he would lose 100 chi in blood. He didn't have much chi in blood. And he couldn't withstand a few hits. So he had to fight quickly. Next, Lu Chin already had a strategy to deal with it. The fireball technique was released. And at the same time that the fireball was released, Lu Chin had already rushed out. Boom! The fireball exploded. And the fire swallowed up the giant dog again. At the same time, the hand axe in Lu Chen's hand struck directly into the fire. Before the giant dog could rush out, the giant dog was directly killed by Lu Chen with one axe. This epic level axe is indeed extraordinary. Facing such a powerful giant dog, it is all a matter of one axe. Wow! The corpse of the giant dog exploded directly, and the materials on the ground were glowing with golden light, which was really exciting. Congratulations! You have cleared the dungeon and the magic forest. Chapter 50 First kill in the dungeon. Hatching pets. A blue screen appeared in front of Lu Chin. World announcement. Congratulations to player Zheng Yu for completing the first kill in the dungeon magic forest. World announcement. Lu Chin looked at another blue screen and was dumbfounded. Then, Lu Chin suddenly laughed obscenely. Ehehe. <laughs> it's great. I actually got the first kill. What kind of reward does the system give for the first kill? Congratulations to the player for getting the first kill gift pack asterisk one. A gift bag appeared at Lu Chen's feet. Lu Chen stepped forward and collected all the materials. Congratulations on obtaining Magic Crystal Asterisk 50. Wooden Board Asterisk 100. Iron Plate Asterisk 50. Steel Plate Asterisk 50. Glass Asterisk 50. Rope Asterisk 100. Palm Leaf Asterisk 100. Plastic Asterisk 100. Mineral Water Asterisk 30. Instant Noodles Asterisk 30. Bread Asterisk 30. Meat Stick Asterisk 30. Blueprint, Exquisite Hand Axe Asterisk 1. Blueprint, Exquisite Mind Pickaxe Asterisk 1. Blueprint, Exquisite Shovel Asterisk 1. Blueprint, Incubator Asterisk 1. Pet Hound Asterisk 1. Pet Food Asterisk 50. First Kill Gift Pack Asterisk 1. Looking at the items he obtained, Luchin was shocked. Sure enough, it turned out that this dungeon was indeed a good place for producing materials. Luchin felt that this dungeon was not difficult at all and he could complete it very easily. From now on, it looks like it will be better. You can come again several times, but how to increase the magic value? I don't want to think about it that much for now. Let's open the first kill gift package first. Congratulations on getting the Universal Seed Asterisk 20. Damn it! Luchin was really shocked this time. He didn't expect that he got 20 Universal Seeds. This is an absolute good thing. It is something that can only be found. He didn't expect to get it in the first kill gift pack. It seems that he will be able to get it in the future. The more first kills you make, the more universal seeds you can get. Later, Lu Chen used the always-on light to return to the camp. It was already evening in the camp at this time. 
and it seemed that he had not stayed in the underground city for long. Seeing Luchin appear, Gao Lu ran over excitedly. Luchin! You are awesome! Hearing this, Lu Chen's face turned red, which seemed a bit ambiguous. Ha ha! It's okay! Just SOSO! Lu Chen scratched his head in embarrassment. Gao Lu hurriedly said, You know, you are famous now. There was a world announcement just now. The announcement message appeared in front of everyone. You completed the first kill, and many people came back in the middle of the fight. Huh? Halfway through the fight? How did you know? Lu Chen asked strangely. Just look at the world channel. In fact, not long after you entered the dungeon, I saw someone sending a message coming out of the dungeon. They said that the brightness of the lantern could not be sustained, and the monsters inside were hiding. It's very difficult to deal with in the dark. There are long-range attacks and other things, and you can also sneak attack people, which makes people hard to guard against. But how did you do it? You actually completed the first kill. You are too strong. I thought you were very powerful before. Mysterious. Now I think you are even more mysterious. Can you tell me how you obtained so many powerful equipment? Gao Lu finally said what was in her heart. She had been holding it in for a long time to say these words. She said it today because she really wanted to find out what was going on. Could it be that Lu Chen found a bug in the game? Lu Chen smiled lightly and said, Okay, let me tell you. This game actually has passive skills. And you should have them too. But you may not know it yet. My passive skill is luck and my luck will change over time. I keep improving, so I can get a lot of powerful equipment, which is all my luck. Of course, Lu Chen didn't tell the truth. He just found a random reason. However, this passive skill did exist. I'm afraid Gao Lu had already discovered it, but Lu Chen didn't know what Gao Lu's passive skill was at the moment. Hearing this, Gao Lu suddenly realized, I see. No wonder you are so powerful. This time my doubts have been cleared up. Oh. By the way, we have finished watering the orchard over there. And we are just waiting to see the fruit trees tomorrow. Will it grow? Lu Chen nodded. Very good. Plant these seeds. Remember to find a safe place. Be careful. This will allow you to eat your mother's pork ribs noodles again. Gao Lu was surprised and said. Really? Are these the seeds? Did you get these from the dungeon? Great. I will be careful. Leave it to me. In order to eat pork rib noodles. Gao Lu is naturally very careful. As soon as Gao Lu left, he turned around and came back. This is for you. Gao Lu took out the resources that Lu Chen gave her when he entered the dungeon. They all belonged to Lu Chen. But Gao Lu didn't touch them at all. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen smiled slightly. Okay. Lu Chen collected all the resources without any nonsense. Although Gao Lu was trustworthy now, in this complicated world, Lu Chen still had to only believe in himself. After packing everything, Lu Chen handed three meat sticks to the natives. The meat sticks were very similar to the large meat sticks that appeared in one piece. This would be their dinner tonight. When Lightning Shuang saw Lu Chen coming back, he immediately rushed over and got close to Lu Chen. In order to protect Lightning Shuang, Lu Chen had left him in the camp without taking him with him. Because of the increase in loyalty, Lu Chen was not around. But Ling Ling Shuang missed him very much. Now that he saw Lu Chen come back, he was naturally very happy and got close to Lu Chen. Okay. Okay. Xiao Shen. I finally understand this dungeon. Next time you go with me, you don't have to be afraid of anything. The dungeon cannot be entered continuously. And there is a 24-hour cooling time. Lu Chen is also very clear about this. So he also made a decision. After 24 hours, Lu Chen will enter the dungeon again. Because the dungeon has a cooling time of 24 hours. The resources are really abundant. When night fell, the camp built by Lu Chen isolated the monsters from the outside. As long as their voices were not loud, they would not attract the attention of the monsters. Late at night, all the natives went to bed after a sumptuous dinner. Only Lu Chen and Gao Lu were still sitting by the furnace. The wooden planks burning in the furnace ahead crackled. And Gao Lu raised his head and looked at Lu Chen. Lu Chen, do you think there will be a lantern holder outside? Lu Chen looked at the wall and said, no matter if he is there or not. Don't be afraid. We still don't need those lanterns. No need for it. Why? Isn't this lantern the only item we have when we enter the dungeon? Gao Lu asked puzzledly. Gao Lu also had an in-depth understanding of the underground city. Without a lantern, it would be impossible to enter the underground city. Lu Chen said, Don't worry. I have a way. Okay. Go to sleep and have a good dream. 
Hearing this, Gao Lu nodded and stood up. Walking into the room, Gao Lu knew that since Lu Chen didn't say anything, it would be in vain for him to ask. So he simply didn't ask anything. Then, he would understand everything just by looking. Lighting Shuang stood aside and looked around cautiously. And then Lu Chen took out the pet he got from the dungeon. This is a glass ball like an elf ball. And a hunting dog that looks exactly like the dungeon boss giant dog is floating in it. It seems to be sleeping. An incubator is required to hatch pets. Please use an incubator to hatch pets. Incubator? Lu Chen remembered that he also got the blueprint of an incubator today. The incubator requires 50 wooden boards, 30 iron plates, 20 steel plates, 30 glass and 10 palm leaves. Lu Chen already had these materials. Make it. Congratulations on getting the incubator asterisk 1. Wood board 50. Iron plate 30. Steel plate 20. Glass 30. Palm leaf 10. A one meter square incubator appeared in front of Lu Chen. This incubator could hatch six eggs at the same time. Naturally, the glass ball in Lu Chen's hand could also be hatched. Lu Chen put it into the incubator and then turned on the incubator. The incubator requires energy to activate. And water can also be used to open the incubator. Can water also be used as energy? Lu Chen looked confused. But if he thought about it carefully, maybe this was the mechanism of the game, which focused on environmental protection. Lu Chen took out a bottle of mineral water and poured it into the charging port of the incubator. The next moment, the incubator actually started operating. Surprisingly, it's really... Okay. Dot! Chapter 51 Hatching the Hell Dog Sign in and get the resurrection armor. Lu Chen never thought that in this world, water could really be used as energy. Wouldn't it replace other electricity and oil resources? It would also be very environmentally friendly. In the incubator, a faint light flickered, and the glass vessel rotated in it. Lu Chen suddenly felt that the incubator was like a microwave oven. Will the glass ball explode after a while? Didn't it say that balls cannot be heated? Lu Chen just sat like this. After an unknown amount of time, the incubator finally changed. Ding! Congratulations on the successful hatching. You got a mutant H, L dog asterisk one. Mutated H, lound? What the H, L is this? Didn't I just say a hound? Why was A.H. Lound hatched? The incubator opened and a puppy, only as long as an adult's forearm, jumped out, looking at the little puppy in front of him. Lu Chen fell into deep contemplation. This was a puppy that had just been born. The little guy's hair wasn't even fully grown. Can he be called a vicious dog from H. L? Congratulations on opening the pet system, which can be viewed on the interface. This turns on the pet system. Why is it turned on now? Lightning Shuang has appeared a long time ago. Why wasn't it turned on before? Don't you use the mythical level as a pet? The pet system was opened. And two pets were clearly displayed inside. Hellhound, green. Delicate baby. Grade 1. Personality, hot-blooded. Strength, 36. Intelligence, 15. Spirit, 20. Loyalty, 15. Average, general. Close. Reliable. Loyal. Intimacy, 10. Hunger, minus 10. Skills, bite. Tear. Introduction. A carnivorous pet. A vicious dog from H. L. It is extremely ferocious. Don't be bitten by it. One bite will make you doubt your life. Lightning cool. Orange. Myth mature. Grade 1. Personality. Gentle. Strength. 326. Intelligence. 215. Spirit. 67. Loyalty. 46. Close. Intimacy. 100 full. Hunger level. 65. Skills. Lightning crash. Lightning rush. Introduce? Finally. Lu Chen finally saw the introduction about the pets. It was very detailed. But what Lu Chen didn't expect was that both pets were at the first level. In comparison, the mythical level pets were indeed much more powerful. Lu Chen discovered that there was a line of small words at the bottom of the pet interface. When the pet level is increased to level 10, the attributes of the owner can be increased proportionally. Can pets also level up? Level 10 can also increase the master's attributes. If the attributes are increased according to the lightning coolness, wouldn't he be against the sky? But, how do you increase the level of your pet? Lu Chen was suddenly confused. He still couldn't understand the game at all. Could it be that he needed to enter the dungeon to farm monsters? If he had known that he could level up, he should have entered the dungeon with lightning cool. Ouch! At this time, the H, L dog walked to Lu Chen's feet and rubbed his trouser legs. Gulu. The H, 
L dog made a hungry sound. Luchin smiled faintly, took out an apple, and handed it to the H, L dog. The H, L dog sniffed it and howled twice. Hey, you don't eat fruit? Oh, by the way, you are a carnivorous pet. Can you use shark meat? Luchin placed the shark meat in front of the hell dog. The hell dog sniffed it, then opened its mouth and ate it. Congratulations on intimacy plus 10 and loyalty plus 10. Pet hunger plus 10. Ah, shark meat can also increase loyalty, which is great. Luchin continued to take out the shark meat, while the H, L dog ate it with big mouthfuls. Congratulations on intimacy plus 10 and loyalty plus 10. Pet hunger plus 10. Seeing the hell dog eating. Luchin took out a banana and a pineapple and gave them to Lightning Shuang. He couldn't let one eat them while the other watched. This was too unfair. The blue screen in front of Luchin kept changing, showing the changes in the two values. Seeing the two of them eating so well, Luchin was about to collapse. Now that he had added another person for food and accommodation, who was also a meat eater, he had to work hard to survive. You little guy. I have to give you a name. His name is Shaoshan. If you are a bitch, just call him Xiao Hei. Hearing this, Xiao Hei showed a healing smile to Lu Chen. Wow. Lu Chen. This little guy is so cute. Gao Lu walked out of the room and saw the H, L dog, and said like it, This is my pet. I got it from the dungeon. It's cute anyway. Looking at the fluffy little puppy, Gao Lu stepped forward and was about to pick it up. Ouch. Before Gao Lu's hand touched the H, L dog, the little guy suddenly roared and looked as if he was about to bite him. Gao Lu quickly stopped. Xiao Hei. Lu Chen shouted. The H, L dogs have also become docile. Xiao Hei. Are you calling this little guy? Gao Lu asked with a look of disgust. Lu Chen smiled and said. Yes, that's the name I just chose. You're so bad at naming. What's your name? Xiao Hei. How nice is it to be called God Solomon? Lu Chen frowned and said. What is the name of God Solo? It sounds very much like a foreigner's name. God Solo is a demon god. What a domineering name. This little guy will definitely be more domineering in the future. So let's call him God Solo. Ouch. The H, L dog barked at Gao Lu. Venting his dissatisfaction. Gao Lu frowned. What kind of attitude do you have? Let me give you a domineering name. If you go out to fight in the future, it will be very domineering. You are still mean to me. Really? Hum. I will ignore you. Gao Lu turned and left. Lu Chen chuckled. Zhao Hei, that's our good friend. You can't be cruel to her. Remember, we are a family. Zhao Hei seemed to understand Lu Chen's words and called out in a low voice. Okay, let's go to bed. Afterwards, Lu Chen returned to the room with the two little guys. The monsters outside the wall were still pacing back and forth. But fortunately, because there was no movement inside the wall, these monsters did not move at all. The next day, ah, uh, Lu Chen woke up with Lu Qin's shout, grabbed the axe beside him, and stood up. Lu Qin was seen standing on the bed with his body pressed tightly against the wall. Xiao Hei was standing in front of Lu Qin, facing him fiercely. Lu Qin couldn't help but smile. He didn't expect that although this little guy was small, he was very courageous and wanted to fight anyone he faced. Xiao Hei, don't do this. They are also family members. You can't do this. Lu Qin shouted, and Xiao Hei licked his lips and stepped back. Lightning Shuang stood aside and looked at the few people with an indifferent expression, without the slightest expression, and seemed to have no interest in the actions of these guys. Lu Qin stepped forward cautiously. A oh, what? Lu Qin explained with a smile. Puppy! Lu Qin's language receptive ability is the fastest, and he can now speak two character words, but sometimes he can't say anything in a hurry, and he still keeps barking. Puppy! Lu Qin said happily, and Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. Ding! Daily sign-in starts. Do you want to sign in? Sign in. The most important thing that Lu Chen focuses on every day now is signing in. Signing in can give you many good things that you can't imagine. Ding! Sign in completed. Gain the power of protection. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. You can make a dead creature appear in the form of a soul. This soul can be used to strengthen your own items or skills. You can consume the soul to heal injuries or you can consume the soul to resurrect others. Congratulations to the player for obtaining the ability. Sacrifice. Friendly reminder, the sacrifice object must be a dead or dying organism. Only one soul can be stored for each sacrifice. The resurrection object must be of the same type as the soul. 
and the death cannot exceed 24 hours. Please make good use of it. This skill is awesome. It can actually resurrect people. This is simply a magical skill. According to the explanation of the skill, Lu Chen can find a player and kill him. By using sacrifice, he can exist in the form of a soul. At that time, this soul can be used to strengthen equipment and also be used for treatment. If he is in a dead state, next, this soul can also resurrect itself. Oh my god! Isn't this the resurrection armor? Chapter 52 Soul Fusion Lantern Futures Although that is said, where can I get this soul? Now that there are natives nearby, they are sharks. You can't kill a native. That would be too cruel. And they are his own family members. Lu Chen can't do it. So now it seems that he can only be stranded temporarily. Lu Chen! Lu Chen! Are you up? Gao Lu's voice came from outside. Lu Chen walked out with two little guys. Seeing two cuties following Lu Chen, Gao Lu couldn't help but smile and said, These two little guys are like your children. Jealous. This must be jealousy. He has two pets. But Gao Lu doesn't have one. You can imagine the gap in his heart. Ha ha. Really? Then when I enter the dungeon next time, I will also give you a pet. I don't want it. I'm fine on my own. Gao Lu looked very high profile. With a completely disdainful expression. Lu Chen knew that Gao Lu must be angry and hungry. Women are always so duplicitous. Stop talking nonsense. Let's go check out the situation in the orchard. We watered it yesterday, and we don't know if it will grow. If it can grow, then we will have a fixed source of food. Okay, let's go. The two of them headed towards the orchard with their two pets. And the other natives began to grill fish, prepare breakfast, and then start a new day's work. Gao Lu didn't say a word on the road. Lu Chen just smiled faintly and asked, By the way, how is the universal seed? Gao Lu said, Don't worry. I planted them all yesterday. As long as we water them every day, we will be able to eat good food. Then, the two of them were speechless again. When they arrived at the orchard and opened the door, they found that the fruit trees in the orchard had indeed sprouted, which meant that these fruit trees could still continue to bear fruit. So they were guaranteed. The two watered the fruit trees, and the water content of the fruit trees reached 100% again. In this way, the water was enough for one day, and they did not need to be here all the time. After seeing the orchard, the two wandered around the area. Ouch, ouch. Suddenly Xiao Hei called Chi Ali in a vigilant voice. What's wrong? Xiao Hei. Looking at the direction Xiao Hei was facing, Lu Chen turned around and saw the grass swaying in the distance, as if there was something there. Come out. Lu Chen directly raised his axe. And Gao Lu also took out his bow and arrow and pointed it at the grass. But there was no movement in the grass. Lu Chen took out his staff. And the fireball condensed in front of it. Call. The fireball burst out and concentrated in the grass. Igniting a raging fire. Oh my god! What is this? Gao Lu on the side shouted in surprise. At this moment, a figure suddenly emerged from the fire. It turned out to be a grizzly bear. Gao Lu was surprised and said, Why are there bears here? Lu Chen knew that they had not completed exploring the entire island. And there must be other things on this island. But they had not explored it yet. There were tigers and leopards. So it was not surprising that there were bears. Without any explanation, Lu Chen directly used his fireball technique again. Directly bombarding the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear screamed. And its body and mind were swallowed up by flames. Hold it for me. Lu Chen suddenly thought of something and handed the staff to Gao Lu. Lu Chen stretched out his palm and directly used the sacrifice skill. Sacrifice! The flame on his left arm suddenly ignited. And the scarlet flame carried a depressing aura. Sacrifice starts with the target grizzly bear. The next moment, the cry of the grizzly bear stopped instantly. And the flames around it also disappeared. The souls of grizzly bears appeared in that place. Floating on the ground. What's that? Gao Lu was confused again. Seeing Lu Chen display powerful skills one after another, she was completely confused. Lu Chen smiled slightly and said, Look, this is my unique skill. Absolutely invincible. It was said that Lu Chen took the bow and arrow from Gao Lu's hand. And then with a move of his hand, the soul of the grizzly bear flew to Lu Chen's side. Then Lu Chen actually injected the soul of the grizzly bear directly into the bow and arrow. A gray light glowed. And the light continued to expand and turned into a gray light group. As the light group disappeared, the soul of the grizzly bear also disappeared. What was that just now? Gao Lu asked again in surprise. Okay, 
Let me explain to you. What I just used is the skill sacrifice, which can turn the opponent into a soul body. The soul body can be injected into any item. Now you take the bow and arrow and shoot an arrow at the tree in front of you. Lu Chen explained and handed the bow and arrow to Gao Lu. Gao Lu looked puzzled as she took the bow and arrow. She didn't understand why Lu Chen asked her to shoot at the trees. Does this make any sense? Lu Chen smiled and said, Don't miss it. I believe in your skills. Nonsense. My archery skills are very good. With that said, Gao Lu took up his bow and shot an arrow. The moment he took up the bow, Gao Lu felt an unprecedented power. A very powerful force. This is Whoosh! The feather arrow shot out in a beautiful arc and directly hit the tree in front. Boom! There was a loud noise. And the tree shattered, split into two pieces, and fell to the ground. Ah! Seeing his arrow shoot through the trees and break the trees. This powerful explosive power. This is not a bow and arrow. It is simply a cannonball. How about it? It's not bad. A bow and arrow with the power of a bear is very strong. Galu nodded in surprise. She was too shocked to speak. In fact, Lu Chen was also very shocked. He didn't expect that the bow and arrow fused with the soul of the grizzly bear would be so powerful. It was simply an equipment enchantment. And it didn't cost anything. It only had to have the soul. It was so cool. How did you do it? Could it be that you got this from the dungeon? Galu put down his bow and asked. Well, so be it. This dungeon is really good. The mobs in the early stage don't drop any resources. In fact, they drop very little. But the boss at the end is really powerful. It explodes all the equipment. It's very cool. After saying that, Luchin smiled excitedly. Luchin, I think we should buy some lanterns. The price of lanterns has skyrocketed now. Let's buy more. Even if we don't use them, we will sell them at a good price in the future. Acquire lanterns? You want to play futures? In fact, it is not bad. Now we can witness the importance of lanterns in the future. And one lantern cannot complete the entire dungeon. Two or even three are needed. If we purchase in large quantities, maybe it will be like you said in the future. Good decision. Acquire the lantern. Lu Chun and Gao Lu reached a consensus. And then, they opened the trading system. The price of the lantern is still 50 fish. But Lu Chen is not prepared to use fish in exchange. Lu Chen opened the chat channel and sent messages on both the trading channel and the world channel. The whole world buys lanterns for the price of a shark. Lu Chen's decision was to use sharks in exchange for lanterns. After all, sharks were easier to obtain than ordinary fish. Gao Lu on the side said, Actually, we can use fruits. No, resources like fruit cannot be wasted. We still have to keep them. This is our last ration. Lu Chen had actually thought about it a long time ago. They couldn't waste the fruit. After all, there was a time limit for the ripening of the fruit. And so far no one had used the fruit for trading. Which showed that the fruit was very valuable. At this time, someone sent a message to Lu Chen. Master, please give me two sharks. I can eat a few more meals. You think sharks are easy to catch. It's just one. If you want it, don't worry. I'm not in a hurry to use a lantern anyway. Lu Chen couldn't bargain with the other party. Once these guys set a precedent, they would never end it in the future. The other party was immediately speechless. But the lantern was of no use in his hand. So he might as well just let the deal go. Okay. Just a shark. Lu Chen smiled slightly. And then the two of them walked towards the seaside. Chapter 53 Hunting Sharks in Exchange for Lanterns A shark is swimming back and forth on the surface of the sea. A white wooden box floated on the sea level. Lightning Shuang dragged the wooden box back with a lightning dash. When the shark saw this, he wanted to pounce, but he could not catch Lightning Shuang's movements at all. Lu Chen took off his clothes and jumped directly into the sea with a spear in hand. With the blessing of Neptune, Lu Chen became more sensitive in the seawater. When the shark saw Lu Chen's appearance, it swung its tail and rushed towards him. The shark opened its mouth, revealing its sharp teeth. However, just when the shark was about to reach Lu Chen, Lu Chen dodged sideways. At the same time, the spear in his hand accurately passed through the shark's head. Blood spurted out, and Lu Chen did not leave. Instead, he pulled out the spear and let the blood flow faster and more. Lu Chen's move was to attract more sharks to catch the sharks that followed him. Seeing that Lu Chen hadn't appeared for a long time, Gao Lu became a little worried. She stared at the sea level in front of her, with the bow and arrow in her hand ready to attack the shark at any time. 
In the seawater, the blood of sharks attracted many small fish. In the distance, two sharks also smelled the smell of blood and rushed towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen was naturally very excited when he saw two sharks. Now he could kill two of them at once. The school of fish in front attracted the attention of the sharks. The two sharks did not attack Lu Chen. Instead, they attacked the school of fish. They opened their big mouths and dozens of small fish were swallowed up by them in an instant. Lu Chen sensed an opportunity and immediately rushed over, using his spear as a knife. He directly killed one of the sharks on the spot. The other shark seemed to be aware of the danger and turned around and rushed towards Lu Chen. The shark's attack was very simple, with nothing more than bites. Facing the shark, Lu Chen had rich combat experience. He ducked to the side, dodged the attack, and shot out with his spear to kill the shark again. Now that three sharks have been dealt with, Lu Chen grabbed the tails of the three sharks and headed towards the shore. But at this moment, more than a dozen sharks swam from a distance. Gao Lu, who was standing on the shore, also saw the fins of a dozen sharks streaking across the sea level, heading towards Lu Chen. Gao Lu immediately shouted, Lu Chen! Lu Chen! There are sharks! Be careful! Lu Chen turned around and saw that the shark was less than a hundred meters away from him. Facing more than a dozen sharks, Lu Chen knew that he couldn't fight head on, so he could only reluctantly use the epic hand axe. Whoosh! At this moment, Gao Lu was in a hurry and shot an arrow with his bow. An arrow shot directly hit the leading shark. Boom! The speed of the arrow was really too fast. When the arrow was shot, it exploded on the shark like a bomb, sending water splashing everywhere. The next moment, all the sharks scattered in all directions, and no one dared to stop. The bodies of three sharks actually floated on the water. Lu Chen was immediately surprised. The arrow he just revealed actually killed three sharks. The power was simply terrifying, and the accuracy was truly shocking. Now adding the sharks in Lu Chen's hands, they already have six, and they can get a lantern when the time comes. In the exchange, someone has hung up a lantern and is asking for one shark. There is also a shameless guy who is asking for two. I don't know what this guy is thinking, but now it is obvious that no one is coming to buy. Lu Chen has six sharks in his hand, finally taking the six lanterns for himself. Lu Chen sat on the shore and handed all the lanterns left to Gao Lu. Give it to me? Aren't you afraid that I'll steal it for you? Gao Lu asked with a smile. Afraid? Of course I'm afraid. But I'm even more afraid that there's no room in your backpack. Said Lu Chen picked up the upgrade hammer and smashed it directly on Gao Lu's backpack. Ding! Congratulations on successfully upgrading the backpack to level 2. Palm Leaf 2. Shark Skin 1. Congratulations on raising the backpack to LV2. Seeing that Lu Chen actually upgraded his backpack, Gao Lu's eyes showed joy. To be honest, the level of Gao Lu's backpack is indeed too low. There is not much space to use at all. Six lanterns basically occupy most of the space. Lu Chen didn't talk nonsense and just hit him again. Ding! Congratulations on successfully upgrading your backpack to level 3. Palm Leaves 15. Shark Skin 5. Iron Plate 3. Rope 5. Congratulations on raising the backpack to LV3. The third level backpack is nothing now. These are his younger brothers. Lu Chen hit Gao Lu's surprised eyes with a hammer again. Ding! Congratulations on successfully upgrading your backpack to level 4. Palm Leaf 40. Shark Skin 25. Rope 25. Wooden Board 50. Iron Plate 25. Steel Plate 10. Congratulations. The backpack has been upgraded to LV4. Now that both of their backpacks have been upgraded to level 4, Lu Chen did not continue to smash them because Lu Chen discovered that to upgrade the backpack to level 5, the material required was an additional material that he had never seen before. Flax. Although flax is not a rare material, Lu Chen and the others have never seen flax in this world, and they don't know where this thing can be dropped. Therefore, the 5th level backpack can only be thought about. Although there is no level 5 backpack, the current level 4 backpack is enough. Here, your level 4 backpack is ready. No need to say thank you. Lu Chen gave Gao Lu the level 4 backpack. Gao Lu smiled and said, What a beautiful thought you have. I never said thank you. Gao Lu knew that Lu Chen was thanking her for the arrow she had just shot. But she did not expect that the arrow just shot was so powerful. Like a bomb. If she had known about it earlier, she should have set a trap. Thinking of it, Gao Lu had an idea and said, By the way, Lu Chen, why don't we make a trap to catch all the sharks? And then kill them together. Trap? Lu Chen also suddenly realized that he had forgotten this. 
he had already made traps to catch werewolf sharks. Nowadays, it is natural to deal with sharks without having to go up and kill them so hard. He can use the smell of blood to lure them over. And then kill them together. Luchin ate the bread and then stood up. You're right. It's a trap. Luchin was able to make the trap easily. He used stones to build a 10 meter square fish pond with a depth of about 5 meters on the sea. A 3 meter wall was built around it. Leaving a 5 meter wide gap on one side. Luchin caught another shark and threw the shark's body into the fish pond. Letting the blood cover the entire fish pond. A sea like this would definitely attract more sharks. Soon, the smell of blood attracted a shark. The shark entered the fish pond and opened its big mouth to bite the corpse of the same shark. Not long after, another shark swam over. And soon another shark came from a distance. After catching two sharks, Luchin felt that there were still not enough and did not seal them. However, in the fish pond, the sharks actually fought for food. Luchin didn't expect that these sharks would actually kill each other. Three sharks were coming from a distance. When these three entered the fish pond, Luchin immediately sealed his mouth. Seven sharks were crowded together in the fish pond. When they wanted to when it was time to leave, it was already too late. On the wall, Galu picked up his bow and arrow and shot out. Boom! This arrow actually penetrated five sharks. And the arrow actually penetrated the wall. And a small gap was made in the wall. The remaining two sharks went crazy and wanted to escape. But Luchin didn't give them a chance at all. Standing on the wall, Luchin stabbed directly with the spear in his hand. One shark was killed. And the last one was left. The shark seemed he accepted his fate and didn't even resist. Luchin showed no mercy and directly dealt with them. At this point, the seven sharks were besieged to death by the two of them. Looking at the trophies, Lu Chen and Gao Lu were very happy. Lu Chen used a mining pick to open the wall, and they pulled out the bodies of seven sharks and replaced them with seven lanterns. In the exchange, the guy who had marked two sharks finally gave in and became one, because he saw that all the neighbor's lanterns had been sold, except his own. So he naturally became anxious. The furnace lining was also kind and bought its lantern. Lu Chen, we have 13 lanterns. Do we want to continue? Lu Chen looked at Tian Dao and said, It's still early. Let's continue to do some research. With that said, Lu Chen opened the gap and the blood flowed into the sea. The smell of blood once again attracted the shark's attention. However, Lu Chen suddenly noticed something was wrong. Three sharks coming side by side suddenly changed direction and fled halfway. No way. Is it possible that these sharks have discovered it? Chapter 54 Giant Shark Attack Unlock New Skills of Aquaman Lu Chen didn't believe these sharks had such intelligence. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to kill each other. Suddenly a wave of water came towards them in the distance. Lu Chen took a closer look and saw that behind the wave was a giant shark twice the size of the previous shark. What is that? Lu Chen looked at the giant shark charging towards him in shock. It seemed that his target was his side. This guy couldn't be here to avenge his younger brothers. Lu Chen didn't care so much and had already taken out the hand axe. Now Lu Chen was not going to capture this big guy. If he didn't play well, he would definitely be eaten alive by the guy. Gao Lu on the side had already fully loaded his bow and arrows and was ready, waiting for the big guy to enter the shooting range and kill him with one arrow. The big guy is only 200 meters away from the shore, but the guy has no intention of stopping. Is it possible that the guy is going to rush to the shore? Wrong. That guy's target was actually the trap set by Lu Chen. But that's good now. If he got into the trap, he would be catching a turtle in a jar, and he could kill it directly. Soon, the wave has arrived. Plop. The waves hit, and set off three meter high waves. The huge shark under the waves rushed directly into the trap. However, before Lu Chen could seal the gap, the big guy crashed the wall in front of him with a roar. Then, his figure quickly retreated and his speed was almost the same as that of Yu Lukin. The wall collapsed, and Lu Chen and Gao Lu retreated one after another. Both of them were extremely shocked. No one expected that this big guy was so ferocious and so powerful that it even knocked down the wall made of stone. No way! Is this guy a little boss? Lu Chen was a little shocked. He didn't expect this guy to be so powerful. However, Lu Chen had decided to turn this guy into a soul. Unfortunately, Sacrifice could only work on dying or dead creatures. Otherwise, he could directly use sacrifice now. Take this guy down. The giant shark did not leave but lingered in the distance. As if looking at Lu Chen and Gao Lu. Has Lu Chen fallen in love with us? He may have some thoughts. Gao Lu asked worriedly. 
Luchin smiled and said, No matter what it is, we will kill it today. You are ready. I will lure it over. And then you give it a fatal blow. Good. With that said, Gao Lu drew his bow and got ready. Lu Chen jumped into the water again. In order to get the shark's soul, Lu Chen couldn't use a hand axe. So a spear became a necessity for him. After entering the water, Lu Chen did not go directly towards the shark, but tested it left and right. The shark discovered Lu Chen and then chased him. Seeing the shark chasing after him, Lu Chen naturally did not dare to fight against such a huge guy. Fighting against such a huge guy would only cost his life. Lu Chen turned around and ran away. The shark didn't seem to be ready to let Lu Chen go, and chased after him desperately. Whoosh! At this moment, Gao Lu, who had already ambushed him, quickly shot out arrows in his hand. After many shots, Gao Lu had already figured out the power of the bow and arrow. This time, it was stronger and faster than before. The shark can definitely be penetrated at such a close distance. However, just when the arrow was about to hit the shark, the shark twisted its body to avoid the arrow. This shocked Lu Chen. This guy could actually dodge such a fast arrow. The shark dodged the arrow and bit Lu Chen. Lu Chen quickly dodged. And at the same time, he stabbed out the spear in his hand. However, this time, the link did not slide against the shark's skin. And it felt like it was scratched on the shark's skin. It's like steel. Which makes people feel chilly. And the moment Lu Chen's spear passed by, the huge shark suddenly turned around and bit Lu Chen again. Lu Chen didn't expect that although this big guy was big, he was quite fast. But Lu Chen was not a vegetarian. And he did not get the title of king of the sea for nothing. Lu Chen quickly dodged. And his body was as fast as a fish to avoid the shark's attack. The shark saw that his bite was of no use. So naturally he very angry. It suddenly stopped in place. Opened its mouth. And the surrounding water quickly gathered into its mouth. Lu Chen suddenly felt something was wrong. Boom! The next moment, a huge water column suddenly spurted out from the shark's mouth. The water column came towards Lu Chen fiercely like a shock wave. Lu Chen didn't expect that the shark could actually release skills. Lu Chen, who had no time to avoid, could only use he put his hands in front of his body, trying to block the shock wave attack. However, at this moment, the surrounding water quickly gathered in front of Lu Chen, forming a semicircular barrier. Immediately afterwards, the shock wave hit the barrier in front of Lu Chen. Under the fierce attack of the shock wave, Lu Chen was knocked out of the barrier and headed towards the shore. Plop! Lu Chen fell on the shore. No matter what, there was a beach on the shore. So he was not injured. Gao Lu immediately ran over and helped Lu Chen up. How are you? Are you okay? Gao Lu asked worriedly. Lu Chen said, Well, it's okay. This big guy is too difficult to deal with. Gao Lu quickly said, Let's not fight him anymore. This guy is too strong. Lu Chen smiled and said, No confrontation? How can that be done? This is our first time meeting such a guy. So we must not let him go. Oh? You still want to go? This guy can even dodge bows and arrows. And your pistol can't be used in the sea. So forget it. Gao Lu didn't want to fight this big guy anymore. He was too strong. And she was afraid that Lu Chen would die in the shark's mouth. Don't be afraid. Just give me the bow and arrows. Hearing this, Gao Lu gave the bow and arrow to Lu Chen. Then Lu Chen took out the upgrade hammer and directly upgraded the ordinary bows and arrows. Since the ordinary bows and arrows were slow, upgrade them. The speed of the upgraded bows and arrows would definitely increase. Ding! The bow and arrow have been upgraded successfully. Congratulations on getting an exquisite bow asterisk one. Wood board 30. Iron plate 20. Steel plate 15. Rope 30. The bow and arrow have been improved. And a green stripe appears on each side of the bow. Looking at the upgraded bow and arrow, Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. Originally, he wanted to upgrade it again. But the next material turned out to be an extra thing called Dragon Tendon. He didn't know how to get this material. So he could only hold off for the time being. Stranded, the spear in Lu Chen's hand was also broken. So he had to make a new one to improve the spear. Ding! The spear was raised successfully. Congratulations on getting the exquisite black spear asterisk one. Wood board 20. Iron ore 30. Iron plate 20. Steel plate 20. Rope 10. The exquisite black body spear is stronger than the previous one. And looks like steel. If you want to upgrade it next, you need one more material, obsidian. This thing has not been seen yet. So it cannot be upgraded. 
but now that Luchin has an exquisite spear in hand. His combat effectiveness has also been improved. Now Luchin has confidence that he can deal with that big guy. However, Luchin didn't rush into the water. He walked to the shore and put his palms into the seawater. Because he had seen the barrier before, and the situation was so urgent that he didn't have time to think about it. Now he had to take a closer look. Luchin let out a long breath. His expression solemn. And he concentrated on the water in front of his palm. Then, the surrounding water flow gathered towards his palm, forming a small barrier the size of a palm in front of his palm. Luchin was pleasantly surprised. It seemed that this was also Neptune's ability. But he didn't expect that he had just discovered it today. Luchin suddenly discovered that this Sea King's abilities should be more than these. I'm afraid there will be more. But he hasn't realized it yet. Now that there is a water barrier, Luchin doesn't have to be afraid of the shark's water shock wave. Come on guys! Let's have a fight! Chapter 55 Crazy Pursuit Hunting Giant Sharks With the upgraded weapon in hand, Lu Chen's confidence has doubled now. If it weren't for the purpose of getting the shark's soul, Lu Chen would definitely use a hand axe to kill it. This shark was so powerful that Lu Chen found that he really wanted to get that guy's soul. So he had to win this time out to sea. Seeing Lu Chen jump into the sea again, Gao Lu also tightly held the bow and arrow in her hand. She must always pay attention. Once she finds an opportunity, she must kill him with one arrow. Lu Chen entered the water, and the giant shark seemed to be on guard and would not take the initiative to attack again. It just lingered in the distance. Lu Chen gathered the water to form a barrier in front of him. And then Lu Chen held the fine iron spear rushed forward. When the home computer Lu Chen attacked, the giant shark was the first to widen its attack distance. When Lu Chen saw this, he knew that this guy was trying to prevent Gao Lu from sneaking up on the shore. So he distanced himself. Moreover, it seemed to have noticed something was wrong with Lu Chen. The color and texture of the spear in his hand also changed. It seemed that this guy sharks are indeed somewhat intelligent. Lu Chen didn't waste any time and rushed over. His legs suddenly jumped up, and he rushed out like a bullet. I don't know if it was because he had mastered the ability before. But Lu Chen always felt that he was more at home in the water now. And his intimacy with the sea seemed to have also improved. Lu Chen held a spear and rushed directly towards the giant shark. The giant shark did not push back anymore. But swung its tail and rushed towards Lu Chen. Its body suddenly accelerated in the sea water. There seemed to be a sound barrier in the sea water. The giant shark opened its big mouth and headed towards Lu Chen. Chen bit over. Lu Chen's figure suddenly stopped and quickly dodged. This series of operations was perfect. It was almost smooth and smooth without any slop. And the giant shark almost brushed past Lu Chen's body. The attack missed. And the giant shark quickly turned around and attacked again. Lu Chen had no chance to attack because he hurriedly dodged. But at the moment when the giant shark turned around, Lu Chen rushed out quickly, and the spear in his hand was already in front of the shark. Bah! The fine iron spear actually sliced through the armor on the giant shark. The giant shark's body shook and turned around to escape. Lu Chen didn't understand. The attack just now did not cause any damage to the shark. Why was this guy so scared? Could it be that it felt the presence of danger? It was also now afraid of the fine iron spear. In that case, the fine iron spear can definitely kill this giant shark. Before the shark could escape, Lu Chen had already chased after it. Its figure left a mark in the seawater. When he suddenly stepped forward, traces similar to a sound barrier appeared behind him. The giant shark had already felt that Lu Chen was getting closer and closer to itself. But its speed had reached its extreme. It might be impossible to escape. It seemed that the only option was to fight to the death. The giant shark turns its head, opens its mouth, and gathers water. Null. A huge shock wave erupted from the shark's mouth again and swept towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen was not afraid at all. The moment he collided with the shock wave, Lu Chen dodged nimbly. And at the same time, his speed increased again. Lifting up, he was already under the shark in the blink of an eye. The giant shark became even more nervous when it saw Lu Chen disappear. Suddenly it felt the fluctuation of the water coming from below. Before the giant shark could dodge, the spear in Lu Chen's hand had already penetrated the giant shark's body. However, Lu Chen's attack did not injure the giant shark's vitals. Even though it was bleeding profusely, the giant shark still quickly ran away in the distance. Lu Chen grabbed the spear again and chased after him. At this moment, Lu Chen actually saw a dozen ordinary sharks rushing towards him in front of him. It seemed that this giant shark called his companions for support. Damn it! Lu Chen looked troubled. Facing a giant shark. 
Lu Chen showed no fear. However, there were more than a dozen ordinary sharks in front of him. And he would definitely not be able to deal with them. In this case, he might have no choice but to let the giant shark go. Boom! At this moment, a huge explosion suddenly occurred in front of more than a dozen sharks. All more than a dozen sharks were blown away and hung in the seawater. Some survived and escaped desperately, while seven or eight others died directly. In place, this is. Lu Chen looked up and saw his cruise ship coming out. Lu Chen knew it must be Gao Lu. The arrow just now was so powerful that it was able to blow away more than a dozen sharks. Fortunately, Lu Chen unlocked Gao Lu's permission on the cruise ship. Otherwise, he really didn't know what to do. Now that there was no threat, Lu Chen finally stopped hesitating. And the giant shark stopped in place because of the explosion just now. At this time, Lu Chen had already caught up. And with his spear, he pierced the shark directly from the tail. The giant shark was about to die. So Lu Chen found the right opportunity to sacrifice directly in the sea. Lu Chen didn't know if the sacrifice in the sea could be used. But he had no choice but to take the risk. Fortunately, the sacrifice was activated directly. And the giant shark's body began to become transparent. And then turned into a soul state and came to Lu Chen's side. Seeing the giant shark in its soul state, Lu Chen was very excited. Fortunately, he caught it and his efforts were not in vain. And where should this guy strengthen next? Lu Chen looked at his body and finally decided to intensify the soul of the giant shark into his gloves. Lu Chen had the previously enhanced proficiency. And now, he was even more proficient in it. His gloves glowed with light. And the next moment, a shark's head pattern was engraved on the black iron gloves. Lu Chen knew that the strengthening was successful. Black iron gloves, enhanced. Attack plus 100. Defense plus 30 plus 15. Life plus 30 plus 15. Skills plus 10 plus 5. Skill, giant impact. Which can condense any surrounding elements to form a huge shock wave to attack the opponent. Note that the skill cannot be released continuously. And the interval is 30 minutes. More sophisticated gloves protect your little hands from any harm. Seeing the introduction of the gloves, Lu Chen suddenly became excited. He didn't expect that the gloves also had skills, and also added attack and other attributes. This wave of enhancements could be described as external good. Afterwards, Lu Chen returned to the cruise ship. Gao Lu opened the door, and Lu Chen walked in. How's it going? Gao Lu asked quickly. Gao Lu was very concerned because they had worked hard all morning. If there was nothing, it would be in vain. Lu Chen raised his palms excitedly. Look! After saying that, Lu Chen raised his hand and pointed it at the sea. The surrounding air began to condense in the palm of his hand. The next moment, a huge air shock wave erupted. Boom! The shock wave directly hit the sea level, causing a huge wave more than 10 meters high. Seeing this scene, Gao Lu was stunned. This was simply a cannon. If this shot were to attack the enemy, the opponent would definitely die. Lu Chen also didn't expect that this wave of attacks would be so powerful. And he was stunned at the moment. Wow! The waves fell and were crowded on the deck. Fortunately, the two of them were in the cabin. Otherwise, they would have been soaked in the water. Ouch! At this time, Xiao He's cry came from the deck. And it seemed that it must have been affected. Lu Chen quickly ran to the deck and saw Ling Shuang standing in the cab helplessly looking at Xiao He, who was jumping around on the deck. At this time, Xiao He was biting the carp that had just fallen out of the waves. The waves had not fallen in vain and had brought dozens of carps and other fish to Lu Chen and the others. Lu Chen chuckled. It seems that this skill of frying fish is really good. Ha ha ha. Chapter 56 players go to the island and resurrect Lu Chen. The two collected the fish on the deck, then collected the eight sharks that had just been killed, and then headed towards the island. Locate the island and the cruise ship moves towards the island. At this moment, Lightning Shuang let out a cry. Lu Chen turned around and saw the shadow of an island in the distance. Is that an island? Am I dazzled? Lu Chen pointed to the distance and said. Gao Lu also saw the island. Yes, it's an island. Why didn't we notice it when we just came over? Maybe the island is drifting. Let's go over and take a look. With that said, Lu Chen changed the course and headed towards the newly discovered island at full speed. An hour later, the two of them discovered that the island was still far away, seemingly out of reach. It can't be a mirage! Lu Chen exclaimed. Mirages often appear on the sea to confuse sailors and make them lose their sense of direction. Therefore, 
Lu Chen also thought that the shadow of the untouchable island that appeared now was a mirage. Well, you're right. It really looks like a mirage. Let's go back and don't keep others waiting. There are still natives on the island. Naturally, the two of them are worried about leaving the natives alone on the island. Although there are more than a dozen natives, now players can actually gain abilities. Once some players gain powerful abilities, then kill them. It is very simple to kill a few natives. Thinking of this, Lu Chen controlled the cruise ship and headed towards his island at full speed. But Lu Chen still couldn't let go of the phantom of the island in the distance. The phantom had been following them, as if it wanted them to go up to the island. However, Lu Chen finally suppressed his curiosity and headed towards his island. Go! Soon they arrived at their own island through radar. Park the cruise ship in the small port they set up. Block the cruise ship. And then the group headed towards the camp. Lu Chen thought about his residence which has not been cleaned up yet. Therefore, for now, it is best to clean up his own place first and then move all the things to the camp. This is the safest, especially for people traveling in the area. A star-rated engine must not be thrown away. Everything in Lu Chen's residence remained as it was when he left. First, Lu Chen emptied out all the items in the house. The tomatoes grown last time in the house had grown. And now they finally had tomatoes to eat. Gao Lu dug out all the remaining seedlings protected them, and prepared to move them to other places for planting. Anyway, tomatoes can bear fruit repeatedly. According to the current game mechanism, the speed of fruiting is still very fast. After the things in the house were emptied, Lu Chen then demolished the walls, and finally moved the planetary engine out. After the engine was moved out, all the jets disappeared. Gao Lu asked in confusion, What is this of yours? Planetary engine. You don't know it now, but you will understand it later. Let's go! Afterwards, the group headed towards the camp. Just as he walked outside the camp, a pool of blood caught Lu Chen's attention. Wait a minute! There's something going on! Lu Chen stepped forward. He was sure that it was human blood. It seemed that something happened in the camp. Then Lu Chen rushed into the camp. Sure enough, there was no one in the camp, and things were scattered all over the ground. It seemed that there was no wild beast. It means that some players have come to the island. Damn it! Now the crowd is scattered, and I don't know where to find other people. Lu Chen looked at Xiao Hei beside him. Xiao Hei, it's your turn to show off your power now. Quickly take us to find the others. Naturally, it is most appropriate to leave the job of finding people to dogs. Xiao Hei sniffed it, then walked towards the door. The two of them immediately followed. Sure enough, Lu Chen found the invading player in an open space on the beach. The player held a shotgun in his hand. All the natives were sitting on the ground looking at the player in front of them fearfully. Lu Chen did not rush over in a hurry, but wanted to observe and see if he could recruit that player. After all, the more manpower the better. Tell me who of you is a player. Tell me. And you don't have to die. Hearing this, Lu Chen and Gao Lu both understood. It seemed that this player found that the islands could not be merged. So he came to look for the player. He wanted to kill the player and monopolize the entire island. Lu Chen! Look! There is no Lu Chen! Gao Lu said in surprise. Lu Chen looked at the natives. And sure enough, there was no figure of Lu Chen among them. Could it be that the blood stain just now belonged to Lu Chen? Too bad. Lu Chen seems to have been killed. Lu Chen said hurriedly. We can't wait any longer. Kill this guy immediately. Kill him? We don't know what's going on now. Are we going to do it now? Gao Lu also wanted to recruit more people. If Lu Chen really died, then they would have won less manpower and this player could just make up for it. Kill him. Don't talk nonsense. This will save Lu Chen. I will attract his attention and shoot him with your bow and arrow. Lu Chen said. He did not intend to go out and fight hard. The opponent had a shotgun, and fighting hard would only cost his life. After saying that, Lu Chen immediately changed his direction carefully and walked far away. Hey, don't touch them. I'm a player, and they are all natives here. Seeing that Lu Chen walked out directly, Gao Lu immediately prepared his bow and arrows and pointed them at the player when the bow and arrows were fully drawn. Oh, I didn't expect that you actually got such a big island. Okay, boy, how about surrendering to me and becoming my subordinate? The player spoke. Did you kill someone? On this island? Lu Chen ignored the player's words and asked about Lu Chen's situation. You said killing? Oh, yes, I killed a boy. The boy saw me and attacked me directly. I thought he was a player. 
so I killed him with a shotgun. Later I found out that he was not a player. You stop talking nonsense. Do you want to surrender to me? With that said, the player raised the shotgun. Luchin smiled and said, Submit to you? Of course there is no problem. But the premise is... Premise? The player asked in confusion. What premise? Whoosh. Boom. At this moment, the feather arrow pierced the player's body and shot into the beach, causing a violent explosion. And the moment the arrow pierced the player's body, Lu Chen immediately started the sacrifice. The red flames enveloped the player, and then the flames disappeared, and a floating soul appeared in front of Lu Chen. Lu Chen sneered. The premise is that you must die. Lu Chen turned to the other natives and said, Where is Lu Chen? After getting a long day and night, a native understood Lu Chen's words and immediately stood up and led Lu Chen away towards the distance. Lu Chen took his soul body with him and did not dare to relax for a moment. Now he must find Lu Chen's body. Otherwise it will take more than 24 hours. Lu Chen will not be able to be resurrected. Lu Chen's body was finally found in a bush. Lu Chen's eyes were wide-eyed. There was a huge sore on his body. And his death was very tragic. Lu Chen did not hesitate and directly injected his soul body into Lu Chen's body. With the infusion of soul, Lu Chen's body glowed with white light. And the light enveloped Lu Chen completely. Although the light was dazzling, Lu Chen could still see through the light that the energy of the soul body was repairing Lu Chen's body. And the wounds on Lu Chen's chest were also being repaired at a speed visible to the naked eye. Finally, the white light dissipated, and Lu Chen suddenly opened his eyes. Ouch! Go away! Lu Chen suddenly jumped up still grabbing the spear with both hands. When Lu Chen saw Lu Chen and everyone, he finally shouted excitedly, Ha! You're okay. Great. Great. I thought I was dead. But it turns out I'm not dead. Lu Chen cheered and saved Lu Chen. Lu Chen was extremely excited when he saw that Lu Chen was really resurrected. Etc. Lu Chen spoke in a complete sentence. What's going on? Chapter 57 Passive Skill Improvement and Entering the Two-Player Dungeon Lu Qin's sudden speech surprised both Lu Chun and Gao Lu. They clearly remembered that this guy couldn't speak a word clearly before. But now, he could speak complete sentences. Could it be that he had something to do with the soul? Is it about fusion? Lu Chin quickly asked. Lu Qin, why can you suddenly speak? Hearing this, Lu Qin also wondered. Yes, why can I speak so smoothly? Ha ha, I can speak. Ha ha, ha. that's not right. Didn't I just die? Could it be that you saved me? Master? You are so kind to me. Master, you are the true god. You can also resurrect people. Lu Chen. Why does Lu Chen still seem to be a talker? But it's great that Lu Chen can be resurrected. I didn't expect that this sacrifice skill can really resurrect people. But you still have to be careful and don't really die. Otherwise, there will be no one nearby. As for humans, they cannot be resurrected. Seeing Lu Chen's resurrection... All the natives gathered around. And they were all very happy. It seemed like there was going to be another bonfire party today. When lunchtime came, everyone returned to the camp. Luchin had people move the remaining sharks back. And after cleaning them up, they started barbecue again. The natives had brought back the backpack and shotgun that the player had after his death. After counting, it was found that this guy had a lot of things. The shotgun was left with Luchin so that they could have something to save their lives. At least it would not be like before. Die like that. After lunch, Lu Chen remembered the player's island just now. Now he just happened to go to the orchard to check out the situation. Lu Chen took Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang towards the orchard. Gao Lu stayed behind and was responsible for planting tomato seedlings. There was a piece of farmland in the camp that was reclaimed and now suitable for planting. The fruit trees in the orchard have started growing again and soon the second wave of fruit will be ripe and they will be able to store another wave of fruit. Then Lu Chen walked around the island. And finally, he saw the island left by the player. The island was not very far away. And it seemed to be several times larger than the original island. Lu Chen was curious about how this player made the island move. After the last storm, the wind seemed to have stopped again. There was no wind. Could it be that it was done manually? Or did this guy have this engine? Xiao Shen! Xiao Hei! You stay here! I will be back soon! Lu Che made a makeshift wooden boat and then paddled to the opposite island. Lu Chen could have swam directly over, but when he thought about having to take off his clothes, he decided to forget it. After all, the distance was not very far, so it was okay to go there this way. 
after logging into the island. Lu Qing got off the boat and walked towards the island. The island is not big, and there is a small forest on it. There are no useful resources in the forest. Lu Qing walked around the island and found nothing useful. It seems that the place has been searched. Hey, what is that? Lu Qing saw something from a distance. It was sparkling and had a metallic luster. Could it be some kind of metal resource? Now Lu Qing is very sensitive to metal resources. What the world lacks is that once metal resources are found, they must not be let go. Past. After walking over, Lu Qing discovered that it was actually a large engine two meters square, and there was a huge propeller on the beach in the distance. It seemed that the player used this to move the island. It seems that many people should have obtained this engine. Since this person can obtain the engine, others can naturally obtain it. From this point of view, there are many people who can move the island. We must be more careful in the future. Because the player was dead and the engine was ownerless. Lu Chen started the engine easily. The engine started and the island began to move. The direction the island moved was exactly the island where Lu Chen was. Beep. Islands can be merged. Merged or not. Merge. The order to merge began. And the two islands also began to merge. The small islands merged into Lu Chen's island. And Lu Chen's island grew again. Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang also came to Lu Chen's side. Because it had a planetary engine. Lu Chen took down this large engine. The engine cannot be disassembled and can still be used for other purposes. But the fan is of no use and is temporarily thrown on the beach. After putting away the engine, Lu Chen led the two little guys towards the camp. Although there are houses in the camp, it still needs a warehouse to store some things. And I happen to have the drawings of the warehouse. Make. Congratulations on building the warehouse. Wood board 300. Iron plate 50. Steel plate 20. Rope 50. Palm leaf 100. The warehouse was ready. The warehouse covered an area of 5 by 5 square meters and could store a lot of things. First, Lu Chen took out the large engine and threw it into the warehouse. Then he also threw some useless things in. After doing this, Lu Chen opened the trading channel to see if there was anything good he could buy today. Trading channel because Lu Chen purchased a large number of lanterns. Many players are now selling lanterns. And the prices are all the same. Lu Chen still had 5 sharks in his hand and all of them happened to be replaced with lanterns. Wow! God has taken action. Thank you so much for waiting for you for a long time. Master, what is the use of this lantern? Why did you buy so many to keep in stock? Master, take me with you. I'm willing to hang out with you. Can we form a team? Let's go to a two-player dungeon. Double dungeon? Is there a two-player mode in this dungeon? Lu Chen didn't notice that there was a two-player mode in this dungeon. If that was the case, he wouldn't mind getting another first kill. Taking out the always on light. Lu Chen opened it and saw that a new option appeared before entering the dungeon. Two player mode. Could it be that because he had cleared the single player mode? The two player mode option appeared? If so, wouldn't he be able to get the first kill again? Lu Chen decided that if he could enter the two player dungeon, he would win the first kill in the two player mode no matter what. At this time, Gao Lu came over. Lu Chen! I picked up a famous tag on the beach! See what it's used for. With that said, Gaolu took out a name tag. Famous brand? Lu Chen took the name tag over. And it contained the information of the previous player. Name, John Gao. Occupation, homeless. Number of characters killed, three. Skill, hunting creatures. Seeing the information about the name tag, Lu Chen already had this passive skill. And then Lu Chen handed the name tag to Gao Lu. A fusion of famous brands. Lu Chen's intention was to let Gao Lu fuse with the famous brand and then obtain hunting skills. This would increase the chance of survival when entering the dungeon. Ah? Uh, fusion? How to fuse? Gao Lu looked confused, not knowing what Lu Chen meant. It's the fusion button on your blue panel. After fusion, you will gain a skill for hunting creatures. Hearing this, Gao Lu nodded. Gao Lu operated as Lu Chen said, and then integrated the famous brands. Wow! That's amazing. I actually have level 2 hunting creature skills. Puff. What? Your hunting creature level is level 2? Luchin killed him. How is this possible? Is it possible that after having the same skills, he can improve his passive skills? That means Gao Lu originally had hunting skills. By the way, her fighting skills are very powerful. It seems that she is passive. Skills relationship. Damn. I should have thought of that. Luchin was a little annoyed. He then took out a name tag. 
It was the same name tag he picked up on a desert island last time. The skill was perception. Fusion. Congratulations on obtaining level 2 perception skills. Although Luchin didn't know how to use this perception skill yet, it was good to upgrade it to level 2. What's wrong with Lu Chen? Gao Lu looked at Lu Chen strangely. Lu Chen smiled mysteriously. How about we go to a dungeon together? What dungeon? Let's go together. How to get there? Just when Gao Lu was wondering, Lu Chen sent the news about team formation. Team formation? Is it possible to form a team in this game? Gao Lu was surprised like an idiot and then clicked to agree. Lu Chen picked up the always on light and opened the entrance to the two player dungeon. Follow me and we'll clear a dungeon. With that said, Lu Chen took Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang into the dungeon first. Gao Lu hesitated for a moment, then stepped into it. The entrance to the dungeon also disappeared. Chapter 58 Obtaining Neptune's Trident Fusion Weapon Ouch! The sound of a wolf howling sounded, making Gao Lu, who had just appeared in the dungeon, suddenly become nervous, coupled with the dark environment around him. It made people even more frightened. Lu Chen! Why are there still wolves here? Gao Lu asked worriedly. Lu Chen comforted him. Don't be afraid. Even if there are wolves, it will be fine. Just follow me. Immediately afterwards, Lu Chen was surprised to find that a constantly bright light appeared on Gao Lu's waist. He even did a test specifically. Sure enough, the lantern on Gao Lu's waist also illuminated the surrounding area 10 meters away. Scope. I don't have this. Why is it on me? Gao Lu looked at the lantern on his waist in surprise. Luchin said, You must protect your lantern well. This thing is the key to passing the level. Don't put it down. Otherwise something will happen. After all, this was Gao Lu's first time entering the dungeon. And she was still very unfamiliar with everything. Naturally, she didn't know what would happen next. She could only listen to Lu Chen's words. Regarding the appearance of another lantern, Lu Chen felt that it was probably a mechanical problem of the game. If one person turns it on, Everyone in the same team will have a lantern, which is very convenient. The two of them moved forward, and a wild wolf appeared in front of them. This time, the monster was no longer an ordinary mushroom spirit, but turned into a wild wolf. Lu Chen didn't waste any time and just fired a fireball. The fireball technique did not take away the wild wolf. The wild wolf rushed towards Lu Chen and Gao Lu like crazy. Whoosh! Boom! Gao Lu's feather arrow shot out, hitting the wild wolf's head directly. Wow! The wild wolf exploded some materials and several feather arrows. Congratulations on obtaining wolf hair asterisk 3, feather arrows asterisk 2, and wolf meat asterisk 3. It was still a good income, although not too much, but it was enough. Lu Qing gave the feather arrows to Gao Lu. Gao Lu's feather arrows had very strong attack power, so naturally he had to use these things. Two wild wolves appeared in front again. Gao Lu directly raised his bow and shot an arrow. One arrow shot out, and the two wild wolves were blown away at the same time. Wow! The attack of the bow and arrow was so high that the two wild wolves turned into materials and fell to the ground at the same time. Such a high attack. Or are these monsters too weak? Gao Lu said in surprise. Lu Chen felt that the attack of the bow and arrow was too high. This was an enchanted bow and arrow. If it were an ordinary bow and arrow, it would be impossible to launch such an attack. Congratulations on obtaining wolf hair asterisk 6, feather arrows asterisk 2, wolf meat asterisk 4, and black iron sword asterisk 1. This time a long sword actually dropped. Hesla's black iron long sword. Attack 150. Magic attack 20. Increase speed 15. Skills thrust. Instantly move to the enemy's side and inflict a painful blow to the enemy. Legend has it that this is a black iron sword made by Hesla the god of forging. It was left in the dungeon. The brave man should pick up the sword and save the princess. Is this just this thing, or was it made by some god? If you still have to save the princess with this attack power, you should wait for the princess to leave and save me. Lu Chen reluctantly put the long sword away and waited for it to be enchanted before using it again. Suddenly there were footsteps from ahead. Gao Lu hurriedly said, Lu Chen, something is coming. What is it? Lu Chen also had a confused look on his face. The last time he entered the dungeon, he didn't seem to see any moving monsters. Those monsters were all waiting to be chopped down. Hide now. Lu Chen didn't know what happened. So he'd better hide first and talk about it later. The two immediately hid in the grass nearby. Then footsteps approached in the distance. When they walked into the light range, 
Lu Chen and the others saw clearly that they were three monsters. The one walking in front was a human-shaped monster, holding a weapon similar to the trident of Neptune. The other two are two goblins carrying baskets. The moment the three monsters entered the light, they discovered Lu Chen and the others. Wow! The leading monster immediately roared. It seems that the player can be found as long as the monster enters the light. This setting is a bit disgusting. The two goblins immediately attacked Lu Chen and Gao Lu, throwing two stones at them. The two hurriedly dodged. And then, two more stones were thrown. It seemed that the goblin's speed of throwing stones had also been increased. But it did not pose any threat to the two. Whoosh! The moment Gao Lu dodges, he shoots out arrows quickly. He is indeed a level 2 hunter of creatures. This attack method is powerful. Lu Chen was also impressed. He was regretting why he didn't find out earlier that this skill could be improved. Boom! The arrow exploded, sending the two goblins flying. Wow! The two goblins turned into materials, but the humanoid monster holding the trident did not do anything. The next moment, the humanoid monster was seen charging towards the two of them with a trident. Whoosh! The trident in the humanoid monster's hand came out and flew towards Gao Lu. Gao Lu rolled on the ground to avoid the attack. At the same time, when he was about to knock the bow, an arrow in his hand. A wild wolf rushed over from behind. Careful! Lu Chen fired a fireball and knocked back the wild wolf. The humanoid monster also got the trident and attacked Gao Lu again. It seemed that Gao Lu had attracted hatred. Otherwise, the monster would not have chased Gao Lu alone. Lu Chen killed the wild wolf with another fireball. And then, the hand axe in Lu Chen's hand came out. Uh huh. Puff. The hand axe hits the humanoid monster killing it instantly. It seems that if the attack is high, the hand axe is more powerful. Wow! The humanoid monster turned into materials, including the trident. Lu Chen stepped forward. Congratulations on getting Neptune's trident asterisk one. Polishing stone asterisk one. Instant noodles asterisk one. Mineral water asterisk one. In the dungeon, players don't have to worry about hunger. I don't know why the last time I came here, Lu Chen discovered that fighting here does not consume chicken legs. I don't know if it is because of the game mechanism. But this is the best after all. Because dungeon combat is the most physically demanding. Galugia let out a sigh of relief. I didn't expect this dungeon to be really dangerous. It was really scary just now. How could there be a wolf behind it? Lu Chen smiled and said, Be careful in everything in the dungeon. Let me protect you with this long sword. I think you can't just rely on bows and arrows. With that said, Lu Chen handed the long sword to Gao Lu. Gao Lu also felt that she needed a close quarters weapon to prevent emergencies, such as the humanoid monster just now. Lu Chen picked up Neptune's trident and looked at it. The name of this thing was so similar to his own title. So naturally he wanted to keep it. Maybe one day, he would be able to collect a Neptune suit. Neptune's trident only. Attack, 260. Magic attack, 360. Increased magic, 200. Skill, Neptune's Raid launches a series of attacks on the enemy, making the enemy fly into the sky, and the effect in the sea is doubled. Legend has it that this is a treasure that fell into the deep sea and is a symbol of the king of the sea. With it, you can become the real king of the sea. Looking at the numerical value of the Neptune Trident, Lu Chen couldn't help but exclaim, the magic attack of this thing is really high. In this case, I am afraid it can kill the wild wolf instantly with a fireball. Unfortunately, this weapon does not have the fireball skill. Beep. Fusionable weapons found. Do you want to fuse them? Fusion weapon? Could it be that you are talking about the staff in your hand? Fusion. Lu Chen finally chose fusion without hesitation. Uh-huh. The staff in Lu Chen's left hand was directly integrated into the trident of the Sea King. Then, Lu Chen was surprised to find that there was a small fireball skill on the Neptune trident. Wow. This all works. Chapter 59 Two-Person Dungeon full of dangers. Neptune's trident only. Attack, 260. Magic attack, 360. Increased magic, 200. Skill, two-fifths Neptune's raid, launch a series of attacks on the enemy, making the enemy fly into the sky. And the effect in the sea is doubled. Small fireball LV2, launch a fireball to attack the enemy, causing 100 points of damage to the enemy and consuming 10 mana. Legend has it that this is a treasure that fell into the deep sea and is a symbol of the king of the sea. With it, you can become the real king of the sea. The fusion of weapons perfectly inherits the skills of the previous weapon. 
so future weapons should still be able to be fused. However, Lu Chen noticed that a 2 out of 5 mark appeared behind the skills. This means that a weapons can only be integrated with 5 skills. So the choice of skills needs to be carefully considered. Quack! Lightning Xuan on the side suddenly made an excited voice. He had just been focusing on the battle without paying attention to Lightning Xuan and Xiao Hei. Now Lu Chen noticed that after the battle just now, Lightning Xuan and Xiao Hei had miraculously upgraded. Because Lu Chen had previously told the two little guys that they were not allowed to take action. The two little guys were also very obedient and just followed closely. Opening the pet interface, Lu Chen saw the information about the two little guys. Hellhound, green, delicate baby, level 3, personality, hot-blooded, strength, 56, intelligence, 25, spirit, 30, loyalty, 85, reliable, general, close, reliable, loyal, intimacy, 100 full, hunger, 100, skills, bite, tear, introduction, a carnivorous pet, a vicious dog from H, L, it is extremely ferocious, don't be bitten by it, one bite will make you doubt your life, lightning cool, orange, myth mature, level 3, personality, gentle, strength, 366, intelligence, 255, spirit, 77, loyalty, 95, reliable, intimacy, 100 full, hunger, 100, skills, lightning crash, lightning rush, introduce, both little guys have been upgraded by two levels, and their attributes have also been significantly improved, it may be because lightning Shuang is a mythical pet, so this attribute has increased much more than Xiao Hei, seeing this scene, Lu Chen was also very satisfied, he didn't expect that the two little guys could increase their level by fighting monsters. If you put it this way, as long as you come to the dungeon frequently, the two little guys will definitely be able to reach the full level. He! Thinking of this, Lu Chen couldn't help laughing. Lu Chen? What's wrong with you? Gao Lu, who was resting on the side, was very surprised when he saw Lu Chen's state. In this eerie and terrifying environment, Lu Chen suddenly laughed out loud. How could it not make people feel scary? Ah! Uh, it's nothing! It's nothing! I just think that a team like ours can definitely get the first kill again and get the universal seed. Okay, let's continue. With that said, Lu Chen greeted Gao Lu, and the two continued to set off. Lu Chen continued to instruct the two little guys not to do anything, because the level of the two little guys was still too low, and they did not know the level of the opponent's monster. Therefore, it is best to be cautious. Hey, Lu Chen! Look, there is a treasure box in front of you. Gao Lu found a bronze treasure box under the tree in front of him and immediately ran over happily. Generally speaking, treasure chests contain a lot of treasures. But the moment Lu Chen saw the treasure chest, he already felt the danger in it. Don't open it. Lu Chen hurriedly spoke. But it was too late. Gao Lu stepped forward and opened the treasure chest. And the moment Gao Lu opened the treasure chest, a goblin holding a sword jumped out of the treasure chest. The goblin's skin was purple red. His eyes were scarlet. And he looked very untouchable. The goblin stabbed him with a sword. Fortunately, Gao Lu's creature hunting skill had been upgraded to level 2. And his reaction speed was acceptable. Although not as fast as Lu Chen. It was still enough to dodge the goblin's attack. When? The moment Gao Lu dodged. He blocked the goblin's sword with a long sword in his hand. And then he sent out a thrust. Boom! The stabbing attack was so fierce that the goblin flew away with a blast of the sword and fell heavily to the ground. Whoosh! Then, while distancing himself from the goblin, Gao Lu shot out an arrow, turning the goblin into materials all over the ground. This time, Lu Chen did not take action and gave the materials to Gao Lu. After all, this was a monster that Gao Lu had killed. It was not appropriate for Lu Chen to use the dungeon of the two of them alone. Gao Lu took a long breath and said, Why is there a trap in this damn treasure box? It scares me, Lu Chen said. Although it is dangerous, your skills are pretty good. You can dodge the attacks. I really admire you, Gao Lu smiled and said. Don't tell me. Even I didn't expect that I could be so powerful. It seemed like it was all a subconscious move just now. Lu Chen nodded and said. Well, this is the effect of the passive skill. Your skill has been upgraded to level 2. You are lucky. Be careful next and don't walk around casually. There are still many traps in the dungeon. Well, I understand. After listening to Lu Chen's instructions, 
Dao Lu nodded. She also understood that the dungeon was not her own island. She could do whatever she wanted, so she still had to be careful at all times. The two continued to walk forward. Two wild wolves suddenly sprang out from both sides in front of them. The attack this time was very sudden. But fortunately, Lu Chen and Gao Lu reacted quickly. And they easily eliminated the wild wolves. Lu Chen didn't expect that the attack methods of the monsters in this two-person dungeon were different from those of a single person. Now there was a sudden attack method, which was really hard to guard against. Now they had to be careful of the grass around them when walking. A bronze treasure chest appeared in front again. After learning the lesson from the last time, Gao Lu did not dare to go forward and open it directly. Lu Chen, on the other hand, smiled faintly and stepped forward directly to the treasure box. Lu Chen, be careful. Gao Lu stood in the distance, reminding him, and at the same time prepared his bow and arrow. And when Lu Chen opened the treasure chest, he discovered that there was no monster inside but a pile of materials. Congratulations on getting food seeds asterisk 20. 20 seeds were obtained. Although it is not a lot, the harvest is already very good. After the grain seeds are planted, grain will grow. When the time comes, there will be more food. Lu Chen put it away with satisfaction. Lu Chen, do you know there are no monsters inside? Seeing Lu Chen open the treasure box with great determination, Gao Lu knew that Lu Chen must have guessed it a long time ago. But why could Lucha know it? Ha ha. I have a passive skill called perception. Maybe that's why I can know about this treasure chest. Yes, the passive skill must have had an effect. Otherwise, how would he know? It seems that passive skills are very important in this game. So improving passive skills is also a very important thing. But how to improve it? Is it difficult to kill people all the time? Luchin felt that there must be other ways to improve passive skills. But there was no way to know yet. They could only get more useful information as time goes by. The two packed their bags and moved on. Whoosh! Suddenly there was the sound of breaking wind. Seeing the rocks being thrown towards the two of them, the two immediately defended themselves and smashed the rocks into pieces. It's a goblin! Be careful! Luchin reminded him loudly. Seeing that the stone appeared in the direction ahead, the two quickened their pace, while also being careful to prevent being attacked by the stone. Finally, the two of them advanced five meters, and found two goblins carrying baskets. Unexpectedly, these two guys were hiding 15 meters away. It seemed that the two-person dungeon increased the monster's attack range. Fireball. Call. Boom. The fireball spell penetrated the soul, and killed the goblin directly. On the other side, Galu also killed the other one with one arrow. At this time, Lu Chen saw the two baskets falling on the ground. And Lu Chen actually laughed happily. Hey! It's time for something fun! Chapter 60. Kill the Towerin and Obtain the Moonlight Longbow. Fun? What's fun? Gao Lu naturally didn't know what use this basket could be used for. But Lu Chen knew it very well. Lu Chen picked up the things on the ground. And then handed a basket to Gao Lu. After seeing the introduction of the basket, Gao Lu smiled and said, I see. This is really fun. As the two said, the buff of the basket has been applied. Their forms have not changed. But in the eyes of the monster, the two are already their companions. Lightning Xuan and Xiao Hei behind him also followed, receiving the influence of buff, and they both became companions of the monster. The next battle was very simple. The two used the 10 minute buff time to rush and attack all the way, killing the monsters on the road. When the two came to an open space, an open space appeared in front of them. There was a golden treasure box on the top. The level of this box was raised by two levels. Of course, both Lu Chen and Gao Lu were very happy. But just when they were about to go over, the ground suddenly trembled, and they stopped immediately, following his footsteps. Cracks appeared on the ground. The cracks continued to spread throughout the open space, and finally formed a strange pattern. In the middle of the group was a bull's head holding a meteor hammer. Is it already the hungry boss? Lu Chen was surprised, but looking at the distance of the clearing, it seemed that there was still a road. Could it be the mini-boss? Just as he was thinking about it, the lines on the ground lit up with a dazzling light, making it impossible to open one's eyes. Let death and screams resound through the sky. A low voice sounded in their ears. The voice was full of horror and very depressing. The light dissipated, and a minotaur holding a meteor hammer appeared in their sight. This tower is very strong, with strong muscles, and a figure that is as tall as two people, coupled with a huge meteor hammer in his hand that can smash people into pieces. It really makes people feel dangerous. Is this guy Luchin the boss? 
Gao Lu asked in surprise. The bow and arrow in his hand ready. Probably. In fact, Lu Chen wasn't sure. This boss looked very powerful. But I'm afraid it couldn't withstand his own blow. If this was the boss, what would happen next? Roar! Nyoto spotted Lu Chen and Gao Lu. Then roared and rushed towards them waving the huge meteor hammer in his hand. Whoosh! Boom! Gao Lu directly hit the cow's head with a bow and arrow. And a violent explosion occurred. The cow's head was knocked back two steps by the arrow. What is surprising is that the arrow did not penetrate the cow's head. But penetrated the cow's head. On his arm. Roar! The bullhead roared again. Pulled out the feather arrow stuck in his body. And threw it on the ground. Immediately afterwards. Nyoto rushed towards Gao Lu quickly. Nyo too was tall and stepped on the ground with his big feet. Causing the ground to dent. Before Nyo too could reach Gao Lu. He hit it with a hammer. Boom! The huge meteor hammer hit the ground. Cracking the ground. The huge cracks extended towards Gao Lu. Gao Lu immediately dodged to one side. And at the same time he raised his bow and shot an arrow. Shooting out an arrow. Whoosh! Boom! The feather arrow hit the bull's head again and exploded. But it still didn't cause much damage to the bull's head. Just when Yoda was about to attack. Lu Chen, who was standing behind him, took action. A fireball quickly formed in front of the trident. And a fireball shot was fired directly. Boom! The fireball exploded. And the flames enveloped the cow's head. Ouch! The cow head roared. It seemed that physical attacks could not harm him. But magic damage could still hurt him. It seemed that because Lu Chen's attack power was too high. Nyoto's target changed. From Gao Lu to Lu Chen. Nyoto burst out of the fire and rushed towards Lu Chen. The huge meteor hammer hit the ground. Boom! The ground cracked. And cracks came towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen quickly dodged with the two little guys. Just as Lu Chen was dodging. Nyoto had already rushed over. Whoosh! Boom! Gao Lu shot another arrow from a distance. This time Gao Lu aimed at Nyoto's right foot. Since this guy is a short-range attack, make him unable to move. As long as he cannot move, short-range attacks will have no effect. This arrow actually penetrated the sole of the bull demon's foot. It seemed that the sole of the bull demon's foot was not very strong. In this case, Gao Lu was not polite and shot another arrow immediately. Whoosh! Boom! This time, the feather arrow hit Nyo Tu's left foot, completely rendering Nyo Tu unable to move. The bullhead fell to the ground, roared, and began to pull out the arrows on the soles of his feet. But Lu Chen didn't give him a chance at all, and directly launched a Seat King's surprise attack. This blow was so sharp that it flew the bull's head directly into the air. Immediately afterwards, the Seat King trident in Lu Chen's hand stabbed out continuously. With three consecutive stabs in the air, the bull's head floated in the air, without any attack. However, the bull's head did not appear to be seriously injured at all. Lu Chen switched to the hand axe without any nonsense took out the hand axe from his back, and struck the bull's head with an axe. Puff! The bull's head spurted out blood. The next moment, the entire body of the bull's head emitted a dazzling white light. Wow! The bull's head turned directly into a pile of shining golden material, and scattered on the ground. Phew! It's finally solved! In the end, he had to rely on Lu Chen's epic hand axe to kill him. Otherwise, he would have to hit him many times with ordinary weapons. Quack! Ouch! Lightning Shuang and Xiao Hei beside them both screamed happily. Lu Chen was surprised to find that both Lightning Shuang and Xiao Hei had been upgraded to level 10. This upgrade speed was like a rocket. No wonder they were so happy. Lu Chen stepped forward and saw a bow and arrows scattered on the ground. Lu Chen immediately picked up everything. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 30. Iron plate asterisk 15. Iron ore asterisk 20. Obsidian asterisk 30. Dragon Tendon Asterisk 20 Aquamarine Asterisk 10 Moonlight Longbow Asterisk 1 What Lu Chen didn't expect was that this time he actually got two new materials. Dragon Tendon and Obsidian. These were the materials needed to upgrade the equipment before. I didn't expect to get them here. It's really great. But the best thing is the Moonlight Longbow. This is the treasure this time. Moonlight Longbow. Attacks, 316. Speed, plus 20. Agility, plus 20. Life, plus 100. Skill, Shadow Fury. Launch a black light ball covering a 20 by 20 range in front. Slowing down the enemy and causing 160 points of damage to the enemy. The blessing from the Moonlight Goddess allows you to still have keen insight in the dark.
Chapter 61 Gao Lu's Sexy Moves and Weird Sounds The attack of the Moonlight Longbow is very good. And it also has the skill of slowing down. Which is the best for those who use bows and arrows. Gao Lu's bow and arrow shooting is very accurate. Lu Chen directly gave the bow and arrow to Gao Lu. Merge the bow and arrow in your hand with this bow and arrow. So that the bow and arrow can inherit the skills you have. Hearing this, Gao Lu said excitedly. Is it true? That's great. I'll try it now. Later, Gao Lu tried it. And sure enough, the two bows and arrows were combined. The Moonlight Longbow inherited the skills and enhanced attributes of the bow and arrow. Not only that, the Moonlight Longbow also became a green, exquisite level weapon with attack and various attribute bonuses. Significant improvement. While Gao Lu was merging, Lu Chen stepped forward and opened the golden treasure chest. This thing must not be forgotten. This thing is a thing. Who knows if there will be other treasures inside. I opened the gold treasure chest. There were two name tags and an exquisite small box inside. But nothing else. Lu Chen couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. There were too few of these things. Not even weapons or anything like that. It was too rubbish. Picking up the name tag, Lu Chen took a closer look. There was no so-called information on it. Only an introduction to passive skills. Fishing, if you want to fish casually, then try it. Having this skill will make your fishing full of fun. Making food, do you want the food you make to be more delicious? Trust me, with this skill you will be a star chef. Both skills are owned by Lu Chen. And they are not combat skills. Lu Chen doesn't really want them. He now really wants to have the skills to hunt creatures. So that his combat skills and survival chances can be greatly improved. The other one was a small box. After opening it, Lu Chen was shocked. That's a total of 20 universal seeds. Good guy. I got another universal seed this time. This is a rhythm that I can't bear. Now their life has become more interesting. Lu Chen seems to have seen it. The whole banquet was waiting to him. Lu Chen then gave the nameplate to Gao Lu, who now also has two life-related skills. After holding the new longbow, Gao Lu seemed to become more confident. And she also felt that she was not as scared as she was when she first entered the dungeon. Lu Chen! Shall we continue moving forward? Gao Lu's words reminded Lu Chen. Because after they just killed this boss, they didn't get the prompt to leave. So it seems that there should be another boss ahead. But this is a good thing. This bullheaded attack the power is already very powerful. Without Lu Chen's epic hand axe. I don't know how long it will take to kill the bullhead. So it is conceivable that the next boss is also very powerful. So other players should not be like this. By simply completing the dungeon, they should have a chance to get the first kill of the two-player dungeon. Let's keep walking. Lu Chen led the way towards the path ahead. Lighting Shuang and Xiao Hei beside him were still following closely. Unwilling to fall behind at all, Gao Lu was even more happy after she had a new weapon. And the bow and arrow gave her the bonus. Well, now Gao Lu is walking almost as fast as flying. Seeing Gao Lu's awkward little footwork, Lu Chen said helplessly, Be careful. There will be monsters. As soon as he finished speaking, a spider web fell from the sky and struck Gao Lu. Swish. 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 Gao Lu didn't talk nonsense. And with the blessing of skills, he cut the spider web into pieces with three strokes of the long sword in his hand. Immediately afterwards, the white, human sized spider actually jumped down from the tree and jumped right in front of Gao Lu. Gao Lu quickly backed away. And then two more wild wolves rushed out. This time it was embarrassing. Attack from the front and back. Gao Lu could no longer bluster. However, the next moment Gao Lu's operation made Lu Chen say he was awesome. Faced with a double attack. Ordinary people would call for teammates to come to support. But Gao Lu didn't panic at all. She just rolled around and appeared directly behind the two wild wolves. She stabbed and attacked with her long sword. But the two wild wolves did not respond. When they came over, they were all hit by a sword. At the same time, Gao Lu kicked the wild wolf away with a flying kick. Followed by taking a bow and shooting an arrow. Whoosh! Boom! The bows and arrows exploded. And the two wild wolves received the lunch boxes on the spot. And the web of the spider's next blow also came over. But at this moment, Gao Lu's second arrow was ready. Whoosh! The feather arrow penetrated the spider web and directly blew the spider away. Immediately afterwards, Gao Lu's thrust appeared again. Uh huh. The spider was instantly killed. Lu Chen's scalp was numb after this wave of operations. This was so kind and pleasing to the eye. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have believed it. Awesome. Awesome. Your operation is simply invincible. 
Lu Chen quickly applauded Gao Lu. This operation was not too impressive. Gao Lu let out a long breath, and her face was full of disbelief. She even felt that she was not the one fighting just now. How could she have such powerful operations? She was just a weak woman. Stop laughing at me. I didn't even think that I would kill them. It really scared me to death just now, Gao Lu said, patting his chest. Lu Chen smiled and said, It seems that your fighting skills are getting better and better, so I'll have to rely on you next. Just as he was talking, suddenly arrows were shooting towards Gao Lu from a distance. When? Gao Lu quickly swung his sword to deflect the arrows. Gao Lu was surprised. What happened? Who was it just now? Lu Chen said with a solemn expression. Be careful. He should be nearby. The two of them did not dare to stop and immediately rushed forward. If there is an archer in front, it means that the opponent's field of vision is very wide. Take the stone-throwing goblin as an example. That guy's shooting range is 15 meters. So the current archer's shooting range is very likely to be 15 meters. Or even more than 15 meters away. However, what is surprising is that after they rushed 15 meters away, they did not find the archer, but found three wild wolves. The two of them didn't care so much. They went up to kill the three wild wolves, picked up the things, and immediately headed forward. Whoosh! Another arrow came. This time the target was Lu Chen. When? The journey directly blocked the feather arrows. It seems that the archer did not stay still. He should be shooting while moving. If that was the case, it would not be fun. The two of them rushed forward quickly, killing all the monsters along the way, and even killed a treasure box monster. The monster turned out to be a treasure box, and it rushed towards the two of them with its big mouth open. Lu Chen didn't care so much. He just wiped them out with one axe. Congratulations on getting the treasure chest transformation card asterisk one. Treasure chest transformation card. It can transform a person into a treasure chest in a short period of time without being discovered by any ability. The number of uses is one. This is a fun thing. If a player is found, it will be turned into a treasure chest. Wait for him to come over and destroy him with an axe. This is a sneak attack artifact. Whoosh. Just as he was thinking about it, an arrow was shot here. Lu Chen was completely angry. This guy was hiding in the dark and constantly shooting cold arrows. He was simply despicable. Lu Chen and Gao Lu couldn't care less and rushed forward. The two finally came to a quiet courtyard. Why is there a garden here? Gao Lu asked in surprise. Looking at the quiet environment. I really can't help but go and stay there. Hee hee hee. Are you here to play with me? In an empty environment. A very strange sound suddenly sounded. Making people wary. Chapter 62. Kill the two-player dungeon for the first time and obtain the molding tool. Be careful. Something's not right around here. Luchin reminded him. At this time, a light curtain about a hundred feet high suddenly appeared behind the two of them, blocking the retreat behind them. Seeing that there was no way out, the two became even more vigilant. At this time, a big boss would definitely appear. Luchin remembered that the bull demon appeared earlier and the ground cracked. When he was in the single-player dungeon, the duoya appeared and the ground cracked. It seems that these bosses like to come out of the ground. Who knows about this boss? Will it also come out of the ground? At this moment, in the courtyard ahead, the door opened and a figure walked out. Lu Chen was speechless. The way the boss appeared this time was a bit too casual, seeing that the figure was petite and exquisite. When I got closer, I saw that it turned out to be a humanoid monster with a cat face. Are you the ones who disturbed Xiaomi's nap? Damn it! The cat-faced monster said with a smile, and suddenly took out a bow and arrow. Two feather arrows were matched with the bow, and shot quickly toward the two of them. Whizzing! With one arrow and two arrows. The two feathered arrows were shot at two people respectively. Dang dang. The two of them blocked the arrows without any nonsense. Only then did Lu Chen realize that the previous few arrows were actually shot by this guy. Could this guy really be able to shoot arrows while sleeping? No. This bow and arrow should have the ability to automatically track. The two arrows just now clearly have the tracking function. It seems that this boss is not simple and they must deal with it carefully. But for Lu Chen, even the boss was the same. He couldn't withstand the attack of his axe. As long as he hit him, he would die. However, at this moment, Gao Lu, who showed off his cool skills, was now ready to show off again. Thrust! Gao Lu rushed to the monster's side in an instant, thrust out the sword suddenly, and launched the thrusting skill, seeing that the skill was about to succeed. However, the next moment, Aaron collapsed. 
Uh huh. A pair of golden cicada like wings suddenly grew from behind the cat faced monster. Its figure suddenly accelerated, and it retreated to avoid Gao Lu's attack. Then, the monster shot a bow and arrow directly towards Gao Lu left. And this time the speed and power of the bow and arrow shot were actually improved. Gao Lu quickly dodged and at the same time used his sword to block. When, although he blocked the arrow, Gao Lu was also knocked back by this blow. Wow! This guy's attack power is so strong! Gao Lu said in surprise. Lu Chen understood. It seemed that if this guy's feather arrows did not split, the attack speed and power would be improved. It seemed that only two people fighting at the same time would the monster use split arrows. Only in this way would it be okay. You are really annoying little mice. Xiaomi is very angry. The cat-faced monster said something again. This guy's words were quite frequent and quite annoying. None of the previous monsters were as annoying as him. At this time, Gao Lu also shot an arrow with his bow. And shot an arrow directly. Whoosh. Boom. Although Gao Lu also used a bow and arrow. The arrow did not hit the monster. But was dodged by her waving her wings. The speed of her movements was so fast that it made her head hurt. When Lu Chen saw this, he felt that fighting like this was not a problem. Although he had high attack power, the guy moved very fast and couldn't catch him. No matter how strong your attack was, your opponent would always be able to dodge it. No matter how strong the attack was, it's no use either. Suddenly, Lu Chen had a plan in mind. Gao Lu! Shadow shot! Hearing this, Gao Lu immediately understood. He set up his bow and arrow and shot an arrow into the sky. The shadow shot turned the arrow into black. The black arrow suddenly split in the air and turned into six black arrows. On the ground, black arrows connected instantly, turning the entire land into black. Like a swamp, the cat-faced monster also sensed something was wrong and wanted to dodge. But no matter how it flapped its wings behind it, it couldn't move as before. Luchin found the right moment and when the shadow shot was fired, he also rushed out with Neptune's trident. Seeing Lu Chen rushing over, the cat-faced monster was shocked. Hey ha, don't get close to Xiaomi! The cat-faced monster yelled again, and its thick cicada wings suddenly turned into dozens of feather arrows and fired fiercely at Lu Chen. Lu Chen didn't expect that this guy had this trick, and it was hidden deep enough. But Lu Chen wasn't afraid at all. Mega impact! This is the skill on Lu Chen's gloves, which can condense the surrounding elements to launch a huge shock wave. The surrounding air condensed instantly, and a huge shock wave suddenly emitted. The shock wave was like a huge shark colliding with those golden arrows. Boom! There was an explosion sound, and Lu Chen's figure was suddenly enveloped in golden light. Gao Lu immediately looked over worriedly. The next moment, Lu Chen rushed out of the golden light. Aquaman's raid! When the trident skill was activated, Lu Chen's figure suddenly accelerated halfway and rushed to the side of the cat-faced monster. He knocked it away with one blow, and then followed it up with three consecutive stabs in the air. But this move did not it cause damage to the cat-faced monster. But Lu Chen was not planning to attack with a trident at all. His purpose was a hand axe. Switching between hand axes becomes more comfortable. With one move, the flying axe was thrown directly towards the cat-faced monster. Puff! Ah! How could Xiaomi die? Xiaomi will not die! Wow! The monster directly turned into materials and fell to the ground. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen finally let out a sigh of relief. Finally solved. Gao Lu was also relieved. She thought it would take them a long time to fight this monster. So Lu Chen's weapon had high attack power and killed it instantly. Then a blue screen appeared in front of the two of them. World announcement. Congratulations to Zhang Lu Qin and Gao Lu for completing their first kill in a two-player dungeon. The world announcement appeared again. And sure enough, they completed their first kill which was what Lu Chen had been waiting for. At this time, in another two-player dungeon, the cat-faced monster was finally defeated. However, they did not get the first kill, and the difference was less than 10 seconds. Damn it! I was robbed! A woman in leather clothing holding a bow and arrow said angrily. Another man holding a giant axe had a gloomy expression. He looked at the notice in front of him and was furious. Damn it! It's this guy again! What a disgusting guy! When I find him, I will cut him into pieces. Lu Chen stepped forward and put away the items. Congratulations on getting wooden board asterisk 200, iron plate asterisk 100, steel plate asterisk 100, glass asterisk 100, rope asterisk 200, palm leaf asterisk 200, plastic asterisk 200, 
mineral water asterisk 60 instant noodles asterisk 60 bread asterisk 60 meat stick asterisk 60 pet cat asterisk 1 drawing excellent armor mold asterisk 1 drawing refined cloth armor mold asterisk 1 drawing excellent leather armor mold asterisk 1 pet food asterisk 100 first kill gift pack asterisk 1 there were really a lot of things obtained this time Luchin was very puzzled as to what the mold of this drawing was. But this pet egg is really good. And now it can be revealed to Gao. Next, Luchin gave half of the materials to Gao Lu. Including the pet. Seeing the pet, Gao Lu finally smiled. She had wanted a pet for a long time. Seeing that Luchin had two little followers. She didn't say anything. But she was very envious. Drawings. Sophisticated armor molds can mold existing equipment into armor attributes. Tip. The armor has high defense, but moves slowly. So think twice about whether to mold it. Chapter 63. Punish the hidden boss and obtain the skill book. Seeing the drawings of the model, Luchin was so surprised that he was speechless. This thing is simply an artifact. It can directly turn the current equipment into armor attributes. Wouldn't it mean that the attributes are about to explode? But things like armor it will slow down your speed. So whether to choose armor. Leather armor or cloth armor is a question. Luchin wasn't in a hurry now. After all, there was only one scroll. And it might be too early to build a full-body one. Gao Lu on the side already loves the pet ball in his hand, and can't put it down. He can't wait to hatch the pet immediately. Okay, don't be happy. Let's go into the house and take a look. Luchin had just discovered that the room seemed to be accessible. Logically speaking, since the first boss had a golden treasure box, this boss should also have a treasure box. So since the treasure box was not in the yard, it must be in the house. Inside, hearing this, Gao Lu followed Lu Chen into the room. In the room, there were tables, chairs, benches, and various famous calligraphy and paintings. The various furnishings were displayed in an orderly manner. There was also a light fragrance in the house. It seemed that this monster still enjoyed it very much. Lu Chen stepped forward and wanted to pick off a calligraphy and painting but the calligraphy and painting could not be moved at all. It seemed that it was a system setting that these things could not be picked up. In this case, they only needed to look for the treasure box. Finally, Lu Chen found the monster's golden treasure box under the bed. There was a pair of bells hanging on the treasure box, which was very unique. Lu Chen hoped that there would be a passive skill here, but not a life skill. Jingle bell. The bell sounded clear and sweet, but the next moment, the surrounding light tracer turned red. Then the siren sounded. Beep. Trigger the hidden boss. Be careful. Indra is coming. You killed his cat friend. He is very angry now. Why is there a hidden boss in this thing? This plot is wrong. Isn't it? How could this happen? Damn it. Your grandma. Is the prerequisite for punishment is to touch this treasure chest? If I had known better, I wouldn't have come here. Luchin looked around and suddenly had a bad feeling. Quick. Get out! As soon as they finished speaking, the ground suddenly trembled, and golden cracks filled the entire room. The two of them immediately ran out with their pets. As soon as the two left the room, the entire house collapsed instantly. It's a good thing you ran fast. Otherwise you would have died. Gao Lu was thankful. Damn predators. You actually killed my good friend. I want you to pay for it with blood. A rough voice wandered through the entire forest. And then I saw a crack on the ground and a big black hand covered with white patterns reached out and pressed it on the ground. As the big hand slapped, the ground began to tremble, looking at the arm that was as big as a person. Lu Chen and Gao Lu couldn't help but swallow. What kind of monster is this? How can it be so big? Gao Lu exclaimed. Then another big hand reached out, and then half of the monster's body came out, and the golden treasure box was swallowed directly into his belly. Lu Chen was speechless. Only then did the two of them see clearly that the monster actually had a human face. But it was a bit ferocious in appearance. There were also strange white lines on its black bald head. They didn't know what they were. Soon the monster emerged from the ground and stood in front of the two of them. With white lines covering its body. Damn! This guy is so tall! Looking at the huge 5 meter tall monster in front of them. The two couldn't help but exclaimed. The next moment. The monster rushed towards the two of them and slapped them fiercely. Lu Chen liked this kind of close-range monster the most. Hand axes were the best way to attack. The two of them quickly retreated towards both sides. The moment they landed, Lu Chen rushed out and slashed at the monster with an axe. 
past? It's over. Just die. Lu Chen was full of expectations. This axe would definitely kill the monster completely. However, just when his hand axe was about to hit the monster, the white lines on the monster's body suddenly lit up, and a burst of energy suddenly pushed Lu Chen back. Boom! Lu Chen hit the big tree behind him and felt a pain in his back. Good guy! Do you actually still have body protecting chi? What an unfair guy! It's not going to be easy this time! Whoosh! Boom! At the moment when the monster attacked Lu Chen, Gao Lu shot out an arrow, hitting the monster's head directly, and a huge explosion broke out on the head. Roar! The monster roared, and after the explosion, it turned out to be fine. It seemed that the bow and arrow attack did not cause much damage to it, but it was full of hatred. The monster threw off its sleeves and rushed towards Gao Lu, punching him hard one by one. Boom! A big hole was made in the ground. But fortunately Gao Lu was agile enough to dodge the attack. Otherwise this punch would have been fatal. Lu Chen! Let's leave quickly! This guy is not easy to mess with! He can't get close, and he can't be beaten to death! Gao Lu shouted loudly in the distance. Lu Chen actually wanted to leave. But it seemed that he couldn't leave at this time. It seemed that he was locked by the system. Now he had to either die in battle, or kill the monster. There was no other way. After Gao Lu knew about it, he suddenly became desperate. He didn't expect that they had just obtained good things and now they were going to die. At this moment, Lu Chen fired a fireball directly. Boom! The fire exploded and swallowed the monster. Ouch! The monster suddenly let out a painful roar. Lu Chen saw one in front of him. It seemed that this monster was not afraid of physical attacks, but was afraid of magical attacks. If that was the case, it would be easy to handle. Lu Chen shouted loudly. Gao Lu! I have an idea! Come here! Hearing this, Gao Lu quickly came to Lu Chen's side. Any idea? Shadow shot! Lu Chen spoke, but Gao Lu looked confused. What? Shadow shot can only slow it down and has no effect on it. Gao Lu didn't understand why Lu Chen used shadow shooting. It was useless. Now it seemed that only fire attacks were useful. Listen to me! Hurry up! The flames in front of him faded away, and the monster seemed to be very afraid of the flames. He was half kneeling on the ground, and the lines on his body became dim. When Gao Lu saw this, he was afraid that the monster was about to rise again. It seemed that they could only give it a try. Then Gao Lu immediately took up his bow and shot an arrow. Shadow shot! The feather arrow turned black and shot towards the sky with a whooshing sound. However, the moment Gao Lu shot the bow and arrow, Lu Chen actually used the fireball technique to ignite the arrow. The feather arrow instantly turned into a flame arrow and six identical flame arrows were sorted in the sky. The flame arrows fell on the ground and quickly formed a pattern, and the flames also ignited along the pattern formed. The ground instantly turned into a sea of fire, and the monster rolled back and forth in the sea of fire, howling and screaming. When Luchin saw this, he directly used the sacrifice skill. Beep! Sacrifice cannot cause damage to dungeon monsters. Damn it! Luchin didn't expect that this sacrifice skill couldn't be used in the dungeon so he couldn't accept this big guy, which was a bit of a loss. Originally, Lu Chen wanted to turn the monster into a soul and put it away, but now it seems that he could only kill it. The next moment, Lu Chen rushed forward with a vigorous step and slashed quickly with his hand axe. This time, the white lines did not send out any more attack waves. Puff! Wow! The monster turned into materials all over the place and was finally eliminated. Congratulations on obtaining the exquisite blueprints. City Protector Crossbow Asterisk 1 Holy Lord's Asylum Asterisk 1 Name Brand Asterisk 4 Universal Seed Asterisk 20 Lu Chen's heart suddenly jumped when he looked at the Holy Lord's protection. This is a skill! Chapter 64 The City Protecting Crossbow instantly kills the Lantern Man and hatches a domineering kitten. Lu Chen was very happy to see the skills. This was the first skill book he had found in this world. The Holy Lord's Protection Holy Light Skill When activated, all enemies around you will be knocked away, causing light damage and stunning them for 3 seconds. This is simply a magical skill. And it also comes with a stun skill, which is the same as boss's skill, but much more powerful than boss's. Get skill book, whether to learn or not. Lu Chen learned the skills directly. And just after he studied, he saw his profile picture in the upper left corner flashing. This is the first time. It has never flashed before. I don't know what is going on now. Lu Chen clicked on his profile picture, 
and the skill logo appeared below his profile picture. Skill January 5th, the Holy Lord's protection. And then, there is nothing more. From this point of view, in this game, you can learn five active skills. These five active skills need to be carefully screened. But the skills attached to the equipment do not seem to be among them. And you can also learn five skills on the equipment. It seems that there are a lot of skills that you can learn. So you should carefully keep whatever skill books you encounter in the future. And think about it slowly. Congratulations on your pet reaching level 15. Open the pet equipment column and create suitable equipment for your pet to make them stronger. Pet equipment column. Luchin clicked on the pet. And sure enough, different equipment columns appeared around the pet's avatar. Divided into seven categories, head, chest, hands, feet, pants, weapons, and sacred objects. Luchin understood the other equipment. But what was this holy object? Although he couldn't figure it out, Luchin could feel that the holy object must be something very powerful. Did you get something good? Galu came over happily. Luchin picked up the four name tags and said, you can learn the four passive skills. The four passives are cutting down trees, making food, detecting metal, and building houses. Lu Chen didn't like these things very much, thinking that he had already studied. But Gao Lu hadn't studied yet. So let her do it. It would just enhance Gao Lu's ability and improve his own assistance. Which was also very good. Of, Gao Lu excitedly integrated the famous brands. Lu Chen, it's time for us to go back. Lu Chen looked around and said, well, it's time to go back. Beep. World announcement. Congratulations to Gao Lu and Lu Chen for completing the first kill of the hidden boss in the double dungeon. Well, it's world announcement again. Good guys. These two have made headlines twice in a short while. The world's comments should be bombarded by now. However, they did not receive the first kill gift pack this time. It seems that the system felt that the two of them went too far. There is no first kill gift pack. Is there something wrong with the system? Lu Chen was still talking. And the next moment, the two of them were teleported directly back to the island camp. It was already approaching dusk in the camp. Seeing the two people appearing, Lu Chen and others ran over happily. Lu Chen immediately picked up the meat stick and brought it over. Seeing the meat stick, the two of them started eating immediately. After they came back from the dungeon, they were surprised to find that three chicken legs had fallen off. Fortunately, they entered in a busy state. Otherwise, they really don't know what would happen now. Lu Chen took out the pet food and gave it to Xiao Hei and Ling Chuang. The two guys were very happy eating it. Congratulations on pet intimacy plus 10. Congratulations on pet loyalty plus 5. It seems that this pet food is very good. It can increase hunger and increase intimacy and loyalty. From now on, this dungeon will have to be visited every day. So it must not be wasted. After Gao Lu finished eating, he immediately ran to the incubator. Two eggs were hatching in the incubator. They were both laid by the previous hens. Luchin only hoped that one egg would come out of these two eggs. With one male and one female. There will be more eggs when the time comes. Otherwise they will die. It was all the fault of the killer last time. If he hadn't killed the rooster, he wouldn't have had to go through so much trouble. Luchin still had the rooster meat in his backpack and didn't want to eat it. Just to miss the lost rooster. Gao Lu's pet ball directly occupied four positions. But fortunately, there were six positions inside. Gao Lu kept squatting aside and watching. For fear of missing something, Lu Chen came over and said with a smile, Don't worry. I will watch it for you. Go away. Go away. It will be over if you leave. Lu Chen curled his lips and turned to leave. Now Lu Chen and Gao Lu could joke with each other. Lu Chen also gradually let down his guard against Gao Lu. But it was impossible for him to let go completely. It was already late at night. And the monsters were out. Lu Chen took out the blueprint obtained from the lever, the City Protecting Crossbow. Blueprint, City Protection Crossbow. Production requires wooden board asterisk 50. Iron plate asterisk 30. Steel plate asterisk 20. And rope asterisk 30. What exactly this thing is? Lu Chen doesn't know yet. But since it can be made, let's make one first. Make it. Congratulations on getting the City Protection Crossbow asterisk 1. Wood board 50. Iron plate 30. Steel plate 20. Rope 30. A huge crossbow that was 2 meters high, 2 meters long, and 2 meters wide appeared in front of Lu Chin. This crossbow was very similar to the siege crossbow used by ancient people in battles. On one side were placed 10 arms as thick as 2 meters. Long crossbow arrows. If this thing were to be shot out, it would be fatal if hit. 
This is a good thing. Where can I put it? Luchin raised his head and looked at the wall. That's it. Click to move. And the city protecting crossbow became transparent. Then Luchin came to the front of the city wall. Used stones to make a staircase. And then walked up the wall. The constant rustling of footsteps below seemed to have heard his movements. And everyone gathered around him. Lu Chen took out the torch without any ceremony and drove away all the monsters. Then Lu Chen finished placing the city protecting crossbow. A bright light appeared in the distance. And it turned out to be a man carrying a lantern. It seemed that the guy was coming here. And he must have seen his own torch. You came just in time. Let me use you to try my city protecting crossbow. Lu Chen set up his bow. Placed the crossbow arrows. And took aim. However, Lu Chen was not in a hurry to release it. He had to wait for the man with the lantern to approach before releasing it. It would be terrible if the range of this thing was not enough. The lantern holder was getting closer and closer. Lu Chen chuckled. You're here just in time! Emission! Whoosh! A huge sound was heard. And the crossbow arrows were shot out like meteors. Boom! This shot was a little too close. But it didn't hit. Lu Chen couldn't help but feel a little annoyed. There weren't many crossbow arrows. So one was wasted. Lu Chen quickly re-rigged his bow, loaded the arrows, and took aim. Emission. Whoosh. That huge sound came again, and the crossbow arrows flew out. Puff. This time the crossbow arrow hit the lantern holder without missing a beat, causing the lantern to fall to the ground. The lantern holder died without a single roar. Seeing this scene, Lu Chen was stunned. The attack power of this city-protecting crossbow was simply perfect. But it was a pity that it couldn't move. If it could move, it would be the biggest help in fighting boss in the dungeon. But the premise is that boss won't move. Lu Chen took out a new torch and jumped off the wall and walked over to pick up the lantern. The monsters around him were walking back and forth. But Lu Chen didn't show the slightest fear. Maybe it was because of the dungeon, which was much simpler than the dungeon. Lu Chen opened the door and walked in directly. There was a torch at the door, and the monster did not dare to come. When Lu Chen went back to Gao Lu, he saw a white cat standing at Gao Lu's feet. Xiao Hei and Ling Chuang stood aside. He looked coldly at the kitten, who was very close to Gao Lu. Seeing Lu Chen coming over, Xiao Hei seemed to have support and suddenly growled. Meow! Suddenly, the cat meowed fiercely, scaring Xiao Hei so much that he backed away and ran to Lu Chen's feet screaming, while Ling Chuang's legs were already weak and he didn't dare to move. Lu Chen was surprised and said, Gao Lu! What is this thing? Why is it so domineering? Chapter 65 Stir-Fried Lantern Hunting Creatures Level Up It was really surprising that this domineering kitten had such a powerful aura. Lu Chen also wanted to know what kind of quality this guy was. And he could actually suppress the mythical lightning shuang. Gao Lu smiled and said, You will know its properties if you come and see it. With that said, Gao Lu shared the kitten's attributes with Lu Chen. Kitten White Normal, mutated baby, only. Grade 1. Personality, Manic. Strength, 72. Intelligence, 30. Spirit, 35. Loyalty, 100. Reliable, General. Close. Reliable. Loyal. Intimacy, 100. Hunger, 100. Skills, Summoning. Penetrating Yawn with 100 steps. Punishing Arrow. Passive Skill, Crazy Shooting. Introduction. It comes from the Divine World. It is said to be the most beloved baby of Queen Mother She. Be sure to take good care of it. Queen Mother She will be very happy. Seeing this introduction, Lu Chen was stunned. This guy's is actually a mutant baby. And it's the only one. Which means that the same pet will never appear again. And this guy's initial attributes are very high. But why is this guy's initial loyalty, density, and hunger the degrees are all at full value? Lu Chen said hurriedly, Gao Lu, you must have given it pet food. Otherwise, why would its initial value be full? Gao Lu spread his hands and said with a smile, You are wrong about this. The initial values of this little guy are all full. I am also very surprised. But there is no way. It is like this. Meow. The little black cat rubbed Gao Lu's body, expressing a very close friendship. As soon as Xiao Hei took a step, the little black cat immediately barked wildly, and Xiao Hei immediately stepped back obediently. This, Lu Chun was completely speechless. He didn't expect this baby to be so powerful. Look at his little black one again. Forget it. It's not bad. No matter what. Now they have another booster. If this little guy grows up, it will definitely become more powerful. And its quality is only ordinary. 
If it can be upgraded to mythical level, it will definitely become more powerful. Okay, let's go to bed. It's getting late. With that said, Lu Chen was about to go back to the room. Lu Chen, please wait a moment. Take a look at the world channel. I just looked at the world channel while I was waiting for the incubation. Now many people are frantically scrolling, saying whether we have installed some cheats. Hearing this, Lu Chen forgot to open the world channel to see what news was coming recently. He immediately opened the world channel. Hey, let me tell you, that guy must have used a cheat. Otherwise, how could he have scored three first kills? What a perverted cheat. I don't think so. Can this game have cheats? Do you think we are playing computer games? Stop joking. Okay. I think even if it's not a cheat, this guy must have found some kind of bug. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so powerful. What do you think? Everyone. Big news. I just went to the dungeon. I used three lanterns to defeat the last boss. But I just ran away after I couldn't defeat it. Now you should know. Right? The guy who killed first was the guy a while ago. Guys who are crazy about buying lanterns. Now you are talking about cheats and bugs. They have found a way to clear the game. Damn it. So that's it. I sold both of my lanterns to him. This guy is really despicable. No. I'm going to buy a lantern. The world channel immediately went crazy. Luchin smiled and said, These guys now know the benefits of lanterns. So let's add fuel to the fire so that the price of the lanterns can be doubled. And the 30 lanterns we have can be easily sold. Lu Chen immediately sent his message. Everyone, I am the one who completed the first kill today. If you want to get more good things, then go and clear the dungeon. There are not many. Three lanterns are enough for you to complete the dungeon. Come on. Then this is mine. The spoils. First of all, it's agreed. It's not to show off. It's just to let you know the benefits of the dungeon. With that said, Lu Chen sent out his trident. However, the next moment, when everyone saw the properties of the trident, they all went crazy. Good guy. You have such awesome equipment. Great master. Please help me. Great god. I have a weak girl who can be easily pushed down. Please give me the coordinates. Master, do you still need some pendants on your legs? Please take them to fly. Lu Chen ignored everyone and opened the trading channel. Now all the lanterns have been taken off the shelves by players. It is still early days. The lanterns are rare species. You can only meet the lantern holder at night. And there seems to be only one on an island. Therefore, the price of lanterns will rise. Why did you send out all the news so that others can get better equipment? What will happen when they come to attack us? Gao Lu's worry is not unreasonable. It is indeed possible. Once everyone's level is improved, the next battle will be very cruel. And maybe they will be annexed by other players. Lu Chen smiled and said, You don't have to worry about this problem. Once everyone has the ability to fight, then there will be fewer and fewer fights. Everyone is not sure what power the other party has. So naturally they will only develop and grow stronger. You? So for a period of time, there will never be a war. I call this period a transition period. But after this transition period, there will be more and more wars. Even if you want to hide, there will be more and more wars. There's no way to avoid it. Gao Lu wondered. Then why do you still tell these things? Lu Chen said, You have to think about it carefully. Even if we don't say it, others will think of it. Moreover, this game has a lot of resources. It is too slow for us to explore alone. Only by exploring together can the resources become more abundant. There are many, such as our passive skills. If we just use it by ourselves, it will be difficult to get what we want. But if there are more people, it will be different. You can see that there are people selling famous brands here. I saw that there was really a famous brand for sale in that exchange. Famous brand, hunting creatures, can be traded, exchanged for iron plate asterisk 100 or steel plate asterisk 80 or glass asterisk 100 or various survival materials asterisk 100. Some prices are MMM. After seeing the famous brand, Lu Chen did not hesitate to exchange it for 100 iron plates. This famous brand has the ability to hunt creatures, which is a magical skill in dungeons. It seems that this person does not understand what hunting creatures is. If he knew what he was selling, he would definitely regret it to death. After getting the famous brand, Lu Chen directly chose Fusion. Hunting creature level LV2. The iron plate is not a difficult thing for Lu Chen to obtain. Now there are many resources. After exchanging this, his survival rate and hunting ability in the dungeon will be steadily improved. Lu Chen. When will we sell the lanterns? No one is selling them now. 
as long as we hang them up. They will be sold directly. Gao Lu also looked through the exchange, hoping to see something useful. Lu Chen smiled and said, Don't worry. Let the price of lanterns rise for a while. Chapter 66 Sign into the Universal Mold to Create a Paladin Helmet The night was very quiet. Lu Chen looked at the world and chatted, then fell asleep. In his dream, he dreamed of the mermaid again, with the same scene, the same moving face, and the same melancholy singing voice. Lu Chen woke up suddenly. Ding! Daily sign-in starts, whether to sign in or not. Lu Chen just woke up and heard the sign-in sound again. He said sleepily, Sign in. Ding! Congratulations on successfully signing in and getting the Universal Mold Unlimited use. Lu Chen, who was still a little hazy, immediately woke up. What? Universal Mold? I just discovered the mold in the dungeon yesterday. And now I have signed a Universal Mold that can be used unlimitedly. Is it possible that this thing can be used with various equipment at will? Lu Chen immediately accepted the Universal Mold. This so-called Universal Mold is a black stone with concentrated different marks on it. Universal Mold can convert any equipment into the required type of equipment and can be used an unlimited number of times. Note, please confirm whether the equipment needs to be upgraded before use. Once converted, the required items will be converted into special materials. Seeing this, Lu Chen was able to confirm that this was what he was thinking about. But what did this special material mean? Out of curiosity, Lu Chen first made a leather hat using shark skin. Make it! Get leather hat asterisk one. Shark skin five. Lu Chen picked up the universal mold and began to transform it. To start converting leather hats. Please choose armor. Leather armor. Cloth armor. Choose armor. Transform armor. Start. Transformation completed. Obtain heavy helmet asterisk one. This is a helmet similar to that of an ancient heavy armored warrior. Half of the head is stubbled. With only the eyes. Nose and mouth exposed. Heavy helmet normal. Grade one. Strength plus 20. Sensitivity plus 5. Magic plus 10. Defense plus 50. Magic resistance plus 100. Life plus 200. Toughness plus 50. Movement speed minus 5. Enchantment 0 slash 3. A thick helmet can often protect your little head from fatal injuries. Looking at the attributes of the helmet in front of him, Luchin was shocked. You must know that this is just the lowest level heavy helmet. Its attributes have already reached such a level. If you enter the dungeon with this thing and face the boss, you don't have to run at all. Just go up and you'll be greeted by a wave of Ollie, which is absolutely invincible. Don't say that the boss can't kill you. I'm afraid if the mobs attack you, you'll probably die of exhaustion. It's just that the movement speed of minus five is not enough. And the added sensitivity is basically useless. By the way, let's upgrade it. I don't know how to upgrade it. Ding. Whether to upgrade heavy helmet. Promote. Ding! The heavy helmet is being upgraded. The upgrade hammer hit it directly, and a small blue screen appeared in front of him. After seeing the material, Luchin was stunned. Upgrading the heavy helmet requires refined iron ingots asterisk 20 and refined steel asterisk 15. Ding! Insufficient materials cannot be improved. The screen disappears, and the promotion is put on hold. What is fine iron ingot? What is fine steel? Luchin was completely confused. He had no idea how to get these two things. Now that he had iron plates, iron ore, and steel plates, how was he going to get refined iron ingots and refined steel? Do we need to refine iron ore? Thinking of this, Lu Chen immediately ran out of the room and lit the furnace with a wooden board. Master, good morning. Lu Chen said H, low. But Lu Chen didn't seem to hear him. He had already taken out the iron ore and threw it into the burning furnace. Seeing Lu Chen's strange behavior, Lu Chen came over and said, Master, what are you doing? Lu Chen turned around and said, Refining? Refining? What is that? Lu Chen had a confused look on his face. He had no idea what Lu Chen was going to do. He just stared blankly from the side. Lu Chen! Lu Chen! What are you two baking? Gao Lu, who had just returned from taking his cat Xiaomi out, saw their actions and asked in confusion. Lu Chen replied, The master is refining. Gao Lu became interested when he heard this. Hey, it's all started to be refined. Let me see what you have refined. Gao Lu came closer and saw a piece of iron or placed in the furnace. Gao Lu looked suspicious, not understanding what Li Chin was going to do. Ten minutes passed, and there was no change in the iron ore. 
20 minutes passed, and there was still no change in the iron ore. 30 minutes later, Lu Chen was hungry. Lu Chen couldn't help it anymore. So he asked Lu Qin to help him watch, and went to get some food. He also took a look at the universal seeds that had been planted. This time, they won a total of 20 universal seeds. An hour later, Lu Qin hurried over. Master! Master! Go over and see! That stone has changed! Real? Lu Chen ate the last bite of instant noodles, drank the soup on the way, and then hurried over. I saw that the flames in the furnace had disappeared, and a large piece of blue silver iron appeared in it. Lu Chen stepped forward and took a closer look. Congratulations on getting refined iron ingot asterisk 10. Ha ha! Great! It is indeed a fine iron ingot obtained through refining! This is great! Lu Chen was completely excited. He didn't expect that his assumption was right. This is how to obtain the refined iron ingots. But now we still need refined steel. So is the refined steel a refined steel plate? With a skeptical attitude, Lu Chen lit the furnace again, and then threw the steel plate in. Sure enough, the steel plate began to burn and turn red, much faster than the ore. Ten minutes later, the steel plate turned into a dark yellow mass. Congratulations on getting fine steel asterisk one. Although I got fine steel, I didn't expect that a steel plate corresponds to a piece of fine steel. This is really a bit confusing. But I don't know where to get the ore that can be used to refine fine steel. Is it possible to find it? Diamond? Gao Lu wondered. What's the use of these things? Lu Chen was mysterious for a moment. And then took out the heavy helmet that had just been molded. After seeing the properties of the heavy helmet, Gao Lu also showed the expression of Lu Chen who saw the heavy helmet for the first time. How about it? This is not bad. If we can improve it to a higher level, we can walk sideways when we go to the dungeon in the future. Next, Lu Chen used the furnace to refine more iron ore and steel plates. He didn't stop until he got 100 fine iron ingots and 50 fine steel. Next, Lu Chen did not upgrade his heavy helmet. His goal was to focus on the equipment on his body. The equipment on his body had been upgraded once. So in this way, he might be able to leapfrog the level. Just do it. It's still a helmet. Lu Chen took off his black iron helmet. Mold set. Congratulations on getting the heavy helmet asterisk one. Black iron helmet one. Lu Chen. This was the last thing Lu Chen wanted to see. Unexpectedly, he thought it would be a bug. It seemed that he was overthinking it. So it seems that it can only be steadily improved. Take out the upgrade hammer. Using the upgrade hammer can reduce the materials required by 50%, which can save a lot of materials. Ding! Heavy helmet upgraded successfully. Obtain Paladin Helmet. Congratulations on getting the Paladin Helmet asterisk 1. Heavy Helm 1. Fine Iron Ingot 10. Fine Steel 8. Lu Chen looked at the silver white Paladin Helmet in front of him and couldn't help but smile knowingly. This helmet had armed his entire head. Even his face. Which was bright silver and very beautiful in shape. Not heavy. The helmets are comparable. Paladin Helmet Exquisite. Level 10. Strength plus 60. Agility plus 15. Magic plus 30. Defense plus 200. Magic resistance plus 300. Life plus 1000. Toughness plus 100. Movement speed minus 15. Enchantment 0 slash 3. Specially made for paladins. Protect your princess well. Lu Chen held the helmet excitedly. He didn't know what to say. Wait. Am I not a mage? Chapter 67. Defeat the poisonous viper and obtain new group attack skills. Lu Chen didn't stop making heavy equipment just because he was a mage. Because Lu Chen found that heavy equipment was the invincible existence. So the worst he could do was become a heavy equipment mage. Wear a heavy equipment. And then shoot fireballs technique. It is not bad to do something unexpectedly and catch people off guard. Then upgrade all equipment. In the next few hours, Lu Chen began to focus on studying his equipment without considering the feelings of others. Originally, Lu Chen wanted to make equipment for Gao Lu. But after Gao Lu saw the ugly heavy equipment, he immediately gave up all his thoughts. From now on, Lu Chen would be his human shield. Finally, Lu Chen upgraded all the equipment to the Paladin level. Paladin Bright Silver Armor, Exquisite. Level, 10. Strength plus 120. Sensitivity plus 30. Magic plus 60. Defense plus 400. Magic Resistance plus 600. Life plus 2000. Toughness plus 200. Movement speed minus 30. Enchantment, 0 slash 3. Only handsome warriors deserve to own handsome armor. Paladin Gloves. Level, 10. 
Strength plus 60. Agility plus 15. Magic plus 30. Defense plus 200. Magic resistance plus 300. Life plus 1000. Toughness plus 100. Movement speed minus 15. Sophistication plus 30. Lucky plus 20. Enchantment, 1 third. Skill 1, Giant Impact. Which can condense any surrounding elements to form a huge shock wave to attack the opponent. Note that the skill cannot be released continuously. And the interval is 30 minutes. More refined gloves give you more pure combat skills. Paladin Pant Legs. Level, 10. Strength plus 70. Agility plus 16. Magic plus 40. Defense plus 220. Magic Resistance plus 320. Life plus 1200. Toughness plus 120. Movement Speed minus 16. Enchantment, 0 slash 3. It can protect your body well from fatal injuries. Paladin Boots. Level, 10. Strength plus 60. Agility plus 15. Magic plus 30. Defense plus 200. Magic Resistance plus 300. Life plus 1000. Toughness plus 100. Movement Speed plus 10. Enchantment, 0 slash 3. Nothing to say. It will make you run faster. After completing a set of equipment, Luchin also consumed a lot of materials. But it was all worth it. Beep. Congratulations to the player for building a set of heavy armor for the first time and obtaining the only passive skill. Absolute defense. Absolute defense. The player's defense is permanently doubled. Seeing this prompt, Luchin was immediately shocked. This meant that his entire defense would be doubled. Now this set of equipment could provide him with 1,240 points of defense. If it were doubled, it would be 0 .2480 points. This defense is awesome! Luchin jumped up excitedly. When Gao Lu and others saw this, they had no idea what was happening. They just put on a set of ugly armor and turned into this kind of virtue. Master! Master! This is terrible. Something happened. Luchin ran over in a hurry with a spear in hand. It seemed that the matter was very urgent. What's wrong? Speak slowly. Seeing Lu Qin's appearance, Lu Qin quickly got him a bottle of water. Lu Qin had no time to drink water. So he quickly said, I found an island. There is an island near us. That island is very big. As big as ours. Lu Qin said excitedly and danced. Hearing this, Lu Qin quickly said, Where is it? Take me there quickly. As long as there is an island, it means there must be resources. If it is not an island controlled by the player, there will be more resources. So you must go to the island to explore first. I'll go with you. Gao Lu was afraid that something would happen to Lu Chun. So she quickly said, I can just go by myself. You have to protect the island and not let our home be stolen. After saying that, Lu Chun took Xiao Hei and Ling Xuan on the cruise ship and headed towards the island. When you land on the island, there are no danger signals which means you can still fight with your current attributes. But you don't know if there are players occupying it. So you still need to explore it. There is a jungle ahead. And in the distance of the jungle, you can see a high mountain. The mountain has turned snow white from the middle of the mountain to the top of the mountain. It seems that there should be snow on it. If it continues, it means that it must be here. There is fresh water. So Luchin must capture this island. In the jungle ahead, the tree shook and two wild wolves rushed out. Before Lu Qin could make a move, Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang took the lead. They bit and charged with Lightning, killing the two wild wolves on the spot. Now Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang because the level has been improved. Various attributes have also been improved. And the attack power has naturally been improved. It is still very simple to deal with such ordinary mobs. After killing the two wild wolves and continuing forward, the front suddenly became quiet. And there was a hissing sound coming from the surroundings. Luchin stopped and looked around cautiously. The sound sounded very much like a snake. Sure enough, a black shadow suddenly rushed out and slapped Luchin quickly. Luchin took a closer look and saw that it was a huge snake tail with a diameter of one meter wide. Fortunately, Luchin's biological hunting skills reached level two and he could dodge quickly. However, due to the thick armor, his movements were a little inconvenient. Boom! The huge snake's tail directly hit Luchin's body. Fortunately, Lu Chen's defense was high, and the snake's tail's attack only knocked him back a step. Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang beside him attacked at the same time. Bang bang! The huge snake tail swept them away at the same time, fell to the ground, and fainted. I'll go. No. 
Lu Chen didn't expect that the huge snake tail could have such a terrifying attack. And it could also cause dizziness. This was comparable to the protection of his holy lord. Roar. With a roar, a giant python that was 30 meters long and 1 meter in diameter appeared in front of Lu Chen. Lu Chen was a little surprised when he saw this python. Compared with the one he met last time, this guy was even worse. This guy even had a pair of fin-like decorations on both sides of his head. Like a pair of wings. Beep. Warning. Mutant Viper Viper is coming. Players, please be prepared to deal with it. Isn't this reminder a little late? Lu Chen was helpless. This system prompt was a bit too disgusting. He had already encountered it before he notified himself. It was really too much. Puff. At this moment, the highly venomous viper spurted out a mouthful of venom. Before Lu Chen could dodge, he was directly drenched by the venom. The moment the venom touched him, a corrosive sound came from Lu Chen's body. But the next moment, the corrosive sound disappeared directly. The venom was unable to penetrate the defense of his paladin armor. Uh-huh. Great. This defense is indeed strong enough. However, the absolute viper did not stop attacking, but continued to use venom towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen wanted to move forward, but was slapped back by the absolute viper using its tail. Fortunately, his defense was high enough, and he was not afraid. This snake tail. But fighting like this may be endless. It would be great if Gao Luzai could solve it with one arrow this time. Yes. Fireball. The fireball was sent out directly. And one fireball directly swallowed the poisonous viper. Taking this opportunity, Lu Chen rushed over and arrived. The protection of the Holy Lord. Boom. White energy exploded around Lu Chen, forming a small semicircular barrier. After receiving the attack from the Holy Lord's protection, the poisonous viper passed out directly. Lu Chen did not stop and activated the trident of the Sea King directly. Aquaman's raid. A set of three floating slashes was launched, and the poisonous viper was directly hit into the sky. But the poisonous viper did not die because of this. Giant impact. The surrounding air condensed in the palm of his hand, and a shock wave was sent out again, sending the poisonous viper flying into the sky. Lu Chen had exhausted all his methods. He didn't want to use a hand axe, because the poisonous viper's soul would be very delicious. Boom! The poisonous viper fell directly from the sky and smashed into the ground. Then, Lu Chen heard the scream of a poisonous viper, and he knew that the opportunity had come. Sacrifice. Sure enough, the poisonous viper was now in a state of death, and the sacrifice directly wrapped its body. The next moment, the soul of a poisonous viper appeared in front of Lu Chen. Hey, let's see how arrogant you are this time. Lu Chen directly integrated the poisonous viper's soul into Neptune's trident without hesitation. The fusion is completed, and the skill Venom Impact is obtained. Venom Impact summons a highly venomous viper to release venom in a wide area, making enemies unable to escape. Enemies impacted by the venom will return 5% of their HP to the releaser. Holy crap! This skill can actually restore blood? Acquire passive skills. Poison resistance small. Seeing this, Lu Chen couldn't help but feel overjoyed. This was not a loss. At this time, Xiao Hei and Ling Chuan also woke up. Oh! It'll be fine if you wake up! Let's move on! You must obey my orders and not attack on your own! The two little guys nodded. Chapter 68 O Huang is possessed and continuously gains superpowers. Fireball! Boom! A fireball will kill a mushroom spirit directly. Lu Chen picked up the mushroom on the ground and asked curiously, Why are there monsters from the dungeon here? Although he didn't know what was going on. Since they appeared, Lu Chen had to fight them. Anyway, these monsters were just jump monsters, and they were not challenging. Killing along the way. 20 or 30 mushroom spirits and wild wolves have been killed. The front reached the foot of the mountain, and a cave appeared at the foot of the mountain. The dark cave made Lu Chen realize that something was wrong. There must be something dangerous here. Like the cave last time. There might be zombies inside. But Lu Chen still had the courage to go in. Took out the torch. And walked into the cave. The cave was large and could accommodate five people walking side by side. It was pitch dark inside. And both Xiao Hei and Ling Chuang looked a little scared. Lu Chen said, Don't be afraid. It's okay. At this moment, two red eyes suddenly appeared in front of him. Lu Chen held a trident in one hand and a hand axe in the other. Ordinary monsters would be killed immediately. If they encountered the boss, they would save their lives so that they could have better choices. Lu Chen raised his hand axe. Suddenly, the red eyes rushed towards Lu Chen. Hey, 
sure enough. It turned out to be a zombie. The zombie moved very fast, rushed over directly, and slapped Lu Chen fiercely. Boom! The zombie's arm slapped Lu Chen's body without causing any ripples or even a little bit of damage. Lu Chen, who was worried at first, is now relieved and feels completely tortured. That's it? Boom! Lu Chen didn't waste any time and just hit it with an axe. The zombie died on the spot. And more red eyes in the distance opened and came towards the furnace lining. Lu Chen smiled slightly. Come on! Let me kill them all at once! Lu Chen didn't wait and rushed over. With his super defense and the hand axe that could kill everything instantly, he slashed left and right, killing like crazy. After an unknown amount of time, Lu Chen killed all the zombies. Congratulations to player Lu Chen for killing over a hundred zombies and earning a new title. Slayer. Slayer, equip this title to gain double attack power. Looking at the introduction of the title, Lu Chen was shocked again. I didn't expect that you could get such a title after killing a hundred zombies. It's too simple. Squeak. At this moment, a sound came. Lu Chen looked up and saw two huge flames suddenly ignited in the off-plan building. Under the flames was a tall iron door. Huh? Is there another door? Lu Chen didn't expect that there was a door here. So of course it couldn't be missed. Approaching the iron door, he reached out and pushed it. The door creaked open. It was a little dark inside. Lu Chen walked in without hesitation. When Lu Chen approached the door, the door slammed shut behind him. I am ignorant humans dare to disturb my rest. You are really looking for death. The ground suddenly glowed with white light and immediately cracked, with countless cracks all over the ground. Lu Chen suddenly exclaimed. No. Is there a boss here? Call. A white light lit up on the ground, and an old man holding a scepter emerged from the ground, his body floating in midair. The old man had gray hair and wore a crown on his head. His eyes were like a torch and there was thunder and lightning beating on the scepter. Judgment! A rough voice came from the old man's mouth, and a bolt of lightning from the scepter suddenly struck Lu Chen. Stab! Ah! Boom! Lu Chen's body was directly blown away by lightning, and he hit the iron door behind him heavily, making a huge sound that echoed throughout the room. Lu Chen stood up and looked at his body and found that there was nothing wrong with him. It seemed that his defense was too high. The lightning could only knock him away, but could not cause him any harm. But even so, it would not work if he could not get close to the opponent. At this moment, another bolt of lightning struck Lu Chen. Lu Chen did not dodge and directly carried it down with his body. By the way, it's time to try out my new skill. Venom Impact. The trident was raised, and the huge venomous viper shadow quickly condensed above the head. The venomous viper spurted out a mouthful of poisonous breath, which instantly filled the entire earth and the entire room was shrouded in poison. Although the old man was floating in the air, he could not escape the punishment of the poison. The poison old man lost the ability to fly and lay on the ground panting. The attack of the poison was really powerful. When Lu Chen saw this, he rushed over and hung there. Lu Chen, who was known as the Slayer, launched a surprise attack from the Sea King, followed by three consecutive stabs in the air. The old man flew into the sky, and then a huge impact hit the old man into the sky again and he fell down. After finishing a set of skills, Lu Chen quickly used sacrifice. But the condition for using sacrifice was that the opponent was dead or on the verge of death. This boss didn't know what else to do. How much blood is not yet on the verge of death? Lu Chen didn't want to use a hand axe. After all, if he hit it with the axe, the opponent would definitely turn into materials. He also wanted to sacrifice the old man and then enchant him. Such a powerful boss was very difficult to find. Unlike the boss in the dungeon that couldn't be sacrificed. Sacrifice. As long as it is a boss that can offer sacrifices, you must not let it go. The boss was unable to get up due to the toxin attack. Lu Chen immediately waved his trident and started a crazy attack. At the same time, Xiao Hei and Lightning Shuang also launched attacks. One biting, the other hitting, and then hammering after the collision. This is definitely you can kill the opponent. I saw Xiao Hei bite off a large piece of meat. Lu Chen was a little surprised. He didn't expect this method. How about trying to kill this boss? After thinking carefully, the trident was still more useful, and then launched another attack. Lu Chen, who had doubled the attack, quickly killed the paralyzed boss. Sacrifice. The old man directly turned into a soul in the flames. Seeing the old man's soul, Lu Chen licked his lips and said, I hope I can have a flying skill. He had seen that the old man could fly. 
so Lu Chen hoped to develop a flying skill and directly fuse the old man's soul with the boots. Fusion. The fusion is successful, and the skill Wind and Thunder Domain is obtained. Wind and Thunder Domain release skills to obtain the ability to float temporarily. While floating, Thunder and Lightning in a 20 by 20 range will be released to attack the enemy. Enemy's hit will be paralyzed for a short time and lose the ability to move. Yeah, it's true. Great. Ha! You can really fly in the sky. Pet. Hell Dog acquires the Devourer ability, Trigger Condition. Bites the boss without injury. Devouring. Devouring can be carried out six times a day. And the enemy can be directly devoured and transformed into one's own vitality regardless of the opponent's life. Each devouring can obtain a layer of soul devouring marks. Each layer of marks increases the owner's movement speed by 10% for one hour. And can be superimposed. Seeing this skill. Luchin was stunned. This skill is simply unbelievable. It can actually devour the opponent's life without paying attention to it. It can also increase the owner's movement speed. In this way, if it is stacked six times, it will be 60%. The moving speed is so terrifying. Ha ha ha. The whole room was filled with Lu Chen's evil laughter. Boom! Suddenly there was a loud noise. And where the old man died, a golden treasure box fell from the sky, glowing with golden light. Huh? There's also a baby? The appearance of this golden treasure box made Lu Chen not expect it. Go to the treasure box and open it directly. Inside the treasure box are neatly placed a skill book, a black shield, and a black short knife. Chapter 69. Start the second stage of the game. For the sake of level, let's get up. Am I cheating? Lu Chun was stunned when he saw the contents of the treasure box in front of him. He seriously suspected that he was cheating. He just explored an island and killed a snake boss. But he actually encountered zombies again. After killing the zombies, he got something. With the title of Slayer, I got double attack. After killing the zombies, I found a hidden level, killed another boss, and now I got another skill book and equipment. If anyone knew about this, they would definitely report themselves. Pick up the skill book. Congratulations on getting the skill Shield Crash. Shield Crash uses the shield to cause a huge blow to the enemy. The enemy hit will be knocked back and stunned for two seconds. It is another powerful skill. This skill can actually stun the enemy. It is simply a magical skill. Luchin picked up the black shield again. Congratulations on getting the nightmare shield. Nightmare shield, exquisite. Life plus 200. Magic plus 100. Defense plus 300. Magic resistance plus 500. Toughness plus 400. Enchantment, 0 slash 3. Legend has it that this is a shield haunted by nightmares. And the holder will be haunted by nightmares. The introduction is so damn scary. I won't have nightmares tonight. There is also a dagger in the treasure chest. Congratulations on getting the Paralysis Dagger. Paralysis Dagger, normal. Attack power, 210. Skill, Paralysis Impact, causes short-term paralysis to the enemy in front, making them unable to move. No additional attributes. Just able to paralyze enemies. The introduction of this dagger is brief, but just this skill is enough to make people exclaim. A short-term paralysis is already very powerful. There was nothing else in the treasure box. And Luchin turned around and left. When he walked out of the cave, the blue screen appeared again. World announcement. Congratulations to the player Lu Chen for completing the random island trial. The second phase of the game has started. The level system has been activated. The slave mark has been opened. Players can increase their level by killing monsters and can engrave slave marks on surrendered players for their own control. The first event of the game will start in three days and the top 10 will receive generous rewards. Come on and survive. The trial island will disappear in 10 minutes. Players are asked to leave as soon as possible. What the H, L? What is the second stage of the game? What is the hierarchy? Lu Chen was completely confused. The sudden prompt from the system caught people off guard. And the most important thing was that the person who started the second stage of the game seemed to be Lu Chen. Looking at the prompt, Lu Chen's head swelled. As if he had become a celebrity again. Lu Chen quickly headed towards the cruise ship with his two little pets because the island was about to disappear. So he had to leave before it disappeared. Just after Lu Chen boarded the cruise ship, the island began to sink. This was something Lu Chen did not expect. This island turned out to be a trial island and could not be fused. Finally returned to the island. Gao Lu was already waiting anxiously on the shore. Seeing Lu Chen coming back, Gao Lu immediately ran over. Lu Chen! 
What happened? Why did you start the second stage of the game? Lu Chen, who asked this question, also had a confused look on his face. Lu Chen smiled bitterly and said, I feel helpless when you say that. I don't even know what happened. Maybe I killed a boss. If I knew that this would start the second stage of the game, I would never go. Gao Lu also sighed. I just watched world chat. And now you are being scolded miserably. Lu Chen. How can you blame Lu Chen? He just wanted to obtain resources. Who knew this mechanism would be activated? Lu Chen didn't open the world channel. He knew what those guys would say. But it didn't matter. Let them talk whatever they wanted. In this world, even if he doesn't complete the trial, someone will always complete it. The progress of the game will not stop. Maybe after the final stage of this game starts, they will be able to go back to the original world. Lu Chen smiled and said, There is no need to say anything. And we don't need to care about what others think. The second phase of the game is now starting. And an event will start in three days. Needless to say, that event should require high levels and absolute strength to occupy it. We have the upper hand. So the price of our lanterns is going to increase. What's the price of our lanterns now? Hearing this, Galu opened the trading channel. Galu said, The current price of lanterns is that each one can be exchanged for 400 wooden boards, 200 iron plates, 150 steel plates or other 300 food resources. Luchin thought for a while and said, This price is not high enough. It seems that we need to keep the price of lanterns rising. It's up to me. Luchin opened the world channel and sent a message. Everyone, I am Luchin who just tried on the island. I know you hate me, but I am happy and like it. I can't be strong. Alas, I just like it and just play. If you want revenge, it doesn't matter. I will do it in three days. I'm waiting for you during the event. Try to improve your strength as much as possible. Come and crush me when the time comes. By the way, dungeons are the only way to make you stronger. As soon as Lu Chen said these words, Gao Lu beside him was completely confused. Lu Chen, you are really good at it. Lu Chen's words are undoubtedly provoking everyone's patience. Previously, everyone hated Lu Chen because of the second stage of the game. Now Lu Chen has even turned on the death-seeking mode. It is actually another wave of challenges. As you can imagine when the event starts, Lu Chen will definitely become everyone's target. Lu Chen chuckled and said, Quick, raise the lanterns guy. Seize the time to get back your money and sell all the lanterns within two days. I have a hunch that after the event, it will be easier to obtain the lanterns. Nowadays, the world is full of scoldings. But Lu Chen doesn't care at all and directly puts up lanterns. The price of the lanterns is doubled from the original basis. And Lu Chen even sells rare materials such as beef tendon and linen. On the world channel, everyone began to boycott Lu Chen. When they saw Lu Chen hanging up the lanterns, they continued to curse, saying that Lu Chen deliberately drove up prices and left the poor with nowhere to go. But when they were about to buy only then did I realize that all the lanterns with the original price had been withdrawn, and the price was almost the same as Lu Chen's. At this moment, everyone was confused. It seemed that it was not Lu Chen who was driving up prices, but the price of lanterns that had gone up due to Lu Chen's provocation. Now everyone was sitting and preparing for the event, wanting to get more money during the event. Good rewards. Although no one knows what the rules of the event are now, we can imagine that the first event will be very popular. Lu Chen didn't intend to stay idle. He handed over the daggers and pistols to Lu Chen and other natives. He also made several city protecting crossbows and placed them at different locations on the wall. He also asked the natives to take turns on duty to prevent any of the enemy made a sneak attack. While Lu Chen and Gao Lu each entered the single player dungeon. Before leaving, Lu Chen told Gao Lu not to force himself. He knew how powerful the solo dungeon was. So he had to be careful in everything. Gao Lu is not a fool. She naturally knows it very well. Then the two of them entered the dungeon respectively. Because Gao Lu didn't have a bright light that was always on. Gao Lu brought three lanterns with him which was enough to support the entire single-player dungeon. Three days were enough for each of them to enter a single-player dungeon and a double-player dungeon. And then the last day to adjust and then wait for the event to start. Tick-tock. The sound of water drops rang in Lu Chen's ears. Is this a new dungeon? Looking at the cave in front of him, Lu Chen was stunned for two seconds. In front of him was a stone road three meters wide, with a wall on the left and a huge pool on the right. The pool was sparkling as if the moonlight was reflected in it. It was on the water. But when I raised my head, I couldn't see the moon. 
Lu Chen could only see clearly a ten near radius, and there were only blurry shadows in the distance. Lu Chen held a shield in his left hand and a trident in his right hand. He had an axe on his back to prevent a powerful monster from suddenly appearing, so he could kill it with a single axe. There seemed to be a humanoid monster appearing in front of him, walking towards him. When the humanoid monster appeared within the light range, Lu Chen saw clearly that it turned out to be a werewolf. Roar! Chapter 70 Skill Gain is Activated Kill the Goblin to Obtain the Summoning Scepter Discover the Demonized Werewolf Under the Full Moon The Werewolf is Demonized Physical Resistance is Increased by 50% and Magic Resistance is Reduced by 50% Demonized Werewolves are even more difficult to deal with Please be careful when dealing with them The small blue screen appeared again Which surprised Lu Chen Demon Werewolf My dear Today is the 15th day and the physical resistance will be increased by 50%. I'm going to die. As soon as he finished speaking, the demonized werewolf rushed over. The blood red claws fiercely attacked Lu Chen. Lu Chen raised his shield and faced it. Boom. The werewolf's claws slapped directly on the shield, making a muffled sound. Lu Chen didn't hold back. It was best to kill such a guy with one move. The trident was replaced by a hand axe, and he struck directly with the axe. Clang. The power of the hand axe is extremely powerful. But facing this demonized werewolf, with 50% physical resistance, it cannot be killed with one blow. No way. The demonized werewolf waved its giant bloody claws. And Lu Chen quickly used his shield to defend himself. Boom. Lu Chen was knocked back two steps again. Damn it. It's so powerful. Xiao Hei. Devour it. Lu Chen thought of Xiao Hei's newly awakened skill, which could ignore the opponent's life and devour the opponent directly. Xiao Hei immediately activated the swallowing skill, and a black vortex appeared in front of Xiao Hei. The demonized werewolf wanted to escape when he saw this, but he was still swallowed by Xiao Hei in the end. Then, Xiao Hei opened his mouth and highlighted some materials dropped by killing the demonized werewolf, perhaps because they were swallowed. The things dropped by the monster after death also appeared in Xiao Hei's mouth. Congratulations on obtaining skill demonization asterisk 1. Linen asterisk 3. Dragon tendon asterisk 2. And skill upgrade scroll asterisk 1. Level up. Level 3. Acquire the devouring mark. Movement speed plus 10%. It's great. It can really be swallowed. It has actually been upgraded by 2 levels. Just killing a monster can increase it by 2 levels. The experience here is a bit high. Lu Chen was originally worried that this swallowing technique would not be able to swallow the demonized werewolf. But now it seemed that he was overthinking it. But what surprised Lu Chen the most was that he actually improved two levels and gained another skill. And it was also demonized. This must be some kind of magical skill. Demonization. Increase the player's physical resistance by 50% and reduce magic resistance by 50% for a short period of time. Lasting for 5 seconds. Tips. Extreme skills. Please use with caution. Isn't this the skill to demonize werewolves? But this skill is too extreme. If it is attacked by magic, it will be dead. Wait a minute. Magic attacks can deal with demonized werewolves. Yes, I'm a mage. How could I forget that I've been playing some games now? There seems to be a skill improvement scroll. What is it? Skill improvement scroll. It can improve the skill level by plus one. And has a 5% chance of obtaining special buffs. This is awesome. Lu Chen didn't waste any time and directly chose the fireball technique for his skill upgrade roll. After all, he would encounter a demonized werewolf next. And he would have to use the fireball technique to deal with it. Fireball increases LV3. Obtains special gains. Has a chance to trigger flame burning damage. Power X2. Seeing the scene, Lu Chen was so excited that he didn't know what to say. He didn't expect that there was a 5% chance that he would encounter it. It was incredible. Okay, let's go! With a 10% movement speed bonus, Lu Chen's walking speed was significantly faster and the two little guys followed closely behind. The improvement in level is not just a change in numbers. Lu Chen's various attributes have also been improved accordingly. Two demonized werewolves appeared in front of him. Lu Chen did not fight head on this time, and took the lead with a red ball technique. The fireball hit a demonized werewolf, and then exploded, and the flame swallowed the werewolf directly. Trigger fire burning damage. Power X2. The next second, the werewolf slowly fell to the ground under the flames and was burned to death. Lu Chen originally had the title of Slayer. The attack was X2, but now it triggered flame burning damage. 
The damage was X2 again. The power was like riding a rocket. At this moment, another demonized werewolf had already rushed over. Lu Chen quickly raised his shield to block it. Then, he knocked back the werewolf with a huge impact and fired a fireball. Boom! The fireball exploded. This time, the fireball did not trigger fire damage. The demonized werewolf attacked again. Lu Chen raised his shield and charged with a shield, knocking the demonized werewolf back and knocking it out at the same time. Then Lu Chen didn't stop and fired another fireball. The cooldown of the fireball technique is only 2 seconds, but it consumes a lot of mana. However, Lu Chen now has the bonus of equipment, and his mana is more than 300. As long as he rests for a while, his mana and life will be restored. So, there is no need to worry about wasting too much magic and being unable to attack continuously. The second fireball triggered burning damage, and the demonized werewolf fell to the ground and died. Congratulations on the level increase. Level 5. The level was increased by 3 levels again, which made Lu Chen a little excited. The experience value of the demonized werewolf was really no joke. Not only Lu Chen, but also the two little pets have been upgraded by 2 levels each. It seems that they are going to be prosperous this time. This time, the two demonized werewolves did not drop skill books or equipment, but only ordinary materials. But there were also linen cloth and dragon tendons, which was already very good. After picking up the materials, Lu Chen sat down and rested while restoring the cooldown of his skill. Shield Crash has a 30 second cooldown, while Giant Impact has a 30 minute cooldown. This seems a bit useless, but the collision is very powerful and can also knock back the enemy. So you still can't use it until you have the right skills. It's replaced with his magic points back to full. Lu Chen also stood up and headed forward again. A goblin wearing a wizard's hat appeared in front, holding a scepter in his hand. It seemed to be a magic attack. When he found Lu Chen, he muttered something. The scepter lit up, and there appeared in front of him a dozen small goblins holding stone axes. What a good guy! You can actually summon and you can summon so many at once. How shameless. The goblins rushed towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen didn't waste any time and directed Xiao Hei and Ling Chuang to attack at the same time. The small goblins could not withstand the attacks of the two pets. Lu Chen did not hold back, slashing left and right. All the small goblins died in their hands. However, the next moment, the mage goblin waved his scepter again, and all the small goblins that were originally dead came back to life. Damn it! Haven't you played anymore? Lu Chen wanted to rush over and capture the thief first. But the small goblins in front of him were constantly dying and resurrecting. Blocking Lu Chen's route. In desperation. Lu Chen decided to use a unique move. Venom Blast! A huge snake head phantom appeared. And a large mouthful of green venom spewed out from its mouth. Covering the entire 20 by 20 area in front. Even the mage goblin did not escape the attack. And was directly eroded by the venom. The small goblin died on the spot, and that the mage goblin was also paralyzed by the venom, and could not move. Seeing this, Lu Chen quickly rushed over and killed it with an axe. Wow! The mage goblin turned into materials, and fell to the ground. Congratulations on getting the Archmage Hat Asterisk 1. Linen Asterisk 10. Dragon Tendon Asterisk 10. Magic Crystal Asterisk 3. And Scepter Asterisk 1. I picked up everything. Including the goblin Scepter. Scepter. Spell attack, 150. Magic plus 300. Skill, summon shadow troops to fight for you. Up to 10 shadow warriors can be summoned. The weak scepter was once a shame in the summoning world. After seeing this introduction, Lu Chen really had no intention of using it. Although he had the summoning skill, such low attack power was really worrying. Archmage hat, exclusive to the goblin mage. After wearing it, it will have the appearance of a goblin mage for a short period of time without being discovered by the enemy. It can be used for 10 minutes. Seeing this, Lu Chen was a little happy. This thing was similar to the goblin basket. So he chose to use it. Putting on the hats. Sure enough, Lu Chen and the two pets all had transformation buffs. Now all three of them had turned into monsters and could use sneak attacks again.